trainer. Sustina, Sustina.
Hello? What the fuck? Um, you have in? Where'd you put my laptop, by the way? Um, it's on the TV. Oh, okay. It's, like, connected, so the stream's playing there, too. Hey guys, you're gonna have to deal with me for a little bit. How's the audio balancing? If anyone's in chat. Audio balancing looks alright from my end, but I can't really tell. Okay, we got this. Who's up first? Um, you're on comms right now. I'm gonna throw up. You're gonna throw up. I don't want you to hear you. Uh, you and Ethan. Okay. Yo ho. Yo. 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 No, no, I'm, I'm fine with you. This, you can use by flipping the sofa down, so you have to flip it down when you want to. You guys know how to run with the start recording? Yeah, how do I, uh, you have to do flip it, which is left. Okay, and are you, like, controlling the, like, uh, layout of all you guys? Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, so, this is the layout. Yeah. You use this for up here, I guess and then there's, there's this. There's other corner. Oh, I'm gonna disrespect. Oh, I'm gonna share this. Oh, let me share this. Um, uh, real quick though, real quick though, with the versus screen. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. You're still muted, by the way. You didn't unclip it. Yeah. Who's so commentating first? These two. I'm gonna do this pair because Raiden's only here for a little bit. I'll be back later. Okay. Um. Is it just those two, me and Dad, were not here? Blaze and, uh... Blaze is here? Blaze is coming. He's not here yet. Uh, okay. So, you guys got this? Yeah. Oh, I got a light. Okay, are we, uh, are we, are we, like... Can they hear us? Oh, you guys can hear us. Hello, everybody. Yo! What's up, chat? Welcome to South Jersey Ultimate Summit. I think this is the second one we've done. I did one a while ago, but uh, I don't even know that. Whole new batch of players here. So this is going to be a really exciting competition. We have some of the best players in South Jersey out here. So this is really like the proving ground to see like where things are shaping up in South Jersey. Obviously, you know, some of the people set to rank like pretty high aren't here, but still, it's going to be some very interesting competition. Yeah, it's definitely going to be... Not only going to be interesting, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, um, also, my name is not Arcos. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna fix that real quick. Yeah. Well, yeah. While, I'm, while I'm setting the stream places, you can change uh, that. Where am I? I am just not here. Wait, how, how do I add a... Um, okay. Oh wait, um, go to add. Click add. Add, oh, add. that's me. Yo. There I am. Update. That's me! Yo, it's you! Yo! That's yeah, I'm organic, everybody. Um, I'm Rainbow. And uh, that's Rainbow. We're gonna be bringing you guys the first set here. I think we have um, Spiro and Hunter coming up, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, we're gonna be an uh, interesting set here. So, I have a uh, fun stat here. Right now, Spiro is 11 0 on Hunter. Yeah, so Palutena Snake is definitely. Uh, Rough matchup for uh, for Snake, so rough you know, she, I mean, she just combos the hell out of Snake. Really good at edge guarding. Um, Fair and Bear hit Snake out of Cipher really well, so it's hard for him to recover. And um, also, just the back air in general in neutral works her way through the explosions very well. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Hunter can you know try and play around it, but it's also gonna be really really difficult. There's also a matter of Spiro just being really good. At the game. Yeah, Spiro is so good. Like, it's insane. This dude. 
Yeah, it is. He can farm brackets with Ganondorf. And yeah, he. The Green Beast. The Green Beast. <laughs> I I, I don't think the Green Beast is gonna come out yet, but he did say if he makes uh, Grand's winter side, he's gonna be bringing out the Green Beast. I, 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 I'm root. I have to root for that, man. I love Incineroar. I like Incineroar too, but uh, I'm I'm just rooting for some good competition. You know, that's uh, what I'm here to see, and that is definitely what we're gonna be seeing. Oh, and right, the this... top talent in the region here. I'm gonna be very very interested. You can't say that. I, I can't, can't say that. We this might get banned. Yeah. It's, it's like, like really awesome. awesome. You this is fan. our totally normal Nintendo Switch. This is a normal Nintendo Switch where we can hear um, Undertale if we wanted to. That's true. Or and apparently YS series, I don't know what, do you know what that is? I was just about to say that I didn't know what that was. Yeah, I have we'll no idea. Never know. But you can hear this music. I can hear this music. I, yeah, I can hear this music. <laughs> but the viewers can hear this Let's go! Yes. Okay, looks like uh, we're gonna be getting started here. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, what's what's going on? I don't know. Are they, why haven't they started yet? It, uh... No, it's normal. It's normal. Oh yeah, it's a normal switch actually. I have to tweet that we're live. I'll, I'll tweet it. I'll tweet it out too. I'll tweet it out too. Where's my phone? Thanks. Okay. Oh, I have to get a picture of the setup. Such a just set up. Yeah. Yo, hold on. Okay. There we go. I, I mean, we should be. I don't know why they haven't started yet. Looks like we gotta get the music counter pick set up yet again, but... We're going to the YS series, again, no, no one, one knows, knows what it means. means. We'll never know. Somebody yeah. probably knows what it means. No Somebody might knows. watch this and, like, blame us for not knowing what YS is. I, I don't care. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. If I haven't heard of it, it's not relevant, you know? Yeah, so true. Alright, I think we're getting started yep. now. Yeah, it looks like we are getting started. Okay, we... Cause the thing is, they want to play Yeah, it's so... It's, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, here we go, we're gonna get to it. First set of the day here, Hunter versus Spiro. Definitely gonna be an interesting one here. Hunter starting off with a big 37% free combo here. I think the down air gonna be almost doubling his lead there. Snake down air just does so much damage. Yeah, and again, and not not just down air, but um, him, him trading with grenades. Whenever Palu wants to get an attack in, he's gonna be... And yeah, that C4. finding no, I don't think that was C4. C4? That, was, that, that might have strong. been C4. That was too strong. Man. Yeah, that was too strong. Four, yeah, he did have the C4 set up there. He was trying to stick it earlier out of the combo, but um, C4 was just in a good position to get the jungle. You know, having C4 on these platforms is gonna be really, really effective here. Palatina definitely likes to move between the platforms with you know her her uh, teleport cancels. So those just general movement is really important to have platforms to you know kind of escape. A lot of uh, characters like normal boxing options. So if you can take away a platform with C4, it's gonna be really, really effective. And and there's an issue of oh, um, Palutena's gonna want to catch his own. And not only is Palutena not gonna do that with the platform, but um, Snake's just a very ground to ground base. Um, yeah, Snake definitely um, not great in terms of landing, and Palutena's up air is very big. So it's gonna be another struggle point there for Hunter. It's gonna be a big struggle point for Hunter trying to land, especially against a character like Palutena, being piloted by a player as good as Spiro is. Very but um, another base character. Very yeah. Good. And the, I mean that up air is just gigantic. You know? so, I'm, I'm pretty. Sure, I, I, I'm DI. I, I just learned recently that you're supposed to DI down and in. Yeah, you should. I you can try to be down and out. Oh what? That that would boss so weird. The dash back there, but you're finding the down smash there. Gonna be setting up for a ledge trap here. Finds the back air, no tech from Hunter, and that's gonna be it for a second stock here. Spiro finding his first stock being set here. Yeah, I mean, for for these two players, we know that Hunter hasn't really taken sets off of Spiro ever, but he's keeping it uh, competitive right now. Yeah, yeah, it is very, very close here. Good forward tilt from Spiro. Gonna be not finding a drill situation. Great laning from Hunter, though. Can't find the up tilt on the top flat. That definitely found the KO there. Sneak up so it again, really really strong option. Spiro not finding his own up air, great back air from Hunter there. 
And he safely can't. Oh, looks like he's got him back off stage here. And then Nikita not doing the job. Oh, good. Yeah, explosive lane. Like, so strong, so strong an option. Oh, great back throw from Skiro. That was such clean throw. movement. Finding that pivot grab. Can't find the forward air all the way down there, but. Nice like, way back. You know, a great forward air there. Off the support recovery. A moment ago, I thought it was competitive. Yeah, Spiro this is done. looking over the up tilt there for Spiro, and he's going to be Comment. taking game one here. Yeah, I mean, he got that first stock. He was looking really, really solid, but, um. Again, I mean, Palatina. She can snowball really easily, you know, her combos do just so much damage. You get hit by one nair, you're taking another nair, then another, then another, and then a forward air, a back air, maybe even an up air, and then if you take that up air, you might even take another up air, so... Yeah, her I mean, snowball effect is really... It's just a huge factor, especially against a character with a disadvantage as bad as Snake. No, like, he does bad. have the grenade to get out of combos, it's but not that... Gonna do much. It's not gonna do much. It's not gonna do too much against to Palatina. Then you'll have to land against Palatina, and also... You're just, you're taking more damage, really. Which just, like I said about the snowball effect, it just kind of adds on to that. Even, even, even with the trading, it's just not enough. Yeah. To, to, to Like, if Snake? You're in, if you're in disadvantage against Kalutena, realistically, that should be the stock. Like, no matter, like, for most characters. For, yeah, I mean, it depends Spiro. on where you're at, and, but with a player as strong as Spiro, it's definitely pretty, like, that, um, you know, he can just shred through socks so easily. Absolutely. Game two here. Do we know if it's um? Three, I'm pretty sure it's best of five. If I'm not mistaken, it, it might be best of three, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's, it's gonna be best of five. But don't don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's a lot of games, but that's what we're here to see. Yeah, there is um there is a side stream going on though. So. I've just been informed oh, yeah. that it is in fact it best, is of fact, five, best of five, which is going to lead to some phenomenal sets. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's wash. Okay, Hunter just right here, stuck in this juggle situation. That's well, can he recover here? Fast. He's going to eat a Palatina back here. Yeah, I was about to say such a rough situation to be in off stage as Snake against Palatina. Like I said, you know her forward air and her back air are just so good at knocking Snake down a cipher, and she can just kind of rinse and repeat until Snake eventually dies. And that, and again, those um, air trains range take across the stage. I noticed that. Um, yeah, there's the explosion. Oh, great up tilt there through the nair. Great hit her box shifting there from Hunter. He's gonna take Spiro's first stock there. Trying to keep this somewhat even here. Can't find the dash tag. No downer out of shield there. He's gonna eat it back there for his trouble. Straight forward throw here from Spiro. He's trying to set up these all stage situations a lot. I'm noticing that. You know, he's going for these pivot grab back throws in the corner. And I mean, it, it worked in the first game, but um, we're gonna have to see how Hunter's adapting to that. You know, these all stage situations, personally, specifically in this matchup, are gonna be very difficult. And um, it's where Spear is gonna be making his money for most of the set. But blowing himself up with his own C4 there. Was that a time C4? Or did you... Uh, that was a time C4. There's an IPC. Well, it's just so hard to like be focused on that when you're also focused on the fight. Well, I've I've noticed that Hunter is really good at um, placing his grenades in places where like that that's that's gonna like terrify you. But Spear is just not letting him do that. He's not yeah. getting a chance to put his grenade down. He's not um he's yeah. having to actually like Yeah. He's setting up these he's setting up these ledge traps very well though, but um good job getting off ledge there from Spear, finding the reflect on the up smash but Hunter not really caught by it. And again, we saw there, he's not afraid of those grenades, just air dodging right past them. So yeah, I, I mean, know the timing. Realistically, not you're not gonna die from a grenade, you're only gonna die from the follow up. And if you know what follow up Hunter is gonna go for, it's not too, too scary to keep grenade, but he's gonna eat it down throw with the up to him. Was sure that was that percentage? I think. Uh, it's 163, I think. On it's the 160. It's 160? Yeah. I thought it was 163. Uh, I actually think it's a little, it's like 159 point something, but it's just easier to say 160. Yeah, it's it's one, it's basically just right around 160 again. You have the snake off stage. You can find the down to a great recovery from Hunter, making it back with that air dodge. Oh, but dodge again, you saw a great adaptation. Great air dodge into a. He, he got back with air the air dodge. dodge the first time, but. Palatina's Ice Smash is just so good at catching those air dodges. It lingers for so long, and it's so strong. I mean, if, if you're caught hanging on ledge ever, it's, uh, you're probably eating a Palatina up smash. Yeah. Her ledge trapping is just so soft. Yeah, 
and, like and she, it's not even like snakes that trap and we're like, oh, I have all this stuff. It's yeah, just, she no, just my buttons are great. Yeah, and you have to I can that. spam them. You have to expect it's gonna be really hard for you to get off. Of. I, I still think it's crazy that an up smash. Yeah, that, that's just insane to me. All right, um, looks like on uh for our other set it was. Yeah. My headset just. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Go. Yeah. I'm yeah. Go. Go. Tell Jason. <laughs> yes. Yes. I will. I will. Okay. So right now, Hunter stuck in a jungle situation. Good landing there. Can't find the down air. Spear looking for an explosive flame there. He's just putting on so much pressure right now. He, again, Snake in this all stage situation. It's so difficult for him to make it back. Yeah. Hit out of Cipher there. The Cypher hit by the back air, and he's not going to be able to make it back after that. You know, good near dash back there from Hunter, trying to find a ledge trap, but good get up from Spiro there. Ooh, good downer out of shield there from Hunter, getting Palutena off him. It's going to be really, really important. Good up tilt there from Spiro trying to find a juggle situation. Can't find the explosive flame. Good back throw. I can God damn it, Ethan. You wrote it in the set. I'm not reading the set. It's okay, it's, it's just pools. Working. It's just pools. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Oh, listen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, huge deficit here for Hunter. It's looking very unlikely for him to make it back in this game. I mean, you're down 2-0 already. I mean, down 2-0 against, against One Spiro Palutena. Like, Spiro's phenomenal. Yeah, he has. Looking pretty rough here. Palutena versus Snake. Yeah. Phenomenal against Snake versus... Pretty bad disadvantage, disadvantage yeah. Oh, is it up air? Not gonna connect. Can you find the ledge trap here? Get up from Spiro. I mean, yeah, these two play each other a lot, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, Spiro knows. Um, yeah, and they also play uh, a, a lot in friendly. So, ooh, back throw. Yeah, this offstage situation might be it here. But, covering high, good landing, getting caught by the explosive flame. Um, this is gonna be it. Yeah, the up air. Gonna do it in a three stock to close out the set in 3 0 fashion. A dominant win there for Spiro. He's gonna be taking our first stream set of the day over Hunter. Good job, Spiro. Yeah, that was that was just great stuff there to Spiro. I mean, again, you're in like a pretty dominant matchup. That's about what we expected. And I mean, Spiro also just fantastic player in general. So, I mean, it's going to be really hard to try and take that set there for Hunter. But great stuff, Spiro. Um, who do we have next on Is stream? Vince Hamburrito. I think it might be Vince and Hamburrito. Please tell me it's Vince Hamburrito. That's, that's gonna be such a fun set. That is gonna be a godlike set. Vince Interesting, Hamburg. I think. Yeah, I mean, look, Ham Hamburrito, I, th I think he's kind of the wild card of this tournament. I think him and Secret are the big wild cards because um, they're obviously a lot of the players here are like very, very notable top talents in South Jersey. Now, that's not to say that Spiro and Hamburrito aren't talented players in Hamburg. Hamburg. You like Secret and But, um,. Or, so, yeah, sorry, Secret yeah. and Hamburgo. Sorry, my mistake. But, um, they're kind of wild cards, right? Like, they can do very well against a lot of the top talent we have here. I mean, Hamburgo, um, he has, I think he has an even set record with Xavier right now. I think they're no. one and one. One and three. Oh, one and three, sorry. It's one but and three, but he has a game. He did. No, he, he does have a set. And, um, like, he has yeah, games set. on Arya, and he also has a game on Noodle, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think so. No, no he, he does oh, have a game, a game. on Noodle. Yeah, he doesn't, have a, set. Like he doesn't have a set on Noodle. But, um, not a set, no. Like, he has games on some of these players here. And, um, yeah, if I mean, there's any time to make an upset, to make it, it's, it's here. It's at this tournament. Here and I mean, now. I mean, we don't even yeah, know if they're mean, playing next. <laughs> they, yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're playing. I mean, I'm talking about I'm talking about Secret and Ham right now, though. And Secret, I mean... Another player who, um, he hasn't really cracked, like, top threes of a lot of locals, but he's done very, very solid against a lot of the players that, you know, we're seeing here today. Like, um, 
does very well against Houdini in their sets, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I can he's ever won, but I, I know he's, he's he taken, has taken games off of Houdini. I can take um, sets off of Boost and Omnic Bob. Yeah, like, so, all the players here are very solid. It's a pretty even talent pool. Do not sleep. Yeah, there's do no reason to sleep, sleep on, on any of these, of these players. players. Even, I mean, like, you might want to be sleeping on Hambrudo <laughs> because he's a 15-year-old kid playing Ain't Jigglypuff, no but he Ain't can no get way. the job done, okay? It's never, I, I faith. I'm, ever I'm a here. believer. I am a believer in Hambrudo, too. Now, I think if there's any matchup, okay, who do we have? it's... Uh, it is Hambrudo and Vince. That one's true. This is exactly what I mean. If there's any matchup for him to win, I think Roy, if it does go Roy. I Vince is most likely gonna go Roy. Um, going to win because you can just get him off stage and then edge guard. Yeah, Hambrito, he did make a matchup chart the other day. Um, I, I don't remember where he put Roy, but I mean, Roy is just such an explosive character, so it's gonna be really difficult for Jigglypuff to try and sur survive very long, but uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit, um, just off um, <laughs> um, Yeah. yeah it's, it's definitely gonna be... But, like, um, also, I mean, Roy is very susceptible, or susceptible, excuse me, to edge guarding. So, it's gonna be interesting to see, but, I mean, it can be pretty difficult, um, if Roy decides to recover low, for Jigglypuff to kind of contest that, you know? Because Jigglypuff, the thing that makes her edge guarding so solid is, um, it's her, uh, it's her air speed, right? She can move very quickly yeah. horizontally through the air, but vertically, she has a really hard time getting around. Her jumps are slow, and her fall speed is very slow. So, if Vince decides to recover low, with that up, you have a huge hitbox over you that has super armor on it. So it's going to be very, very difficult for Ham Burrito to edge guard in those sorts of situations. But I mean, he. Um, anyway, sorry, what I was saying was, if he gets Vince very far off stage, he can find those edge guards. But again, if, I mean, if you're going to be putting Vince in, like, that sort of situation, or any player for that matter, like, if you're getting them really far or off stage, that's most likely because they're at, like, a very, very high percent, which, um, if you're at a high percent and you're getting edge guarded by Jigglypuff, that's not all that bad, honestly, because, I mean, Jigglypuff is obviously very explosive because she can edge guard you very early. But it's gonna be difficult to edge guard for early. There's also the issue of um, Roy versus I mean Puff versus Sorties. Yeah. She, she's just gonna get stuffed out a lot of the time. Her her stubby little her stubby little feet. Little, yeah. But at the same time, Roy is not exactly he doesn't exactly have the best hitboxes far out on his sword. He his hitboxes are very very close. Those that were possible to see that. Yeah, but, but I mean, at the same time, Jigglypuff does have to get close to you, and when you just have the superior frame data movement, you know, you're faster than Jigglypuff, it can be pretty pretty suffocating, so. And also, Jigglypuff is just gonna die, so. Yeah, like, side B? Jigglypuff is side literally B. a balloon. Side B is gonna be killing at 40 I at the ledge. I'm terrified of that movement. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. But uh yeah, this is this is definitely gonna be pretty difficult for Hambrito, but um like I was saying, I mean, you can't count him out just you know at the character selects. I'm I'm as I said before, I am a Hambrito believer. I, I will not be counting him out. I am also a believer in Hambrito. I have I was there when the deal was made. Hunter Winthorpe <laughs> gets five hundred dollars from A9 if Hambrito wins South Jersey something. So this is step one for that. That's true. I mean, it, it is just pools. Everybody does. I think everybody starts winners, but the top four seeds do get a buy, so it's not like you can just kind of throw pools away like that. But um, yeah, pools are important, but it, it's not. It's not the end all be all. Yeah. But... And uh, but also, it's just very important to try your hardest in pools because it's a really good showing of like where you are stacked up against some of the best players. I mean, Hamburrito, he's probably gonna want to give it his all here because he's pretty um. You know, not a lot of people are expecting him to, like, do as well as a lot of these other players here. But, um, he, he definitely has it. It's an underdog story. Yeah. Also, uh, Shane, I don't know what you're talking about. The, uh, this is, this the, is switch, a, is, the switch is perfectly normal. It's like, a normal. this is a normal Nintendo Switch. There's nothing strange about it. What is that? Is that A9? YS again? <laughs> no, that's Devil May Cry. Okay. Yeah, yeah there are no, there's Dante in the game.
Dante is in the game. Yeah, th this is normal music you would see in Smash Bros. Like, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be left. I, ca I can't see where. Left. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. No, you take it. You take it. You take it. Yeah. No, stop. 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 Bum. Stop. Stop. No, start it, start it now, start it now. I started a bit early for uh, Hunter Spirit, so. It's fine. We can trip it. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, so we do have a. Uh... Oh my god, I love that tag. Man. I, can't, I can't say what, but. I, I'm a fan. 131. Um, so yeah, we are gonna be seeing the Jigglypuff versus the Roy. This is the matchup we expected. PS2? Yeah, this is Smash Bros. Very normal PS2. I think. Is this button warmers? I can't tell. Um, doesn't look like it. Uh, no. Uh, Vince definitely would have nope. <laughs> yeah, no, this, this is bubble. Okay. It's got, is it? I, I can't tell. I, I genuinely tell. cannot tell. Oh, it's bubble. Okay, it's, it's, it's bubble. It's, it's, it's bubble. Okay. <laughs> no contest. Who had yeah, okay. Who had high percent? Ham one, ham one, ham one. Ha yeah, ham burrito. Let's go. Game, game one, Shane or Vince put out. So you know. I mean. Oh, Vince did quit out. <gasps> Yeah, Hamburrito. Oh. Game one, we got the dub. This is this is proof that Hamburrito can hang with uh, the best. Yeah. Two rollouts. Yeah, two he he, rollout. he got the rollout. It's <laughs> crazy. Oh wait, he's going he's going Seth. Seth? This is a hey, yo. okay. I don't know about this. So Jeez. yeah, but but that's Seth though. Yeah. I mean, you're so, the, you're the... I am the Seth X. You are. So, how, how is this matchup? Like, this matchup... Like it's it's not slightly Seth favored, but the thing about it is, Sephiroth, since, you know, a lot of his moves are pretty... They only cover, like... They cover a very small amount of space. They're very long, but they're not very big. So, he, he tends to struggle a lot against characters that have, um, really good aerial mobility. Well, like, more than you would expect, because a lot of the characters that have good aerial mobility, they're pretty stubby, right? Like, you know, Jigglypuff, Wario, and Yoshi, they don't exactly have the biggest of bosses in the world. But they can move so well around Sephiroth's options. And since his moves do have quite a fair bit of MI, it can be really easy for Jigglypuff to get in on Sephiroth and just kind of expose him in disadvantage, because he doesn't have any really solid get, me, get off me options. But, um... Nair not. Nah. Nair is frame on. Is he dead? Hamburrito got a big combo there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say it's that. It's also no. another thing that's... One thing that is good for Sephiroth though, is that, um... Unless he's at like a really, really high percent, it's pretty unlikely that you're gonna be getting edge guarded early by Jigglypuff, because you have that huge hitbox and Octo Slash, and you can, just go, you can just go right back to the stage and not have to worry about anything. Also, I just wanna say, I love Ham, Ham's patience in the corner. Oh, yeah. Oh. He, oh, yeah, he's getting Octo Slash. Yeah, he's definitely dead there. Yeah, that's gonna do it. But yeah, as I, as I was gonna say, a lesser player would just run in and get echoed by Sephiroth. Yeah, uh, no, Hamburrito. Hamburrito is definitely very patient, but um, as you need to be play, Vince uh, is doing a good job of stuffing him out here. It's it's such a weird matchup because you have to you have to be so patient on both ends, you know. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Like you can't just like swing willy nilly at Sephiroth and expect to get away with it because Jigglypuff will expose you for it. Like right there. Um, Side B, side B, side yeah, side B, side B, side B, and you're gonna be, you're gonna be eating hits for it. Good up air there from Vince. Yeah, like Sephiroth's moves don't aren't bad against Jigglypuff, but they can be bad if he just keeps swinging. So Vince is doing a very good job of being patient. Yeah, and, and um, I remember um, him, him was actually telling me that patience is what beats Jigglypuff. Which I guess yeah. That oh, great counter why. there from Vince. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. That's why you go um, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Yeah, you do have to play very, very patient in this matchup. Oh, great right up here. Is that the back there? I think uh, Ham's getting a little. Yeah, bit Ham is. Uh, uh, is the great. He is getting very impatient. I mean, you do just want to like get even a stock. Basically, Vince hasn't even gotten wing yet. He's already at 88. Yeah, and he's just running into the gap. He got the good luck in that. He took 64 for it. Yeah, and it's looking rough. Good counter. Ooh, he yeah, got like that? the last like hit of the counter. Last. And he it does stay out for quite a while. Oh, uh, good Octa Slash for Yeah, Octa Slash is very good at getting back to stage against yeah. Jigglypuff, just because, I mean, you, you have to she's so it. stubby, you just have to respect the option. <laughs> yeah, Severus Recovery is very, very good with that. Good there, there, Yeah, with Wing now, though, this. 
I mean, you can't write him out. It is Jigglypuff. It is Jigglypuff. It is Jigglypuff at It is Jigglypuff at 108%. Against Sephiroth with three stocks left. Three stocks, Rage, Wing. Yeah. But I mean, then he gets the stock here. I have a believer. I have a believer too. It could be over. It could be over. Hembrito might win this game. Great pair. Back here. There it is. There Okay. Hembrito can still win this game. He just needs two combos. Get two good combos into rest. Get one grab or get one get one down air. Yeah. One for one forward air, one down air, one pound, one late He's pound. Not gonna need a lot of, uh, he has rage, he has rage, so it's it's yeah. not over. You're not gonna need a lot of hits either, Sephiroth. Is very light. Yeah, Sephiroth is so like, light. Is pretty, right? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Sephiroth is <laughs> So it's just sorry. I, I I didn't know you were talking to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, oh, that four is gonna do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So unfortunate stuff by him. Going step, which is honestly pretty surprising. I think we all expected him to go boy. I mean, it does make sense. It does make sense. Yeah, but it did go out. Oh no. Wait, how? Dude, how? What is going on? Here, uh, uh mute it and then unmute it. No, yeah, you don't have We might have we might have a focus. Hello, okay. Uh oh. It's not working. Go go tell Jason. Go tell Jason. Tell me how to Let me let me see. It is not my fault. There's no more buttons left for me to press. This is so unfortunate. No, I don't I don't know. I think you just have to go tell Jason and die. No, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Go, go find Jason. I'll, I'll, I can hold it down. I can hold it down. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm got this, guys. Seriously, I'm got this. God's be, okay. Game two. Vince Hambrito. Uh, Vince probably gonna stick out this stuff. I mean, that was a pretty dominant game. Hambrito definitely was not expecting it, but no, this is not a ploy for me to solo commentate. I. Genuinely, I don't like solo commentating. I, I really like to need a partner when I'm commentating. It doesn't matter who it is. It, I like I, I just find it hard to constantly be like saying something when I'm solo commentating. We back. We back. We're, we're we back. back. We're back. back. We're back. Uh, we're, back. We're, back. we're back. We're back. There's no need for me to solo commentate anymore. Okay, we have game two. They're gonna be on FD for this one. Um. I'm surprised Vince left it open. I mean, it's not too, too, too bad against like Jigglypuff, but Sephiroth really, really likes having platforms. And um, he doesn't have platforms. I, me personally, I, I hate FD. Just a, as pretty much any character, like, but especially as Sephiroth, because I really appreciate having the platforms. Um, yeah, this is my favorite genre, and I hate FD as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's fit. Yeah, it is definitely a personal preference thing. What, oh, Hamburdo, can you get this? Yeah, I can't get that edge guard started. Sephiroth is so good at recovering against Jigglypuff. His air drift is just so strong. And, like, even though he's tall, he's really light. So, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be harder to edge guard Sephiroth. Like, he, he probably is one of the best characters at recovering against Jigglypuff. Yeah, but that would be... Yeah, like, because you have such good mix-ups. You can play Dash, which is really fast. You can Aqua Slash, which has that huge hitbox. Which is gonna make Puff like really scared to edge guard you. If you have wing. Oh, yeah, you have you have jumps, like but I mean again jumping fair, yeah. Oh, is that good? No, he's gonna make that back, yeah. With that extra jump, it's just so so good. Like it's so it's so hard to gim Sephiroth if you're not going like way, way down there. And Cambrino not playing a character with like a, a real function recovering up these. Yeah, good down air there from Vince. He's gonna be looking for a forward air here. He's making it- Oh, great Octa Slash. That was such a good edge guard. I'm, I'm stealing that, honestly. That was so good. I'm stealing it. I'm stealing it. That's my down. Yeah, Hamburino, I mean, he, he's, he was doing so well on that first stock, but now he's just- He got so impatient and he ate 43 for it, which- And I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but like- Against Puff? Against Jigglypuff, it's a lot, because, I mean- you can pop this bubble like it's no big deal with so many options and stuff. You have that down smash, forward tilt, back air, 
up air. And especially, especially with the orbs on him. Yeah, if like, you hit him off, and he doesn't, and she doesn't die, then those orbs can yeah. get on her. She just, she's, 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 low, she's dying, yeah. Finn's doing a very good job right now. Only actually the I mean, this is basically what you want to do in this matchup. You don't want to swing like that, though. That is definitely, like, you can't just swing. It gets no jiggly buff. You have, you have too much end lag. Yeah, like look at right there. He could have he could have eaten a big combo. Like, it's so hard because a lot of your options you're gonna want to go for are pretty committal at Sephiroth. So it can be it can be really hard to just like sometimes you just have to do nothing. And I just say that that walk away from Vince. Yeah, this is so good. Oh, can't find the upper there. Ooh, this is gonna be a big edge guard here from Vince potentially. Honestly, I like. Good job getting back to Legend Hamburdo. Good roll, yeah. Vince. That side beat. You didn't have time to go to the ledge, you just walked down and you yeah. die for it, and that's at the end made of the day. Yeah. I mean, he, he's getting very impatient when he's. because when he, he doesn't have the lead, so it, it can be very easy for players that don't have as much experience. And even for players that. Oh, is this gonna be it? Oh, barely missing that forward air. That would have been it, too. It's so nice. Dude. Yeah. Well, like, anyway, what I was saying was, Hamburdo, it's very easy to get impatient. You know, it doesn't matter what level of experience you have with the game. It can be really easy to get impatient. And, um, yeah, it, it, when you're when you're not in the lead, it can be so easy to get impatient. Especially as a character who dies as early as you Yeah, like, you just want to get the kill so bad, and you're just rushing in, and you're not respecting some of the boxes. Cause despite what I've been saying about, you know, um, Sev having lots of end lag and like having to be really careful about, um, you know, throwing out options. Jigglypuff still has to respect Sephiroth. It's, it's not like a one sided thing. Because, like, Sephiroth's options are so, like, they're, they're gigantic and they're gonna kill Jigglypuff so early. Right now, he's definitely looking for like a back air, maybe even a down smash at this point. Ox Slash that's not gonna kill, but at 138, it's gonna be the next hit, probably. Yeah, yeah. Trying to find an Oxlasher. That's something you can do as Sephiroth against. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. But um, that Oxlash on the uh, ledge right there. That's something you can do uh, as Sephiroth against characters that don't have a hitbox in recovery. Is um, if they're trying to recover, you just go out there with Oxlash and Oxlash towards ledge. You don't have to um, you don't have to deal with uh, the end lag of Oxlash, and um, you don't have to worry about getting hit because their hitboxes don't have a recovery. And since it's so active. It's just patrolling that like whole area for so so long, and they're gonna get sucked up into it if they're not careful. So it's a really big thing. Um, no, he's, no he's, he's not cheating. Like it, it's just so good. Like against teleport recoveries especially. Like um, yeah, like against Palutena since she's like so easy to confirm, it's just so easy to hit because it's active for just ever. There's a reason it has so much end like if you don't grab ledge. Um, I mean, it crouching is pretty good, but like you don't get anything for it. Like you just don't get hit. I mean, which like you ha like. Oh, can't find that down there. Looking for a grab there though. Yeah, Vince is doing a really good job of avoiding these jiggers from combos, but he's still eating like even you know 20, 30 percent, which. It, it can be pretty hard for Junior to get in. Oh, almost found the roll out. That would have been so. He did read the roll, roll, but it yeah. Okay. And it's rolling out again. Cam does such a good job of on those tactics. Like he's just so good on this. Just, but Vince knowing not to roll in. Yeah. Like rolling in against Jigglypuff can be pretty detrimental. But like, if you condition, you know, rolling out, um, Jigglypuff can cover it. Cause like I said. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that. Really yeah. Get up there. Like her, oh, great down smash from Vince. That was so good. I'm still on that too. That was crazy. That wasn't even a two frame. That was yeah, that was just a good down, down smash. Yeah, I keep killing. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I think it might be for the MVP. I think it's about um, where do you go to escape the sword? Yeah, I, I like it's it's not easy for Jigglypuff, but I I think playing this matchup is very difficult on both sides. But um, it, it can it can also be very very difficult, to especially like no disrespect. Oh, is that? no, he's not dead. Oh, he is dead. I thought he had another Great man. Yeah, Great good edge guard there. Yeah, like no disrespect, Hamburdo, but Vince 
Definitely favored to win this one. He is the better player. I mean, Vince is just really good. Yeah. And that, that's not to say Hamburg is not good. No, yeah. it's just that Vince. Good down till. Yeah. He expected ledge very well there. Rolls in from ledge. I mean, several of the just recovered with that great back air. Yeah. He's just, he's just throwing up these back air balls and. Ham isn't respecting it, like, Jigglypuff dash attack is genuinely so good in this matchup, like, it's such a solid option. Or like, if you can just, like, dash in, because, like, Fins is doing a lot of these back airs at, like, a full, at, like, a full. He's not doing, like, a lot of short hop back airs. He's full hopping, so he doesn't have to deal with the end lag when he makes it to the ground. This Ham Burrito is going to be too scared to contest him in the air, even though it's- Oh, can't find the rest. This might be it. That's dead. That's dead. So unfortunate, yeah. That's gonna be it. Vince three zero. All sets off there, and uh, that's gonna do it. Camperito. He definitely was looking better towards like the later and later parts of that set. He's definitely looking better towards like the later parts of that set. But again, like Vince is just throwing up those back air walls, and Ham wasn't respecting it well enough. I mean, he's throwing them out at like the full hop range, and Ham was being too scared to like contest him after the hitbox was no no longer active because it's. I believe I think it's active for two or three frames, so it's not it's not very very active. But Ham is trying to jump to contest him, where like Jigglypuff dash attack is so so solid against Sephiroth because like it clanks with forward tilt. So if you try to like call out Jigglypuff doing a grounded option with forward tilt, it Jigglypuff dash attack will clank, and she'll be close enough to you with like her good air speed to where you can find a forward air if you don't do anything quick. So. I think staying grounded more would have been better for him, Bruno. But again, I mean, not too bad of a showing, honestly. He didn't, he didn't do that bad. He, he, but I mean, um, he kept it competitive. Um, yeah. No three stocks. I don't. Was there a three stock? I don't think. Uh, no, there were no three stocks. He took a stock in all three games, I believe. So, but um, yeah, definitely um, gonna have to you know adapt from that one. Maybe he might get a run back. Yeah. He might get a run back, but um, gonna be looking to maybe do a bit better in his next set. Which uh, I don't know who he plays next. Um, who do we who do we have next? Um, um, so the sets we have up are A9, Houdini. I think they are. That started a while ago, so it's probably. It's probably Xavier versus Secret. Yeah, this, so that's gonna be another good set. Um, Z uh, Xavier has been doing so so well recently. Like he has been on an absolute tear. It's been so impressive. Like, you look at his like recent results, you're gonna be seeing a bunch of top three finishes. And, um, yeah, and I Secret, just... why, why does he have <laughs> Secret is, um, like I was saying earlier, Secret is, like, the wild card pick, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, we know how good Secret is, but we don't know how good he's going to pair up and compete with, uh, a lot of, like, the top talent. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, um, meet up, has... get the meet ups in the chat. <laughs> We're meeting up right now. Where is Shul? And I will say that Secret... Despite how um, how dominant um, they have been recently, I will say that Secret does have a win. At least one win, I'm not sure how many, but I know he has win, at least a win on um, Hank Savior, so this is gonna be, this can go either way. Yeah, I mean, again, again um. <laughs> yeah, meet up, meet up, get the meet ups in the chat. Yeah, um, Mario, this is definitely like a huge struggle matchup for him. Uh, do we know he, what, what skin yeah, I think does... It's a, I think I, 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 yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um... We'll see. So... Shulk is like a huge struggle matchup. Like, it's very, very difficult. Shulk's sword is absolutely gigantic. It's literally everywhere. He has arts to pressure you. It's so, so difficult. But recently, Xavier, um... He's had to play AK Fires at, I think, two consecutive tournaments. And he's beaten them. Beaten them at both of them. So, Xavier is very, very comfortable in the matchup. Um, I believe he's played Ranger quite a bit. Um, I don't know if he has a win on Ranger, but I know the two have played um, at least a few times in the past. Yeah, and he, he, do, he does do like pretty well in the Ranger, like I said. But again, I don't know if he has a win. I don't think he does. Um... But uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But um, Xavier does have a lot of experience in this matchup, but that doesn't change the fact that it's so, so, so difficult. But I mean... Start, start, the, start the recording. Sure. No, do it now, do it now, do it now. Yeah, I mean... Alright, okay, here, swap, swap. Uh... 
Yeah, this is gonna be um gonna be very interesting for sure. Yeah, he does I got I got the skin right, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off here in game one. Xavier versus Secret here. Yeah, starting off on PS2, um going right into speed art, yeah. I mean arts are just so are gonna be really really effective here. Uh having speed art is um I don't, I don't know what I would say is Schultz's best artist, but it's probably speed. Yeah, like it's just it's just so good for neutral. But look at this buster damage, like that's crazy. He got 740, he took like 20 to 74 with just like three hits. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. It's zero to death. Start off the set for Secret. What a way! Yeah, literally, what a way to start off his run here and top summit. And he's he's already keeping it going. He is untouched right now. Not even that fireball for trouble. Not getting that back. Yeah, and he's just he's controlling the area with like these huge boxes, staying in Buster. There. I mean, you do have like a pretty sizable lead up pretty much all stop. If if Mario get one combo on um, Buster, yeah, it's it's gonna be an even game real quick. But like, it's just so so difficult for Mario to contest short and box. Secret's doing such a good job right now. Like down throw here. Oh, yeah, good switch to jump part there. I mean, you just want to switch to any art in that situation. You want to get out of there. You get 10 frames of invincibility, I believe, for switching to any art, and um, it also just mixes up the uh, the combo. Run. Shield arc here, trying to find a dash back there, back throw here for Xavier, he's gonna be setting up for an edge road situation, which, um, Shogun's recovery, um, it's not the hardest to, uh, it's not the hardest to get him, like, it does go pretty far, like, with jump bar, obviously, it's pretty, like, there's also the matter of hate and flood, and I yeah. flood is really gonna get recovery, that's just the same recovery situation. Yeah, flood, it, flood is gonna be really effective here, um, oh, great board there there. From secret. It's so hard to get around that because that forward air hit ledge is so big. Xavier though finding the up smash. He does have like a tell when he up smashes. You can see like he like dash dances a bunch. He got kill percent. Xavier like dash dance a bunch, and then he'll just run up, turn around, up smash. It's, it's so fast and no one's ready for it. Is that up smash? Frame six, I think. Frame six or frame nine? I think it's upper sure. Yes, uh, this this is best of five. All of these sets are best of five. Also, Wailu, this is this is normal PS2. There is nothing different about this Nintendo Switch. Yes, they can. Dude, you gotta get that fixed, man. Okay, good, good. Air slash there. I almost caught a knock slash. So easy stuff we're not back. We are not back. No, that we are not back. Good dash back there from Xavier. Finding the flood jump bar. Oh, can't find the cape. Go to get up attack from Secret there, yeah, he's just gonna be looking for as much damage as possible here. Still in jump, great recovery from Secret, yeah. Shulk's up is like, pretty gifable, in all honesty. Um, especially if he does that like, second like, part of Air Flash, it's pretty easy to get the no, you're back. You're back. Okay. Yeah, you're, um, you're back. Fireball can easily uh, catch that, and then, um, and again, that, um, flood the cave. It's gonna be yeah. a challenge play for Mario. And Xavier, just. Yeah, right now, are we getting ladder? ladder? He's not switching any arts, this might. I don't I don't think that's yeah. dead, yeah. That's definitely yeah, not dead, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's no secret, but. Right like now, it's an even game, like, despite the dominant start that secret had, yeah. Going way out there with Jump Bar! Oh my goodness! Are you eating a backer there? That might be it! Making it back! Oh, so unfortunate! Just barely, barely losing there. He went, he went all in for that edge guard. Not, it did not end up paying off there. Good stuff to um to both players, honestly. Yeah, no, good stuff out. to Xavier there though. Finding, he stayed calm there because that was like, that's a really scary situation to be in. In all honesty, like. Shoal going off stage with those huge hitboxes, like, it can be really, really scary, but Xavier kept his composure and, um, made it back, even, like, got to go for it, so. Good stuff there to Xavier to that game one. I mean, and Xavier's- So I got Yeah, and also, again, Secret starting off the game phenomenally that I was at. Like, both of these players are just- so Yeah. This set can go either way. The first- I mean, Xavier is just such a composed player. Like, he never really lets anything rattle him. And he, he doesn't let it show on his face. He's just so calm. Like, at, literally at all times. So, it's, it's really hard to rattle him. So, despite that zero to death, you know, he's staying calm, staying composed. Uh, 
He got it. I'm gonna try to run in with another one. And he's gonna... Yeah, I mean, Secret again, with like... He's got a 50% lead at the start. Like, he's starting these games off so, so well, but... But Xavier has, has yeah, it's, that touchback. Yeah, it's the matter of being able to finish it out, right? Because Xavier is so calm and composed. You have to be equally as composed as him if you want to take the set. Like, you can't get antsy for a kill. Like, you can't get antsy in any situation, or Xavier will make the pick. Are we gonna get- yes, oh, we are gonna get a smash off forward air. Right as smash off was about to end, that was so, so clean from Secret. Gonna be finding the first stock yet again. Any kind of down tilt there, get shield from Xavier. I don't know, are we gonna get from Xavier? Yeah, I mean, he's not- he's not down too much, but right now, in Buster, um, Secret looking for a big combo. Okay, he's Okay, Thank you. Oh, swapping the jump. Yeah, gonna be eating that down there, and that's gonna do it. That's half a stop. Half a stop. Extra credit. And Schultz, Smash R. Yeah. I mean, that that Smash Smash R forward at the ledge is just so so difficult for basically really any character to deal with. It's so so effective, but uh, especially against Mario, who has like so many boxes. Yeah, Xavier. Um, taking the lead here. Yeah, just got the percent lead with that. Um, not finding to draw that ladder, good uh, shield right there from Secret. They get back to stage here though. They run him to find the left shot, good job getting back to center there from Secret. He's using these arts so, so effectively, but um, Xavier, yeah, Xavier has been keeping these games so close. Like, Secret, Secret's been starting these games out really strong, like, he had like a 50% lead at the start, but um, well that back throw killed? Xavier is this game, once again. Yeah, I mean, just... he just... Secret starts out so, so well, and I mean... It, it's, a, it's a matter of keeping it, like I said. It can be very difficult to do that against Xavier. This is not gonna be a great quarter. He's gonna be making it back, though. Ooh, can't find the outsmash. That's, like, so weird of a thing. Like, so many people are just, like... They see Shulk charging up smash, like, to cover normal get up, and they're just like, Oh, let me get up into it, and they die at, like, 30. I, I don't remember. I think I saw, like, Epic Leo die to it. Phenomenal. Uh, yeah. Into Good fourth throw. Can you find the edge guard here? No. Oh, no. Xavier dropping too low. He was so scared of that edge guard there. So are we going to see another combat? Ah, uh, we might. We might. Yeah, Potentially, we'll be the set of comebacks. Not rolling in there, good stuff. There's the buster. Yeah, he's like, combo. he's doing such a good job of getting out of the corner. Like, he's not too eager to get out of the corner to where, like, in those tight situations, he, he's gonna roll. But he's using the arts to, like, maximum efficiency to make it out of, like, this, 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 this advantageous situation. And just out of disadvantage in general. Yeah, it's so, so impressive. Great dash back right there. Is he gonna go for it? He is gonna go for it! What a phenomenal oh my goodness, great air slash. There's that, uh, I comeback. was just about to say, he might go for an air slash. It's just an nice grip. Dude, he is so, so fussy with some of these options he's going for. That was Absolutely crazy. Incredible. Great air slash there from Secret. He's going to be... I'm not going to say stealing, because, I mean, it was pretty close all game, but that was so clean from Secret there to take that game, too. Keeping it even here, it's one apiece here as we go game three, small battlefield. Um, so... Yeah, that was, that was so clean from Secret. Great, great stuff there. And but, that's the um, only really way he could have gotten, not the only way he could have gotten that kill, but in that situation, not only was yeah. it just... I mean, you want the juggle so bad, and like, he, he, he went for like a really gutsy option that first game too, so, I mean, yeah. we, we might just be, like, he's just editing these games off in like, the craziest way. You see, you're showing that he's not afraid to go out there and challenge uh, Mario. Yeah, I, I, which I mean, there's no challenge. reason to be as Shulk when you have like, Significantly larger hitboxes than him. Like this is like this is probably Mario. Uh, I can see that honestly. Yeah, I mean a lot of um a lot of Mario's talk about how hard like Shulk is. Well, again, just to show how player is. Yeah. I, I gotta say, South Jersey, what a talented region. What, so what true. Skillful, amazing. Like. Very, very underrepresented region. I'm so glad we were able to put on this event to show you guys some like the real high level talent we have down here. Absolutely, we have, we have like, Donkey we do have Donkey Kong. We have the Donkey Kong. We have the best Donkey Kong in the Milky Way galaxy. I agree. Yeah. Anyway, back to game three here. Xavier right now has Secret in the corner. 
Unable to find his way out right now though. Oh, trying to find, oh. Yeah, maybe he's been on the platform. Good job there from Secret. He stayed so, so patient. And was able to get out of the corner there. So, Xavier, yeah, Xavier, probably gonna have to find one more. Yeah, he's probably gonna be looking for an up smash in one soon. He's only at 52. I mean, he might need a big punch for it, but right now he's looking for these back air walls. Yeah, trying to find a down air. That's another great kill option he just goes for is wall down air. Or, what that? Um, that was back air up smash. That was definitely a down smash. Yeah, that, that was a down smash. He set up a tech situation um, with uh, back air and uh, got the down smash. Yeah, Mario, again, like, okay. we say that we said that this was a good matchup, but, like, Mario is just such a good game. Yeah, Mario is so, so, so good. But, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, Shulk is fine. But, you know. I mean, yeah, I can see that. With Shulk, that, Shulk is Mario very, very difficult to pilot, though, at such a high level. But yeah. Secret, Secret is... He's been using these arts so so well, which is like the hardest part of Shulk is using the arts to like their back and right there. See? Yeah, so and like he's I'm using them, so, he's that. using them so well. He's using them to escape combos. He's using them to escape the corner. He's using them to extend his advantage state. Like he just ha he has such a good understanding of how to use each individual art. And like when to switch in between. This is probably better though. Ooh, good switch there out of uh, Smash Art to avoid dying there. He, he doesn't have Smash Art, so he's not going to be able to any kill in the corner right now. Right, yeah, doesn't have arts. Oh, Great recovery. Just yeah. staying patient, but the roll from ledge, yeah. A lot of players, um, I, I was gonna say, yeah. If uh, if they're feeling pressured uh, at ledge, it's very common for a lot of players to uh, pick roll as a get up option because um, they want to get back to center as soon as possible and kind of escape that ledge. They want to get back to center. It's invincible, and also a lot of times you bring pressure, so you can turn out and attack. Yeah. So, you turn out and attack. How would that happen? What you press. You press roll? Yeah. I mean, it's it's just a really common option. Dave, you're scouting it out there. Like, everyone does it. I mean, it's, it's not yeah. necessarily like... I am not a mean. But Secret, uh, finding his first stock here. He's gonna be eating a lot of damage here, though. He's stuck in Buster for this whole juggle. Eating 74 off just up there, dude. Yeah, I know. Like, what happened to that? Start off the game strong. Yeah, Xavier is just starting to run away with this one. He has like a really big lead, but again, like, Shul can be pretty explosive, like you said. Like, we, he does have Smash Art on the table, and like, Buster can rack up damage so easily. But at the same time, like, all these arts can be. Yeah, all these arts can be used against him. Good forward up there. Smash Art forward air in the corner. Xavier not dropping it too low there. Great job. Yeah, smash out forward here in the corner is just so, so difficult to get around. Great! Another weight on the air dodge. Amazing air slash. He's gonna find a kill at 65. He's just able to be so, so early. So powerful. Yeah, Shulk, Shulk is very, very good. He might be. Yeah. This is an even game. I mean, Secret has had such good survivability. I mean, like. You can find a game pretty easily with like these big hitboxes. Uh, he doesn't have Buster on the table. He already used it earlier, so he's gonna have to wait a little bit to get like those high damaging combos. But he is fishing for that. Yeah, good, shield good shield art there. He's he's trying to avoid it down because oh, is he dead here? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, that's so unfortunate there for Secret. Gonna be air dodging here the right all stage there, and um, that's gonna be it. Unable to make it back because um. I don't know if it applies to Uppy as well, but um, when you're in speed art, uh, Shulk's jumps, he doesn't go as high. He just travels really, really fast, pretty much. Yeah, um, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it does. I, I, I think it does. Um, I think it does affect Uppy. Um, all the arts he had right there were, um, they would have uh, limited how far he could go because he also had shield, which uh, you're going to be sinking like a rock. Um, yeah, speed would make him fall faster. Yeah, speed, speed makes him fall faster, yeah. Because I, I know jump obviously makes up beat go uh, higher, but uh, and makes your jumps go higher, so I, I feel like it would make sense for yeah. speed I mean, art to... Fair trade off. You yeah. Speed and You're going faster, faster, like, horizontally, but, like, his vertical movement can be pretty hindered, but, like, you don't really need that. Like, when you're in neutral, the reason speed is so good is because you're going for, like, these short hop nares just to get, like, the first hitbox of it. Also, I was gonna say, he's already at kill for that. Yeah. Xavier is. Like, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't, I don't think that game really strong. Yeah, I don't think he has Smash Art right now though, so... Oh, that fourth match doesn't even matter! He doesn't even need Smash Art to find the kill there. Another 30 Xavier. second stop. Yeah. Just he's running just, over he's him. He's been so explosive. I mean, that's yeah, like, he's, that's he's picking these, like, the gutsy options. Like, it's just so impressive. Game 5 penny. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of hoping we can see a Game 5. This has been such an entertaining oh, set. I, I've been loving watching this. Yeah. Yes, I, I know. Oh... 
not gonna find the kill. Does not. he have jump? Oh, okay, oh. another back air there from Xavier. Yeah, I was about to say if he had jump hard, he could have made that back. Air. That back air. Xavier was uh, so fast. Yeah, it's, uh, frame six. So. Yeah, no, Mario. I, I'm pretty sure all Mario's aerials are in that like uh, yeah, four, um, five, six range. Air is frame four. I'm sure. Yeah, no, all the all his aerials are um in that four, five, six range except for uh, air, I think. Yeah. No, his arrows are very, very fast, but like, I, I mean, again, like, it doesn't really matter too much against Shulk because like, he just has such huge hitboxes to just stuff you out. And like, not only are they big, they're pretty spammable. Like, he, he has a pretty slow startup on them, in all honesty. But I mean, in a matchup where like, a character you're fighting against can fit your range super well, it's not that big. It's not that big of like, a Yeah, and the good up tilt there from Secret. That up tilt is such like a... It's such a like nobody talks about how good that upload actually. Oh, when I when I get this character in randoms, I mash that. That upload is good. And good up that oh, from Xavier though. Stick. Like I said, like he's just oh my goodness, he yo, game, he got game, he's he got game. it. Even game one game one combo off. here from Secret. He's gonna... Yeah, he's got one Buster on right now. He's going all in for it. There, down tilt. Down tilt. Yeah, find the forward air. Shield draft from Xavier. Get to that shield arc. Get to that shield arc so you don't get laddered yeah. by Mario. Oh, great Ooh, force smash, switching. waiting on the spot dodge, does he right find an edge that. Can't find the down air. Xavier fighting big damage off ledge here. This might be, this is available. Is, is that dead? it? Not Phenomenal gonna do it. DI yeah, great DI secret right now. Finding his way back to stage here. Flood could do it. Way back recovery. slightly to avoid the nair. So well, Xavier is playing phenomenally right now. Great shield art though, because you knew that air dodge was coming with the shield art. With Smash Art on? Okay, Smash yeah, I mean, Art back air is going to kill Yeah, I mean, you're going to die in one hit anyway. You might as well, yeah, but getting off the back air out of Smash. Oh, he's he's Smash, it doesn't not matter. Great, great stuff to Xavier there, putting that run up up Smash. Going to be taking it 3 to 1 here. Mario Over Secret. Fantastic set there. What a way to end off the set. That was so, so intense. What, what, a, what a great set. Uh, that was set. a great set. A I mean, again, fun set to commentate, yeah. honestly. Like I said, I mean, these wildcard picks, like I said, were uh, Embrito and Secret. And um, Secret definitely showed his stuff there. That was uh, very, very well played to him. He was using um, using his arts very effectively, but Xavier was just able to get really, really solid callouts. Like it can be, it can be so hard to kind of just avoid the callouts Mario's gonna go for as any character. So I don't, I don't blame him for getting hit by any of that stuff. But I mean, when you're in like those high pressure situations, it can be hard to see like Xavier's tail when he wants to go for up smash. Like when you're spectating, you can see like he does have that very specific tail of when he's gonna be going for those up smashes, dash dance, dash dance, dash dance, boom, boom, up smash. But when you're competing and you're in like a really high pressure situation like that, it can be hard you're to You're scared because you're in disadvantage versus Mario. Yeah, and then he just has such fast options, but... Is it off? No. Yes, it's off. Oh, it's off. That's tough. Yeah, um... I think, uh... Yeah, Ari Noodle and Vince... Are you back? Am I back? No, you are not back. Okay. Yo! Yeah, you don't get a high. Get out of here. Nobody loves you. I, I very much appreciate you saying hi, but um, I am going to have to say goodbye for a little bit. I, um, I'm i sorry. I very much appreciate commentating with you, Rainbow. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back later to uh, commentate um, the bracket portion of this tournament. But uh, thank you guys for having me. Hope you appreciated the commentary. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, OrganicRoth with a capital G, all lowercase. Um, if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to spell it, I would suggest going to Canada. Anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you guys uh, so much, and uh, yeah, yep. Am I thank out you guys. Out. We're we're right, we're both right. subbing out. We're, we're out. We're out. out. We're Ethan, out. you know what? You don't have a plug. You don't have a oh plug. yeah, I have a plug. Uh, follow me twitchtv slash rainbow streams. Follow, follow and follow Rainbow West is B on Twitter. Follow him up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna be subbing out. Um, sit where I am, Dave. So that's all I have.
you mind uh, just like putting your first uh, word? Hello? They should be able to hear us, right? Yeah, you're both on. Cool, cool. Where and does he go, Nats? Who? Where does he go, Nats? Um, into who? Like, who's he playing? Uh, Eddie. I, I think. I think Nats. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, actually. Yeah, we can see, we can see. What's his name? I believe so. Wait, we're live right now? Like, we're being nearest? Oh, okay, cool. What's up, guys? It's, uh, Davman9165. And with me, I got Blaze, you know. The fucking Kazuya on our PR. We got the FGC comm right now. FGC comm, exactly. There's really no FGC representation in Summit other than us. It's okay, though. Yeah, we, it's got this. we still know about the game, we swear. <laughs> Just uh, still setting up here, so give us a little. We don't know this player. Right? Um, I have it up in the top there. So you just swap between these. You have a player cam. Yeah. Um. And then you don't. You just have to hit start recording and stop recording when the sets are starting and ending. Gotcha, gotcha. Good luck, guys. Yep, yep. All right, so, so again. we got uh, RA versus Noodle here. Uh, this is a pretty, uh, common played matchup in South Th Jersey. It's very like, common played matchup. Very, uh, I think number two, number three on the PR? I'm not sure. Mm, they're choosing a song right now. You, can, you gotta right, get the right so song. We're starting on, uh, Small Battlefield. Yeah, Andrew probably, or RH probably does not want to take, uh, you know, to PS2 yeah, right, because it's really yeah. easy to just, <laughs> you know, the, think on. It's the classic starter, but, uh, it's also DK's best stage, so definitely don't want to even risk it. taking him there. Uh, uh, hold on. Switch the leads. Swap players. And change back to pulls round two. All right. So, um, maybe have to put two tags, and maybe Andrew might or Arya might consider uh, playing uh, Lucas too, because I know he has different tags for uh, oh, Lucas. Oh. So, or either that, or they're just not in. We'll have to see. Oh, it's Noodle himself. Shout out to Gray, uh, frozen this and also just appearing in the background for a sec. So I think it's, even though like, they're not going to start on PS2, I think it's really cool that like they actually did get the logo for, um, yeah, yeah, for really, really awesome production. No, Jason's in uh, the uh, other room. Yeah. I think uh, he's doing some last minute <laughs> adjustments to his thing. Whoa. Stop the battle. What is going on? Yeah. Alright, we got the mods on the setup, on the summit setup. Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. Alright, well. Alright, well, getting into it. You got Ness versus DK. Um, Alright, starting on um, Small Battlefield. Looks like Alright gets the opener. Alright. Change a bunch of fares. Crack about 28%, not too bad. Oh, can you keep going? The easy strings on DK. Ooh. But this is that he's talking about. He can't turn around in a second. And he's gonna look to land with a down B and it's like really good on block too. Before you even know that you're dead, Eddie is a big But um Arya's racked up a really decent amount 
100% right now, almost at like 147. That actually kills really early within like the first 40 seconds of the game. It's a really decent 62% confirm, maybe attacking a little bit more percent with the PK Thunder, but. Ooh, almost gets the kill there, but platform saves. Uh, already right there to attack, but you get a jab on. Sound Sash could do it. If Eddie gets control of the stage here. He's been off stage for a decent amount of his match, and just kind of just been controlling the stage, being, being able to just get back super easy. And Ooh, that up smash kill. actually killing! Wow. wow. And uh, looks like um, Ari definitely has like a commanding lead, one side lead with a little bit of percent, and looks like he's getting a big combo right here. Wow, wow. They continue it at 61%. He's so very. Ooh, but it's very turned on. Oh, looking for it, but can't get anything. And it just seems like he's struggling to find these hits to get in. No, it's Ness is very good at oh that eventually unfortunately killed. But yeah, Ness is very good at winning those area interactions because it looks like fair, like it's a multi hit it stays out for a while and also like it's bigger than like, you know, it's not it's intangible to an extent. Yeah. So it's very hard to deal with as like a character like the like DK, you know. Especially as DK, yeah, being really heavy. And uh, just falling into the one fair after another. Uh, you saw like you got like five in a row or something right yeah, there. There's in the last not many uh, disadvantage options you can select there. So uh, very very commanding game one. Uh, we'll see how that, what Neil does to adjust here. We're going running it back on a small battlefield. And uh, let's see if uh, we're going to get any jump for this round. Andrew's still throwing up those stairs, not being able to do with that. As DK, he's just trying to get stage control here, but uh, let's see if uh, Andrew's able to get back. He's in the corner. Ooh, he's he catches that double jump, gets the bear, and picks an early stop. Oh. A fast stock, let's say that. <laughs> 30 seconds in. Catches the attack, gets some extra credit in. Yeah, this is definitely not where you want to have DK or Um Seems like Noodle's kind of getting into the groove of things here. Um, Maybe you need just one game to warm up, you know? Yeah. You put a lot of cold hands. Nice recovery. And high recovery to actually catch that so you can get hit by the bear. Very good. Especially also not being top of the yo-yo, but then you had to go low. Very hard for DK to I feel like if DK has to go low and Ness is there, it's almost like, you know, just that big really, 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 really deal unless you overshoot ledge, you know? The Buffy, but it's an upper combo going. This area really was doing it for Arya, but Noodle finding the stock there. Stuff. Actually, winning an air for once. Most for the parry, but still getting slowed down by the bear. They're doing a lot in this matchup, and most of just Nair's air, of Ness's aerials in general, just kind of stuffing out the guy. But Eddie has reached here and uh, has a pretty good opportunity to just, you know, see, you know how DK goes sometimes. It's hard hitting heavy. Oh, for sure, for sure. Eddie just needs a little bit of maybe a dash attack to get him started. You know, there's down on the platform too, it's like so hard to approach DK there. Ooh, but I think it's caught there, didn't hold shield long enough, and um, yeah. Just gets hit, but still with the lead, but still, it's very easy for Ness to combo DK, so it's still anyone's game. So, just Noodle has a lead right now, ooh! It seems like oh. uh, Noodle really uh, figured out the rhythm of Arya's Gosh, that was a little weird though. I think maybe he had already spooked there. Because like, yeah. I, I think he, Noodle definitely could have 
swung up air there and it would have hit, but you know. Yeah, Noodle definitely having a way stronger of a presence in that game two there. Um, even though he was getting stuffed out by Feralap, um, he was able to find a lot of really good DK converts. So, nice adjustment from, from Noodle. And we got the music counter pick here, so uh, R.A. chose a, a mother song, or Earthbound song. So let's see how that helps him out a little bit here. <laughs> that's, that's so fitting. Alright, getting into this game three. Well, we're going to Battlefield this time, so small Battlefield. Let's change it up a little bit. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Again. Oh, no just in there instead of up there. Wow. Wow. Maybe it might have been a misinput or he purposely went for it to see if he was going to kill, but... Very, very... Interesting mash there. Interesting mash there, but... Ooh. Kind of like a scramble situation right now. It's down throw for a tech chase wow. down smash. Does not do it yet. What a call out there. Yeah, because you don't usually expect DK to be down there like that. Really good at Esper. Really finding the, uh... I'm just coming in every now and then the screen checking. That's hard. So Ooh. Wow, try to find that same edge guard there. But uh, can't, neither player seems to be able to get like a decent hit or combo started. As soon as I say that, of course, you know, just wow. claps him with the F smash and it's looking like a very commanding move for Noodle. Chilling down by two stops. Back there might kill? Not oh, just wow. yet. DK is Surprise pretty heavy, up. needs a lot. He looks a little bit more percent. Just gets it started. Still not dead quite yet. This is a very dangerous spot for RA because. Yeah. DK with oh, Rage, wow. you know, never has a lot of kind of deal with. Really to deal with this but he just right died now. there, so oh, no more Rage to worry about, but still in a very dangerous position. Very, very, so, uh. Um, full players. Decent option. Yeah, it's the up beat. Really fun to do as well. So, you know, using uh, the stage to his advantage a lot, using it to like, you know, avoid, a lot for movement to avoid a lot of these aerials, but looks like, oh, he's got magnet loops? That's actually very difficult to do successfully in a row, so, even though that didn't look like that much, but it looked at that, yeah. see? Yeah, that was definitely very difficult for DK to back there. But a very rough situation, and he's a 151 against DK, almost anything to kill. Noodle finding a lot of those back airs and down airs, as well as the down B in this Game three here. But Andrew's racking on these five percent gets a down smash, makes it really hard to recover. Might might, this yeah, might be it, depends on how Noodle can recover. You know, just chooses. Yeah, it's yeah, it. That's you it. can't make it back sides just to end the game there. Wow, what a. Looked like Noodle had a very commanding lead on that game, but already took it back. He's able to take it back that last stock. Was, that was pretty. Uh, if you're Eddie, then you want to rethink that. Rethink your strategies, though, even though you found a lot of good. Air to air interactions in that last game. Um, there's still a lot of adjustments to be made, obviously, since um, Andrew was able to find a lot of cheese in that game, and he's still able to do a lot with fair and necessary aerials. Mm -hmm. Just can't believe like it just took that one sequence to get uh, Noodle off stage, and then you know Down Smash just beating out his recovery every time. We'll see if uh, Noodle can make any adjustments in uh, this game for running it back to small battlefield this time. Ooh! Is everything okay? Sorry about that, we had a little technical difficulties, but while we were having that, Noodle looked like killed uh, Ari very early on. I think I'm back. That uh, but yeah, taking a very early stock lead in this uh, game four, and uh, it seems like you know doing okay, like even percent almost. You know, we're just trying to find those uh, put his way in in neutral. Did Eddie get the stock already? Yeah. Oh, sorry, just, uh... No, no worries.
Gets a bunch of down tilts. Oh, and do you see a ding dong? Yes. Yeah, wow. so two stocks within the first minute, almost, you know, great. clapping back immediately. Yeah, great for adaptation from him. Oh, that was very dangerous to be in shield break. He's really starting to uh, force Arya to play at his pace, especially when getting back from the ledge. It seems like Arya is almost like panicking, making yeah. some panic options almost, and like needles in his head right now. That aerial magnet looks good to uh, beat out that down beat, but down throw is not going to kill just yet. On stage, it's going to be very difficult for Noodle there. Arya gets the stop. And it's still doable for uh, Arya, oh, but for sure. it's very for uphill sure. balance against Noodle of all DKs, and it's also very heavy character, so it's not going to kill as early. We've seen what Arya can do with a little bit of momentum as for that game 3. And he, uh, yeah, he's shifted the momentum in one, of, in one of these games in the set too, but it's still going to be a very rough spot. But it looks like he's finding his way in Rack of the Beast. Oh, right? so wow. Fair, swiping no onto the stage, there. fake those game. But if you're Andrew, you're definitely, you're definitely a little flabbergasted. Uh, he uses a side B armor to hit, but since that wasn't on the Able ground, he did the, uh, up smash there. And we're we'll looking at uh, the stock game, but almost 100, 113 deficit. It's gonna be really hard for Arya to come back, but we've seen it like happen. All right, he's able to come back pretty successfully. It's a KK fire. fire. Oh, but he's just mass. upbeat in that. So I'm not sure the fame did exactly, but I know aerial upbeat comes out very fast for KK. So it's like a pseudo like reversal option. I mean, it's not bad to do like that. Absolutely, yeah. Especially getting out of those sticky situations. Frame four, areas. thank you, Z Boss. But yeah, frame four very fast for an aerial reversal option. The down tilt. Ooh, misses the up tilt. I think up tilt would have killed there too. Let's see how he's trying to get this spot. kill. Ooh, trades, but, but wow. fair. Wow, alright. Fair, fair trade. Definitely a really good trade for DK. I mean, Very good trade. I think uh, that was Sour Spot as well. That was Sour Spot, but you know, Ness was at like one, oh, well over like 120, 130, so. All right, we got a game five. Got a game we got a game five, five on our hands. And this is just uh, we're doing a Swiss bracket at first, so this is just proceeding at first. But wow, you know, wow. This is still very good games we're getting every single one. What a uh, what a even uh, matchup here. At first, it seemed like. That's really um, stuffed out a lot of DK's options, but uh, awesome. really finding his pace here. Let's see how he handles this. Game. I'll say definitely like on paper, like Ness does win the matchup, but like you're talking about fucking uh, or freaking uh, DK or Noodles DK, you know? And sometimes it just gets to momentum and just runs you over and just like that takes stock. We've seen heavy or takes stocks just like that, you know? But starting off this game five, going Andrew, back to Battlefield. Stay stay over here. But, uh, was able to find in the an opening, but uh, you'll find center stage again. You thought that people fire really easily. Definitely did not want to stay in that. You want to uh, try getting out as fast as possible. Wow, what a dash attack. That was such a risk. You might die for that. It's gonna be really hard to get back here. Still off stage. Oh, really makes it back, man. but catches the roll of the bear. It's the bear there. Bear. Bear. Pretty good. Who gets the trip okay. into the throw? Oh, Ooh, no. no. But, but catches him off stage yeah, with the bear. Can't it. air dodge again, yeah, so, yeah. you know, kind of trapped. If, he, if, if DK misses Ding Dong, do not press that air dodge button. He's just gonna punish you for it. Actually, no, like, you do want to air dodge so you don't get hit, but I heard, like, what you do at a high percent, if you can, is to hold up so yeah. you actually fall out of it if you get too high. You see how they throw up, you know, but also you don't want to die from the throw early, but, you know. There, that was just like a. Uh, you know, oh, wow, this is grab. The grab gets punished oh, with a bunch of off wow. it's not killing yet, air dodge. We got. Trying to get control the stage. Oh, uppy whiff. We see the punch. Parry in the okay. F smash. Not gonna do it yet, but gets to the off stage. Oh wow. Ooh, okay. Should barely, barely off it. Get back here. Oh wow. Finds the bear. Okay. 
some Arya's uh, last stop in the set. Ooh, we don't want to get able to charge punch and opening the last stop, but it's fine. Okay. This is going to be difficult for Eddie to get back here. Makes Mine's it up the aerial of the... But still going to be off stage. See if Arya's able to even it up. Okay. Ooh, he's trying to go for an edge guard, but does not get it. Wow, that fell out of the up air will up there. kill... 50% a decent amount of extra credit on Ness, especially against DK. I'm not sure what Ding Dong percent is on this stage. But oh, gets the up we might be there! Wow! Oh, wow, wow. what a Ding, ding Dong to percent. end the set! Wow, well Seriously done. That. Well done from wow. Moodle. We didn't see too many Ding Dongs in that set, but he was able to find the ones that really mattered. For sure, for sure. A very clean set, or a close set between both players, though. Wow. Wow, <laughs> Eddie really uh, bringing out all the signature moves right when he needs them. Wow, Whoa, what a great set! And that was what only that was only pools, right? Yeah, like I said, and we I think uh, the next set we'll have is um, I think they're both it's uh, brother Zoinks and uh, Alex, I think. All right, that's what they're sending out so Alex nine. I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think we'll have to see. <sighs> But yeah, can't believe that Ding Dong. Yeah. The yeah. exact percent that he needs. Well, he hit like 50% and then added a bear on top of that, but still, you know. Seemed like a pretty uh, even match. I mean, they both found really good edge guards on each other. Mm -hmm. Really good aerial strings. Ding Dong. <laughs> Ding Dong. What's up next? Um, we're sending in Wheezy Hunt. Okay. And then after that, who? And then our other stream set this round is going to be Saucy. Got, gotcha. So and so, got... Wheezy and Hunter. Wheezy and Hunter. Okay, yeah, they got their stuff. For Mario. <laughs> I'm just gonna swap to Luigi. If he... Or Paulo. I was talking to him. Probably Luigi if he sees habits. If not, he's probably staying here. Mm -hmm. He does not want to do a Palo Snake. He's scared. Yeah. Scared. Yeah, we obviously know Hunter's gonna go Snake, you know, Hunter Winthorpe, you know, the GOAT, but, um, you know, Wheezy, um, also is known for playing three different characters, he has three different matchups, he can play all, like, solid characters, say, to Luigi, Hero, and Palutena, but, um, you know, we'll see how it goes from here. I think we're still waiting for them to get up, wait, oh, no, actually. There we go. Oh, and looks like they're all set to play. Definitely, probably the best option to go Kiro in this matchup. Oh, for sure. You don't you... really want to get cl too close to Snake, and uh, of all of Wheezy's characters, is probably the best opportunity he has at doing a little zoning himself. Uh, not even that. If he's able to get um, the bounce buff self, it's gonna nullify like a lot of Snake's game plan for sure. Hunter's finding a really commanding lead on this first stock though, creating his zone with those grenades. Uh, all right, gets the accelerate. Accelerate. Is that how you pronounce it? Accelerate. <laughs> Excel accelerate. Yeah, accelerate in English. Yes. I don't even know what half heroes spells do. We get to bounce. Get some. Wow! Kaboom. Nice kaboom. Running little on mana, but you know has able harder. to bring the percent back decent enough with mm -hmm. the down B. Because menu. he has the bounce right now, he doesn't have to worry about any of the projectiles. But it just ran out, so Hunter will probably start throwing out a lot. Wow, of good grab again. mix there. Let's see mm -hmm. how Hunter tries to get back here. Makes wow, it back the, in cipher, the cipher, the cipher with the reversal it's finds a up tilt. Up tilt, close it out. Weezy had 123, but you know. Stake's not gonna approach you like that, so you know has some uh, space to you know work with. See the dash deck's coming out, shielded and punished with a grab combo. Tries to get that up tilt. The famous hunter up tilt. Uh -uh. Just gets a jab in, but I don't think Weezy's looking to get too much damage. He's just looking to get mana back since he's pretty low, or MP. It's the accelerator buff. That's going to do a lot against uh, Snake's 
recovery, but he but, finds an up tilt there, so. It's, like, very hard to control yourself, too, and, you know, snake up tilt's so huge, such, like, a strong, like, move, it just usually beats out a lot of things, so. Yep, and Wheezy finding the, uh, the bounce again, and gets a kaboom. Gets the kaboom before he can grab the ledge and get some krill off there. Wow, Ooh. tries to go for that, that hunter special. Let's not get it. Blocks the, the fully charged pair. RGP, too. Wheezy's running... A little, a little halfway, a little low on mana now, RMP. <laughs> Weezy's doing a really good job at just shutting down Hunter's attempts at zoning right now. Um, he's doing a lot with that sword, being able to find a lot of interaction. Gets a bounce, so that's going to force Hunter to really just scrap with his character. And that's not exact. Snake can do that, but that's not exactly his strong suit. It's a psycho. That's going to be dangerous. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties for game audio. We're getting gray up here in a sec. Sorry about that. We should just like make the sound effects ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be, be a little too much, but um. It'll also be a really loud uh set with just all these explosions going off. <laughs> Hunter's able to bring it back here. Let's see. Oh, wow, the up smash. The I smash covered the. the try the supposed read on that uh, jab, but ooh! It it's gets an up tilt trade. Wow. wow. <laughs> really even game one there. Really even game one. It really could have gone either way. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll be right back. Try to get Gray to fix the audio, so. Alright. Never mind, he's, he's on it. He's on the job. Well, let's see. We're going to small bath here, it looks like. And we, uh, we got some bangers on this. Uh, Interesting pack, uh, so. counter pick. We got a lot of songs. Is it an interesting counter pick, you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I guess Hunter is looking to create a little bit more space. I mean,. Well, I don't know if he's going to stay hero. He also might switch to Luigi. True. Very true. So. He's got a decent resume of characters that he can choose from if he didn't really mm -hmm. feel that he played that game. So he plays three different play. characters, all like at the same level. That was a really close game one, however, so just a few adjustments he could make, and most likely he could take this game too. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Kind of just does not seem like a fun matchup for Snake with that bounce. Yeah, but as soon as bounce is gone, you know, it's very hard to I feel for here to deal with. Switch is just like a sword character. Yeah. And like it's very easy for sword characters to pop the grenade like in shield or even on hit, you know, it's very seems like you get interrupted. But it seems like he's gonna stick hero. All switching through all the colors, choosing a nice one. And we got um. I forget which. Nice. I forget which uh, hero that game is from. My fault. But I think I think, uh, I think it's eight. I'm not yeah, sure. Eight. One, go. Yeah, started on small battlefield this game two. Who does not get anything off that throw because the grenade interrupted. But um. Alright, Hunter taking the control of the stage. Puts him really, off, uh, puts himself, yeah, balls the edge guard, puts him back off stage, puts him center stage again. Finds up, confirms off these grenades, racking up a decent amount of percent, oh, but, wow. you know, Kaboom also racking up percent right back, using a little heal to, uh. Oh, and this side be almost killing, you know. Oh, gets the bounce out with the small amount of mana that he has. He's gonna be forced to really scrap with this character. But um, at the same time, he gets kill off stage. Wow. Hero had no mana there, but he you know, eventually gets a fair, he does kill. Now he's accelerate to you know, chill a little bit. Slow the pace down a little bit, get some Try to find an opening, but also push someone to get hit. He was looking for a grab confirm, but uh, you know, Hunter's movement, you know, a little tricky. So. Back throw Nikita, see, oh, gets the zoom, they recover back. He's able to punish, but you know, they use mana. But it seems like he's just not okay with like being low on the key in this matchup. Yeah. 
Oh, Koopa, kill, up tilt did kill there though. We were at a two stock game, but oh, it, it's um, invisible. But the psych up is showing where he is though, <laughs> unfortunately, so he doesn't help as much. Oh, but gets a bear, but protects the stage. Back on stage. Um, ooh, there's a buff right next to the stage. Like, to grab punch it on the stage. He tries to get an up confirm with the bear, but pushing too high there. Wow, wow. Oh, my God. oh, the up air killed, yeah. The grenade did pop, so it does like stop a little bit of the momentum of the up tilt, but um, I think the oomph also came yeah. there, so. Oh, tries to go for an early flag, but it does not kill. Not luckily. <laughs> oh, wow, it's a crit, though. Talking about luck right now. It's a crit right there, even up the percent pretty quickly. Easy really bringing it back this game too. Finding those adjustments that he needs to really shut down. Oh, gets a psych up, tries to go for wow, a Wow, what, a, what an attempt. He had that read. He still has a psych up though, but running a little Covers the Nikito with the zoo. But it was the weak hit Nikito, so. Still okay. Running real low, goes for a top deck there. Metal Slash does not work, but he's able to get past the Nikito Buffy. Down, oh, F throw, Nikita. Very rough situation. Oh, gets the Just zoom again, zoom. though. Try to find that up tilt. I mean, at this point, he's he at 160, so gets that back there. But does have that, that uh, confirmed grab. But he's back on full mana, using all his spells. Second hero. He gets a bounce. It's gonna be really hard for Hunter to deal with. But it looks like off stage situation oh, here. Take the stage here. the first time in this whole game too that Hunter's had this amount of win. Ooh, and the wow. strong hit Nikita will wow. not do it just no yet. yet. But, oh, and they able nice to recovery. really avoid that one, but... If you're that easy, I you need to calm down and just take the control back here. Oh, the grenade, the grenade kills though. Wow. 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 Hunter was pulling able to even pull out another crazy comeback from the end. Wow. Hunter's pretty good at doing those comebacks like that. No, uh, he is. He goes in like Hunter mode. That's what I call it. Yeah. Where like, he sees like he's at last stop. He sees like, like his health his percent is red. He's like, all right, time to go. Hunter if, mode. if Hunter just had played with one stock, if it was just like a handicap where he starts out with one stock, he would just be unstoppable throughout the whole No, like set. true. Was, like he only needs that one stock. He does. <laughs> Yeah. Also, like, against, with hero. against Snake, too, it's just, like, very hard to, like, get in on him sometimes. You just keep getting hit by all the explosions while chasing him, you know? Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, sticking with Hero, going into game three, back on small battlefield. Yeah, let's see. I, I still think that Hero's a useful choice for this matchup, even though those last two games didn't show the way he wanted. It seemed like he was in control throughout the most of the duration of those two games. Mm -hmm. But Hunter, like we said, was able to pull out that last stock. Like, the last stock Hunter is legendary. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, talk about the matchup. I think Hero actually does well just because of balance. I know like last mix means do not like balance because it just completely nullifies the game then, but Oh my the C4 god! The C4 kills both of them! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Very unfortunate timing. Uh, you know, Hunter tries going for a uh, grab, uh, maybe tech group chaser there or something, but uh, C4 is where you see the one killing both of them. Uh, one was a star KO, one was a... <laughs> the street KO, yeah. Street KO. Yeah. What a funny moment, but yeah. <laughs> even game, almost even percents right now. Yeah, the bear and the bear are doing a lot at, uh, to sneak off. As the oom buff's gonna hit a little hard, goes for a hatchet man, but... Not close, and Hunter does not want to yeah, do that. Mana, so Goes for the jab, but you know, who catches the. Nice coverage. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, and nice. Would it have made wow. it otherwise? But uh, doesn't matter. Unfortunately, See what Weezy's able to do. Here. I don't know what to do. 
Oh, we tried to use the up to maybe destroy uh, the, the cypher, but it's not getting oh, it. Oh, gets the shield like break. Okay. Charges up the neutral beach. Looking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just say, like, don't look for a spell. Yeah. With a fancy spell. Just close it out. See but, it. Yeah, if you're wheezy, especially in that position, you're just gonna look Gets bounced right after, so. Hunter can't really throw out explosions right now, so Hunter has to, like, kind of go in. Play some GPC. But looks like he's it's working out right now. And successfully start out bounce, so we are gonna last off kind of throwing out everything. Getting those grenade points on is like super easy. Punches the jab there, goes for the edge guard. See what the option is. Okay, able to get back with the side B. With down throw. Ooh, oh, wow, goes for the same option there. But uh, Luigi's able to roll. Ooh, goes for a dare. Hail Mary dare, but not get it. Ooh, running Ooh, a little low on mana. Recovery from Weezer. You're low on mana here, so it's gonna be difficult. Still very deal with a hero can just pull shit out of okay. his, uh, you know, out of his menu. Out of his menu very easily. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, man. Spell. Man, what an overcommitment there. He just really believed he had the uh, oomph, yeah. really wanted to just yeah. close out the game. He was but really going for whiffed, it. And at that percent, F tilt will kill you. So unfortunately, Hunter oh, will go up. Nice 3L from Hunter here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it seemed like uh, it would have been pretty doable for Hunter. For, Weezy's hero, but Hunter's with that last off, like we said, like he's able to just pull those stocks out. Good stuff from Hunter. Alright, and it looks like on deck we will have Alex yeah, one sec. and Brother Zoinks. They're all setting up still, so give us a little sec. I'm Sauce. I'm Sauce. I'm Brother Zoinks. I'm Sauce. So it's gonna be um, PT, PT Steve. Yeah, I think that that's really the matchup. Um, you know, Steve is legal at the summit, so of course A9 is gonna play uh, Steve or Alex. Course, sorry, he plays course. Alex skin because his name is Alex. You know. Of course. The number one player I'm on sauce. the SJPR. I'm, I'm sauce. sauce. I'm literally sauce. We're getting invaded by sauce. I'm sauce. <laughs> but um. What a character. But yeah. Huh, what a guy. I'm sauce. But also, like I said, Alex number one on the SJPR this past season. You know, oh, with Steve. Definitely a very scary opponent. To I play. was playing a little bit with Alex earlier, and uh, he's putting a lot of pressure on himself at this event he really wants to prove himself and really make a statement as to why he is the number one player mm -hmm. uh, he really wants to take this tournament but uh in in putting all that pressure on himself he's playing um really nervously you think uh, so i know so. you were playing him in friendlies earlier yeah, yeah. We, we sesh a lot like we sesh probably the most like last season we grinded really hard him and i and uh he's he really wants this he really wants this win so, let's see if uh, he's able to pull it out here. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. He typically does pretty well against PT. I know he played um, Tristan P. Yo, what the fuck am I thinking? Let's go, boys. Come Yo, on. Yo, what's up? What's let's up, go, bro? Let's go. What's up, let's bro? Go. I'm winning this event. Yeah. Woo! <sighs> that was right. uh, Eni just showing up. But yeah, they're getting into he's it. He's hype. He's hype. Yeah, he historically does um, pretty decent against PT. I mean, I don't know how he does against Sauce, but... I think Sauce is able to really uh, pull out some decent wins here in South Jersey. No, Sauce is actually like really good, player. really good PT, no, for sure, for sure. As much as we like to joke about, you know, like the Sauce up B or mm -hmm. stuff like that, very good player. Despite how they do in Cruise too, you know, yeah, yeah. singles they do great. They're all right. They be fine. They be fine. Sauce's advantage state is just really dominant. It's one thing that I know about playing this player is that like once. 
once Toss gets like a decent lead, like he does not let like, us. Right? It's okay if you have, because I have. Okay. Hit stop and restart, because it just helps with the bond. Gotcha. And I'll, I'll start it when they play. Yeah, it's all recorded anyway, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so, cause it's all on screen. Yeah, but it helps. I, I, it helps because I don't have to drop it because that's what most of my time is. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I, that's my fault, man. No, don't worry. This, yeah, this of course. is the last one for this round. Yeah. Okay. And then people swap off. Gotcha. I believe. Nice one. <laughs> it's fine. They'll still have the Twitch VODs, but, uh. No, yeah, that's not the same. Oh, doing some uh, technical difficulties with the player cams, fixing it a little bit. You know, it looks like a nice, yeah, handsome young man. And sauce is, it's like a handsome sauce. Sorry, their brother's oinks right now on start.gg, so. Massive brother's oinks. Uh, I can't wait to see what kind of speed that uh, Alice is gonna pull out here. I think he's gonna, you know, do what works, right? Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, except the, I guess it's broke because it's banned, but, you know, not here, not here. Um, I just saw a, a me for some reason, I don't think Alex is going to me, but... Excuse me, Ooh. I'm assuming PT does like semi well to Steve. Since they're pretty well rounded obviously, but uh Steve! Alex going to King here. I like to see it. The King mod. That's his skin. King. That is his skin. That's a skin that he uh, uses a lot on uh, the setup that he has and also plays his setup. But yeah, Fallen Kingdom Steve, yup. You already know. That is he used skin. to rule the world. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't turn out that way for our king in South Georgia here. Yep. Right. Looks like we're almost getting into it. Pokemon trainer. All right, we're getting into it. Good luck to both players. Let's see how they do. Wow. Sorry, on small battlefield this time One. also. Interesting uh, start here. Maybe it has something to do with uh, the materials that Steve uh, Possibly, mined. Yeah, because I know anyway, Steve does really well with PS2. Getting into it, starting with a 47% lead in the opening seconds, but, you know, full streak of players figuring out neutral right now, but, you know, when Steve gets one hit, like, especially Steve with like, a jab. Steve with those auto combos, like. <laughs> Would you consider Steve like, a, like those stupid FGCs? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, these combos look so seamless, right? But there's actually a lot of information behind it. No, for sure. It's definitely like no one can just pick up teeth. Well, I mean, like, you have to like, put in the work for that, for sure. Absolutely. Oh, I know the sauce really likes going for that. That's trap there. It's a high smash. It's a TNT on that ledge. Kind of going to direct the camera away from the action a bit, but. Ooh, yeah. gets an early kill with that upbeat that it's. Sauce, uh, like it's I said, he's able that. to really, um. Pushes his advantage stage really well. But getting into a second shot, puts it out off stage. Finds a way back to center stage though. Still a very close game, you know. Gets. So you can easily get a kill here and then, you know, build to a better material. I'm surprised cool. how, how much Alex is approaching. He gets the side B, but he's not really camping like that. Tries to charge into F smash after that sequence, but gets interrupted. But that was like a decent 72% racked on very quickly. Yeah. Okay, that that was like, like, just happened. Like, yeah, like 127 already. <laughs> For the throw, there doesn't get a good throw off stage, but you know, there's a lot of good options to get it back on stage. Oh Which wow, the good read there, but lifts the ground. Ooh, he's able to punch that F smash too. Classic Ivy F smash from Soul. 
it's such like, a huge range, yeah. so like, I don't understand really why. Really the down smash actually bounced uh, on that back to the same direction, but... Uh, oh, this is the, um, the side Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think Sauce meant to do that. It's spiked, but he's able to recover. Avoids the anvil, gets back center stage. Powered minecart, though. The great equalizer. <laughs> Sometimes. Still very doable for Sauce, though. He has to just... Oh, oh wow. What a, to say if he closed out that stock early, yeah, but a little bit of a uh, the eye on that one. Wait, well, yeah, Enon will take the first game on that. Good stuff from Alex. He's finding his pacing a little bit here. I know he's playing really nervous, it's approaching like an absurdly amount for a steep player. But that that minecart. Obviously doing a lot, especially in this matchup. He's able to really find those combos and kills just off those stray minecarts. You know, you can kind of just throw him out. He doesn't really lose anything. The risk-reward is really good for him. Oh, very, very good. Sorry about the game audio. We're going to try getting uh, Jason up to fix it in a sec. But getting into game two... All right. So oh, finds the grab. See, so getting a lot of combo opportunities off that down throw. Oh, but catches the air dodge there too off that combo. And kind of in a scramble situation right now, getting just a few straight hits. So he catches the, I was with the uppy, but not able to firm off that. So they're both just kind of getting straight hits right now. Not really. Yeah, kind of a strange big. neutral going on right now. But um. Sauce is definitely taking more percent right now, though. He's... But still, you know, still like an even game to an extent. Still racking up a little bit more percent on him or on them, but... Wow. Wow, the dare will kill He's them. He's able there, to though. find those dares really easily. Sauce playing Ooh. Charizard here. A good Not, switch. Yeah, really good switch. To get out of there. Charizard a little too big. Gets hit too easily yeah, by Steve, I feel like. Steve, yeah, you're going to get comboed like, to high hell. But also opts to switch back to Ivysaur, I guess, for just... I don't know. I feel like Ivysaur is somewhat better neutral just because, like, the disjoint on the aerials. Yeah. Also, you know, heavier than Squirtle. You do not want to die in early either, so... Yeah, and uh, it seems like Sauce does really well in advantage with this character. Like, he's able to find, like, a lot of up Bs and those, those aerials, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's the down, down air. No, uh, no combo after that. I was thinking maybe he'd get the kill. Mm-hmm. He's not in a very high percent though. Very. Wow. Ooh, the F smash will yeah. catch that option. Classic sauce option. You're right. He said that the last time, and it didn't work out last time. But it worked out that time. Classic sauce options. I'm sauce. <laughs> I'm sauce. Yeah, right now. Ooh, trying to okay. feel out. The neutral right now gets hit with diamond, hurting all of, uh, is that diamond, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he does have diamond. <sighs> but Sauce is able this to get is a, a little bit of a rougher stage for Steve because he's forced to have like a lot of wood, obviously. But um, also, like Axe gets used while mining, so the durability for that um, like gets used up. Exactly, so... yeah. So that's something you have to consider when you're. Playing Steve. Also, like, just playing against Steve, too, you know? Just the exactly. counter picking options. Ooh, wow, another that, he's dare. He's able to just get kills just by throwing out that anvil. Anvil is just so big, such a strong move, you know? You touch yeah. it. Ooh, and oh, wow. get stuck with Squirtle. I was gonna say, the S smash hit, that might have actually, you know, maybe killed, yep. who knows? Yeah, the auto combo on that one. But, um, yeah, Sauce B. That's what I like to call Oh, wow. Uh, Squirtle B. But gets another F smash, it's. Or F smash at ledge with Ivysaur. Ooh! He gets the dare. Catches the dare afterwards. He even stocks. Okay. So that's pushing the advantage yet again. Ooh, catches almost all of uh, Enon's recovery options, but Enon's able to get back on. Get back. There's a reversal. Gets the diamond. Build diamond. Now this these, is, uh, uh, it's going to be a lot harder now. Yeah, these attacks are really going to hurt. It's another piece of iron. Oh, but catch them in there. I'll be in that will kill. It. I'm sauce. <clears throat> sauce doing really well, pushing that advantage state, like I said. Like, 
he gets a couple hits, and it's just like, what do you do against that? You know, like it's like, especially against his Ivy, like he, he covers, covers so many, many recovery options. options. No, for sure, for sure. That's very yeah. great quality about Sauce's gameplay. Yeah. It looks like we're gonna go back to PS, or we're going to PS. You're not back to it. Uh, this is A9's pick. I already know. Music, yeah. <laughs> this is A9's pick. I was gonna say yeah, A9 loves the under Undertale music, so. Yeah, we're not gonna see any switches here. Pokemon trainer. Sticks with the king? Gonna switch to Alex? Oh, okay. We thought about it. Here. If the audio issue happens again, apparently it happened again. Mm -hmm. Just go here, you right click the Elgato S plus mm -hmm. with properties, and then you swap it off something real quick. Let's hold it back on. Click back and All right. then just hit OK and it'll right. come up. Uh oh. He lost the, the game. game. Why is it not there now? Where, that where, wasn't supposed to where be. Where did the game go? That wasn't supposed to be funky. Sorry, stream. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We're back now. Apologies, something weirdly happened, but um, sorry we're starting off this game a little late, but looks like Sauce actually has a lead here, it switches off the charge item, has Alex on a high percent, the block saves him there though from that yeah, fair, that's lovely. Man, those, those smash attacks at ledge, really covering a lot, like, I'm surprised he's able to find so many, he's like, even with different characters. No, true, he has, but also, like, I've noticed that um, Sauce is sticking to Ivysaur too. I feel like Ivysaur might be the move for this match. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, oh, it gets no. another kill. Maybe that looks like Sauce DI a little, but still, you know? Yeah. It was very quick. I'm sure E9 wasn't prepared for it. And a very quick um, 3 to 1 stock game here. Yeah. Just kind of spamming my card play. Yeah, he's able to get kind past of, he's kind of playing a little short right now. I mean, this is, this is the most commanding lead we've seen in this set so far, so, let's see if, let's see if, uh, Alex tries to do, uh, some, uh, Steve camp strategies here, maybe that might be the play. Mm -hmm. But Sauce did switch to Charizard, so it's a little different to deal with. Okay, he's going for the rush, and he didn't even set it up correctly. Cool, catches that up here with up smash, but gets him with a bear. And still pretty doable, but has a lot of work to do, is yeah, the only thing. No diamond deck either. Does have the gold though, if he's able to build um, and right. craft. Uh, Ooh. Here, maybe. All right. Maybe death? Okay, Ooh, messes it. up slightly, but that's still a very decent amount of percent. Oh wow, tries a little S match of his own. Let's see with Bear, this is a very scary spot. Charizard, are, you know, very hard hitting character. Yeah, he's gonna be looking for those kill offs now. Ops to go and just build right now, like he doesn't need to right, realize it's, it's a battle on death. Got a lot of stun. Dash attack, they're getting off stage. The uh, up B, you know, make it a little harder, racking on a little bit more percent. He's able to grab punish that at F tilt. And rebuilds diamond tool. Right, Ooh, nice. he catches! Nice so I was trying to break the roll there. Right Usually, you know, Alex backs up and waits, yeah. but you know, okay. that time, when he needs to get to confirm off of the minecart, when we'll be able to get 36%. If you're A9 right now, you do not want to let up on this gas pedal. He's getting a lot of momentum, getting those nice combos. Ooh. Almost gets that kill there. And nearly dodges the, or dodges the up B as well, but he's still alive, but he gets Charizard. Very scary okay. character. Yeah. Ooh, oh my god. So close. Good. Oh my god, it goes for the rush. It's gonna get it! Oh, oh my god! My gosh. So, just if uh, Sauce were not to tech that, they would have been. Yeah, that was a tech man. But, because he's can react to that, they can just wow. smash the tech. Wow. That's just an unescapable situation there. He is. He is. So, doesn't matter if you miss a tech, doesn't matter if you tech, you just. What a get great hit play. Die. What a great play. Yeah, I, it, I guess Sauce hasn't been hit by that in a while because. Yeah, because if you see it coming, like, well, I can, can't even say that because Alex is able to set that up really, really fast. I mean, like, like before you know, know coming, a lot. Like, Blaze and I play with uh, A9 a lot, and um, he 
yeah, the thing is, like, we, we've we got hit by it so many times, we almost see it coming, so every single time we see that block face like, right over that ledge, you know? Yeah. It's very fishy. We're like, nah, we're not going yeah, there. Yeah. That's very fishy. We don't want to be there. Because stuff like that can happen. Yeah, and, you know, Sauce was playing the set with really um, wanting to control that position on the platform there, and that's, like, the perfect range to get hit by that. <laughs> I don't think he'll be able to win that normal though. Yeah, but now, now that we've seen it, you know, mm -hmm. everyone out of here better look out for that. Yep. It's deadly. Don't get grabbed. You just die either way. <laughs> Getting into game three. Back on small or no, back regular battle this time. I'm surprised. Um, Alex left this one. Like, this, this isn't the best stage to see. Because I think he mines with pickaxe too, right? Yeah. But it looks like he has a commanding lead right now. Oh, gets the oh, but up smash is not really good. And it seems like Alex is slightly more willing to build, right now. or like you know, get his materials, build walls, play it slower. Seems like Ivy's able to deal with walls pretty decently, but Alex finding the F smash there. I mean, he has gold right now, so Sauce has to be careful because uh, his aerials are extremely fast and really good on block as well. Give him a He's struggling to get back on stage at the moment. Oh, he's able to. Yeah. He's a top platform to land. Alright, it seems like uh, Alex is really getting into this. So far in this game, uh, Sauce has a but is it able to get an air dodge read after that dare and also situation? Ooh, down smash flank or something. The, uh, oh, no gets, kill there. Hit again, yeah, but you know, not high enough percent to kill, but you don't take it. What? Anyway, oh my but, god, he, did you see what happened? He delayed that F smash with the, with the crafting table. He was able to, to have his hitbox linger out there and gets the kill. Just because of the hit stun. Wow, the this is a table. really dominant game. But we have an up throw killing on the platform there, so not entirely over for Sauce yet, but you know, a lot of work has to be done here. Yeah, absolutely. But I think Sauce is a very momentum based player too, so I think if they can get something started, you know, they can definitely close it out. But well, Alex is able to kind of break his combos there with the uh, anvil as, as well as side B. So. But you gotta like also remember, every one time Alex is using like side B and anvil, he's losing that iron. Like, look, he just. He has no more iron right now. So he has to go mine for that stuff. And you're saw taking advantage of that right now. No kill there. No kill, but still an offset situation here. Ooh, F smash. Seems like, uh, blocked. finally that, uh, ledge trap has, uh, been dealt with. Ooh, and, uh, saves himself with the wall. The wall. I thought that was gonna kill on the other side as well, but Ooh, so into the TNT. Oh, oh no! But unfortunately, yeah, just short on recovery with Charizard, Charizard on that one. Started off that set a little bit shaky, but it seems like he's really starting to pick play it. Into his playing up. Right now. Mm -hmm. like he's starting to pick up the pace, definitely. Mm -hmm. Let's go, kid. Good shit. To pick yourself up. Game three was looking rough. But yeah, great, great games from uh, both players, though, for sure. All right, hold on. So there are no sets to be played right now. Mm -hmm. We're gonna just come down.
Okay, there's the over there. Cool. Yeah. Hmm? I... Is this supposed to be connected to your iPhone? No. It just connected to Jason's iPhone. I'm gonna turn off my iPhone. Yeah, sure. Mm. There he is. Oh, I know how to like do all that. Waiting for him. Yeah, I'm already lying. But, um. I would say. I would think for DK, if anything, he goes to Green Beast. Green Beast, nah, he's. He's prideful enough to say when he's saving it for winner's round. For Grand's winner's round, he's staying it for yeah. Grand's winner's side. Although I do want to see it. I do want to see it. It's. I mean, I've played it. It's, it's Incineroar. It's different. Did you see that Catastrophe? Yes, I did. Yeah. I saw the clip against Aria. Sheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Firo starting off with the lead. Yeah. Um, so in prior results, uh he's just kind of he's had like mixed like success, especially in this matchup. I mean they played it a ton of times. Uh Noodle does have experience against Hateo. But um basically like Eddie does have experience in this matchup, but he's definitely done it before. Uh, it kind of really depends on how serious he today. Yeah. Like, it, on paper, Palutena does win this matchup, so Noodle's already fighting an uphill battle from the start. But as you saw, uh, he started off with a big deficit, deficit, it was like 150 to 50, but even those stocks up real quick. Mm -hmm. Now, again, with a deficit, but that advantage state is going to work if you were DK Shine, so if you can get those early stocks, then that's it's going to be yeah. hard for Spirit to make up. Cover throw down throw does work on Palo. Okay. And then, on top of that, like, what I'm really surprised I never see Spiro do. Spiro's a relatively aggressive player, but like, oh my god, can you get up on the Slap, slap up smash. Slap, slap up smash. And that's what I was saying about those early stocks, those aggressive stocks from Noodle. Like, again, he was down, he got that opening, and all of a sudden he's a lead to play with. Yeah. Like, I know he's down now, but I really never see Spiro abusing, like, DK's kind of, like, bad movement sometimes. Like, he, his ground speed and his, like, aerial speed aren't the greatest, and I feel like he can really be abusing that with, like, auto radical. Or, like, just, like, just controlling Spiro's fair a lot more often. For sure, he, he's been going in, like, with these nares, these fares. And... It's gonna be still even. It's been a lot of these two players hitting each other hard back Ooh. and forth. Go through the setup. Go, go low. Oh my goes god, he was a little too late. Goes for the dare, but doesn't get it. They're scrapping. They are scrapping. I think uh, it's like either 10 or 20% more until uh, Spears and Dingdock or something. I forget the window off the, off the top of my head. But it's generally around like 60 yeah, 70. to 70. -ish. If he gets like that like down tilt to the first One more hit, like, and then he should be percent Wow. It this explosive play off the top. Great air dodge from Eddie. He's living that. But he needs to get back onto stage. Yeah, he, now he's got to land his DK. <laughs> <laughs> and even with Palutena's amazing juggling. But he does get down. Great jump down. from Spiro. Oh my goodness. That's just such good situational awareness. Instead of going for an untrue combo, or a potentially untrue combo that wouldn't kill even if he hits it, he instead waits out that option that Eddie wants to use to get out of the combo. Mm -hmm. They're going back to PS2, looks yeah, like. Yeah, back to PS2. Eddie just likes this uh, stage all around. He just gets earlier ding-dongs with it. Like, it allows him to play to his game plan a little bit better than something like Small Battlefield. He's told me that it's DK's best stage. So, yeah. he, I'm sure he's happy to go to it. Everyone in SJ will agree with you. Uh -huh. we, we've all we've all felt it at least once. <laughs> and I wonder if it's... Is it good for Palutena, or if Spear is just going to out of, like, Asher or whatever? As we get into Game 2 here, like... And his game plan so, like, revolves so much around him being in the corner. And just, like, trying to get to his one interaction, whether it's, like, down to it, just ball grab, from a lift punish. And that, it comes just... to, like, run back in. Yeah, and Eddie's game plan comes from him being able to uh, capitalize on that advantage state and get squeeze as much out of it as he can. It, it makes sense, considering, like, think about how, like, DK's, like, like bad stats in this game. Like, he's big, he's heavy, he has a susceptible recovery just getting gimped, edge guarded really hard. And if he's able to just play to a more defensive uh, style, to where those bad defensive qualities aren't coming out, that just makes him, like, that just makes his neutral better, that makes his whole game plan much easier to play around. For sure. Because he doesn't have to worry about, like, DK's bad traits if he's not playing to them. But, I guess the back air, it's gonna be the first stock, and this isn't as back and forth. Uh, I, do I eat my words? Yeah, I eat my good. words. Yep. <laughs> Uh, it is as back and forth as it was last game with, uh, with Spiro chipping away slowly at his stock, and then Eddie just ding dong him, getting that super early stock. That's just how DK yeah, plays. Paolo does, uh, have that hard time killing, where it's like, Eddie, Eddie's win condition is just, like, always there once you get past, like, 60. Mm-hmm. So, 
But I mean, you see a lot of here is just spear. Who's gonna have to work very hard to get to a good condition, as like a lot of top tiers do in this game. Mm. And we, it was, it's a lot of chipping for Spiro. He has to, if he takes any big risks, that's just playing right into Eddie's hands. But instead, he has to like slowly take these safe options that'll get slowly get damage, and then hope he is able to just not get blown up. Yeah. Like, he, outside of like at very early percents, like how does really get that much when, in terms of combos? And ends up coming a lot of stray hits and like mm -hmm. to your opponent's positioning. So <laughs> look, we're just standing yeah. there. But Ooh. that. What you're saying is is 100% correct. It's that oppressive advantage state where she needs to get the most yeah. mileage out of it, with a lot of like option coverage and being able to kill with uh, things like down tilt, back air. Oh yeah. Oh, he goes for the down air again. He could get cheese here. Oh, Mr. goes on Grab. stage. That's smart. He if he tried to go to the ledge, he could have just gotten cheese off stage. But instead, yeah. he take he goes on stage, takes the hit. But at the end of the day, taking hits better than dying. But yeah, this is a game about stocks, not percent. So like, oh my god, oh. barely the grad just doesn't hit. That would have, yeah, maybe even the stock. Yeah, that was a little too far away. She hurt boxes. Yeah. Getting yeah, prop right back up. That's BK's just. Wow, yeah. I did not expect him to hit that down tilt. I thought Eddie was too low beneath stage. It looks like it, but it connects. There's that vanish state securing the stock. Game two going to Spiro. This might be a quick 3-0. Yeah, Eddie is Depends. by no means playing bad, but Spiro is just, he's just taking stocks yeah. first. He's winning games. When he's not like, I think he's not getting comfortable on his own counterpick now, which is now a very dangerous position to be. Mm-hmm. So like, he's been going to BS2 because it is his best, yeah. his best stage. But if Spiro is comfortable enough, then you know it's doesn't matter if it's his best stage. They are going back. I'm just constantly giving Bonnie all the best ones. Uh, is there anything to get sold on the game audio? Or like... Um, it's hard. Three, two, this one, is actually the running go. audio. There. I don't know how to get the parts of theme audio to come out. Alright, going to game three. Um... Yeah, I feel like every single opening, just like Spiro gets into like ledge, and that's kind of like he's at worse from there. He either like Eddie gets his ding dongs, and then like he's able to bring it back, and Spiro just keeps pressing. If those ding dongs are basically Eddie's saving grace, if he is not getting those ding dongs, then he's having yeah. a lot of trouble just kind of making up a difference. Yeah, it's just like he just has to find his kills in another way, which can get really difficult. Mm -hmm. Like, having yeah. having a kill confirm off a of grab is so nice, and he has confirms at those higher percents where Ding Dong is no longer an option, like the slap uh, down B up smash. But it's just harder to find. Yeah, it's harder to find because it just it's more like you can no longer play to an RPS or like a whiff punish. It's more telegraphed, uh, Spiro. It's easier to avoid. It's no longer an RPS like grab. Yeah, just the high. It just becomes a higher risk uh, to the same reward. So. Just gets mad at me. Yeah, we're just seeing kind of Eddie with the lead. Yeah, it is true. Um, Spiro. Spiro's usually the, been the one taking stocks first, but there it is. It uses up. That's how pretty much every game's been going. But it, been able to get a huge lead. What I like to see from Eddie is he's playing a little bit more towards, like, keeping seven in this matchup. It just. Overall, not as much playing towards, like, being under the plat and turtling and just waiting for his opponent to try to contest the space. But instead, like holding the center, putting like putting out buttons to like put pressure on where Spiro is putting himself. Yeah, you said that that he was playing from the corner, which may may be a viable game plan, but Spiro just shows he knows how to deal with it, how to work around it. Was that Nash is have to really good Nash? <laughs> Yeah, I... For sure, both... Both of them... Spear is playing so safe. He's not taking any risk at all, and 
Eddie swing big, but he's gonna get caught by that explosive flame. I feel like that stock was so important for Spear to get because Yeah. That that there it is. It's the first time either player's had a big lead throughout pretty much the whole set. Yeah, a lot of the sets have been so so close. It's like crazy. These are two amazing players in our region. Spiro has Spiro hasn't been coming out as much as he used to. Yeah, he just got the game to do. Yeah, but he's showing that like he still got it. Yeah, he definitely still has it. Mhm. Mm but yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like three like, three owing noodle is no easy task. Mm -hmm. And while while the games were close, at least one two were. Yeah. It felt like Spiro was in control for yeah, a just, large chunk yeah, of it. He understood that he needed to play to keep in control of control constantly over and over. So like, and he just luckily didn't really, he always had it in like game one where he found it, like a problem killing, but other than that, he was just completely fine. I mm -hmm. think you're muted. I think your mic fucked up. But like, Which one of us is muted? Is oh no. That is it. Is it the battery life? You liar ones. It's warm. Yeah. Yeah. Deals me out. Vince A9 now. Alright, yeah. Next up, we're gonna be having Vince A9, which is very, very intriguing at least. That's These gonna be a hot set, so but we saw them playing friendlies earlier mm -hmm. before this started, and it was close. So, last PR season, a lot of people don't know this. I'm pretty sure they were like either 6 and 6 or 7 and 7 in sets. They played so many times last. PR season. Like these two have gone back and forth. It's mostly been in Ani's favor as in the more recent months, just and Vince has been having a harder time like form rate like formulating a game plan around the Steve. Like he's gotten definitely a couple of characters against A9. I think he's mostly been selling on Sephiroth for, for, <clears throat> for Steve, but I could see his cloud coming back out for like a Joker. Uh, I think Sephiroth is a very safe bet. It's a good matchup yeah. against Se Steve. It's one Sephiroth of Steve's worst. Sephiroth is probably a safe bet. He has been playing a lot of Cloud, and Cloud is like notably a good, like good counterpick into Steve. Like... Yeah, I'm a little curious about which one he goes to because he already brought out the Sephiroth against Hamburrito. <laughs> yep. Um. Also a good matchup against Puff, but. He, the Sephiroth is already like a little bit warmed up. I wonder. Yeah, I could definitely see him more practiced in the cloud, I believe as well. Depends on what he was playing downstairs. I wasn't watching yeah. all that much. I think he was actually playing Roy, which is really surprising. I know, I know he's talked about like how the neutral isn't really that bad in the matchup. It's mostly just disadvantage being like horrible because he just gets edge guarded super, super easy. Ugh. Excuse me, easily. He gets like carried off stage. He just. Once he gets hit, it's like over. Yeah, the recovery is one of, one of Roy's notable weaknesses. So, and I guess edge guarding like Steve, I wonder if the Sephiroth would be the play. Especially since Cloud suffers from a similar mm -hmm. problem as Roy. Like, yeah, his recovery is definitely like really capable in this matchup. So, mm -hmm. he probably will go Sephiroth, but we'll have to see. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if should the Sephiroth be strung a little if the Cloud does come out as a character swap. But yeah, definitely intriguing to see. I believe A9 is now 1-1 and Vince is now 2-0 in pools. So what we're going to probably see is, I believe if, no, because we saw the one word, uh, so round of pools, but if Vince goes up 3-0, I think that guarantees him uh, a top 3 seed. Or it okay. guarantees him a buy. I know it yeah, it guarantees the buy. And even, and you said it, A9 was 1-1? One, one. Yeah, A9 is probably 1-1. Going one, down 1-2 one. One, one would be really surprising yeah, for Alex. Incredible. I mean, going top one SJPR. SJPR, coming into this as like a top seed. Keeping his Steve, which, you know, he I'm otherwise would have been banned. I really miss the Steve. But you should be getting started shortly. Yeah, I, hear, I can hear the two in the other yeah, room. Yeah, you can hear him. 
pretty sure they had, yeah, they had Wheezy Hamburger play all stream. Wheezy took that, I don't know the game count, but I believe that makes Hamburrito 0-3 now. 0-3, mm hmm And then, yeah, in we, progress, oh, Weezy's Secret and Sauce are in pro- I wanted to see that. Yeah, I believe Secret's, I mean, yeah. They're playing downstairs. Downstairs? I told them to put it over here. Actually, I don't think Houdini's been on, uh, no, Houdini was on stream. He was on, yeah. Hunter was on stream, Xavier was on stream. I'm pretty sure everyone besides... Ours on stream, Xavier. Yeah. Everyone no, yeah, everyone's on stream already. Yeah, it's not surprising considering we've been running a lot of the matches on the upstairs stream. Yeah. But yeah, definitely be interested in seeing mm -hmm, how that sure. game count turns out. Because, like, Secret's been doing really, really well recently. It's like yeah. he's getting his wins, he's like just placing better and better. He's definitely he, like, I believe he won his first round. Yeah, he won his first round against uh, no, he lost his first round against um Xavier. That was his first round? I thought yeah. it was his second. His first His first round was Xavier and then the um His first round was Xavier and then like uh I believe his second round was Ham. Yeah. Yeah, secret. Secret and then him. Lost his Xavier, but then beat him. Okay. So he's 1 1 right now. Sauce is. Yeah, Sauce is uh, also. Sauce is 0 2, I think, right now. Yeah, because he lost to. Lost um... to Alex. We, we established this. Yeah. And then he lost his round 1 as well. Yeah. That's a... So this might be rough for Sauce. If this he... is, yeah, this might be rough. I know, he's been, as well. I know he's been taking a break and he hasn't been playing as much. I know he was at Bears last night and he's been trying to get back into it. Uh. I haven't really talked to him that much today, but like, to be honest, th like, it's an actual, this is a stat, actually. No, yeah. for sure, it's so, so top-heavy, and you can expect that like, out yeah. of the, out of an invitational. Like, everyone's yeah. trying their hearts out, it's like, all, almost all these players have gone back, can, either gone back and forth, or like, they've played so many times. Mm, there's a lot of uh, player experience between everyone at the top. Hopefully we should be getting started soon enough. Let me double check that to do the player cams. Yeah, they're, all right, they're doing controls. All right. So we're going to be getting started shortly. Yeah, I hope we see how to the character picks. I don't think they'll do blinds. Pretty sure it's just same all Steve. Yeah. No NES, no DK, no Sonic. No Captain Falcon either. <laughs> Unfortunately. I've not seen the Falcon yet. And neither have I, but... I'm sure it's excited to behold. Can't you believe and I want a local with Puff before Hammer Rita? Nah, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good. I think the more surprising thing is that he actually went Puff instead of the fact that he won with Puff. Yeah. But, uh... Alright, we're on the character select screen and... Yeah. Oh, Roy. wow, Roy. Really? I am surprised. I guess he's just found new faith in this matchup. Yeah, I... It might be like a more. He wants to go more of a solo Roy instead yeah. of spending a lot of his time between the characters. And we can switch into the game setup now. Not the, the Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, like, go. Started. I'm really interested in seeing how uh, Vince ends up like changing his game plan around this, uh. Like what he's doing. Or like. How is he really gonna play around him just getting like basically touched to death all the time? Yeah, right now they are, they're scrapping and Alex is just winning he's, the scrap. He's already at 120. Steve's frame data allows it and he carries this and yeah. doesn't grab the ledge. Super unfortunate and he's gonna go down a massive deficit. Yeah, it's a massive deficit when he's like just starting off the set already down a stock against Steve and they have to make a gigantic comeback. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to play from a deficit as Steve. I mean, not against Steve. And especially, but he does it. Yeah. Wow. He okay. Wow. That smash, Jesus. And he's still down, but it is so much more doable. Not to mention that finding that early stock, so even of the stocks, is going to do such a wonder for his mental as well. Yeah, it just brought him right back into it. Like we were just talking like downstairs that like Steve also has like the same effect that like being down against Sonic is, where you're just like you literally see them not in ahead of you to get back to your like mm -hmm. back to like having your momentum and having, like, the game in your favor, and therefore your win condition in favor. Playing and against... Possible. 
playing as Steve and Sonic is already arrowing to begin with, and then playing from a deficit. Yeah, they're like good enough, and then they're also just like when you're at a deficit, like it just it feels so over. And look at that! Just as we're saying this, Alex has been hiding behind that wall and just slowly giving up space, mining more materials, and he gets that F smash to essentially ruin all of Vince's progress and pushing him back towards ledge. Yeah. I'm not surprised, yeah, it just depends on how, like, right now it's like most of, like, it just depends on how Vince gets his openings. And I'm playing super safe, he understands the slower he takes this right now, the better off he gets to, like, just win, winning the game. Like, he can't just let Vince get the open, like, free openings on him, because that's how he just, it's like, like, turns this, like, how he just game explodes. back around with, like, Vince's just crazy kill power. Mm -hmm. And we saw that the first off. Well, yeah, and we found that the first off, he did give Vince that opening. And then lost a huge lead for Buzz Lightyear. That mine card mine card, it, it. Yeah, it kills. That's gonna take it. Well, I was surprised. I did not like. I did not know Roy Fair did that much damage to Fox. Like, I, I know it was like stone, so it didn't bring him instantly. But usually against like dirt or wood, like one shots him. Yeah, one shots him, and all of a sudden just opens up the steel. Is that it? That's it. Oh no! no! He gets back. He kills wow. off of it. What wow. That... I'm surprised, but. That should have been such a good disadvantage He got- Someone gave him the extra inch. Right there to get back. That's it, crazy. And in just an instant, that game- This game is even. Sakurai smiled upon him that moment. <laughs> he said, I know I messed up with this character. Here's he's a, a little- It gave him a little reparations. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's, it's, the game is still going. Yeah. Wow, yeah, they're scrapping now. They're going at it. Right now, Alex- in disadvantage. I think Anai's feeling like a little bit of the jitters. Like he's just. Yeah, he he is not playing as confident as he was a second ago. He's looking for the same things that worked before, but now this is ready for him. Cool. Yeah, basically just. That down tilt. That's such a bad position, though. He kept his jump. He's, he's left guard. All right, Vince Smart. That was not the neutral get up there. Almost oh. nice to end. That was so close. Yeah, 145. Okay, what's the uh, throw mix up here? For the platform it. tech he chase. Knows. Good DI though. That's such a nuance to the match with the the back air. That's he takes game it. one after that deficit, after losing his stock in the first 10 seconds, makes it all the way back. Oh no. my goodness. This is like on fire. We never should have doubted the Roy pick. Yeah, I was a doubter, and now I'm not. Mm -hmm. That Nair one Jair is such a, a clutch, such a clutch uh, stock steal from Vince. Yeah. Uh, I think. That's scary. I think A9 is just like, he, in his heart, he knows he needs to camp a little bit more, I mm -hmm. think. He needs to play more towards that. You saw, as the game went on, he started camping less and less. He started being more willing to scrap, mm -hmm. which... Like, was, like, racking up percent and, like, causing him to lose the game. Mm -hmm. So. And he was doing fine in the second stock when he was w willing to camp, but... You know, he just kind of lost that. And Vince was able to bring it back. Such a big. Steve. Going into game two here, going to small battlefield. I think it's just honestly, and I liked a little bit more. If he wants, he like wants Vince to run into him, but he needs to stop running into Vince. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, it, it, it he does. finds himself in like worse and worse positioning. All right, does he get the carry off? Does he confirm this into a kill? Oh, Keeps his jump. Yet. That's good. He didn't get the sweet spot in the second fair. We saw that same exact, not the same exact situation, but really similar. He got that forward air, but wasn't able to convert it into a kill. Mm. Can you do it again? No. He thinks that's really a trap. Yeah, the, oh my god, block down smash. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. He still survived, but. Yeah, now we're in a similar position to where we were uh, last game. Yeah. Again, yeah. That killed. That blew my cart. <laughs> so so little things will just be able to directly challenge my cart like that. I think Empire and Power Mine Cart might go through that, but we'll have to see. It's such a weird uh, interaction, though. So you see how like Vince is just trying to answer. Yeah. Like, so much, but it like, just depends on like if you can keep if you like. I guess correctly on the times of which, like, you know, what's the Yeah, and then there's also the fact that Alec, ooh, 
so funny. Hey, spaghetti. Alex is not camping, like, nearly as much. And he gets the wow, same exact Sam, setup. is that confirmed? It's just, it, there's not much he can, like, Vince can do there unless he's, like, starts his up like, way later and uses the iframes to get through it, but again, if he's just too out, like, he can't just do that. Mm -hmm. And the game plan, the game plan change up from A9 is doing him wonders. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, up, a fresh stock. Yeah, he's still 2-1. Looks like A9's game to win, but, like... We've, we've like, for sure seen, we saw Vince bring it back last game. Oh, uh, yeah, we... But the nah, comeback airs are like, Roy, nothing's impossible. I thought he was going for the back air there. He's not... Roy gets, like, fair, nair, back air, like, nair, fair, fair, every single time. Mm -hmm. Speaking of combos, I'm seeing Alex drop a lot of his. These up tilts could rack up to, end up racking up huge damage, but he's just not converting off of them. I think Vince was scared to do the forward deck to Blake because he didn't know how much uh, time was left on the block. So, like, being aware of that kind of stuff is just so difficult in these in, like, bracket. Yeah. But once you see that, I feel like that block is a pretty obvious setup. Yeah, it's right. just not something you should challenge. Jerry's the get-up attack. Vince the get-up out. That's just going crazy. It's even. <laughs> it's, it's even all of a sudden. E e Percent-wise, too. A minute ago, we were just talking about how this is A9's game to win. Yeah. But we were also talking about how Roy... And Vince will make these comebacks. This is definitely, definitely like gonna do a damage to A9 Sounds. There's some more mining. Doesn't get anything up that near one. Is that it? Yeah. So, that was such a good correction too, because he went straight up. And Vince was still able to correct for it. That's just character knowledge. Pure form. And Vince gonna go up a second game. He goes back up. That's crazy. What seemed like in both games a very dominant start for A9. Vince is able to bring it back. Stock battle. Roy. Your headphones good. Yeah, they, they Alright. Right. Back to small battlefield. I think I think Al A9 was comfortable with what the stage was doing for him, but there was just issues with his game plan. Yeah, alright, there. Gets a second. <laughs> Gets a yeah, second. Finally Seems converts fair. off that fair fair off stage. And just like both other games, goes up a post stop. Oh my god, he shoots through it. He recognizes. Good jab X smash. It's the back air shield. It's another he chair. challenges the mine car. It goes through it, going to take that stock with a chair, and they're trading. I think that was a flub with uh, the mine car. I don't know if the Anon just wanted to. I think Anon wanted to either jump out or just didn't. Yeah, he could have been going for like, a bit of a mix up maybe, but without the power, then yeah. Roy's hitboxes are just going to beat it. Anon just getting so much more oppressive. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Vince getting more oppressive. Yeah, Vince is more oppressive, like. He and just I feels just, so much more comfortable now. And Alex seems to have just less and less answers. Okay. For the block, oh my goodness, he... The anvil disappeared. He, just take him out of the grab. Uh, and I'm just not playing to his own spaghetti. Getting that grab... You know he was looking for the block into f smash that up. But the own anvil taking it away from him. Okay, yeah, too far away to get that case. And on the Nair 2, but... A9 has just been in disadvantage for so long. Mm -hmm. He's str he's struggling to just find his way back to stage. Vince's, Vince's advantage stage is just so on point right now. He's not letting anything by. Finally, the turn to neutral, getting the S smash through the blocks. Not gonna kill. Just like so much momentum is in Vince's favor. So much momentum is in this ledge trap alone. Yeah, <laughs> like, but it is still they are, it is still relatively even. Alex could easily take yeah. this stock and go stock up. Yeah, fourth throw. Up throw doesn't kill down yet. Tilt. He doesn't get the down tilt. Down I thought tilt. it was in two frame. 
Jer yeah, gets I mean, a, uh, a Jeff not attack, comboing, right? but still finding the stock off that Jer dodge. Vince has so much momentum. I, this might get bad for yeah. Nine. I really need to take the stock now. Still not gonna be at kill percent. It's the TNT. Through the. What time is he play? He has full iron on deck. Like he has enough to where he can get himself out of disadvantage. Like he should be. He has this scenario. He has like, gold. He doesn't. He hasn't built gold no, yet, but he has it on deck. No diamonds either, though. Yeah, not having diamonds really. Like Vince is doing such a good job of like pressuring the mining. Mm -hmm. Not having the opportunity to let Steve mine for diamonds is such a big boon in yeah. the matchup. He was talking to me earlier about like putting that pressure so hard. You have to play like such, such small like micro spacing when it comes to the burst ranges. But also, like, Steve just has that frame data. Yeah. This might be some big eight up airs out of it's it. It's out. Again, uh, Alex dropping that combo is not going to get the big... Oh, he should just grab. It. it didn't look like that block. Yo, is that, that's not that's it. That's not it. This is so Another last duck situation. Should be a back throw. That advantage day is so important. Really basic edge This is the right now. block down smash. Now he's going to get back off ledge. Now, now Vince, 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 Oh, no, gosh, for the ledge jump! He saved that for the whole set! He, that was so good. Oh my goodness, 3-0 from Vince. Bringing that out when it was supposed. That was, that was such a good And a head-to-head, in a matchup that he's had so much, like, so many struggles with, he just finally wins it 3-0. And he's, Vince going up 3-0 in sets as well. Wow, yeah, that guarantees himself a bye. Mm-hmm. Great showing from Great Vince. Great stuff. It's, Coming from Vince, just like mm -hmm. playing we all know how much he struggled with that matchup. Playing that matchup so much, like even before this, he was grinding with yeah, Alex. Yeah, they, they've been grinding all day. He want he needs to have that matchup down. He's just showing the fruits of his labor right now. Mm -hmm. Just impressive showing. Amazing stuff coming from like Vince. I think definitely feel bad for Anai in that situation. Like going in now, he like losing, basically like losing the buy, going down one two. Like, okay. he's going to, like, definitely have to climb his way back when it comes to the final bracket. Mm-hmm. If he wins this, um, round four set, yeah, he goes then... he goes 2-2. Two two that's that's not bad. Like, 2-2 go... two and two is a respectable, you know, mm -hmm. middle-of-the-road seed, but yeah. I'm sure it's not what he wanted. Now, we have Arya and Hunter. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have Arya and Hunter coming up. I wonder... Oh, no. And Andrew is for sure going to be going next for this snake matchup. It's Houdini Xavier. Okay, oh, thank you very okay. much. My fault. Jason Bathurst um, gaming. The Houdini Xavier. The the what? You can't even call that the Sector X special. We call it the Sector X Classic. Sector X Classic. classic. All right, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Is he really not gonna stream? No, he was on over for A9. Downstairs. Oh, downstairs. downstairs. Yeah, he's been on. Oh my goodness. Yeah. My fault, OG. It's a. Uh, uh, is it? It's like Houdini sixty nine. That's a Houdini sixty nine. It's a raw name. Banger. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm interested. I actually don't know the uh, head to head tier off the top of my head, but I know these two have been here many times. Mhm. Mm I'm very interested in this go. I mean, these two are uh, like, they've gotten PR next to each other for like the, a gajillion seasons. They're always seated right next to each other. Mm -hmm. They're they're very evenly matched in skill. This is gonna come down to how well they can play the matchups and the players. Like pretty much, they're always like five and six or like six and seven. Like these two are always neck and neck when it comes to like how they're placing, how they're doing. Uh... Yeah, both like just. Well, I'm not, not, I'm not, I'm not where the like, head obviously head just head as much of a character specialist compared to like Xavier does have a hit. I don't think we're gonna see it today. Probably not. But yeah. I think taking that hit in um uh, character knowledge is gonna be a definitely definitely blow in the ma in the matchup. Yeah. All right. They're 13 and 6 lifetime going to in Houdini's favor. Mm -hmm. The last two times they've played, uh, Xavier has won. 
Uh, going game five at last pop of all. Yeah, yeah. That's what I freaking said. And then the... Is that only the first war for the bridge? Yep. So, it's... They, yeah, they've only played it once in... Only once yeah. in the past few months. Because Xavier did take it, it was close to that. Yeah, not that much before that. These two don't run into each other that often. Because usually they end up on opposite sides of the bracket. Even though mm -hmm. they don't, they both go to battle over the bridge, like a good amount. We know, I'm pretty sure Xavier won the most recent battle over the bridge uh, this Thursday, right? Yeah, last Thursday. They can do one hell of a loser's run, mm -hmm. going through so that. many players and taking it from losers. Uh, we should be getting started shortly. Yeah. Hopefully. But. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, okay, they're just yeah, both of them now. are right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be starting on PS2 soon. Yeah, PS2. Um, Houdini guesses yeah, Black, Yo Black Yoshi. Yeah, should be getting right into it. Black Yoshi, finally, I missed this game. <laughs> PS2 as expected. Yeah, both of them just like this age. What are the Yoshi yeah. attack? Much, much respect for that. For sure. I miss my homie. Both, they're both getting real aggressive right out of yeah, the Yeah, oh my god. Both these players are incredibly aggressive just right out of the game. And even towards each other, they are they are scrapping. I think the one thing that is going to be a big decider is that Mario is able to get so much more out of this punish game. Not to say that Yoshi can't. But with his ladder combos, like, he will kill you off again. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Yoshi might have to take more of a high damage combo and then kill you again. Huh. You see the egg, like, bounce kind of off, like, the legs there for a second? Yeah, it's... That's weird. Mm -hmm. It's a funky move. Yeah, but I think definitely a lot of this, um, first stock means a lot, because it depends on who gets to pick the game plan better. Both these characters kind of have the same qualities when it comes to their puns. They don't have that many disjoints, they're pretty, like, like, have good air mobility. Stubby with good frame data. Yeah, stubby with good frame data. There's a bunch of characters like that. They're just scrappers out hard. But, like, by having, like, up right now, you're now forcing your opponent to approach. Mm -hmm. Like, a little bit more, and you're allowed to play your game plan way more consistently. Xavier just doesn't need to take risks. Yeah. Super Armory threw that dash attack. That could be bad for Edie if it didn't work. If that traded, I'm pretty sure he was dead. Uh, he's very low, so he had little knockback. Definitely, definitely within range of a uh, air dodge or up the legs, but it would have been bad. But he's gonna be able to get that stock back. Yeah, uh, stocks are even for sensor, pretty even. They are back awesome. to scrapping. Yeah, he's just getting so much per hit already. Mm -hmm. uh, Yoshi just. Yeah. Oh my God! That's a nice, that was a Calls nice out the match out of. Hit stuns, S smashes. Kitchen landing, not gonna get the stock, but getting hits like that, that's definitely gonna be uh, putting a damper on Houdini's aggression. Uh, I can only imagine how annoying like these kind of matchups are where <laughs> you're both really stubby and you're constantly hurt box shifting. So some you put out a button and it just never. Ends. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of feeling out the space in between. Yeah. Like uh, both of these characters have really good back ears for that. And so, using these back airs to poke the area behind you and say, if you want to go in here, you go ahead, you'll get hit. That, that, yeah, Dash Attack did catch him and was able to air dodge the ledge. And the up smash is going to take out that stock. Xavier taking the first stock again. The, re the real clincher for this set is going to be how much of this extra stock can you uh, expound on. Mm -hmm. Can you get that lead? The edge couldn't find himself to get up, like, off the ledge. Went back at 80, like, almost 80%, spacing the game. Yeah. Is that it? No, Nair's out of the up air that would've most likely led to a forward air had it hit straight on. Oh my god! That just <laughs> killed! His raw assassins in neutral! It, it, it just, works! If you dash attack into it, he died for it. Both of these players have been taking each other to relatively high percents, but Xavier is just able to steal that game away 
with a very early kill. Yeesh. Hard reads it. Xavier's been going for these hard reads too. He has, when it comes to his high knockback moves, he has so much more room for error. Okay, yeah. You know, the like Yoshi going and missing an F smash is going to be so much more of a risk than if Xavier did. Alright, this is definitely something I'm interested in. So they go. So. Houdini actually leaves Battlefield open. Uh, so, uh, goes to Battlefield. Everyone knows this is a good stage for Mario. This is a really good stage for Yoshi as well, but I'm very interested to see if um, Houdini can use the, uh, the double jump armor to get out of his lab, like Mario ladders. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an interesting stuff. interplay between the two characteristics of the characters, because Mario, this is his best stage. For pretty much every character in the game, it's do not take him here under any circumstances. But when taking into account Yoshi's better than average combo breaking ability, you might begin to wonder whether that'll help you do need benefit more from the stage, but uh, it's Xavier like. taking <laughs> full advantage first. Yeah. It is a yeah. We've already seen Xavier taking advantage of uh, the stage's qualities. I think Houdini just needs this as more of a comfort pick, but again. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree but... with the thought process. Because Yoshi doesn't get anything super crazy off the top platform. It, like, yeah, he doesn't does. get much off the top platform. Like, like, gener like, generally, it's passive yeah. benefits. It's like, well, you can, you can get like down throw, down air. That's only at like very first percents. Like that it's, kind of cheese is very situational. Whereas like Mario's is almost always online. Mm -hmm. Mario, Yoshi needs situational interactions. But Mario is ready to kill you with that top platform at any given moment, no matter your percent. And this is still close to even. Yeah, it's so close to even. Yeah, that even with thing. that very explosive stock loss. This is the neutral B. Oh. Xavier's just finding these smash attacks and yeah. super hard hitting moves. He's just calling Xavier out does. Houdini's positioning so well. Oh, Xavier knows, seems, like, okay. or Houdini seems to not be leaving his scrap mindset, where he wants to scrap, but Xavier's going for these smash attacks. He's playing the percents more. I think he's just aware that like Houdini will go for a pick an option and then right after be like, okay, but I'm not done yet, and he's gonna run right back into you. Yeah. And like exact like that F Smash last game was off a dash attack that he did to try and cover himself after landing with an aerial. I believe so. Xavier definitely picking up on these characteristics and that's not it, is it? That's it. That top platform will kill you at any game. If you're going up 2 oh, these moves have been very uh, player sided. Well, they they may be close, but one player's just been taking every game. Mm -hmm. It's a game of stocks, not percent. You can go even, but if Xavier's finding those kills before Houdini, then the, he's gonna win every time. Back to Battlefield, Houdini not deciding to switch off, even though he lost the game partially because of that top platform. Either it's a comfort pick or he knows he he knows what to yeah. change. Yeah, he's already opening up this game a little bit better, just like it depends on how he's going, like, again, just confirm it to kills. Like, mm -hmm. he's winning neutral, just not where it counts. And Xavier's also getting- Oh! They're just scramble. Yeah, he's scrambling off the side of the stage. They're, they're dangerous for Yoshi. He, can, he has that double jump armor, but if he loses his jump, he's a sitting duck. Case in point. Yeah. Oh my god, guys on the sides of that, was it this double jump? Doesn't even have the opportunity to and recover after that back air. So another quick 3 out here. Maybe. He does okay, find that off. So... This could definitely be the turnaround he needs. Z this, yeah, Xavier getting... Almost gets his shield broken, but... You no, know, hanging on. Look at him camping that top platform. He, he know you know he wants it. Oh Reads my god, Reeves the spot dodge. Jesus, he was just looking so comfortable right now. 
that S smash has been doing so much work for him. Yeah, he's, he's been facing them correctly every single time. I haven't seen him like not miss a tip or anything. For sure. That's it. That's it? Oh, he, oh my god, no, he double jumps out, like out. I said. The up beat too, too low, not going to be able to hit him. But that's still so much damage. Yeah. It's a full stop I, deficit. I really like how Houdini's using down tilt to cover um, the space in front of him and just stop Xavier's approaches, but like it's just not enough for right now. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a safer, aggressive option to cover yourself than what he was doing. I mean, it's, it's like a cla it's a classic FGC option to just like put a low where you think your opponent's going to like approach towards you. Okay, go for the S match again. again. Low edge guard. It takes it. Gets hit by the Timberlands. Only a hundred. Okay, a little more. One hundred twenty-two is main. Definitely not outside the realm of yeah. possibility. All right, yeah. Xavier's Xavier's left him rip. No legend invincibility. Wow! Xavier a little bit late to the up smash. He could just Houdini trying to play is so safe, but he's yeah. not. It doesn't give him the positioning he needs to. And another ledge. Smash and that ledge trump yeah, back here. That's another three zero. Another three zero. We're seeing that again. Both Xavier and Houdini. I mean, not Xavier Houdini. Uh, Vincent Xavier saving a ledge trump. Yeah, it's. In the heat of a moment, especially in a last stock last yeah. game, it's not something at the forefront of your well, mind. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, like, saving that kind of, like, uh, saving those kind of tools in a set to, like, close it out are, like, huge when it comes to a bracket. Because not a lot of people think about how, like, important it is to have information to save and then use later. And, uh, like, yeah. Amazing stuff coming from Xavier again. I think that, yeah. That wraps up uh, round three, luckily, of uh, our pool series. Yeah, and uh, the, are you taking over Hunter? And, yeah, and uh, Sauce going to take it over Secret. Uh, that gives... That puts Secret at what Both Secret one and, and Sauce at one and two. Mm-hmm. So it's going to even them up. And then Arya took it over Hunter. Is that going to give Andrew the 3-0? Yeah, I think that puts Andrew at 3-0 right now, along with... So we're going to see Vince Arya next. I believe... Uh, Sphero's also 3-0. Xavier might also be 3-0. So yeah, we have our four 3 Xavier, Yeah, Xavier's 3-0 too. It's securing so, him the buy. So yeah, those four have secured the buy. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no. They're all 3-0s now. Uh, so yeah. Vince, Arya, uh, Xavier, and Sphero have all they used to secure themselves a buy mm -hmm. going into their final bracket. Uh, as we see now, we're going to have, for round four, our final round of Swiss pools is Vince Spiro, A9 Arya, Noodle Xavier, Hunter Hamburrito, Sauce and Wheezy, and Secret Houdini. This Vince uh, Spiro set is going to be pretty important because both of them are 3-0, and that's going to be the determiner between mm -hmm. who is yeah, the that's... upper echelon of the upper echelon players. Yeah, basically, who's going to get first seed, who's going to get second seed, which doesn't matter as, compared as much to, like, again, your fourth like fourth, fourth seed versus fifth seed, because one of those gives you a buy. But depending on how things work out here, I'm pretty sure um, that will stay our top four, unless one of them ends up with a better head-to-head in the higher higher preliminary seed like i'm pretty sure well it's possible there's someone who's 2-1 right now yeah they tie with 3-1 and they have the better head-to-head -head. That... all right round four all right okay well, uh we're going off yeah. we should yeah. be starting round four shortly we'll be taking it or are we taking a break uh, going straight all right we're going straight, right straight into 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 round four. i do not know who our next commentators will be hopefully it'll come up soon organic rainbow oh uh brain's okay, back. Cool. brain's Sweet. back all right all right but yeah do we know who we're having on uh, stream next, or? Sphero events. Sphero events. All right, Sphero events on stream. Yeah, that was the set we were off. talking about. Yeah, I heard. It's but yeah, insane. it's hot now. But yeah, thank you very much. We'll That's gonna be a hot our, set, though. Our next casters, Organic and Rainbow. Some... Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. The people, the people can hear us. They can't hear you. Just no. need the mobile mobile phone. They can hear you now. What's up, gamers? We have this corner room of horrors. This room is awesome. This room is. Uh, yeah. This is the best room in the house. Oh, yeah. Why are the blankets down? We'll put the blankets like that. We're back. We're we back. are back. Here, Let's go.
We are back. We return, Victoria. Yes. Where's my water bottle? Where is your water bottle? I found it, don't worry. Here we go. Look, I'm working. I'm not a rainbow. <laughs> you were oh, rainbow. Yeah. What's Ray Jones here? He's right down there. Uh, ah! <laughs> we have a uh, Vince Spiro. Who? Yeah. Vince Spiro? He does Oh. This is gonna be a. I will I got you, I got you, I got you. We 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 got it was a back was so awesome. Last round before Brock. Yeah. So, hopefully, um, it looks like we have a, a lot of good stuff. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's so much warmer in here. It's so cold downstairs. You noticed that? It's not that cold. I kind of like it downstairs. I mean, it was really hot. It was understandable. Yeah. Um, um, but we got some banger sets coming up for you guys. And uh, first up. Off the bat, starting off strong with Vince and Spiro. This is probably gonna be an explosive set. This is Vince goes Roy. Roy. Vince is definitely going Roy. Roy um, does actually really well. Vince Palutena. Um, well, a lot of Polo players. Think, yeah, yeah. A lot of Polo players think uh, Roy does really well. So uh, probably going to be seen. Well, you I would. From yeah, that's like the argument. I was gonna ask you um, how Seth did um, in a follow. Um, I think it's. I think it's fine. One, go! Uh, uh, definitely, we're only gonna be doing much better here. He's more explosive. He can take every advantage of uh, all his disadvantage state. Um, he's gonna be finding kills at the uh, very Shitty overall, Roy. Um, obviously, he's a much more solid character than Seth Rollins, but um, this is definitely an actual game you can play as Roy than Seth Rollins. Um, he's not as exposed as uh, Seth Rollins in terms of just one more. So, I'm worried that I'm definitely just going to play as Seth Rollins. I'm going to play as Right now, so, yeah. pulling, pulling out meat and zero, not let have any. Yeah, about a 65% lead, but yeah. Side B, side B. I'm trying to get away side B. Yeah, yeah, that definitely. Yeah, but, but I mean, all safe situations. Yeah, it manages the challenge. It's, it's, it's not really what you're going to do like that. Ooh, great match Okay, like I was saying before, in all stage situations, I'm going to take a man to call it down. It's mostly going to be those that, like, on stage explosive pieces of side doing a jab. All his really quick and really strong grounded offense. And, you know, even just on stage, trying to jump with that hit. I'll take it and get stuck out really easily, but. Yeah, and again, um, Spiro's doing a great job with that ground game. Uh, I know that is rare. Uh, just the Falcon, uh, as we discussed uh, before, um, Falcon's catch jumps, and if you have that ground game, which you have forward tilt, you have down tilt, that's a phenomenal option. Down tilt is such a good bomb boxing option. Um, it sets up so well for tech chases, which Roy on the tech chase definitely one of the scariest games. He has so many great options, you know, he can only your ball in, good back air there for fence. Yeah, Roy tech chasing really very, very solid. Um, you know, you can read your roll ins, read your roll outs, read your neutral get ups, read your get up attacks with literally anything he wants. He has like five different options. Great, 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 Spiro. He's off to a pretty solid lead here in this game one. Man. Yeah, I mean, again, Spiro is just a phenomenal player. And he has the, um, I listen that win streak. So, yeah, here's hoping. That Vince can overcome that mental block. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if there is one, I mean, I'm not too uh, familiar with like Vince. I, I haven't really seen a lot of events, but I know his mentality isn't like necessarily the best, but like, he's such a solid player. Like, I definitely think even if um, 
he ends up dropping this game, it's not gonna be like set in stop. Yeah, this cat's not, not bad at the set. The set ends. When the set the set the set ends. When the set ends. Like, whoever takes the game. Hero right now has a very, very solid lead. He's up in the whole stock and win the change. Uh, do you think that's when the game ends? Is this game over? No, or the game do you think is, that Vince the game is not his over. comeback? Because look, at this rage, that back air is going to get stomped. And I you know a boy with like a really like a perfect amount of rage, which is still going to be able to get his combos. But his explosiveness is like animal life so much. Yeah, you're going to be dying at like 80. Not even 80, you're going to be dying at like 50. Off the side, if he catches the side, be at rage. Dude, Roy kills so early. That oh, would yeah, I forgot his, it's really yeah. good. It's harder than the combat. Yeah, that, is, ooh, that was such a sneaky explosive blame from Sierra oh, when he's going to be taking games. Oh, it's too bad for you. Oh, we got it, please. Don't try it. Yeah, good luck. Hey, did it. <laughs> okay. Oh. What? I fixed it. Um, okay. Yeah, so uh, Spirit taking game one there, that was such a sneaky explosive play. Yeah, uh, that move is... Yeah, that move is very good, but that was a very well so, played. So, from uh, Spirit, he caught Vince trying to go for a down air, and uh, got a really, really solid explosive play. Definitely going to give him away at that percent. Was that like, what, 130? Uh, yeah, about that, but I, I love um, seeing the sim simplicity of a move. Like, like at first it seems simple, an explosive play. But then no, you, you can use it so, oh, so so well there's... in so many different situations. It can be used in juggling situations to call out air dodges. Um, it can be used for edge guarding, ledge trapping, just simply putting on pressure. It's so so so. Yeah, and right there, your disadvantage. And oh, you know that other players get back to stage if they want to continue the edge guard properly. Yep. Oh, put it right put there. Put yeah. flame right on the ledge, and they they die. Nothing Mints can do about that. That was so well placed. I mean, they better all grab. Yeah, I don't even think they were at the right no. spot to grab. He, he jumped up to like do like a down air because really down air can't do print. Um, yeah. So he jumped up to try and get a down air and uh, he couldn't he could die for it. And game two on town and two. So I, yeah, why would you think Roy? Yeah. Like, I mean, I it's gonna die much earlier. Yeah, you're gonna die so much earlier. You have, and if if you're probably you have um explosive flame kills off the top, yeah, up air kills off, off the top. Yeah, a lot of politicians uh kill off they're gonna be off the top and it's this the blast on the top of the time so yeah, I think it's the highest in any leader stage if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it is, yeah. But the side blast ones are the closest to the leader stage. Unless you guys, unless you guys are running Yoshi's, but you're running Yoshi's. And now it's not true. <laughs> true. Like, no, we're not running Yoshi's. That's ages, not legal. No, but, um, I'm, a, I'm a proud of Yoshi's fan. But yeah, I will Heroes say there is... Like of, I said, he's yeah. yeah. So, I will uh, say there is, is um, Kalu, uh, down tilt, back air, back throw, and down throw, back air at ledge. Yeah. Those are, like, she's not completely devoid of options. Yeah, but, but it, it was Roy's like, options off the side are just so much stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Like, her options off the top are so tough. Like, having really strong, like, vertical kill options is so important. <laughs> having strong vertical kill options is so important. And, um, Palatina has so much of so you're kind of, like, taking a bit away from yourself. Really cool. so, but... I mean, Spiro, he's got, he, he had that one. He's not, like, not really well. like he's a very very strong player, but right now Vince is taking full advantage of this counter take there. He's doing I'm back. He's back. Not back. Vince is back too. Uh, Vince is back. back. <laughs> he's back. He is hard. That was such a great outfit. Yeah, Vince taking full advantage of this counter. Yeah, and I'm and I'm imagining uh Actually, I'm thinking about it. The, those side platforms up at the top are definitely going to be um, very helpful for Palutena getting into closer playing placements. That is true, but they can that's, also be helpful. It's not uh, uh, they can also be helpful for uh, catching Palutena. They can also be helpful for business catching Palutena. You know, so if he gets like a back air on that platform, he's just that at like 80. I'm like, I still have the light on break. Roy, Roy, down, and Balu. Is, is, uh, off the top. Yeah. I mean, Town and City is just generally like a really good stage for some characters that allow them to operate. And, you know, a lot of some characters uh, have very, very solid, you know, off the side. But 
Yo, the down air. Nice. Spiro, Spiro just completely. Spiro, <laughs> Spiro may be down. <laughs> Dude, if he died, if he died. He... Oh my god. Just as I say. He's down there. Clean. 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 Is that a zero to this? Um, I don't think so. I think Spiro. No. Spiro no. went. Nice. Side B, almost still screw off the side. Got a forward smash and then a clean down air in retaliation. I just do just it. A... Game two going to Vince. I mean, stock overall clean. These two competitors. Yeah. He made, he made such good use of that. Absolutely. That's great stuff. I, I, so, I'd actually, I'm pretty sure that the. I don't think this played into. Uh, this little uh, tidbit played into the match here, but um, the bottom blast on Drac did closer on town. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think that. Really it didn't matter, matter because, because Roy Space spot down air. Yeah, but... it was Roy Space spot down air, and Spiro was at 60. Um, and um, when yeah, Spiro got his down air, Vince was at 60. So yeah, just nice, nice little Stop thing. To know. A little thing to note. Oh, this is insane. Roy Spear, we're going to FD for this game three. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, not having any platforms is definitely interesting. Like, I mean, I am a player that has platforms, so like, I, I definitely have a bit of bias. But, yeah, um, we did talk about that. Yeah, how we, we were talking about it during the block, but um, I mean, Palutena, she can, she um probably looking for better like jungle situations because now Vince does not have like, a platform to try and escape to. He's in the jungle like. Where, he has to, to see to ledge and you know the character with uh, like trapping is all in the like, so it's just such good options to spam a ledge. But it's happening at the other way. Yeah. Now that we're here up there. Yeah, now without any platforms on you're gonna have any fish that you're not actually up there. So um, I would be expecting in jungle situations a lot of fastball or air dodge fastball. That's not so hard. Yeah, starting off very strong, we're taking about 60%. Yeah, we're trying to get a combo started there, but he gets the sour spot of jab, has to leave it alone for now, 17. The forward air off ledge, we're finding an air follow up there. Great down throw. Yeah. down air, great up air. Just extending this lead so far, he's getting so much extra cover already. He might actually just take this stop first. Yeah, it is easy. Even if he doesn't make a stop first, he's still old. Yeah, he's got yeah, a full stop with an extra credit. But I mean, we as we saw last game, I'm scared of him kind of just need to get that lead back. One combo the Yeah, she's gonna have to. Ooh, Ani to turn around that Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, he's still like, over right now, he get like a jab at, uh, at one jab. Yeah, stab it, stab it, Forward tilt, and down tilt. Yeah. Obviously, very good. Up he's not gonna do it. Up he, that's the first, uh, he's done for a lot of up he's, he's just, he's just tagging on this game. game. Now he has, um, I believe, up so he's gonna start to kill this person, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, find the side, you know, instead. That was so clean. Beautiful for ledge. Yeah. yeah. He, he didn't play that, that was not, uh, Gosh, you're right there, you just shield for so long, but you're just, you're just scared to hold that out. Yeah, you want to hit the roll, standing for the you just get, and now uh, Vince's lead is just absolutely cute right now. Yeah, and if you don't hit Roy, then you're gonna like, take 70, 70 for it, yeah. and instead yeah, right, of extra credit. Yeah, right now, 86 already, Spiro, you can see how you decide to. But we're trying to find a back here. Yeah, like I said, like, like, like we were talking about earlier, when like, they're on stream against Hunter, uh, Palutena's, um, Palutena's, uh, Hapi is really easy to do. There's, like, a lot of, uh, like, there, so, uh, you know, going for those sorts of options. Because, uh, um, her, her box isn't exactly like this one. She's not, like, the hardest to get. And they have that big, big sword. sword! And it hits exactly. really hard. Yeah, again, trying to find the yeah, back here. That the jab that ledge here definitely going to try to work if it gets the sour spot on that. Got him back to the woods. Good back here there from Spiro. Probably going to do it. Oh, great recovery from Vince. And that board air going 
connecting eight. from the game, and Vince is gonna be up two to one here. No, which um, this is absolutely huge. This it been like a best of five set. Um, because even if you lose this game, you have that counter pick going in to game five, which can be really important. Like as we saw, Vince kind of got rocked that game one, but when he had his counter pick on Town and City, he was doing so so well. So he's slowly been coming alive throughout the set. So even if Spirit takes this game, I would still I would still say Vince has the edge going into game five because that counter pick is very very important. Especially in such like a volume. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the stage is definitely gonna. Uh, uh, this, this next, next stage, I think, is, is gonna be very. Yeah, I mean, the stages are definitely playing big factor here, but it's like we're going to reset bomb for. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be. Uh, it's kind of even a level bash. bash. This you also has, this has a low ceiling. It does it? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure it does, yeah. I, yeah, I'm not I, I just. I just know it's big Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 99% sure that this, um, this is a, uh, uh, a smaller ceiling yeah. than, um, other stages, so that's gonna be really helpful for, um, for sure. For sure, yeah. yeah. And also, I know that, uh, that Smashville Hollow Bastion is sort of a zoner's paradise with the, with that yes. platform there. Yeah, so it is very, very good. That could be oh, sure is trying to slow down, down the game a little bit. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, that big platform in the middle, though, it's gonna be kind of good for Vince to, like, retreat to, because Paul at the end doesn't really have, like, options to cover the like, entire time, right? I mean, she has options to cover, like, much parts of the platform, but as long as they're like, for Vince to escape on that platform, he's gonna have to take the best back in the end. Because you have options like up smash and explosive flame, but you can keep that, like, half the platform. Like, especially in the jungle situation, it's like we were saying, it's just so important to match up. It's like the only I, I would say that Hall Game does have that ability to to get her off the platform, but what's that gonna do? That's just yeah, I mean, that's it's, not it's, it's, it's just gonna do like a little bit. Like, it's like it's important, but it's not Yeah, but it's not it's not gonna deal. be like getting the kill screen. Oh side, 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 side B killing at one hundred wow. after the hit. Yeah, dude, that's not strong. Like you said, it's stronger than we're going so, uh, Vince is gonna be taking an early lead here in this game four. Trying to find his way down, but he's gonna just absolutely huge right now. Here, though, unable to follow up all from him. Trying to back out of the corner, and find his face in the lane, but not being punished for it. Big back throw. Getting up a ledge up here, but Vince finding his way out of the corner. Okay. Yeah, it's fighting his way out of the corner, getting a big combo started, but only 34 and zero. Trying to get to the best or not to leave me down, but it looks like uh, Vince is just playing lightning fast right now. He's not fast. giving zero any of the group and getting all that extra power that he needs. He's holding the game super well and simultaneously getting out of finding a little easy to get out of that disadvantage. Yeah, he's, 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 he's playing so, so well right now. He's putting so much pressure on Paul Dino, like. Paul Tatum does definitely struggle with pressure on his shield if he doesn't attack any like super quick. Out of shield options and an air one jab back here. Gonna take the stock. So early for where they were on stage, that's so good. There's a huge lead here right now in this game four. And he's looking absolutely close to take it. Damn it, picked up a good down for there. At 150, still on three stops. Yeah. This could very well be the um such a set lead right now. And uh, Vince is definitely looking forward to taking out in this game, but this set right back here. I wonder if he can boost off to close it out. I mean, it's it's looking possible. It's a miss input. It might have been a miss input or a nerf or both. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't see him boost off. Like, that definitely had to be a bit of a flop in this hero. There's no way he would do that. Yeah, he's slowly just starting to fall apart here. This is looking absolutely rough. Vince looking poised to take this up right now. He's trying to find one. Nice back there from Spiro. And now Vince is going to be rage, so. This is a happy roll here, but Spiro has two stocks to take. Yeah. And he's at 83 on his last stop. I mean, again? Oh, again? That down air could have been huge, but. Yeah. Not able to actually. Like, but, I mean, a Gimp is still possible. Oh, it's not it's, 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 it's like a three, out. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's still looking three on like the right now. So 
slowly just starting to shoot him off the stock here from Vincent, a great point from Vincent, that he is not over. That seems to be the last stock here. But I mean, you're right, you're right, Cobra Sam, up smash is going to do it. Up on that lower That's gonna be it. ceiling. And Vince is going to take the lead on the floor and take the set 3-1. So a big win there for Vince, and um, he's got to be feeling good about that win, you know, going into, since, you know, this is the last round of pools going into that bracket with a big win on, like, pretty much the tournament favorite, honestly. I mean, Spiro has had, like, so much confidence going into this event, but, um, not only that, but he also broke that, uh, he did break that losing streak, yeah. To Spiro, I mean, so huge, huge stuff good, there. Good stuff to Vince. Um, like a bit of a break. No, I'm not sure, but the, I, all I know is that the last four wins, aside from this one, like the last four sets they played aside from this one, were Spiro wins. Yeah. So, great stuff for, um, for Vince. Yeah, he's really good about that win. For Vince, yeah, great win. There for Vince, and, uh, we're gonna get another set for you guys on the stream, I'm not sure. We I'm, have, um... I, do you think it's gonna be, um... It's either... Apocalypse fighter and don't sit so close because you're making yourselves echo into each other's headphones. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Ham. Uh, it's Ham. It's Ham, Ham Hunter. Ham, Ham Hunter. Hunter. Next up on Hunter Box. So at at official summit we saw space, space, space. at at the um at at, at uh. The ultimate, real ultimate, ultimate summit. summit. We saw Hungry Box versus Apollo Kage, Apollo and that Kage. went to Game Five in a losing matchup for Hungry Box. It's actually winning for Hungry Box. The, the no experts one? don't want you to know. I right? <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> Jigglypuff loses no matchups. Oh, Jigglypuff would never lose. Yeah. No, I, no, I, I actually am. Him? I'm I very excited to see this. this. I uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, we know. Ordering pizza, you two win. I'm Five good. bucks each, probably. I'm good. Just yeah, yeah. no, I'm in. Yeah, um, Ham, he does have. <laughs> oh, he's. He's he's giving the stare. He does have. What does he have? Secret character from Curse of Out. Do we get to know what that character is? I don't know if he's gonna bring it out. Oh, are you not like telling us? But there is a possibility that at some point in this set, Ham Burrito. Ooh, I see the ham dock. The ham dock is kind of crazy. I don't think he's gonna bring it out like at first, but um, like I said, there is a possibility he's probably gonna try game one with the Jigglypuff. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can imagine that. Would be. But I, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, Puff Snake is just so popular. Like definitely, definitely one of Puff's words, but um. Hey, if he has, has, I'm pretty sure he's taking games off of Hardy to make good dog, but at the same time, uh, Hardy does have like a dog problem. So that, that's, yeah, I never that's, mentioned that. Yeah, that's yeah. probably like part of it. Um, he'll probably stick out with him, but um, he has been like dabbling in like other characters and things like that. I, I, I really I heard he got Luigi earlier. In like a set? Yeah. yeah. I think, against him? I think it was against Luigi. I think it might have Luigi did it. Yeah, I, 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 I can he has been playing Luigi, but um, also possible. But um, I, 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 I seriously think we just put out the Puff. Looks like we're going to PS2 for game one here. And um, he's probably going to lock in with the Puff, if I had to guess. Um, so. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. He's thinking right now. I told He's you! Starting I told He's you starting Doc. He's starting Doc. Holy. This is gonna be like. I do not sleep on this dog. He's I'm... very, very solid. Um, so Dr. Mario against Snake, um, this is such like a, a weird matchup, right? Because like, his hits are so, so goofy. He has to go for the game. Um, it's true. Right now, Hunter, he might be a bit, like, no like, yeah, he's is. probably expecting, you know, Amber to get the move up here, but Am, he definitely plays a solid dog. Like, he's always on point with this, like, which I think is really important because right now, 
He gets a down throw on ledge, 100%. He can't down throw a ledge, down tilt into yeah. up B. He's got a bit of rage now, too. Yeah, oh, rage can help him so much. Kills. If he Good back here, yeah, just yeah, one down B, trying to find a down B, yeah. And that grenade was the only punter. It's like, he yeah. could have died if the grenade wasn't there. Yeah, down throw here. Oh, throw there. Yeah, he's gonna be trying to find Edgar. These are like the rough situations for Dr. Yeah, that puppy is so solid. Low read, low read for Andre. Oh, the hand went for the same thing. Down throw, down beat the follow up, good jump away though from Andre. Down here, I wonder. Not gonna do it. Oh no, he might just get here. I feel like grenade might be really good for like just breaking out of Doc Milton. Like, I'm not sure if they're. It's 100% true, but I can't imagine that. Um, oh my god, he's, oh, he's like, like there's like so many gimp possibilities here. Good forwards out there, yeah, I gotta be fine here. I'll be going to be maybe back safely, yeah, and he's home, and up smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know that up smash is really good at mixing up the eye. Like, if you, if you aren't ready for it, yeah, you will like, die. Slow. Yeah, and right now the hunter does have that C4 position center stage, and Dr. Mario is like so slow. It's gonna be really hard for him to get out of the corner right now. But finding his way back, yeah, he's gonna retreat to under the other pop on Just one pop on stage. Like, I don't need to deal with this. I'll yeah. reset to neutral. I, I mean, you really don't have any like pop on back here. Up throw, up there. That's C4, yeah. Just let it rip right away. You have to be so careful. You know, see? He doesn't do too well on him. Um, yeah, it's but, you know, like, gear versus grenades to, like, shift his momentum, and you can see more, just, you know, kind of as, like, a get off, you know, like, I'm going to get down, and if you don't give me the respect, I will work it. Yeah, and maybe it's all in the process, but, like, Hunter was at a low level. Oh, oh, my god. Sticky back that's throw. It. Stuck him into the back throw, that's gonna do it, Hunter. Taking a game on here. Very clean stuff, very clean, uh, throw. Yeah, that's, that's sticky in the back throw. Mm -hmm. If I'm ham, uh, like, do you want to stick it out in this matchup? Because, like, obviously, excuse me, obviously the doc is in the practice, like, as a big Yeah. But the matchup for Puff is so bad. It is so bad. Yeah. But, um, like, his doc is solid. Like, he's, like, think about Hunter and Arias, their snakes are very different. Like, Snake is yeah. such, like, a unique person. You're playing with something Looks like we are going to be getting into it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, probably just wanting to uh, try out. You know, Three, on, you know two, test the waters with Doc, one, but. Jigglypuff definitely is his best character. Um, oh, by a long shot. Yeah. Like, his, his Jigglypuff's actually really, really solid. And, um. There are still some things Puff can do, but it's so hard to do with Grenade. But, like, that Nair didn't even the most like this. It's also a matter of. There are no impossible matchups in this game. I don't know, like, get I've won get him in here before. Oh, uh, you were fighting some, like, one of the GSP games. No, it was my friend who had to play Smash for a while. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but, I mean, I mean, it's definitely not impossible. Like, yeah. Like, it might be the same. Oh, okay. That hunter would be a He was keeping it even until that, uh, forward air. Yeah. But... I think this this could be competitive with the bad matchup. Yeah, I mean, like you were saying earlier, Apollo Kage uh, did go game five and win the boss. And, and, and like real. So, I mean, this this is real. this is this is more. This is an ultimate summit six. This is SJ summit. South Jersey. The better one. This is our great. region is better than like. All I'm saying is there's a reason MKLA was not. Worth it. What didn't MKLA get like nine or something? I think so. Eight six. He's not really. He's not as good as Burrito. Burrito is in that shape. Is he? Is he getting this yet? Oh, no, he's no, Hunter, Hunter. Yeah, make these way to the other side of the stage too. They both up front. That they are gonna take the take I mean, the side of the center yeah, stage. Yeah, and up to and, uh, spawning also, right uh, back. Did you know that? Hmm? Did you know that? No way. Crazy news. Yeah. Crazy how that works. Yeah, I'm gonna put that extra there. Burrito. Burrito taking a key 40%. Yeah, is he sticky though? I, I think he might be sticky. Yeah, yeah I'm not sticky. Um, he might be. No. Actually, I think I saw it on his foot. I might, I might be going crazy. Might be leaning forward. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, he's right there. Him just, just like being patient. So, so saying, I'm gonna crouch. You yeah, can... Hunter's like, oh, he's <laughs> good talking. He's taunting, taunting, saying, yeah, you can come to me. I'm not doing this. 
Like, as long as I keep avoiding these, um... Yeah, getting bored. He's not avoiding them. He's getting bored. Hunter is just sitting Hunter really, really wants like... the kill. It's, it's so scary. Oh. Hold on, Oh my god, yeah. I want to see him get a rollout. Yes! Camp him! Camp him! Camp him! Camp the snake! Camp that's how you play stage. the matchup! Yes. That's what I- that's what I voted to see. Do not approach the snake. Oh! oh phenomenal C4. What a goofy ending. Yeah, Hunter- Hunter was gonna hit the I mean... Who is Ham? What can I do if I'm Ham? I don't know what Ham does here. Genuinely. Uh... Yeah, it's- it's- it's looking kind of rough. We might switch it up again. I might go Fox. Like you said, yeah, yeah he was playing he Fox, right? It's a little bit, but it's like on Wii Smash, not even. Oh, uh, that's not it's real. Like not Fox. real, not real. Damn. Was that the surprise cause you a pocket pay? I, I would you. love this to see that. I would love to see the co the ham cause. Maybe we get the ham burrito solo pyro. Solo pyro. He does have a sick nasty solo pyro. Why just not Mithra? I'm the reason I said Fox is because Yo, we go to North. Yo, the reason I said Fox is because Fox is fast. Yeah, Fox, Fox does beat Snake, but he's, he's probably going back to Puffy at the same time. Stop, so Puffy. 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 Um, that last game was so dominant, Roger. Though I like, I, I don't know. Him. He has to play just more patient. He has to play. Yeah, but it's, it's so so difficult. He has to avoid those. Um, those grenades, but like, yeah. I mean, hundreds of not just such a good job here. of like avoiding combos, bro. I mean, it's so difficult. Oh, he doesn't get a down throw for grenade. He knows how to throw that grenade. Oh, oh, oh shield, break? shield break! You got a shield break! Hold That's on. not gonna kill, is it? Definitely not gonna kill. Should have gone for a rest combo. No, it oh, it's landing with C4, just That's saying, so nope, you can't cover this. Okay. He's gotta yeah, play patient. Punish what Snake does afterwards. He, yeah, he, he basically got one in the over. Hunter wants him. Hunter wants him set over. Yeah. He could force that there, but already got him. Oh, is this Edgehar gonna do it? Oh my god, he's Cypher armor. Cypher, it's so sad. Like, this match would be so much better if Puffy and Hit and Snake got a Cypher, but she just can't. She's not, she's too weak. It's so sad. You know, back air I have no idea, but you have to, like, turn around. Yeah, it's like. It's not practical. Yeah. That's such a shame. Like, I feel like Nair is just so much easier. Like, you're getting, like, chip damage, but, like, Snake is chipping you just so much more than Cause yeah, it's I'm so- sure. it's so hard to get Yeah, I'm looking. Ham just looks like he doesn't know what to do. He's probably like, he's just like, like, yeah, 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 up Great up tilt. Honestly? He's not yeah, 97. I, oh. Oh, he got the elite I would do that. He does that a lot. I will get I hit by that. Lot. Every time I play Mario, I always have that. Yeah. But, um... I won't lie. That elite smash study is a lot of the game. Can I have a rest combo? Uh-oh. I mean, it's doable. Because if I'm him, my I would just go for the timeout. Honestly. Sure, five minutes left on my clock, but... No, I'm saying, like, from the start. Okay. I would just, like, try to go he for the timeout. He might get back. Oh, okay, okay, get back. He's gonna be looking to set up like an awful situation, but like Snake just not excuse me, Snake just does not get hit on the second one. Good rollout. Just roll out right through the grenade, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Oh good back air. Yep, back air gets through it. I mean you gotta think like now he's just he's been looking better and better throughout the set. I wonder what would have happened again now. I mean it was worth a shot when he got at the end of the day, like do up in C strong as well. Uh, I, I know all the time. Right now, all 100 needs is more confidence. He, he, he just wants the set to be over. Great dodge, but still in disadvantage because he's yeah, 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 traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure taking it through all over him. He, he was looking so much better, but... I mean, end of the day, just such a rough matchup. Yeah. Like, I, I just don't know. Superpuff would do there realistically. Yeah, it's, it's such a such a uh, well matchup. Yeah, I mean he he tried the dock, which like I get it, but like still it's just it's I so mean, it's so 
Yeah. Whatever works. I mean, that's the that's dog my has thing. worked with that. But yeah. Right, what set are we getting next? Um. Uh, if I had to guess. I want to see. I I want to. Not about guessing. I want to see Brother Zoinks. I want to see. I mean, I wanna Sauce see, versus Weezy. I want to see the other set. I mean, either way, it's gonna uh, be a banger. It, it will be a banger. We have two great sets left. We have uh, Sauce and Weezy versus uh, Secret and Houdini. Um, well, you just said that like it was duos, like it was doubles. It's not doubles. It's not doubles. It, it, there's two sets. There, there are two one <laughs> set is Sauce versus Houdini. Or no, it's Sauce versus Weezy, and the other set is Secret versus Houdini. There we go. There we go. There we go. So I don't know if um, Sauce and Weezy have history, but um, I know Secret has played Houdini a couple times. Secret. Because um, this is psychorect every so often. And Houdini's there. Uh, uh, there's no notable uh, history. Oh, uh, uh, Weezy does have games on Sauce. I'm not sure. Does he have a set? No, I mean set. Yeah. Okay, I only have. I, mean, I only have sets. Like, okay. 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 Well, you say games. Yeah. I know. It is. Supposed to have Gotta up your commentary. Oh, uh, my heart. Are they sending one yet? Yeah, they haven't sent anyone quite yet. Um. Yeah. Oh, looks like Zayker got the win on Noodle too. Good shit. Uh, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No cussing. I'm sorry. We we can't get banned on Twitch. There might be children watching. Like Cam Burrito. Cam. Cam, are you watching? Uh, he's downstairs. Let us know in chat. <laughs> yeah, Cam, let Watch let us, the let stream on your phone. Open it up. Go on. He's, he's he might be watching the answers. But um Yeah, he's open it on the phone. No, I can't see Oh 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 more viewers. More viewers. We got we got we got sauce music. Yo, yo. Brother Zoin? Brother Zoinks. In the building, so um we're, we are getting the loons. Like he he's going he's going He is one thousand percent on Luigi here, like he knows the matchup so well, he plays against, uh, uh, Tree State so often. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. And, uh, the yeah. Zero to Death, the Luigi Zero to Death is, uh, very, very easy on all of the puzzles. Uh, it's a good, I'm not sure. I think he's not, uh, uh, Oh no, he uses, he uses the, um, Pokemon yeah. Trainer! Yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, he is going with you here. Uh, def definitely a solid pick. Like this Zero Death is very, very easy on. Um, all the uh, I think it's the easiest on Squirtle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Squirtle. Yeah. Which like, I mean, in disadvantage, it can be pretty hard for Zero to uh, escape. But uh, it it's definitely like. All right, and he, again, he knows it so well, but like, like we were saying about Snake, the like, more time is still there's a character, that like, just because you know how to play against one specific person, um, it doesn't mean you know how to play the character, and I mean, Sauce is showing it well already, I mean, he's, he's off to such a dominant start. Okay, we are good. We're all good. Yeah, sauce, sauce is at like a dumb five hundred fifty. I, I was completely with the, with the bracket, and I looked away. Are we getting an edge? Are we getting a no edge Easy, unfortunately. Okay, but now the Charizard is out, and this is so so scary. I mean, towards up here, he's gonna be looking. Oh, good player, but it's back to stage with the sauce. Not just Charizard, that so it's honestly, like, the self damage. I'm gonna okay. say it genuinely for the because yeah. Charizard's yeah, rage is terrifying. Charizard's rage is scary, but, like, the platform is not Good work over there from the sauce. Can we yeah. start with Yeah. Uh, these, these, fla these high flare glitches are definitely working out well for some, so these recovery routes have been super solid. You don't want to get gimped by these creatures, so high flare glitch is a good way to get back to stage, especially if you're going to be doing the back air. Back, he might back air. The or forward air. And it's clean, oh, because that Kobe oh, does have a team. He went for that. He's I respect it. Oh, he's dead. So I don't I don't know if we're gonna see here. Possible. It is it, it is a possibility. I think it's actually possible. more than possible. Honestly, I'm gonna say it. I think it's likely. I, I think that if if I'm Wheezy, and I have 
three other characters that can do well. I count as Ike, but I get farmed by his Ike. Ike because... is not real. This is Weezy, not my fight. Oh, that's true, that's true. Never mind. If you have two other characters, and my first character, if I have two other characters, my first character just got farmed like that. You're switching them up? I'm switching. Like, it doesn't matter how well you know the matchup, if I'm getting Wait. that much, that much. Yeah, he, he did kind of get flat, but I mean, still, I mean, you might want to stick it out with your Luigi just to, like, show that confidence. Like, not that the switching characters is like, like, but he, he, he might still be going Luigi. I think Beans, I think I saw um, a Mario and Luigi song. Never mind. He's going to be a I'm sorry, I lied to everybody. How dare you? But his his ball is very good. Um, he's definitely like still like comfortable, really with um, it's, especially with uh, it's mostly with Paulo and Luigi's are like how he the characters he's most comfortable with against Pokemon Trainer. Um, how is he not comfortable with Paulo? Like if you if you're yeah, but I I really like matchups and stuff. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, but like, like sauce, such a sauce solid is character. Sauce is He's off to a really solid lead. Squirtle being like the second damage on the Yeah, it just waters. Yeah, I mean like, Squirtle is so hard for Paul Tina to deal with. Him. So like, once Sauce is off by him, it's just gonna be huge size. And he's gonna be for the land. And now Sauce, they're not going to be Squirtle, so... It's time to get a side of relief if you're dying to Ivysaur yeah, or uh, uh, forward air up. Yeah, but like, look at all this damage that um, yeah, Squirtle was able to do right now. 65 already on Squirtle. Yeah, they're just they're doing so much damage. Yeah, Squirtle is putting in the work and then... Squirtle is putting in the work. We get the back air from Weezy though. Uh, I, I've heard a lot. Ooh, oh my goodness. Razor Leaf. That mine was also for combo. And now that you've got higher than you do, you've higher than you do. So this is wiping the floor with the right now. This is a fucking bag of incredibly. Incredible. In the back throw, back air, back throw, back air. That back air is amazing. Up air, oh my god. Beat down. Sauce going for a forward smash just to call out, you can't be in the space. Nair, 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 Back throw, not gonna <laughs> That was a little bit under the stage, it's not gonna... It's just like we were Like, he's back on stage. He is back on stage. With Ivysaur. And 0%. I did 20 points. He's alive. Okay, well, <laughs> who is he? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, we, we need to start to... Up there. Up air into Charizard instead of falling up to Up air into Ivysaur up air into Charizard up air. True combo. What a. Pokemon Freddy! Great combination. Anyway, uh, game three, I. I don't know if Weezy switches it up again. I mean, if you run through, like, your third character, like, three out of three in three games. Three out of three. I don't know. And it's not like these games are like, oh. They're not. Hey, it's not close. It's, I, I hate to, I hate to say I, it. I got to bad saying it. I don't He's running back to you. Stick to your guns, stick to your guns. Pokemon trainer! Yeah, I mean, Luigi definitely does probably be better than Magic and Paul's game, because they don't even get body bags by, like, any other characters. Three, two, one, still, like, it's, 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 it's not like I, I, I don't want to seem like a disrespect. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's fine. You just get it first against uh, a little bit rough. Sauce is also a good start. Again, he's getting rocked, and I'm no stranger to getting rocked. Yeah, but right rocked. now, he's able to lose his combo. Yeah, right now, we're keeping it even. Up air, no jump here to Sauce. Just uh, catching all the options. Uh, early up, he's gonna uh, say, get off me, now. Yeah, uh, very, very good. That oh, I need mean, some forward smash. This is just a solid ledge trapping option. Like, there's so much Pokemon Trainer has in like so many scenarios with like all the Pokemon. It's hard to like get everything. Like, I completely forgot that that forward smash on ledge is an option. It's so, so, so solid. Yeah. 
Why is it blind or something? Are we live? They're all live. Alright, cool. Alright, welcome back everybody. Right. Sorry for the long uh, delay. Uh, Trucky Dunk beat Cosmos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmos. But, um, yeah. So, first up, we'll be having Houdini vs. Sauce. Um, I don't think we can show the final bracket on stream. Um, bracket should be in chat. Start by GT forward slash tournament forward slash South Korea's new summit. Did you not make a... But a little URL tag. You don't? Alright. Yeah, they're already getting started. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, we're getting started already. Um, Sox opening up quick. Yeah. Quick 50. So, he's not gone. So, yeah. <laughs> a big thing about, um, especially this matchup alone, is Yoshiwa has a really hard time dealing with how strong PT's like, scrap game is and just how they convert all that scrap. So, Pharaoh has, like, in this matchup especially, is like, just take, learn how to take it really slow. I'm very interested in how Houdini ends up, like, passing this match. Because he's, like, compared to a lot of the other, uh, Yoshi players, he's pretty aggressive. Yeah, and I think that Ivysaur is where he's going, where he's Giving me easy to get the mystery mileage off. I say that, but he just goes down. But the Squirtle is going to be a big issue with the frame data and just that outscrapping. And then Charizard is a tool to deal with. Um, Yoshi's just looking on the board. So, uh, Sauce opting to go a lot of Ivysaur now. Yeah. He, yeah. He's been talking to me, and ever since, like, he's break everything, he's just like, yeah. My, I feel so much more comfortable on Ivy Sword and Charizard than Square Line. Which I think, like, it's just been working out for him really well. Again, this is, you know, about stocks, not just percent. And he's been able to convert so much more off, like, his Ivy Sword and his Charizard than he is a Square recently. Yeah, and if we're being honest, it would, as a PC player, you're going to get a lot more mileage, uh, sticking more with the characters you are most comfortable and best with, than trying to force yourself on different performance in different situations. <laughs> Like, especially, uh, and, like, the situations like with Yoshi, with, like, uh, Yoshi, where Yoshi has, like, pretty solid boxing with his jab and F-Tilt, and, like, that takes away a lot of, like, the good qualities of Squirtle, which is his better boxing than usually you, his low profile, and all of that kind of gets nullified just by Yoshi also coming kind of good enough to that. So it kind of makes sense to me that, like, Sauce can just, like, play out. I feel way more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, Squirtle, I feel like Squirtle so would outstrap, uh, Houdini, but, th yeah, you're right, the comfortability in playing the one he's best with is definitely gonna be, oh, do a lot in getting sauce through the sets. Also a huge thing, uh, Ivysaur has districts. Yes, Yoshi, uh, character lacking in districts, uh, having those districts against him is gonna be, be do wonders. Mm -hmm. As, you know, Houdini's an aggressive player, and having those pistols to stuff him out, keep him at an arm's distance, you know, he's gonna have to find a way in through those, like the forward air, the back airs, which are already very difficult to deal with. I'm just interested, because both these players have had a long pool session. Oh, wow, bad DI. Yeah, he's holding straight into the blast zone. Where's the game sauce? But yeah, I'm, this is a convincing game, too. Mm -hmm. I'm very, like, interested in seeing how this ends up, like, how these two players do when it comes to the bracket phase. They both had a long day. So, like, for them, like, being able to, like, keep it up basically throughout this entire day and finally up the final bracket, like, both of them kind of under underperformed compared to how they probably wanted to play. Both of them were able to, like, have the possibility of making upsets and they really didn't. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, so yeah, as this bracket goes on, we're gonna, sh we're gonna really see how this invitation is gonna become a battle of endurance. Like, I was, I've been talking to so many people. Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. Yeah, I have to go into game 3 here. Small battlefield is a power pick. You, Jason. Just the thing. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, I'm gonna need your Yeah, I'm 
yeah, so small battlefield. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going... I think Houdini wanted to just kind of get rid of the X space. Yeah. I uh, saw some zoning with uh, Razor Leafs for a little bit, and he was getting miles off of them. And so Houdini wanted to kind of initiate that scrap game a little more. Oh my god, Ooh. he is back. I thought he was dead there. Yeah, it was an interesting idea with the down air, but unfortunately Yoshi was able to, has the air dodge length to be able to live after that. He was lacking it in the tr like, traditional strength that a down air would have. In exchange for massive size, but... Mm -hmm. Alright, does he get off? Does he have like... No. He's on the corner and just gets punished for it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, and now you're down against PT, like... He's gonna have to really work to get back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, with how much practice Sauce does have against Pharaoh and a lot of the other Yoshis, like, he's just playing this matchup way better than Houdini. And I mean, Houdini does have the practice in the matchup, but he's played Tristan a bunch of times. He's yeah, played Sauce a couple of times, too. Yeah, between Tristan and Sauce, uh, it's not, matchup and experience should not be in the factor in the slightest. Yeah. It's but. Just... I think patience is a big thing we're seeing. Houdini mm -hmm. is... Tr Yoshi should be trying to get in for that to scrap, but I think it's... Yeah, he, Houdini's like, doing it to a fall. Yeah, it's kind of playing into like one of Sauce's biggest strengths, is he is one of the best scrappers I've ever seen. Like, he... is just like so aware of what you're gonna do right in his face, and he doesn't get nervous about it whatsoever. Like, right there, he like... just reads the spot dodge after a jab. Like, he's not afraid of the RPS whatsoever. Which, like, most other players can't do. And then finally, Houdini. You made up the stock count, at least. No, it's a stock difference. Oh, it's a stock difference, yeah, my bad. Yeah, it's... Uh, Sauce was able to eke out a whole stock in between that when he dies, yeah. and Houdini finally yeah. took that stock off. I'll pursue the fares. He's able to take that center. It gets a little bit going, but... Alright, I guess it's, it gets a triple fare. Mm -hmm. And not triple fair, triple auto. Triple, yeah. He has the offstage, just could, he could even the stocks up in a moment's notice. This has been on yeah, the ropes for a little bit now. Oh, yeah, he should be coming back. Yeah, he missed the upbeat. God. I love hey, how Yoshi was... There. Not Yoshi. <laughs> I got messed up on the tag already. But yeah. I love how Houdini's using um, the edge from disadvantage to create himself opportunities to get back to ledge. Like, he's really pushing the idea of, like, how, like, well PZ can edge guard Yoshi. And she's using an advantage, but still, it's just not enough. It's obviously a game's two with a two stock. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. It's already two hours. Houdini. Yeah. Looks he look he needs to figure something out, because... Yeah, he honestly looks like he's a little burnt out of steam. I feel like his punishes are way worse in this set than we've seen before. Yeah, and he also has this general feel of holding forward. Yeah. And when he's you do that against Soft, who, as you said, amazing scrapper, mm -hmm. it's not... it's a recipe for disaster. He's like... I've always put it, so... Soft kind of plays, like, a, a classic fighting game grappler at points. Like, he is very willing to go deep into his scraps and just let his opponent play into his hands. Smash doesn't really have something like a FGC grappler. I mean, there's characters similar to that archetype, like bad movement, heavy punish, yeah. like it kind of gets zoned out. And like PT's a little bit similar to that, which is why I think this character fits in really well. But, like, again. Yeah, and there's also the fact that PT can fill pretty much any role. <laughs> yeah. Um, they can zone it. Uh, they need to, they can scrap if they need to, and it's, it, they're a very fluid character, and Sauce is using that fluidity to his advantage. Um, with a really good mix between scrapping and zoning. Yeah, like, he's, he's not just letting Houdini get in his face, he's using Ivy's sort of really well to, like, keep, like, keep Houdini out. Basically, use Ivy's buttons the same way you would a sword, and, like, in the sense of just, like, long your opponent out. Like, look how he uses back air and razor leaf in neutral to keep, uh, Houdini from pressuring center. Mm -hmm. It feels like a mix of Young Link and Lucina. Yeah, pretty much. Those, uh, Razor Leafs just... I mean, he can just sling them out and convert off into punches and even kills off of them. If they land. He is swinging big. Those us uh, smashes. 
Yeah, all right. Oh, oh amazing reversal. reversal! The one time Houdini feels like he's actually got like, a solid, like a strong position to set, he just gets reversal like that. Sasha's reversals for this set have been on point. Mm -hmm. And now he's just in this dangerous position. He got a full rage shard. Oh, yeah, he finally gets it. Let's say full rage Charizard, and that kind of with a soft differential like that. Ugh. <laughs> Terrifying. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's a bit of a flaw there. It's awesome. I haven't really seen him use up smash. Yeah, he's probably made look for up tilt. Mm -hmm. He loves up tilt this character. Guys, <laughs> shot up tilt. It is a good move. That was like his bread and butter. Mm -hmm, but we're... This is the most recent squirtle in a while. Mm -hmm. and, um, like we said before, the house scrapping, but that's a dinosaur. Yeah. I think he was noticing something a little uncomfortable at squirtle because he was, he was like, okay, how do I stop him taking so much percent off of, like, who didn't hit me once? And then, as he tried to blow, he's like, wait, I don't have the information, the same information I do as, like, Ivysaur. Yeah, he, he tried to, me. he tried to lean more into that close quarters combat, uh, game plan. But, like, what, was not, like, uh, couldn't execute it the same way he has been doing with Ivysaur. Exactly. Already, it looks, looks like Sauce's game, except Yeah, win. that, um... Up be off the top is gonna be ta taken through the sock, and at this point, sock is just running away with it. Yeah, that's an air. It's just the air dodge. How do you see how land here? Alright, he goes with the yeah. he Control mentality. He doesn't he want to win. He wants to win. Yeah, okay. He tries to catch the, uh, run. That smash, that smash wins! <laughs> yeah? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, disjointed. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's an air. This is a pretty easy electric for Houdini to get himself back into this game, but like, he has to kill off of it. Right now, he's taking, he's just resetting over and over. Yeah, he's resetting over and over because, uh, And at some point, so at some point, either he's gonna kill, or Sasha's gonna have to get off play. Yeah. Strong Nair still is doing it. And, and there he goes, back off. You see it there. The Nair's... What about that's the stage? Alright, yeah. that's not there. A little too aggressive trying to escape the ledge. Oh, but right now, life here for Houdini to help keep himself in the set. He's still got a long way to go, but it's not out, completely out of question for him. Mm -hmm. And Sauce, in the pool, Sauce went 2-2? Two two? Yeah, 2-2. Two two. Okay, so these two, the Houdini ones are not the same. Yeah. Still, having, losing your first round and having to climb all the way through mm -hmm. losers is gonna be rough. Yeah, that's a... That's a scary part of the This bracket is stacked. Yeah, down smash, and that's it. Great down Three. smash, just oh. waiting for that one opening where you can scout out one of the new tendencies. It's gonna be a 3 out. Yeah, dirty 30. Off the bat. I think that's gonna tell us a lot about how people are playing today. For sure, and back to the notion of mental stamina. Mm -hmm. Houdini seems to be running out. Yeah, Houdini be seems burnt. And meanwhile, Sauce. Looked like he was still going strong. That was an impressive showing by Sauce, and hopefully a lot more to see in bracket. Mm -hmm. I've always noticed like he needs to be in a singles bracket for him to really shine. Otherwise, like what ends up happening is he kind of just like doesn't really play to his full potential. And I think we saw a little bit of that in uh, Swiss pools, but now that he's like actually in the bracket, like it's all or nothing. This is it. I think we're gonna see a lot more from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So Houdini and losers, stops moving yeah. on. Houdini and losers, that's terrifying. Yeah. We, we've we been talking about his mental stamina, but I for sure would not count him out. Oh yeah, for All sure. All it takes is 10 minutes to collect yourself and you can come back uh, real strong. But yeah. and so now we have Noodle Wheezy. We have Noodle Wheezy. Noodle Wheezy. Uh, noodle... So this is a Noodle went 2-2 two -two and Wheezy went 1-3. Yeah. So. So yeah, Noodle is projected to seed to uh projected to win this, and I believe seeded for seventh. I believe. Think I for I forgot off the top of my head, but I'm not sure either. But yeah. Hold on, I'm the to Yeah. Yeah. All right, I blame Jason. <laughs> it's a good idea. But, yeah, we should be getting started. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's definitely organic, and it's definitely rainbow. 
Taco Bell's not being rainbow. Cool. Got it. I saw that somehow. That can never be organic. Easy noodle. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But. Alright, so it is Weezy Noodle. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if Weezy's gonna go up. We, I, think, I saw, I saw Weezy, Weezy going Hero. Yeah, we saw Spiro. Spiro was able to take it out over Noodle with Palutena earlier in the bracket. But that's also Spiro. There so. Here it comes. Yeah, we're getting ready. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna have to see. Yo, live Weezy fan cam? I swear look, to God, look at the it, smile. It look at like this beautiful boy. At he's looking at himself. He knows. He does. But I am actually really interested to see how everything turns out here. Yeah. I know Wheel wants it bad. Mm -hmm. Like. Okay. He's been coming off his breaks uh, for yeah. a relatively long time, so... Yeah, he, he's been warming up. Yeah, this might... He might just come back raring. And it looks Where's like he's, he's hovering over Palu. I'm pretty sure like he's going to go Palu. Yeah, yeah uh, like there's the Palu lock-in. The most... The safest option he has. But yeah. Hero. You know, hero. He, he, he definitely could have gone hero, I think. And I think he... I know in his bones he wants to go hero, but, like, Palu's just a smarter play. And as we get into game one here, small battlefield pick, Leo understands. He doesn't want to go PS2. Yeah, no. He... He isn't just going to PS2 for the hell of it. Uh... Small battlefield's still a good stage for DK. He loses out on the lower blast zones. Mm -hmm. Lower upper blast zones of PS2. But those platforms on small battlefield are... You know, the perfect ding dong vehicles. Uh, yeah, really strong stuff already from Weezy opening up. The only thing is now he's at he's at the ding dong percent, so like he has to play this next stock very carefully. But plus a bit a little bit of rage from Noodle. I don't know if that would. I think it affects it only by a couple percent, but like at that, I think now he's technically out of the. Yeah, yeah he's, now he's definitely out. <laughs> So, Noodle's going to have to get the stock the good old honest way. There's nothing honest about TK. Okay, I mean... <laughs> Alright, that's all bad. Anyways, TK right. take the stock. So, Weezy getting that down so two frames of back air. Drive and true. And... Hmm. Yeah, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. That'll be up. Smash the classic. Yeah. That's the other, other way that Noodle can take stocks. But, um... Yeah, this is... At the start, it looking a lot like the Spiro noodle set we saw mm -hmm. earlier today. Yeah, a lot of, like, commanding neutral from, like, Palutena. Mm -hmm. but And a lot of explosive advantage from mm -hmm. Noodle. Yeah, and just, honestly, it's how he, they play tr around each other's win conditions. Like, Pal is a very, like, uh, I guess, like, textbook classic win condition that you see in Smash Bros. Where it's, like, you constantly are just winning neutral over and over again. And it's dependent on how, like, well you can keep that advantage state. Or keep your opponent from, like basically catching their breath. Whereas, like, I would say uh, Noodle is, like, a bit more of, like, uh, what we see in Smash Ultimate, where you have very clear and very strong win conditions of, like, I need my opponent to be here, and I need to be able to do this, and then I win. Yeah, a bit more... A bit more leaving on the matchup check side. Um, not to say Noodle is a matchup check. He yeah. is most definitely not. But... Playing around the very clear win conditions is a very large part of the matchup. Yeah, I think a big thing in Smash Ultimate is, like, your heavies and stuff, it's, like, the disparity in between the, like, different characters and, like, their thoughts on the tier list isn't as big as they used to be in other games. Yeah. And speaking of disparity, uh, while we were talking about the matchup, the Weezy's created a relatively large lead. Yeah. Dropping that <laughs> stock, but 99 Yeah, still really... Really big uh, lead still here for Weezy. Like, he's able to be able to do this. But if we see a new one coming, Nair's out. Good aggression out. Noodle. Is he dead there? Oh, my yeah. God. Great stuff from Leo. Amazing awareness coming out of that situation. Noodle looking for that untrue, bigger reward string. And Weezy just nearing out. It's going to lead to the final kill. But good stuff from Weezy. I know Eddie was talking to me earlier. He said he was burnt out right now. Like, he usually doesn't play Smash for this long. Yeah. So, like, for him, 
this is a lot. Like, he's always said, like, he, I only really play, like, a little bit after the bracket, sometimes with my friends and stuff like that. Like, he's not really in the, like... He, he's, he's not in the right headspace. Yeah, he's not in the right headspace. He's not, like, in the grinder mentality. Mm-hmm. Where you're, like, you know, like, right after they're set, like, people, like, saw us, you're like, and they're going right back down, like... For sure. Practicing. They, they... Even out of brackets, they, I, they grind with each other for hours. Mm-hmm. I know Blaze, Blaze and A9 would Blaze and A9. constant training partners. But, uh, yeah, uh, reminiscent of the Spiro set, but Wheezy doing better. Yeah, just in like regards the upper to, hand. Doing like, better in regards to holding on to his stocks, getting most mileage out of them. Why do I even speak? Ding dong off the top. Ding dong off the top. Taking, Wheezy stock and now Noodle this time is going to be. Uh, Taking a leap from the beginning of the game. But, Ooh, cross up. But is oh, that dead? No. Double he, trip? That's he, a down throw? That should work. No, he kept his jump. Oh, oh, he missed the monkey punch. I thought he was going to go for a monkey punch, giant punch off of the jab lock. That's a lock. Me too. I thought. I think Pau is just a little too low in her jab lock animation. Maybe. Uh, or maybe he, he just didn't feel confident he wanted to. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah, he just wanted to go for the consistent, and he almost did get the kill off of the offstage situation. So that's definitely something he, that was considered. Yeah, it's a very explosive lane. Even up, but he, all it takes is one ding dong, and it's a full stock lead. But yeah, mm-hmm. already. Yeah. Dude was looking for it. Was looking for it. Guess that oh died, my though. goodness! Aggressive return to stage with the back air and Wheezy just shuts that down. Yeah. Oh god, this is looking like just Wheezy's full game now. Mhm. He's in the zone. Oh, that's Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Yep. Yeah. No, no red lightning. Just dead as hell. Yeah. But yeah, all of a sudden this is back to even. All right, Nair train incoming. Can Wheezy convert this? No, just back. Good sixty, but he's still holding the center stage. Noodle loves to play out of the corner, but Weezy's been using that stage control to his full advantage. Yeah, just like what we saw with Spiro. Oh, like, we... oh my god, hold on. Okay, he's cooking a Okay. Little. Okay. That was terrifying. Weezy doesn't die off of it, but... It just... I feel like Eddie's, like, punish just isn't as strong right now. Like, he's getting his ding-dongs, obviously. Yeah. But, like, we haven't seen a Noodle moment today. Commits to the up smash instead of re and repeating with the down tilt. He might cost him the game. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yep, that's it. And he takes game two. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. This least... time, this time he was consistently finding those kills, and it, Weezy just wasn't able to regain his footing after that first mm-hmm. stock. There, yeah, he had definitely had moments of brightness in like where he was able to like start converting a little bit more, where he was like just winning neutral consistently, turning that into like Edgar situations, mm-hmm. but like. Eddie just closed out every stock in the game, probably like before, before 100, basically. Yeah. When when Noodle is consistently getting those kills, that's when you should be the most scared. Mm-hmm. Because dying at 60 every stock, that's you're not gonna win that game. But yeah, going to three here. Back to small battlefield. I'm pretty sure we're going to take our small battlefield to the Yeah, it's just a hard pick for both of them. I think Leo understands he doesn't want to go to PS2 because he doesn't want to have Eddie be able to play to a win condition of, like, you have to come to me, and then, like, just can't do anything because you're going to get down beat, ding dong. Yeah, I was. Uh, I'm wondering, like, why, like, maybe Smashville for the higher blast zones, and Polychain is able to stuff out DK a lot more. Yeah, like, no, that's, actually, that's, I don't even ban He's probably ban. And he's probably banning, like, FD. FD. And maybe Smashville? Maybe. Do we have a Cave Kalos? This is a, we're running the Athletic rule set, which is the Roman rule set, which is the rule that everything uses except for Battle of the Bridge. I think it's Ashley, right? Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Chase might have changed it, but... Okay, regardless, um, Weezy holding advantage, but still a stock down. Yeah. Not gonna find the kill. <sighs> this is, you just had an up smash there. And, or up air. But, okay, my, yeah, yeah, probably kill. Yeah, now he's almost 65. I think strong as hell. But oh my God, Clanks and 
Get this off there. Just one there, just semi-spiking noodle. Yeah. And he's smiling in the camera. He's, he's back in it. He's having fun. The, the dog's coming back in, though. Oh, for sure. Look at this. Yeah, air, back, back air. air. He wants that kill. He's time oh, the, oh, that's the best thing. He is. He was Oh, this air set feels like it's slipping from Wheezy just every turn yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. He was playing so well that first stop, but since then it's been downhill. Yeah, yeah I know both of them. He just isn't able to consistently keep up that level of play that so, let him be able to beat Noodle. It's only you, so I assume his headset's picking you up a little. Can you scooch further away just to see if that helps? What's up? Um, no, it's not issue. You're good. But, yeah. basically, like, just... Is that it? Yeah, no. he's too much coming back. That should be a death. Go to the back door on set. He was at a dig top percent and he got a oh, kill. Oh, and then accidentally yeah. explosive legs. Well, that's in the can. He... Yeah, alright. Yeah, they, they knew that game was for Eddie. Mm-hmm. But, good. So, two on Eddie. Two on Eddie. Uh, is this our first non three of the block of both blocks? Uh, no, I believe there. Were, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we had three O's all the way through. It's a uh, set number six, but it's finally here. Hopefully, it, it's a game five. This yeah, is, this is entertaining. I know, cause I, both of these players are like, I know we really trying to get back, back on his improvement cycle, cycle and like. like mm-hmm. He took uh, a break for a while. Wants it. Just, I mean, the whole of the contenders, I think everyone, everyone like, like, came into it and was like, yeah, that would win it. Yeah. I mean, there's so many people on that. You could just say, <laughs> there's yeah. so many people. And one of them's losers already. already. Like, yeah, one of them's losers already. Uh, one of them, you know, Wheezy's giving Noodle a bit of a run for his money already. Mm-hmm. This is just round one. Yeah, but yeah it was see. like, small battlefield through the whole set. Triple dash attack. And an aggressive up B off from ledge. I kind of, yeah, I really like how Weezy's adapted. Although, he, like, he's been using way more projectiles and be like, alright, instead of just trying to take center stage all the time, like, he's now just letting, like, Noodle have the corner bit. Okay, I can just auto rifle. I can switch the play. I'm hitting yeah. those today. Oh, my God, alright, he hit the. Me and Eddie were talking about that earlier of doing a uh, cargo th- up throw onto the forward air. It's true. Pretty certain percent, it's a little bit more niche than uh, up throw up air, but it does like 30. Yeah, no, that that's such a high damage move, though. Getting down now, you can't get down from that jungle situation. Really yeah. good use of explosive playing from Wheezy, uh, t- covering one end of the stage and with his presence, mm-hmm. and then forcing Noodle over to the other side. He's, he's just doing a really that's good job of catching like. And he's just landing and doesn't, isn't able to get it back to stage there. It's just like he's able to like abuse Donkey Kong being big and having a bit of a hard time landing because of it. Mm-hmm. He's big, he's heavy, he's super easy to juggle. And Palutena's is juggling is incredible as is. Mm-hmm. Up air, explosive flame. Weezy's just using it to its full effect. Yeah. Should, Should we do the electric situation? This is a down tilt. There, no conversion off the off air. That was a bit funky. Hmm. But yeah, Weezy's going for the super chip heavy, and he is having a bit of a hard time finding the kill. Mm-hmm. Uh, does find it with the down throw back air. Noodle Ooh. not ready for the beyond that end. Ding dong, straight back. That was something else. They are just, they are killing each other. Yeah, they're scrapping now. I think they're both at the position where they're like, all right, I just want to win neutral. Mm-hmm. But, like, one of these characters is going to get a grab and get way more off as you see here. Oh, oh and my fair? God. Man. All right, there it is. Noodle's, Noodle's warmed up already. Yeah. 3-1. Ends it with a Noodle moment. Probably back, back to his great strength senses, it feels, feels like. like. Holy moly. But yeah, amazing stuff, stuff from Eddie. Eddie. Just For sure. After that game one, I think he was just back in it. Yeah, we were, so we were saying he was a little burnt out, but yeah, <laughs> maybe he's gone back into it. He's back into it. That piece is in wonders, I guess. Mm-hmm. But no game audio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do not know who we have next. Um, 
I'm pretty sure. Well, Ari, Ari and Ham are for going our to off stream matches. Bottoms. That they we have, have downstairs. Now. Yeah. So just a few updates on the bracket. Uh, Hunter did beat Secret three one. Uh, currently, I believe Arya is up one zero against Hamburrito. Uh, for our winners' uh, side, we have Vince versus Hunter. Uh, we have A nine versus again the winner of Arya and Hamburrito. We have Spiro versus Sauce, and we have Xavier versus Noodle. After Noodle just won that set three one. Uh, losers bracket. Uh, we don't have any sets yet. We just have to get through a lot of the buys before we get to the losers round ones. Yeah. I'm I'm excited to see uh Vince Hunter. Mm-hmm. That's, I feel like that's going to be I the second round. With, the, with how Vince is defined today, I think there's going to be three people in this bracket who might be able to stop him. And I think For sure, Vince has been playing hot. He was, he was one of the four O's, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, he was the only person who got four O. Oh, only person. So you're on okay, 3-1. Uh, I think A9 and Xavier both went 2-2. Two, two. Or no, I believe Xavier also went 3-1. Yeah, Xavier went 3-1. And then Spiro also went 3-1. But, yeah, well, actually, I'm unsure who we're going to have on stream next. I believe we're going to wait for Ari and Rita to finish up, or we're going to get right into Vince Hunter. How's Arthur's mic? Yeah. I... Yeah, one of the mics has been echoing. Uh, my apologies. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, can you switch back to the player camp? So yeah, we just should okay. be coming. We should be see who's coming up soon. Yeah, no way yet. Hopefully Jason can call somebody. I mean, I am the TR. I can just call the match. Alright, it looks like we will be switching out soon for Dave and Blaze for the next block. Um, we should be getting into the rest of the winners soon. So, alright, stay tuned. Little fucking baby headset on. <laughs> that headset keeps dying, by the way. Like, it looks yeah. kind of self-lost. Yeah. I'm supposed to put the echo. I was kind of. I think my mic on it. All these sets? Dude, uh, Hunter is um playing a really good uh, solid stake right now. Trying to get a bit solid stake. Dude, he's uh he's cooking. The stake can always play on like, or sorry, if Hunter can always play on like less stock moves, they can do it, but it's not also playing on fire. So yeah, this is gonna be a good set actually. This is gonna be a really good set. Snake! 
That's what I'm saying. Like, even Vince looks six years old. That's what I'm saying. You know? Like, both of them six years old. Dude. Uh, I, this snake, man. This snake is something else. I love this character. But I don't really know how well he does against Sword is. I feel like uh, Snake does well with Sword. Yeah. He's starting off with a very good 7%. Yeah, this is a classic Vince start. Yeah. Yep. The cipher. That cipher, man. Oh no. Yeah, he didn't have C4 available either, so he was dead. Yeah, but Vince is just like he's got that pace where it's just like he's so commanding. Like, once, once you advantage, it's just like, okay, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, he's already at some point. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he wasn't making that back. He wasn't making that back, but yeah. Vince hasn't gotten a hit in a, in a little bit. Uh, and he's able to find his grounding after that SD. Yeah, that's the thing about Vince's neutral, but he's just like, he's so present. Like, even with Sword, sometimes you have to play him. It's not even just like a smash ball. I think it's just a Definitely it's Definitely Damn. Let's get this back there. Let's see the red Alright. Goes for the ballsy. He's back on center stage. Um, still a little high percent, but yeah, has to stop it. So, Hunter's trying to throw out these off-points, so it's like, it's, it's, you know, it's super. Yeah, Hunter's gotta find a kill here soon, because... Yeah, this is, this is, a. Uh, a good spot, definitely you gotta somehow find that up tilt maybe. He's in he's at death death percent for uh down flip and thing, so we can get a grab here. Or even just in the key edge guard. Hunter going into last stock mode. Yeah. He's trying to use a Grenades to cover himself, but it's just a nose. I don't even think, like, being, Snake can use some grenades isn't even, like, that bad, but, like... Oh, wow, what a combo. Yeah, what a stock. Yeah, Air 1, one the... it's, uh, F-Tilt. Mm -hmm. Tipper F-Tilt. Oh, no. I think that, um... If it was that F-C, uh... Hunter probably would have had, uh... A much closer Game 1. Yeah, for sure, and that was only just Game 1. Yeah. yeah. So... Sure, I'm sure that he's uh playing a little nervous since it is Vince. I mean, Vince is he's been he's been, he's been he's been a South Jersey god for how long now? Like he's been missing forever. He's just he's just that guy. He's that guy. I'm sure the first is awesome. I think uh, back to PS2. Back to PS2. <laughs> yep. Solid stage for both characters. Wow, nice patience from Vince there. Uh. 
plays a very disciplined game. <laughs> both, <laughs> both of them are just waiting in shield. Just waiting for the grenade to pop. No one wants to make the first move, so obviously the grenade's just gonna, you know, explode. Dash stack my shield, you get to the jab, you can go up, punch. Ooh. Okay, good stack, nice. The cypher always like, comes in handy. It's, yeah, it's very nice sometimes. The cypher will, like, either hit them away from ledge, like, back yeah. off stage. You, you typically don't really want to recover low, I think, but, like, the, in the situation where you do, like, sometimes the cypher will really come through. Especially, like, characters all the time, like, shot their body, you know? Yeah, right. exactly. Stink Super Saiyan. Hunter's still holding on to the stock. 169 right now. Playing a very, very slow game. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be it. Sweet really good out of shield there. Look at that, he's gonna get sweet spot there. Yeah, just gonna get him back. Welcome back. Damn, Dave Man's quiet. Talk, talk. Ooh, the outfield killing uh, wins there. You can stop game, but 40%, 45% deficit, or I guess no, 30% now, but you know, Snake can always make that up. Which all these are hitting, so. Vince has been very, been, been very careful, though, so we'll have to see how uh, the game is out. Wow, that's fair, man. Alright, gets back. Ooh, F smash. Oh, wow. gets the F smash 2 frame! Wow. Wow. Really solid. 100 classic F smash, but he actually lands it. Yeah. That's crazy. That, that might have just turned the tide of the set right No, for sure. 100 now just has to like play very passively. Yeah. Looks like he's kind of going in a little, but... 100, yeah. 100 play style is a bit scrappy. Ooh, but that sweet spot side B will take that uh, second stock. And even game now. Very, you know. Definitely a huge two frame though. That was a huge two frame, we needed that. Absolutely. Did he in the combo, getting him out of there? Ooh, combo set. Nice C4, I did support not see too. that. Mod stage, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I didn't know actually, but uh, the light on the C4 disappears after like a few seconds, but like, it's still there, you know? Yeah. Just the light. This is the, uh, fourth smash for Alright, last duck hunter, he's going out. Oh, gets combo by his own grenade, but Vince is not able to capitalize oh, on that. Man. Both of them are like a kill percent for each other. He just keeps throwing out the up tilt, like it might oh, hit. Oh wow, look also... at all these shields. Oh! Oh my oh, gosh, God, fully charged F swing. smash after that block. Oh, he had the read! <laughs> oh man. Like, kill. Oh God, anybody could win this. It's so close. Vince is you know, just chill a bit thinking about it, you know? Yeah, yeah, Hunter's just kind of just like taking a step back and like playing a slower game. Yeah, like, Vince is not willing to like approach right now either. He's trying to like, think about it. He's not trying to get hit by Rain Lock. Exactly. Right oh man, this is a. Uh, I'm tense sure here. both of these players' hearts are racing right now. For sure. Ooh! Oh! oh an up tilt! And Hunter gets game two. Wow. Oh, wow. Very, very close game. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure these two go back and forth, actually. Hunter has a pretty decent resume against the, uh, Vince. I'm pretty sure they won. he won their last set. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. I mean, like I said, like, Hunter is, like, we talk about Hunter a lot in SJ for a reason. Yeah, you know? he definitely has that X factor. Like, he, he's definitely one of the more of the hidden bosses in this region. For sure, for sure. The snake sometimes just clutches it out like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, that two-frame F-Smash, man, like, yeah. really Hunter would get that, I swear. He has a very, uh, unique style of uh, playing Snake. As you can tell, he's, he likes to use up tilt a lot, yeah, too. Yeah, he really likes, um, scrapping, but, like, when it comes down to the wire, he starts throwing everything out. Like, the whole, you know, everything yeah. with the kitchen yeah. sink, bro. Like, starts, oh, what? Wow. What? That's the stock. Wait. Well, oh my god. Like... Hunter forfeit. Yo, Hunter forfeit. Um, I don't think that's what happened. Oh. My. God. 
Oh, they just want to turn that off, I guess. Because it's, like, a little annoying. Dude, Hunter just rage quit. Oh, he's back. Dude, stop gaslighting people, bro. I thought he did, though. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, Hunter takes a stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That'd be messed up. <laughs> oh, wait, we just leaked his IP address. No! Well, um... Yeah, who do you think's gonna win this? Hmm... Oh, I don't know, man. Like, like it's 1-1 one, one right now. Very, yeah, really very even. even in the set. Really, really even. You see, even. like, the game can go either way, you know? Uh-oh. Uh shirt's coming off. Ooh... I think it's good too. Oh! Oh, wow. Click on the hair, too. The Super Saiyan. Alright. Let's try this again. Go back to game three. I'm back to PS2. PS2 again? Yeah. yeah, it seems like the most interesting for both characters. Oh, fast pace right off the start. That's so we got some... Even Percepto, you know? Is a good aid. I don't know if that's an accidental side B, but... It doesn't really hurt him there. Vince is doing a really good job at juggling. Well, I think um he was scared of Cypher breaking or getting spikes so oh, the air dodge, yeah. but uh, yeah, unfortunately he died right there. Hopefully Hunter can really clutch up here with this next stock because I hate to see that become a trend for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's costing like a very huge part of the game. Ooh, it's real sick at least. It's a uh, well percent man, but so it's center stage, but it's back there now. Alright. This would be even if uh, Hunter did I see, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, doesn't get the C4. Vince opting to uh, roll in for stage. Yeah, good coverage on that recovery though. Alright, Hunter starting to get into the swing of uh, bringing it back here after the SD. Oh wow, he was really cooking there. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even get punished too hard for it anyway. Oh wow, good edge guard. They're going all the way down there for him. One of the biggest downfalls of Snake is getting recovery. Vince exploiting that to the fullest. Nice, nice, uh. Hunter really likes using that up tilt to cover, um, jump in approach. Yeah, the press up, yeah, the press up will be powered up. Turns off. Oh, you, this is, that's the one I used last time. <laughs> Alright, Hunter taking the stock. Good shield getting a little tiny there. He's able to get out with that, um, the wood pop. Yeah, there it is, man. So. Oh, oh no, my stack is next that, and that would take that game. So we're on. Wow, that was that was um pretty similar to uh, yeah, the SD and uh, the near one and two F smash. So hopefully Hunter can um pick up the pace from his um game two. Mm -hmm. Probably going back to the SD again, right? Yeah, yeah. just change the music. Yeah, that's pretty expected. <laughs> oh, battle! That's that's so funny. Battle at the summit. You get it? Yeah, we're at SJ Summit. Dude, that's a great song pick. The fighting at SJ Summit. Battle at the Summit. Yeah, this is the battle for Summit. The battle for Summit. And the battle at Summit. Game, game 4, like I said, back on PS2 seems like we're gonna be for the rest of the set.
Yeah, most likely. This game, so. Man, it seems like Hunter always finds himself in that situation. But he's able to use the armor to actually counterattack there and uh, gets a decent amount of percent on this actually. Despite taking a little bit of damage himself there. Feeling each other right Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice recovery, that back air took a lot there. Let's see if uh the grenade setups can uh really keep Vint out here. Oh wow, what a ledge guard. He's swinging for these like big smash attacks of le uh, legs, you know. Yeah he is really swinging. He's really looking for the kill. Ooh uh, but Vince gets the kill with uh Jab uh, bear comes in there. The Jer. The Jer. Oh wow. Warrior coming through. Yeah, jumping back on stage in there. It's gonna be a big combo. Oh, combo from the F smash. Just not, not, that was not a, that was a really good combo. That was uh, something a little grim for uh, Hunter. Right yeah, now. it is. Takes his time to back on ledge. Oh, oh wow. Does not hold shield long right. enough. And Vince does like the laser as much as possible and it catches. Oh wow, good option there. But uh Hunter better start playing my last off on this is his potential last winner's game. Oh man, that's fair. Interesting. SD? Okay. Okay, okay this, right. this is the SD uh, set. This is the SD set. It's something that we need, though. This is something Hunter needs. Oh, okay. I throw in two grenades. Alright, alright. Alright, that's the set. Hopefully, that's, that's the last SD of the set. Ooh! Oh, man. Or bear, very similar bear there would have probably. Actually, exact same percent. 99. Oh, and the. Hunter up wow, to we'll take game right. four. We got a game five. We got a game five. Incredible. Hunter with that clutch factor. Wow. Insane clutch factor. Dude. And you know This is just a this is this, this is this is when like the mental stamp like battle oh, starts yeah. kicking, you know this, what I mean? Like this, this is song. game five, this is Rough. Every game is a back yeah, and forth like that. Like, oh man, dude! Like Hunter oh, really coming through with that. Stop battle. No SDs in game five though. Roy. Hopefully. Yeah, we're hoping, hoping for that. Three, two, All right, here we go. Game five. Game 5, back on to PS2 yet again. This is anybody's game here. Alright, nice uh -huh. time we get that started. Push the S-Smash, just try to get an early kill, but Hunter was too far out, so it's safe. Yeah, good coverage by Vince. It's gonna be tough for Snake in back in that position. Uh, good pressure. Doesn't quite get the kill yet. But yeah, what you say, you're close to that. I'm gonna try to force himself back on the stage. Alright, Vince giving him a little bit of space here. Let's see what Tony does with it. And it's still covering that recovery zone. But Hunter's able to land finally. Really good movement with the grenades here from Connor. That's gonna be the stock though. Ooh, yeah. Very high percent jab goes all the way up there to catch him with the bear. Does get out but takes a little extra percent, you know. Like this. Not, never, not terrible play. Oh, uh, catches him with the up tilt, okay. Connor keeping it pretty relatively even. Vince got a decent amount of extra credit on that last stock. For sure, definitely kind of making a bunch of trades there too. And like I said, they can make those trades because he is heavy enough and has DC enough recovery to make it back, you know? Mm -hmm. Indeed, and this has been a pretty dominant controlling the stage throughout this set.
Alright. Good fear there. Alright, alright. It's a... Oh, it goes for that 2 frame again, but... Not quite this time. Her seem to be approaching a lot with that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh he had the read. He had the read. Falling out of the up smash there. Oh, oh the C4! C4 exploded there right. while the other side was trying to push up a little flat. Let's see. Mm, it's kind of something for Perry. To Perry, but kind of might be an up tilt mode again. Let's see, let's see. Maybe reverse. Gets back oh to the God, stage. It's so close. I know up tilt was coming after that spot dodge. I know for a fact it was. Alright. Good Perry! Okay, I got to do the F tilt. Oh man, the, this could be it. Yeah. That could be the Oh, and that's so. Alright. Oh, Vince on his last stock on the set, will he be able to take it Despite back? Despite being so commanding in this set, Vince just seems to, uh, be, alright, that's gonna be the stock there, but, Vince, uh... Seems to be playing, like, catch-up almost. Yeah, here. yeah, even though he, he's been controlling the stage. He's decent amount. But, last stock, even percent. Let's see how they play it out. I'm trying to get to the dash tag, but... Yeah, nothing much off that. Oh wow! Oh, Ooh, take racking up percent okay. over and over. Okay. I'm afraid um, oh, man. Hunter might have gone oh, to him it's mentally. Okay. All right. <gasps> oh, oh, really good oh, air dodge to avoid that C4. Oh, not also the word dodges that up tilt. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can recover here. Can, okay. okay. Uses the nice back on stage. Dash attack for safe. Oh, another oh, my God. up tilt. But Vince is playing very safely. No oh another no, whipped up tilt! Okay. Very, very scary situation. Up C4? Hunter being super oh, careful oh, here. Very careful. Does not want to rush all these explosives. Does not want to rush anything right now. And of course, Vince being very careful not to careful not to swing oh, actually okay. runs an up tilt. Alright. Alright. Oh uses an air to get off on stage before getting hit by the up smash coming back oh, down. Covers the, with the up air. Oh my gosh! Very. Oh my god! No, no player oh. wants to swing first, obviously, but something's gonna happen. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! He's got a grenade. Okay. Okay, Hunter messes up with the game. Despite that, might be the mistake that uh, cost him the set. Oh, oh my gosh! Very tense set. Misses the ledge trap. Hunter gets back center stage, and now Vince has to fight back for center for stage control. Oh, Hunter okay. put himself in the corner. Oh, he's punished the dash tag. Oh, okay. but nothing comes out of it. Both players are playing so careful right now. Oh, oh, oh gets a okay. pair F tilt. Nikita's coming out. Will that finish it? Up? Is he able to grab oh last? Can we shoot it in time? Fares him off. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's the last trap here? Oh, Hunter Hunter trying to take it to this versus. guy. Hunter oh decided to play it slow again. You yeah. keep seeing the, the pace of the match slow every single time. Like yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yep. Right when the neutral yeah. happens. Oh man, this must be. They must have so much anxiety, both of them right now. Oh! Picks up the grenade, misses it. Also, rolls away against the grab. Also, you gotta realize, Vince oh, is like grab percent too. He can't get grabbed right now, Rose. Yeah, he can't. Especially right now. Yeah. There's no more pummeling needed anymore. Oh! Wow! He's hit on the up smash while trying to recover. No. And way. unfortunately, he's not able to make it back. And a hunter takes it over Vince. 3 2. Let's go, hunter. What wow, an upset. What, yeah, that, that's a huge upset. Wow. I mean, definitely, you gotta give it to both players, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, that, they were at really high percent for a really long time. Dude, the neutral that both of them had to play, like, they were playing yeah. so yeah, careful. So many d decisions going into that. Mm -hmm, wow. Mm -hmm. that, that was uh, the, probably one of the most entertaining sets that we'll see tonight. For sure, for sure. Wow, and Vincent er losers pretty early. That's a pretty big upset. For sure. Wow, Hunter Warp. Hunter awesome Dick set. Dick. Awesome set. Yo, <laughs> shout out to Hunter. Shout out to Hunter for being that guy. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Oh, I don't think that was a key. That was up smash. I'm pretty sure that just finished the job, right? Yeah, I, I, it was one of his bomb moves. I don't know. It was, he was throwing at everything. It was last on Hunter, so everything was so we're, Yeah, out. we're talking about that. Like, oh, it was Nikita, my fault. I, I was not paying attention. Oh, there's so many explosions going on, exactly. But, um, yeah, like, last on Hunter, like, really turns it up, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure.
he realizes that, like his life's on the line, so he's got to pull out all the socks. Um, I'm not sure who's going up next. Next up, we got um, Alex and Andrew. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Do you have any bottle of water? Why are you going? Yeah, I got you. Gotcha. <sighs> How's everyone doing on this fine Saturday uh, evening? It's that man. Uh, it's been a very long day through a summer. It started pretty early on, and it's like 8:35, and we're still in bracket for you now. <clears throat> yeah, me too. I'm very sleepy, but I'm trying to fight through it and commentate, so it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Looks like it is... Okay, so it's gonna be Andrew versus uh, A9. Or RA versus A9. Yeah, I'm tired. I like woke up pretty early too, but I was pretty excited for today, so I decided to stay up. We're getting into the tip. We're gonna have, um, looks like the match is gonna be Steve. Or All right. Steve. And uh, Blade's finally back. Yo, that was like, such a hype set, dude. Oh my god. Speaking of hype sets, we have uh, RA All right. at E9 right now. And then do it. We're on small battlefield. Neither player, I guess, wanted to give up. Or I mean, both characters do well on uh, PS2, but I think Andy was once. Uh, I don't know something about like the material that he or the material that he uses to mine, probably. The stage. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is um, pretty even matchup. This new plays it properly. But we're also talking about E9, no one is in PR. I know not that I had to, but you know, E9 was definitely no one in PR. I should have to but Ari also, you know, showing, you know, he's also on PR too. Yeah, and back to back sneaks, that's. So up to confirming the first off. Wow. <clears throat> Andrew with a pretty uh, good lead here. <laughs> and you know, I'm perfectly completely fine with you know, staying to understand, you know, just gonna mine, build, big little house. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you should make a house. Just getting all the material for right now, see. Oh, uh, good that coverage. Like, like, uh, not quite a KO yet, but with the angle. Yeah, the angle's gonna get it there. That's kind of like a rough situation to be, uh, get out of. You can't even, like, like Yeah, especially a snake. Slowing it down a little bit, getting in with a minecart, but those grenades gonna come in handy for combo breaking Steve. Um, let's see if minecart. Oh, dodges it. Dodges it. Off the situation, is able to get it back on though. Catches that jump with the bear too. But, you know, Sid always can just cover high, and it's like it makes it worse. Yeah, he's really going for that uh, up tilt. Ooh, was able to the brace on the blocks and dash tag through. Ooh, oh, and no. the key to actually off his own block. <laughs> the key to actually kills her because of the block, of yeah. spiking him off the stage at that percent. That was very unfortunate for a, a E9, but still very doable. Uh, snakes at 91 percent. Oh, 102. Oh, what was that C4? Um, I think uh, RA forgot where the C4 was. Yeah, maybe. 
Oh man, this wall does is probably the most optimal for fighting Snake. But with using the platform but as a little bit of a the, roof. The only too. issue is like once you get all your materials, you still have to go hit Snake. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, oh but man. gets that confirm with yeah, up air. Grenade confirm. Wow. And closing it out. Wow. Strong showing up. Very clean Snake skin yeah. too. I'll say I like that Snake skin. Downstairs we have Xavier vs. Noodle going on. Um, wow, uh, Sauce beating uh, Spiro 3-2. Wow, what a set. That yeah. must have been all. Yeah. Nobody saw it, unfortunately. <laughs> well, it, The VOD will come out of it. No, it was on the second stream. Maybe there's other people on the second stream. We never know. But um, we've seen the same matchup again. Ness vs. Uh... Uh, same stage? Oh, uh, not see the stage. We'll see you in a second, though. Three, two, Looks like we're going back to small go! battlefield. Game two. Switching to Ness. Um, oh, yeah. I think that's interesting. Um, he did pretty well with Snake. So. Maybe he just doesn't want uh, E9 to get comfortable with the matchup. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, I guess. But, you know, seems to be paying off right now. Got 40% so far against Steve. Oh wow, covering the uh, recovery there. Alright, a little low on iron. Let's see if you can uh, find an opportunity to get some mats here. Yeah, it gets the wall. Of course, you know, minecart, very strong move, but people forget, like, it's powered minecart, so it has armor and actually. Oh like man, that, you know? covers the recovery with the uh, down smash there. But yeah, like, Alex needs to get uh, materials. In order to be able to use it uh, to like get out of six situations, you know? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, oh my god, yeah, this is looking uh, pretty dominant from Mario then. Really doing doing a good job at um, controlling space with his uh, aerial options and uh, controlling neutral. Ooh, Clanks with the PK Thunder returning back and. Oh uh, no, man, down smash is gonna be rough here. Smash. You can definitely make it back. Nice little juke there. I like that. Cause it's up to like, uh, RA to edge guard him, but yeah. Wow, PK Fire detonates on the blocks, so it actually does like really decent damage. Yeah, the PK Fire seems pretty, to be, um, pretty solid in this matchup. Uh, it's gonna go for the, oh, uh, good Ooh, block Ooh, able to place a block yeah. there. That was very smart, yeah, because very, if you tried up being, you would've yeah. got hit by the yo-yo. Very, very, that was innovative. very innovative recovery, yes. Get stuck in my car, is able to punish. Oh, gets a down tilt off of it. Double Doesn't find the kill here. Oh, yeah. gets the kill off that air dodge to the ledge and down smash. Though. Okay. Um, gonna have to camp a little bit here. Alright, he's got a decent lead on him. He does have diamond though, so. Yeah, right. Could find a combo Sorry. opportunity perhaps. Oh, uh, gets a minecart, and that's Ooh, gonna be a spike. spike. That's probably gonna be a spike. Not. Yeah. Oh, gets a double spike, and that will take it for sure. Right. The first spike, now you still had to do a little bit more work, but yeah, the second one, yeah, that's not getting back from that. All right, solid lead here from Ange or er, Ana now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Stage gonna be a little bit. All right, so those blocks are gonna do a lot yeah. uh, for Ana there, but he gets the S smash. Unfortunately, loses the stock. But, uh, Even game now. Uh, United's very like aware of like where he can build blocks. It's like there is a limit of where you can place yeah. blocks. You know. Yeah, he's he very, he's very familiar with the grid. He's a down smash try uh, edge guarding, but it's not for two frame. And uh, Alex might be in trouble here, but only because he's in the lead. Yes, but he has low on that. He needs to. Uh, Excuse some materials right now. Especially like, uh, the minecart would have been Yeah, the minecart, right yeah. It seems like he's fishing for something with a minecart. I mean, it's a pretty solid move, so why not go for it? Well, like I said, power minecart is the one that is like really, really good, you know? He uh, uses the Are materials having, to get uh, gold uh, instead. Hard time with that wall there. You know, he's uh, able to get a lot of decent amount of mass, gets a diamond. He doesn't craft it though. Really close to it's because he wants to keep the gold tools, that's why. Because, uh, what should we call it? Gold tools are as strong as iron tools, okay. I believe, so you don't. Alright, gets know. the diamond though. Okay. Or all Let's stage situation. The... And wow, down smash will catch nice. the up B.
and K9 will take game two. Looking like another pretty solid even set. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's also something I'm glad about. You know, you know the sets are like close and even. Whew. Going back to the small battlefield, it seems like. Just that radio. What song? Let's see. Yeah, come on. Understand, understand the concept of love. I don't know Ooh. that song. Damn. Yeah, I never heard it. I'm sorry. Is it good? Yeah, bro. You should play Just That Radio. Very funky game, bro. If you like funk, you like it. Dude, going back to Snake. Alright. Yeah. Just wanna. Okay, maybe he just didn't like how that game 2 went. I mean, I don't blame him. He won Snake game 1. So, uh. You know, try, might as well try it again, right? I'm like, is that just still really at a really fast game? Yeah, yeah. Steve, so. True, true. But starting off this game 3, um, Alex got pre saw the lead already. But he flashes mm -hmm. to top. He doesn't have iron, so he's not gonna make it back! Oh, wow! Unfortunate. Yeah, if he had iron, he's actually alive, but... To not make it back, taking a little time to yeah, think about it. Just regathering yeah. himself, yeah. That definitely does take a mental toll on you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at least he has a pretty solid, um... I mean, like, here. any SD, of course, takes a mental toll, but, like, something like that, like, you see yourself slowly recover and not be able to make it, just, like... Wow, these players really care about this bracket, I mean, like, all these like, nervous SDs we've been seeing. That's what I'm saying. Everyone came here to prove that they are the best in South Jersey. Mm -hmm. Like, SJ, or SJPR, you know, was announced a few months, or, like, a while ago, but... You know, this is like something that looks like, you know, this is like, like, like top of the shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of the PRs on here and the people got voted in too. The grenade actually gonna stop it, or it's gonna be able to stop the minecart upon um, interacting with it, but it gets the C4. Uh, it looks like the snake switch is actually working very well. Yeah, for, absolutely. Uh, right now. Even, even with the SD, it's a pretty solid, uh, very, very solid lead here. Let's see if uh, Alex can potentially get the kill with my cart, maybe. Oh man, these um, air dodges. Yeah, these air dodges. Can't, you can't be doing that against Snake. I mean, he's just gonna. Yeah, I will tech say, punish. like when I play against Miss Alex, it seems like he does sometimes have like an air dodge happen. It's like air dodging. Spots. Yeah. So obviously he doesn't want to get hit, you know. Oh wow! wow. Does not get Makes up for it with a back air, but yeah, still, you don't really. Typically see Alex drop stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Ray is really able to um, deal with minecart really well in this matchup. Sure. Or it seems like minecart is like, like, you know, working that well. And it's more just for like, see if you get back, really, but... Uh... Oh yeah, looking for the up tilt. Oh wow, good option going, there. You know, yep. Setting up the grenade, not expecting the back, back uh, roll animation. But... Alright, he really likes to control space with these grenades. And... Oh no, he just got reversed. Wow. Okay, oh, but he makes it back because he texts after Love getting hit by Nikita. Wow. Wow. What a recovery. Yeah, that was, that was pretty uh, entertaining there. Oh, but unfortunately it gets yeah. the down throw up till uh, <clears throat> that closes out game three. Alright, are you going up to one? Let's see uh, what adjustments Alex makes. He needs to adapt nine times. He's A9 actually stands for adaptation nine. Uh, he no, makes it doesn't. Nine different he's, adaptations. He's lying. <laughs> he makes up for nine adaptations in his set. And that's how he's able to win. So he's got to. Uh, this is his, uh, what, game 4, so he's got a couple of adjustments he can make, definitely. So he chose Undertale music too, and that's you know, how you know he's, like, trying to hype up. Yeah. Oh, we're going to see a nest again! I think it's just to switch him up again. Yeah. Like, cause if, even if he loses this game, he's gonna switch back to a matchup again. Right. He doesn't want Alex to have, like, a read on uh, I'm maybe. surprised he opted to go nest at all, since, um, not only did... 
uh, Alex safe game two against his own, but Alex has, he plays Ness, so he's very familiar with, with what the character can uh, do. So RA has to be a little conscious of that. Starting off here with, uh, with about, let's just say even percent, but Alex takes the lead with some wood tool combos. Okay, fire! PK fire! Sam blast! Sam blast! Wrong game. Oops. Oh, goes over the up smash. Solid recovery. Very solid recovery. He's a great recoverer. He recovers all. Oh my god, he sucked up his fire! He's down so he has. Sick, give me that fire. I'm sure he didn't kill him that much, but still, you know. Yeah, just just interesting uh, interaction. Ooh, it's up smash! The magma. The magma block. Dude, craft your diamond. No, oh, let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Dude. guys. Taking a very commanding uh, percent lead right yeah. now. Alex is about to craft the enchanting table. Enchant his uh, weapons. No, he doesn't have any obsidian, bro. Dude, he's gonna get the uh, Eye of Ember. <laughs> Why are you just saying random Minecraft like I'm sorry. Are you chilling, sure, dude? Oh yeah, definitely a big uphill battle for uh, Ari right yeah. now, especially since, you know, he's gonna deal with the block uh -huh. pressure. He doesn't really have to overcommit right now, he can just commit yeah. to the building, wasting time, kind mm -hmm. of catching mistakes. Yeah, I see Arya really chasing him down right now. The thing is that, like, when Alex does, like, switch sides, he uses a lot of iron to do so, you know? Like, yeah. Moves. Oh, yeah, that's a free kill right there. Whether it's a spike or, like, you know, just the uh, yep. regular hit of it. Again, it's almost like a game of like kind of match again. Okay. Yeah. So, a, okay. Alex is confirmed. Oh. Only gets thirty-four percent conversion, but yeah, that's like really nice. Oh wow! Oh, uh, with the punish, no. Got the diamond. He's gonna craft the diamond. Oh, uh, it's gonna be kind of hard. He has no pickaxe yeah, no right pick now. Either. Oh! You uh, get it? No. no. Okay, he opts to just get mats there instead of punishing. I guess that's more because he has a. Or do you even like just put like the trapping table down, you know? Yeah. Oh man, what a good position to pull to Steve. Well, these players getting a little swing happy. Where is Alex going? He has no mats. But oh, he makes it back. Back throw, still alive. Gets hit again, but still in there. The S smash is basically safe in that range. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's he's he needs to get some match. Yeah. It's, but you know, Andrew's doing a really good yeah, job. Yeah, he's pressuring of, like, him really. Very slowly cornering him, choking yeah. him. You know what I mean? But you know, finally gets a chance to breathe, puts the match down, but still Andrew oh, yeah, he's going, oh, hits him with the up air, but no. not quite gonna do it yet. Alright. Get another diamond, still low match though. Dash attack, dash back and gets it again. Good kill there, but let's see how Alex manages to close us out here. So Ari bring it back with the C. Upper combos. Oh, okay. Whiffs. That was a. Uh... And uh, yeah. Yeah, that was um. It was very interesting uh, up there. All right, we have another game five. Game five. Yeah, let's go game five. This is the fifth game in the set of Aria vs. A9. This is the fifth time. Small battlefield for the whole set. Oh my god, what was that? Oh! <gasps> no hey, way! We're seeing a nest, ditto. What is this? Three, oh my two, god. One, Why did he get nest? He wants to make a statement here. Maybe. Maybe. Crap. He wants to say, hey, I used to play nest, and I think I can beat you in the ditto. Definitely a statement though. Yeah, this is this is a call out right now. He wants to smoke. Oh my 
god. His Ness is smooth it though. Wow, wow. I can't believe we we're seeing the Alex Ness right now. Like he doesn't get the he doesn't get the opportunity to play his character at that much this point. I mean he did lap a bit of Ness in the Sunday's early during the break, but rough spot to be in right now, but Gets doesn't back. make it back. I was gonna say that's kind of a rough spot. I think with like the Ness did though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Out there, you know? Oh man, this is this is a game five. Oh, overshoot. Uh, That's gonna. Oh, falls out. Falls out. Back to the world, dude. Though. Man, I can't believe Alex is going nuts right now. Oh, 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 Still, barely survives that last game. Alright, yeah, I guess up smash, smash, yeah, keeping it really even right now. I feel now. like Yo-Yo is really good against himself, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the next matchup, Yo-Yo must be really, really good to Wow, his Ness is really smoothing right now. Ether, Ether has like a set knockback too, so like... Oh, he, oh this could be the stock, okay. Ooh, he gets it there, but you know, so on the stage. Oh, still really yeah. bad spot for Andrew, though. It's all recovery, but... Still gonna be off stage. Um, oh, is he able to make it back though? Oh but my god. Not quite. Yeah! Oh my god. That's what can happen. If another nest goes off, they know you're gonna oh, use up They're just gonna oh, send it wow. like that. Alright, he's gotta get the stop here. Mm -hmm. No smash attack with the list there. Might have been the play. That's why, like, in this matchup, it's very scary to be off stage if you don't have your double jump. Because that can just happen. Oh, that's gonna be a no! Oh, double jump was probably taken by the PK oh, fire there. Well, still, what a set by both players. The ah, surprise man. mess coming yeah, out from uh, yeah. A9 too, you know. I can't believe he just did that, yo. But uh, it was very, still a very good game regardless. Very good, very good set. Yeah, very solid set. <clears throat> yeah, props to both players though. Again, man, the Ness man. I don't, I don't know if that was the play. I mean, he, he I think that was a, his ego talking there. It's a little bit. Oh no, this Ness is cooking for a bit. Like I said though, like you just have to watch out. I think, like I said, that second stock A9 was cooking Andrew a bit for that combo. Yeah, but true. He true. overextended a bit. Once you go off stage, mm. like I said, that's what Andrew was looking for. You noticed he just waited for that up to come yep. out. Just waited for it. Yeah. That's Unfortunately, very... maybe he was just cooking a little bit too much. A little too much. A little too much. All right. All right. That's it for us for now. Bye. That's it for us. Peace, guys. Um, inside, <laughs> it's like, on the other side of the mirror, the other side of the mirror, it's on the left side of the mirror. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
But two squares. Two squares. Hate two squares. Change. I'm gonna change you there. Know what? Hi guys. Ham burrito. Must be ham burrito. Alright. Bye ham burrito. Hold on. That's important. For you are not organic. You're rainbow. You're organic. I'm organic. Yo. <laughs> so you'll never guess what we're commentating. We're commentating Hamburrito versus Spiro. They guessed now, it. They guessed. It. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, Spiro and losers. Yeah, Spiro got upset. He did. Oh, hi Spiro. Hi Spiro. <laughs> Look who it is! It's Spiro. Spiro! We're about to commentate this guy's set! Yo! Good luck, good luck. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, uh, shut, the, shut the door, shut the door. Yeah, I got that. I got the door. I got the door, I got the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is true. If Hunter, uh... If Hamburrito... If Hamburrito wins Summit, Hunter wins up the Summit. I, tap water isn't bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but like, I got I got this Deer Park spring water. Like, hey, hey, we're not. They didn't sponsor us. You can't do that. Sorry, I got this unnamed spring water <laughs> that I'm not showing on stream. Yeah, pretty much every match was an upset. Like, that's crazy. It like Spiro is in losers. This dude is supposed to win the tournament, and he's yeah. in losers. It's crazy. Hunt. Like, look, look, look. At the top, if uh, we're looking at bracket right now. If you look at bracket, winner's quarter final, you have each, um, for winner's quarters, you have each, uh, person, who, each one at the yeah, top. I think we need to, um, you, okay. Set it to yeah, each person at the top of, of the bracket, like, it, it's Vince, A9, yeah. um, Spiro, and Xavier, they all lost. They yeah, all got upset. It's, it's crazy. I, literally every set was an upset, like... And now this loser's bracket is so stacked. Like, this is probably one of the craziest tournaments I've ever seen. Like, you know, just like that, in the snap of your fingers. Like, it just, everything just is gone. Like, I just don't know what to expect anymore. Anyway. I mean, who knows? Maybe Hamburrito gets a setup. Oh my goodness. I was looking, I was looking up, um... Hunter got a cook? I, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter that do this. set? That set? That was set was so crazy. good. That, that was, was such a good set. I wish we were insane. commentating that. I do too. I was playing Ham when uh, that set was going yeah, on. Yeah, I and saw. Like, I was playing Crest and I was, I was like, like, hold up. Dude, I, I, I wish we were commentating. Okay, hold on. We gotta see Ham. Actually, I don't think I was playing Crest yet. We gotta see Ham's tag for this. Because it's really, really important. Um, oh my god. Free Sylvain. Hashtag Free Sylvain. My boy do nothing. I'm not. Free Sylvain. I'm not commenting. I'm not saying a word. No. I'm keeping my. Free Sylvain, mouth he did shut. nothing wrong, he did nothing wrong. I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm not saying a single word. I'm saying many words. <laughs> I got many words to say. Okay. I'm getting off of comms. I, I can't, I'll hold it down there. <laughs> God. Is there any, is Spiro? What, I don't think these two have ever played. Um... I don't see it. if they have. It wasn't notable enough. For yeah, I, I I don't think they've ever played. I mean, maybe once or twice. No, I, I don't. Know. I don't remember. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chat. Yeah, yeah. Games. It's a good tag. It's a good tag. It's a tag, bro. Free, free Sylvain. <laughs> we need, we need him back. We need him back. Sylvain would have farmed self or something. <laughs> True. <laughs> yep. Have you ever heard of Jab Jab Power Dunk? You think he Dude, can... Jab Jab Power he would Dunk farm is with that, crazy. with that combo. Okay, anyway. Let's focus on the set of hit. Spiro versus Sam Brito. Palutena versus Jigglypuff. Although, I'm not gonna lie. The Green Beast. Wait, what, is, uh, what are they doing? What are they cooking right now? Do they need to like... Uh, uh, no more Smash Bros. All right, uh, yeah, Smash Bros is dead, guys. Okay, run it back. <laughs> run it back here. <laughs> to the player where you can see half of Hamburrito's face and Spiro's and, shoulder. And no, the water bottle. We saw the water bottle. He was um, hydrating. Stay hydrated. Yeah, back stay, home. stay hydrated, guys. You Make need sure to you stay drink hydrated. eight ounces of water every 15 minutes, right? <laughs> yeah, every 15 minutes, yeah. 
I think that's it anyway, right? It definitely was eight ounces of water a day. But no, eight ounces of water a day? That's like it's no not water. enough. No, I know. I'm saying that it's wrong. Exactly. That's wrong. Like at least every five minutes. Eight ounces. Eight, yeah, so true. Just make sure you need to go to the bathroom every 20 seconds. Ten. Eh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, 15, we'll meet 15. in the middle. We'll meet in the middle 15. on that. Okay. God, I, I love water. It's so good. It's so good. It's, it's the best. best drink that isn't chocolate milk. It's the best drink. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm, don't get me wrong. I love chocolate milk. I am a milk. huge I chocolate. love chocolate milk. But, like, come on. It's water. Water's pretty good. It's so good. I'm going to have some water tonight. I'm having water right now, actually. I love water. I'm going to have water, too. Let's go. Water. Okay, I have no idea what is taking these two so long. Um, They're gaming. You have to they're trust. They're not gaming. You have to trust it's the It's a black screen. There's no game. No, it says Nintendo Switch. Chocolate Milk is necessary. Drink. I agree. Thank you, it Chet. It is. Thank you, Chet. You're right. Chocolate Milk is very good. It's better than water. I uh, it's not better than water, but it is S tier. Okay, but like, uh, I would rather. Gone. What is going on? The thing is, though, like, I would rather live only with water than like only with chocolate milk. You know what I mean? It's like I could. You can't live without water, but like. Yeah. You know when you when you like first wake up in the morning, I'm going straight for that chocolate milk. I'm going for the water. It's, I right, it's right there on my nightstand. But I can't drink water like first thing when I wake up. How? It's so refreshing. Because I, 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 don't, I don't like it, you know? Like, I need, like... That's crazy. I need, like, some man. sort of, like, taste in my mouth before... I don't know about coffee and tea. I, I'm a big coffee hater. I'm also a coffee hater. Yeah, it's so bitter. Yeah, you a couple of coffee haters, so... Yeah, tea, on the other hand. I have a I jug of iced tea. I don't like tea, either. I'm a tea enjoyer. Cold water to start true, the day. No, true, true, no, true. Absolutely, milk. absolutely. Chocolate milk to start the day, dude. Like, Cold water, a nice. I, I, my, I have this this water bottle. It yeah. like keeps it temperature. Keeps yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so like, it's like thermal, yeah. When when I okay, I put cold this. water in it, and then what is happening? What are they I doing in there? I don't know. But like, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk more about water. Yeah, I I, I, I put can cold water. In water's it. a good drink, but like. Oh, I, I can't drink water, like, first thing when I wake up in the morning. It's just not, like, I can't do it, you know? I'll never understand that. I, it, it's, it is the drink to ever. No, I, I don't. Like. It's so good. No, I'm sorry. It's so good. I can't, I. Oh, they stopped the recording. They He's just sh- going to have random footage of us talking about water on his computer. Good. <laughs> the truth needs Where to be What are they heard. doing? <laughs> what is going what on? What are they cooking? I'm going to look at frame data. Palutena. Yeah, Palutena frame data. I want to see what Nair is on shield. Safe as hell. Well, yeah, but like how, how much safe? And we're going to find out right now. It's minus uh, 10 or minus 9. It's pretty safe. So it's... Sephiroth can't punish that. Rob can. Yeah. It's awesome. I don't love. I like I, looking Palutena's at Palutena. Cool. Palutena's cool. I don't like playing against Palutena. Like if Palutena's on the screen, that's a dub. If I'm playing against Palutena, that's not a dub. Yeah, but she's on the screen if you're playing against her. That's true. I have to take that into consideration. Okay, what what are they doing? I don't know. We'll never know. What is going on? I just want to commentate a hype set of Hamburger versus Spear, but Spear was trying to ice him out, you know. He's icing out the hero of this story. Yeah, Hamburrito <laughs> is the hero. Of He's the main character. He is. Okay, we need to swap this. Is to swap it, and then you have to. I, 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 do I? Who? There we go. Oh wait, yeah. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Hype set incoming. Hamburrito. Turn it back on. Free Sylvain! Stop it. Free Sylvain chat. Right. It no, it's not working. Why is it not working? Hey! Oh, Spiro is going to Help! Uh, I thought it was going to go like Green Beast or something. I want to commentate this set. And I want to commentate too. Well, and I'm about to because we're getting into game one here. Hand Burrito versus Spiro. It's not showing up. It's not, it's not showing up. It's not showing up. Okay, Palutena 
versus Jigglypuff. Right now, Spiro trying to chase Embryo off stage, fighting a dash attack. Spiro drawing first blood here. Embryo, good neutral get up through the explosive flame. Um, just gonna be kind of feeling Spiro out. You know, it's gonna be pretty difficult to uh, get some of these combos started here for Jigglypuff. That back air and that dash attack. You're back, you're back. We're back, we're back. Let's go. That dash attack and that, um, that back air are gonna be so good at keeping Jigglypuff off of Palutena, but. They're listening to each other. I mean, well, that footstool though? Yo. Yo. No. But realistically, could you imagine? That's the organic tech. If he down air, dude, that was, that was the organic tech. Footstool down air footstool into down the down air loops. Into the down air loops into rest. And Spiro's dead. And Hambrito wins the tournament. Hambrito will win this tournament. I agree. He's gonna. No, he's not gonna get hit. Yeah. Good air dog. Oh, it's. Mm, down tilt back air. Almost, almost killing it. Dude. 70. Or, hey, well, I, he's say. probably DIing away to try and avoid. Yeah, that, that's oh, fair. A very good spacing, making sure not to get hit by Spiro's Palutena-ness. He is Palutaning <laughs> all over right now. I can't that, believe dude, him spacing around that. This nice back so air, good, but a good back air from Spiro. 130. A well-placed back air is going to see Right now. Down throw in the nair. Uh, yeah, Hammer goes only take 32. Wow. Uh, I was expecting more. I was expecting like 50. Yeah, Immaculate so SDI from Hamburrito. Yeah. And Immaculate Patience, just waiting on ledge, saying, yeah. you know what? I'm you just gonna care. react I mean, to what you're doing. I mean, he needs to find another hit here. He hasn't gotten, like, a hit in a while. Finds a grab, though. That's big. Can't find the down smash. Though, to find this I mean, I, I feel like he should just be patrolling, like, the ledge with Nair. When, um... Like, whenever, um, Spiro has to recover, Hamburrito should just go off stage and Nair at ledge, because that Nair is active for so long, the hitbox is huge, and Palutena's recovery is so easy to do for him. Just, like... Say you can't recover safely if yeah. I'm here. You have to go back to the stage, like on stage, and I'm going to rest you for that. Yeah, like him, him he does like a good job of edge guarding, but that oh, back air almost gonna find the kill at the same percent like, as last time. Yeah, oh, oh barely getting the flame. Flame. explosive flame. So unfortunate. You can see him shaking his head in the player cam there. He's, he's having he's having trouble just like yeah. getting hits in general. He had like an okay start, like he kept he was keeping it even for like a little bit, but Spiro's starting to run away with this one. Yeah, I get like it, it, there's I, I like against Palatina like you don't really need to like edge guard her per se. Like she's so easy to two frame with like a character like Jigglypuff. Why don't you just sit at sit at ledge in there? The problem you is know, that, that's what Peach does. I mean, the problem is oh, good there we Nair. go finds the Nair out of the corner. Speaking yeah. of Nair, Pro thinks he's Yoshi. <laughs> But, um, the problem with Palutena is that everything she does is, like, super safe. Um, the back air, dash, back air, dash attack are invincible. I know that back air is safe on shield. Forward air super safe. Nair minus 10, as we saw. Um, everything's gonna be super safe. And what does Puff really have to deal with that type of, like, Palutena safety? I mean, your best get off me option is realistically Nair in a lot of situations. But, like, you're not gonna be finding too much. And, like, you're just gonna keep getting stuffed out over and over and over by... Palutena is just, let's face it, superior options. Like, yeah. She just is a much better character. Than better, that. better advantage, better, like, yeah. Puff does have well, the... Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say better advantage, but, like, she is just overall much more self -defense. Much more oppressive, yeah. Yeah. Like, she can be on Jigglypuff much more than Jigglypuff can be on her. You know, because Jigglypuff, yeah. she does have, like, pretty, just, like, honestly, pretty safe options on shield, like, fair, down air. Up air, back air. Her, and, all her aerials are pretty yeah, safe. Yeah, There's like, there's a big window in between when she can throw out another aerial. Spiro will yeah. go instance it. I he need might to actually go in I, I don't think this beast. is the matchup to go in cinema right now. I think it is. Yeah, that's our hero. Area, yeah. Okay, so Spiro taking game up one. Air. The green beast, dude. The green beast will come out. I need to see the green beast. I haven't seen it. Dude, the green, the green beast, beast is crazy. I'm like really upset about it. Here, can we check? Can we check bracket? Um, can we yes. get a bracket check real quick? Because yes, uh, uh, Vince and uh, Wheezy were playing. Uh, they're still playing. They're still playing. Oh, never mind. Yo, oh. he Sephiroth. <laughs> Yo, it's over. That matchup is so bad. Wheezy oh, did get a game. Do I have to report up. again? All right, we're not doing that again. Oh, boo. Shadow Dread. Oh. Hmm. Another. We just got a nice song counter thing. I, I, <laughs> I saw that. I yeah, saw that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, game two here. I did ham as ham well. No, you typed in burr. No, I know I typed in. I know I typed in ham first, and I typed in burr. <laughs> ham burrito. That's well, it. Yeah, it's a ham burrito. It's ham burrito. Can anyway, I just say, um, I love this Palutena skin. 
Yeah, no, this this mod is so. Really uh, cool. What? You mean this this regular switch? This regular skin. Oh, the regular right. switch. Yeah. This, yeah, the like, regular skin. Oh my god, almost oh my dead god, to up air at 36. Nice reading a roll, reading that. Um, him. Yeah, Ham's I mean, I, I really basically covered every option too. He's just holding it out. Yeah. Hamburrito, but, great recovery though. That yeah. Was just patience. Incredible patience. You have to be patient to play puff. Yep. And oh, Ham is I'm showing that off today. Time. Although I will say he he does um lose some of his patience like later in in games like he yeah really I mean especially when you're losing like it, you can tell people lose their patience like it's just a normal like thing for people that aren't as experienced as like some of these players that have been mm -hmm. playing for like a million years. years yeah also Shane there are no like there this is a normal switch yeah there are no mods I mean what are mods I don't know exactly this is normal this is what politics is, is oh my oh, god down air taking the stock is dead. That is it. Stop dying at like 30 30% yeah just about he was at like 40 after the down air so yeah so about 30 yeah zero is uh, running away with this game and like I mean what does yeah look at that, that like, with that up smash you're just playing patient though I mean, th this yeah. oh, this match good backer though. That was that was a really not good take, not take, not take stock. But yeah, th this matchup just feels so Dude, just rough. For, yeah, for, for like for but you just patrol the ledge with Nair, man. You don't need to try and edge guard the Politana. I'll try to find a backer there. That would be fine for Hamburgo, but I'm gonna get edge guard here. Is, Is that, that Nair gonna kill? No. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, like he does have Rage Jigglypuff, but there's no way. He's rage Puff. Like, yeah, that backer is definitely gonna find the KO. In less than two minutes. Yeah, Hero just, with the three stock. Uh, clean. It's looking uh, mighty Jover for 100 Winthorpe's $500. <laughs> Jover for the $500 and our hero. The hero. Our, the protagonist of The hero Summit. of South Jersey Summit. Potentially out at 9th place. But it's okay. He still does have he will... Like, it is never over. Absolutely not. Ace Attorney music? Hell yeah. Ooh. This is normal. Yeah, that's in Smash Bros. Yeah, it's in Smash Bros. Yeah. You can tell we're playing Smash Bros. I'm look on. Yeah, I just looked, and it it, it looks like Smash Bros. It to is me. Smash Bros. Yeah, this. This is uh. I don't know. I don't know. You need half to go O2. <laughs> dude, that, this bracket is, is so messed up. Yeah. Bracket, dude. You don't want to be down there. One of them. Might. Well, I, I'm one of them's gonna tie either Spiro or Hamburrito. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. A nine, A nine, D. That's so crazy, dude. I mean, but, um, we, we I, keep I, forgetting I, that everyone in this bracket is so good. Is so good, yeah. Yeah, like it's you can't forget that. I'm talking about Scooter Greninja. Uh, what do you know about Ken Quagmire? Ain't no way, dude. C Glenn Quagmire over Ken is my favorite skin in this game anyway i agree game three we're going back to ps2 i think they start on ps2 i'm pretty sure uh yeah they did um yeah oh, so oh my god to find a immediately there, going yeah. for the kill just to find up to I, he wants a 10 second mash. stock but not gonna be able to find it oh why are you with rest, rest? <sighs> come on Spiro. do, do, yeah. do I, more I than just smash been down smash. there up smash might be killed oh, oh, smash, oh my god they don't like kill kill like early, you know. Yeah. And we got that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ray Perio. I would not have come there. I would have seen it coming, and I just would have like. You would have moved away. No, I would have gotten hit by it. Oh. Well, <laughs> Spiro did not. He buried it. Yeah. Maybe. There's a Peter copter. Sorry, I just had to say it. I I understand. Like the dude copter. Anyway, um, this is an even game. Uh, pretty much, yeah. In case I mean... you don't know, Jigglypuff has this crazy move called Quest. Um, kills really early. He's dead. Oh, he got that. He got that up there. I was scared for his life. Hamburgo is doing so well at keeping Spiro in the corner though. He's keeping him off stage. Can't find another grab though. He let it up with that shield there. Eating the explosive flame, not gonna do it yet. But if, as he I say just that, didn't keep up the pressure. He sat there in shield, which like is good once you can react to Spiro being back on stage. But like I said, yeah, good that's nair. exactly nair. what I was Control trying to do. Patrol the ledge, like, like you said. Trying to do, yeah. Just patrol that ledge, and Ooh. that's gonna do it. Spiro missing Spiro the tag. Find the stock here, two apiece, both at zero percent. Yeah. He's keeping it even. Yeah, he's doing a very good job. Much better job. Let's get all oh, that down here. Is that's he gonna, not gonna die? Yeah. Uh, I'm. There's a little bit of deja vu here. Yeah. 
That was really but scary. don't get up into don't, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not gonna get up into that. Please yeah. don't get up into that forward smash. I'll try. Up, Brito. He's just staying patient on ledge, like. Drill. I was hoping. I was hoping you get to go. Let up here. Oh not my god. Not gonna do it just yet. Spiro going deep for a back air though. He is Spiro. Really gonna kill right now. He wants him dead, and he wants him yeah. dead now. now. That get up attack. <laughs> gonna send him off stage. Spiro probably can try and find a down tilt here. Yeah. Looking for a trump in the back air. Not gonna work out. Spiro rolling in though. That's gonna be good knowledge from Rito. He does such a good job of covering those roll in on the tech chase. Mixing it up there though. Going for the yeah. roll out after that forward air. Trying to find. If, yeah. If I'm off stage here. If I'm Spiro, I'm using neutral B. I'm gonna be. Clipping Puff's jump, say you can't work yeah. up. Yeah, because Puff doesn't have a functioning up B really, yeah. and that up air gonna find the kill. Let's see if Hamburrito can Ham find, like, one good rest early for Just a KO. Hit, hit it's, one it's, rest on Spirit. I don't know if it's worth going for a rest now, but if he can take the stock, I mean, I mean rest it's is possible. definitely on the table. Like, when you see a nair, he's got a nair those. Yeah, he's got a nair those. Got to make sure that dash you're not. Attack. Can't find the second dash attack. Gonna be eating these nair combos. Oh, he 38. might be dead. He might oh be dead if he didn't. Oh my god! If that explosive flame connected, I would have been so he, scared for him. If he jumped a second later, he might have been dead. Yeah. Oh, good dash oh, attack from him, and that's gonna be it. Dash attack. Even game right now, one stop. Pretty much is even. All even. Needs, like one combo, and then another neutral. Win. And all oh. Ham needs is just one good combo. Yeah. One good combo and a rest. Right now on zero. Uh, rest is not gonna kill at this percent. You can not at this percent. Something. But but um. In a little bit. Yeah, one more pound, and I. I think it's gonna be enough percent. Oh my god, just barely avoiding that um, side B. Air dodge. Yeah, good air dodge to ledge there. Oh, oh tries to put a force smash. He's bleeding right now. Jabbing to grab the spear. Tries to find him up air. Yeah, back air gonna up B. Nice zero, messing up a uh, teleport game today. What happened downstairs? I don't know what's going on downstairs. People people are laughing. Uh, they're, they're screaming about this ham, this hype game. It, it is hype burrito. Hype, <laughs> hype burrito. Makes his way back to center. This is so scary, though. This is so so scary. Just needs one, one good I mean, move. He just needs one up just air, one something. down air. Like just one connect grab. something. Like he's looking for up air. Up air. Oh, he got that grab! My goodness. He got that grab. He's got that. The dash attack not to feel just yet. This is like, it feels so weird to call this a last hit situation. When but but realistically, six, it like, is. Against Jigglypuff, like this is last hit the back throw. Not gonna do it just yet. But Spiro does have Hambrito off stage right now. Finding the not going to kill just Oh, it is going to kill, kill off the top, and that's going to do it much closer than those last two games. But um, still, Spiro able to get the 3 0 over Hambrito. But uh, Hambrito was definitely looking very, very good. Yeah, the in that heat. last game. That was so close. That was. Because, like, he <laughs> typed in Hambrito. I'm again. sorry. Here, cut the plug Cut the plug Cut the plug Yeah, yeah. Cut the plug uh, here. Yeah, that was, like, he. I, I think he's asking for advice right now. I would do Spyro. Um, Spyro gives like great advice, advice, so yeah. I don't blame. Spyro's a very good player, so. Yeah. Yeah, like. Listen, I've. That like you basically have to treat that like a last hit situation. That was so tense, but I mean, Spyro, he's just been in those situations more often. Um. Yeah, and I know. just want to say, I per I've played Spiro. I did not get even near that close. Yeah, that was like very, that very was impressive. such a great performance from him. I don't think he should be disappointed at, in that all, in, at all. That was such a great, yeah, phenomenal yeah. performance. Very good set. I mean, instant Apollo instant is definitely better. Absolutely, instant, the green better, beast. Better the green beast green, green beast. green beast. Green beast. Not coming out yet. Okay, so now we have a run back of. Probably the best set we've commentated so far. Oh, true. Um, Xavier versus Secret here. Uh, reset the score. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you can just hit the reset score button. I know. Listen. <laughs> okay, and swap. Yeah. I, I got okay, you. so this is like... DC this played is earlier such in pools. a it was, This was a round good one set. match. And, dude, that was that was such a good set. It was game four. Xavier took it three to one. But Spiro... Or, sorry, Secret really showed his stuff. Like, he put up such a impressive performance. yeah every every time he, he was robbing stocks like at like 70 three out of the four games he was able to like pretty much zero to death xavier right off the bat if not yeah. zero to death then like close he, to it he's starting off with like a really dominant start and he did he, like he stole a game with that uh air slash at like 70 percent yeah it, it was yeah he, he called insane. out xavier's jump like it was such a cr really close set too game four went basically down to last hit it was down to the wire Xavier did find an up smash though. We'll have to see if uh, Secrets made the necessary adaptations. Like, um, 
like I was saying earlier, Xavier does have like a tell when he's about to go for an up smash. Um, maybe he do, like, maybe he watched the VOD back for this commentary. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you never know. You never know. No way. Does it turn off every time we like change scene? It might. No, oh my god. Okay. Okay, I have no idea. No, it's not working. What? It's not working. Uh, we're sorry, guys. Okay, so here we go. We're getting started game one here between Secret and Xavier. This is a run back, like I was saying, from round one. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be such a good time. It will work eventually. Yeah, Xavier right now starting off strong here, finding a down air, finding an up air on the follow up. When he spams up smash five times in a row. Nah, you're thinking of Speed Racer. That's what Speed Racer did. Xavier just dash dances. That is a Speed Racer habit. Secret can't find the grab. Here, press the other button. There's two buttons. Hey, there we go. It's working. My phone commentator is back. We're back! This will not happen. Oh, good. Fast. I'm secret trying to find an edge guard here. Good give attack. He's just really looking for chip damage. Like, it's so important to find that. Good shield art here. And once again, we find ourselves with a relatively corner, even game. Oh my god! This is so tight. That fourth throw is definitely going to do it. Yeah. Oh, oh actually. Fourth throw? Not yet. Nowhere. But maybe with. He did uh, not go as far as I expected. A good job returning to stage here from secret. Finding it again, finding quick. his way to center is so effective. Like, he uses those hearts so well to just get out of disadvantage. Because, like, a lot of people don't think about hearts in that way. And it's just so impressive to see the way he oh, uses that hearts cave. with a good cave from Xavier. That would have killed a zero. Yeah. It, it's, it's, uh, I don't it's think it's a rough situation, but the uptail turn turn reverse, reverse uptail. Yeah. Like we were saying earlier in their first set, that move is just so good. Yeah, it's what he talks about it. long reaching, and apparently it kills Big, at 90. Uh, I mean, he did have Smash Art on, but... Ooh, can't find the forward tilt to follow up. Trying to find a reverse nair, get out of that buster as soon as you can, and you're taking so much damage. Yeah. We just keep seeing him, every time he, he gets hit by Mario Kart, it's like, nope, not anymore. You yeah, can't you, combo ha me. you have to get out of there as fast as you can. Like, you want buster because you want to put on, like, as much damage as you can against Mario right now, because he's at a low percent. And, like, your combos are just crazy with buster, but, like, it's so risky. I mean, now... Not really anymore, just because um, you're at 106, so taking more damage doesn't mean anything. But when you're at the lower percents, um, activating scary. Buster can be a bit risky. Mm -hmm. But that, that's realistically part of the character. Like, it's yeah, I mean, part that, of playing yeah. the this character. Just part of show. Can change his all the smash off forward air. Um, stats. Oh, oh, can't find the up tilt there. Xavier yeah, playing is around the smash art. are uh, really well right now, just making sure yeah. to use Mario's horizontal uh, drift to avoid. All of uh, secrets. All of, being all of sword. Yeah. All that like ooh, not ooh. switching. Just, oh, no, he got it. He shield did art. Yeah. Shield in time. Make it, make it Amazing. Safely. Oh, shield oh. art. Shield oh, art not shield mattering. Yeah. Just helping the um, down air combo into that uppy. Okay. Uh, we we're probably gonna get it. Oh, he gets up. Oh. Into the up smash. Like I was saying, oh, there's so many players just get up right into that up smash. It's so weird. Like it's like a moth to a flame in secret finding the kill at like 80. I got a attack there. Beat. You got to roll there. And again, he keeps switching. He, he switches the shield art so clean. Yeah, his, so... His, he's swapping between the arts so so well. He, he, you can tell he's had a lot of there. Oh, tries to wait out the spot dodge for the down tilt. Yeah, Xavier's doing. He's spot dodging a lot, like out of disadvantage. Like in and he's like that like barely out. Are we gonna and get an edge card? This might, this might actually kill. hit. All I need oh, is one I good hit. Get out of smash right there, yeah. Yep. Making sure he doesn't Ooh. get hit. Ooh. Oh, you gotta get out of speed art right now. Oh, oh my goodness. Back, Just what a great honestly, smash there surgical um, ledge trap. Yeah, slash edge so guard from Xavier. Just, just great overall. Yeah. That was uh, such, such a well timed for smash. Like. Xavier had literally everything covered that entire sequence. Like, yeah. re like I was about to commend Secret's job on getting back to ledge, and it just didn't even matter because Xavier had the forward smash right there waiting for him. Yeah, uh, I did. Didn't it two frame? It looked like a two frame. Ah, uh, I, I don't think it Mario. It, it, it definitely him, can it two frame. It can two frame, but he he doesn't go for it a lot. He's opting for like dash attacks in this matchup because it's so much safer. 
And like he opts for dash attacks. Like Shulk's yeah. recovery is pretty easy to exploit with a lot of the cast. And yeah. And dash attack is just like can do it. dash attack is like long lasting. It's active so why for so you? long. Yeah. There's like no downside aside from maybe if you're playing against those one or two characters who can hit you while they're recovering. <clears throat> Sephiroth. <from. clears throat> K rule. <laughs> Yo, uh, we're we're carried. Uh, no, I don't play Cable anymore, so... Yeah, you play Rob instead, you're so much less carried. I agree. Oh, that, oh my god, these downers. You got one downer in the 20% buster. Yeah, that, that's part of the uh, risk reward. Yeah. Okay, down throw. Switching your shield, oh, switching shield to a wow, that was such combo a there. I, you're fine. You, know, you think about here. it. You, you, th you think that switching to shield art would make it easier to combo, but no, it's just helping him get get out of all these combos. It's super interesting how he can do that. Yeah. And it's not just the invincibility; it's like the reduce for some reason the reduced knockback makes those combos even. I mean, uh, it is shield. Difficult. It is called shield art for a reason. <laughs> and is, have, 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 have you seen those um that clip with the Kazuya? Yeah, he just electrics over and over. Yeah. I mean, Mario Mario can't exactly do that, but we are seeing so many down airs. Good back. Oh, you're looking at the first knock smash. here, can't find the up smash though. That was a down smash. No, he did it, he did an up smash. Full <laughs> smash art here. Smash art. You can take this yeah, stock right now at 70. He's looking for an up air right now, maybe a forward air in the, or a back air in the corner, but getting launched away there, yeah. Oh, yeah Plus art, definitely it's, it's not It's gonna help him survive. Yeah, it's gonna help him survive. He's not worried about damage. Like, down air not gonna do it, yeah. Oh, oh it's so unfortunate for Barely missing that ledge. And now just he doesn't care what, what's Mario gonna do to him at zero percent. He's gonna, gonna go right into Smash Art, kill him at ninety. Hopefully, oh my, yeah, I mean, figured out what Mario could do. This is like up. This is Smash Art up till kill percent. We saw in that first game. Yeah, he was able to get a kill with the ninety. Oh, oh, up air forward air, taking the stocks it insanely early. Two stock lead right now. Like, okay, good air slash there from Secret. He's definitely not out of this just yet. Like. Oh, definitely not. Shulk has incredible comeback potential. Like, he can get damage so easily, he can get kills so early. Like, look at this, already at 45. Yep, at 45, and yeah, he's not just Shulk, but, so well, but Secret. We've seen Secret. Xavier's doing such stocks. a good job at extending his combos despite Shield Art. Like, Shield Art can be pretty risky against combo characters because they can extend their combos even through Shield Art. But, like, it's good against certain characters. Oh, great backslash. Great crit. And, the backslash. Oh, is he gonna get it? Good smash up forward air. He's going, air going to be able to kill right now. Great recovery though from Xavier. And that helps him stall out that smash secret. art. Yeah. He's not gonna... So smash art is off the table. <gasps> Can't find that. the up smash, smash that would have done it. Forward smash. Not. Are we gonna get a back throw here? Looking for your stage positioning here. Tries to find the air slash. That wouldn't have killed him. Uh, oh, yep, as we said, that's not gonna do it. Yeah, the he's combo. extending the combos despite shield. Up. It's so crazy. It's not gonna kill, but it is gonna get that damage, and that means yeah. more. Oh, more they're Mario back here from Mario secret, and we're kill. back to last stock here. Like we said, it's not over. Shulk can not definitely rack up the damage so early, but so easily. He does have Buster online. Down for back throw here. Trying to find a forward up there. Just looking yeah, to combo him right now. Stalling out that. Trying to stall out the buster, but couldn't yeah. quite do it. Good switch to shield art there. He does not want to eat anything. A back air, a down air. Back air, down air. Even, even up air at this yeah. percent could kill. Uh, yeah, like speaking of that, that back air is going to get the job done in the corner. And I mean, I mean, Seeker was close to making that back, but like, Xavier just had too big of a lead, really. But um, we're going to be going into this game three. Game three. Can Secret. Yeah. Take a game. That's I mean, the question he, he right was now. looking I think really good at the end of the game. Like, it's definitely possible. He was, but... yeah. I need, he needs to be able to pull out that uh, that explosiveness that we saw. That we saw before. in their first set, yeah. Yeah. If we can see that, I think that we could potentially see a game four. Yeah, he, even a game five if he can. Yeah, pull he, it I out. mean, he isn't committing as hard as he was in that first set. And I mean, in the first set, like, his like big commitments, they were kind of going 50 50. Some of them were in Xavier's favor, some of them were in his favor. Like, he was able to get his game off a huge commitment but he also lost game one off a huge commitment so it's it's pretty risky but i mean it it's it's not like unexpected to see secret go for big commitment like, he was going for super super gutsy options in that first set and i mean he might bring it back here you know you're down you know oh two maybe it's time to start taking some big risk you know swinging big if if you're not if we're gonna keep playing with the same uh, play style, then you're just gonna. Yeah, I mean, you, you're gonna have to switch up your game. Like, you. Oh, that forward smash! smash. Just kill at it is 
might be after the hit. They killed so early. That's that big risk we're talking about. Short. Yeah, he that was jump art. That was jump. That was crazy. The art had nothing to do back with the backslash. You don't want to contest. Get up attack to 15, I think that was. Get back with backslash again. It's doing so much damage. Yeah. Yeah. Speed right he's now. in disadvantage. He, he was in disadvantage, but he was able to get 45% 45 45 in, in extra like, credit. Could be an entire Shulk stock with Smash Art. You never know. Yeah. You never or maybe know. you switch to Buster, get a little bit more. Yeah. For that Buster back running out. It's an even game right now. Yeah, that, that's that. That's that. Uh, Xavier is explosive game really that we're looking, looking for, for right going the other side to avoid that uh, flood right there. Yeah, he tried to call it like a, a roll back. You saw with that board tilt, but okay, five seconds here. Buster Unable to get a board right tilt. Now. He's just looking to keep Xavier in the corner. Xavier's done such a great yeah. job. The air slash though, <gasps> catching the wall. And that's good again. Yeah. And look yeah, at like, that. I was only at sixty six. Such a good job of getting out of the corner, but like Secret just held him there for so long on that stock, and I was gonna do it. Yeah, now he's Secret playing his advantage lead, yeah. much better this uh, this stock as opposed this game as opposed to other people. Uh, yeah, he's definitely you know he's extending his advantage so much cleaner and like even in disadvantage like he's able to find like those big trades with Buster that is like really paying off because he's had the stock lead for pretty much the entire game so like he can take trades when you're doing like 20 damage per hit like that's real. Yeah, especially when. Now he's at yeah, and the smash art border. And this could be it if he gets a big. It very right could, or easily could be. Oh, and that's gonna that's do it. Game. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We're seeing Zeker to go too low in secret. We are I game here, but now I mean, you are gonna be playing on Xavier's counter pick for the rest of the set. Um, well, realistically, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up going back to small battlefield or even PS2. Um, I don't remember what Xavier's counter pick was in the first set, but yeah, we are going back to small battlefield. I would assume a ban on um, Battlefield and probably Smashville too. Oh, yeah, against but, against Shulk? Yeah, we'll say. No, um, against Mario. Against Mario? No, I would keep yeah. Smashville. I don't know. Mario is pretty good on Smashville. Yeah, but Sword on Smashville. You have no space. Yeah, that, I don't know. I don't know. I just really big. It's like it's like a double-edged sword, basically. It's like a Sword on Smashville because like they have no space to avoid your sword, but like also going to Smash Art. To cancel out down air up B. Yeah. No, it's so clean. So amazing. So amazing. Oh, a big combo here from Xavier, though. Gonna eat in there. First troubles. Can't find the grab there. Xavier trying to get something started, but Secret's doing such a good job of getting out of disadvantage. With using like, the R's get out of disadvantage. Even when he's not, not. It's just so impressive. Like, either way, his, his disadvantage is incredible. Switching to jump, being yeah, super patient, back. not trying to get back to stage Dude, immediately. He's so saying, patient. You like, know what? I have jump bar on deck. I can wait a yeah. little bit down here. You can't. You're Mario. You have to get back. Yeah. Can't find the dash tag on ledge. Can't find the up smash either. Oh, no, Xavier is feening an early kill. He's looking a bit fancy this game, I have to say. But secret spacing has been super good. And yeah, finding down there there. Especially trying to find Mario. another one. Yeah, he, he's going to just mash down air is gonna find the kill. Secret just can't get Xavier off of right now. Xavier's playing so suffocating this stock. Or this game, excuse me. Yeah, I mean, if you have no space to use your big big sword. Yeah, because I mean Shulk's frame data is not the greatest. I mean it takes a while for that sword to come out, so. Yeah, if you're able to just pressure him and say, you can't Yeah, you can't get your you hitbox can't use this. Out. Sorry. Uh, take this out. Then yeah. he's gonna you kinda have tie to up that, the game. Like, Lap him in percent. He he has lapped him in percent already. It's now. Down tilt. Oh, Finds a read into the back air. Back air. Well, he's probably looking for a cape. That up smack, that up but I mean, it's de it's yeah. definitely not. Okay, that's, that's gonna kill us. Gonna percent. Kill, yeah. Yeah. So unfortunate. Man, it's not even close actually. Yeah. So I mean, Secret did almost make a comeback like this in the first game, but or sorry, in the second game, but I mean. Right now, I mean, when you're in such like a high pressure situation, you're facing elimination here. Like high pressure situation, and you have to be so Xavier's scared. And Xavier playing is playing on super fire right, hot right now. <laughs> like, look at these combos coming in. Oh, that oh, yeah. counter lasting Shulk forever. Counter Looking to take a kill off an up air or oh, oh good air slash back to ledge there. Phenomenal reversal. Yeah, smash and, uh, we're going to smash art. That could be very detrimental, especially on your yeah. last dog. Like, you have to be so careful with a lot of these parts, but Secret's been doing a good job of using them, but right now, Xavier is looking so strong in this game four. He has, like, a whole two-stock lead right now. 
for 30 stage positioning. Up throw into the down air, into another down air. Unable to find it though. Down air, down air. Yeah, it's and not up tilt, not gonna find the kill. Oh, can't okay, find the up tilt with smash art. The back throw, is that gonna do it? Yeah, oh, absolutely with smash wow, art. He exploded. Yeah, that's what smash art does to him. Kill that man. And uh, yeah, like that was just like the first set, three one there in Xavier's favor, but. Unless a good showing from Secret, like he definitely showed his stuff. Absolutely. You know, Especially on that sets, game like, three, he he was yeah, that game three was a dominant. But uh, Xavier definitely like he just played so like he was suffocating him for like the entirety of that uh that last game there. Like it was just so 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 dominant. And um, all right, who do we have next? I think um, it's. We're I getting think, Hunter oh. and Sauce, right? Oh, I think we, Hunter I think we might be. I think we're about to be kicked off. Are we? No, I think I think we commentate these two. No, because I think we're they, he um they were doing it by round, so um that Blaze did these ones. It is a possibility, but um we'll see. You know, I don't know. Um, we'll just stay on here. Yeah, we're we're here. We're here. Uh, we're here. Where's we're Hunter Winthorpe? Yeah. Uh, and Sauce. Off again. I think once we switch teams, yours turns off. That's so unfortunate. Are we banned? Alright, we're banned. Alright, thank you guys uh, for here uh, tuning into our block here. Uh, we'll be back, but uh, we're gonna hand it off to Argos and Crest here. They're gonna be bringing. Let me bring it to the jump. Alright, he's been doing that all day. I know. Yeah, I think every time you switch it. So he's stupid. Thank you. Thank you. And Jeff. All right. And oh shit, I did it again. All right, you're. Really do. Forgot to change the names. Okay. So can they hear you? I hope so. Yeah, it's it. I, they can. Okay. So it's Where like the I? headphone situation is all set up and running. Yeah, blame Jason for having crappy headphones. Yeah, this is all his fault. The mic was working fine until it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Just, anyway. I think it was just a, uh, anyway. Welcome back. Yeah. Um, what? Right. Well, we're having, who is it? A Arya Hunter, I believe. Uh, I believe so. Arya Hunter. I think we're, getting, we're doing winners. After this, we'll probably have Xavier Speerbo. Speebo. <laughs> And, and then, then we didn't even we didn't even sit on downstairs. Yeah. Okay. So I guess after this Dude. would be sauce noodle. Yeah. Brothers noodle. Oh no. Um, um Yeah, yeah it's it. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you doing winners? Is that means? Okay. Yeah. It's winner side. It's winner side. Uh Hunter Ari, right? Ari, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna have to save a character for when. Yeah. Um, Start and stop recording. Whatever they come up with. What a bracket, man, already. Yeah, we're, it's crazy. we're finally in top eight. And this is kind of the same top eight. Uh, Alex is out. Alex, yeah, Alex is out. Like, that's great. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, ninth, ninth, ninth. Crazy. You get 13. Um, you get 13. It's only like 12 people. Getting three owed by Houdini and losers. We're still you. waiting. Oh no, this is, yeah, this is just straight up top 8. Uh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, considering Houdini also beat 8930 in pools. So, like... Yeah, I think it was bad luck on Alex. Yeah, he, I mean, he said he was also, like, he wasn't playing great, he, like, it was, like, one set he'd be playing, like, absolute dog, and then the other set he'd be playing out of his, like, goddamn mind. Yeah, it's been a hot set since he's he's like, kept going back and forth about it. But, yeah, we should be getting started soon. Let me look at the player cam. Yeah, they're, they're, get, they're, they're getting started. started. So. And yeah, looks Andrew gonna be going nest for this. Yeah. Not a good match for I think he might. He so, so here's, here's the thing, thing is he yeah. has obviously he's the nest. He has obviously the snake. He's not gonna snake. He's, he's not hates, gonna do the ditto. He hates the snake ditto. The he's bracket. yeah. He hates the snake ditto. So he only has a few more options left. One of them is his Lucas, a very well seasoned secondary or I guess tertiary of his. The other. And Joker. The Joker. Joker he is, does well he is the thing. the snake, but I uh, see no yeah. I see no reason for the yeah. he just he can just go off the he can just go Ness. Like, um unless he just gets his teeth kicked in. Yeah. Then Ness has a good matchup. He should he, be riding it. The, the only thing I could possibly see is if Hunter brings out his Roy, which he probably won't. 
Yeah, no. Hunter, I doubt it. So. Depends on what we will see. So. But. I, it's still not seeming to me like we're finally in top eight. It's been a long day. Yeah, it has. It's going like we, yeah, nine forty-five. Like, we've been playing. Yeah, we've been playing, playing for seven hours. We got started like two, two thirty. Yeah, it's a lot of this. <laughs> we we got here at like the kids two, are gaming. One thirty. Well, I'm telling you, this a lot of this invitation is just a game of endurance, and obviously like there's two snakes and one of semis. Dude, I've been just I haven't even been playing a bracket even on Uber. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm worn out. So it's great. It's crazy that they are yeah, that's still a... just only now getting into top eight mm -hmm. and have many, many more sets to play so they get to the end. Mm -hmm. So looks like we are about to get started. Yeah, let's get started. Heading in the game one. First set of top eight. Sorry. Yeah, starting off small battlefield. I think. Uh, they probably went to bands because, uh, Ari doesn't want to just give Hunter the, um, PS2. For sure, this is, it's a good stage for Ness, for sure. Um, those platforms just give really easy access and large control of the stage to that, uh, jump cancel PK fire. Mm -hmm. Um, but then at the same time, Hunter has plenty of space to be able to set up on his side of the stage. Although, he is going to have to be careful with the grenades because... As the nest pick will prove, the grenade, the grenades are going to have to be sparingly as magnet will just absorb and get free health for the nest. Yeah, yes. So I, as you can see, Hunter is already scrapping. Yeah, he's scrapping way more, which is also really dangerous against the nest because like nest can box and will just bear. Mm -hmm. Like this is just one of those. Yeah, it's a bad matchup. Mm -hmm. Matchups because snake is not going to be able to camp Ness to the extent that he will be able to camp other characters. But then at the same time, it's going to be difficult for him to out-scrap Ness, because Ness just has disjoints, large hitboxes, good frame beta. It's it's rough, but... You know, Hunter can do it. Yeah, I've just seen- oh my god! Pivot grab- One hell of a pivot grab. Pivot grab in the back throw, probably coming at like 160. I mean, yeah, Ari has a sizable lead here, he definitely got a lot off it. Nah, he just drops it. Like, it's gonna be so hard for Hunter to actually, uh, come back after. Yeah. From a yeah, especially, like, being down this matchup, like, now he's forcing some scrap. He just misses the PK A blue moon! <laughs> Ari missing a PK Thunder in the year 2023. I've never yeah. seen that happen. I, me neither. That's... I would not have expected that. And That's terrifying. Crucial moment. Oh my god, Hunter's going off real quick. Yeah, but as I was saying, Hunter is going to have a lot of trouble coming back in the lead because he can't camp. Mm. That just has that he, he's back. But then it's also very hard for him to approach. In the beginning of the first half of the or even, there was a sort of interplay where they were, you know, putzing around. Both of them were approaching similar, to a similar extent. But now, Andrew has no reason to approach once he has that lead. Well, it's another PSI magnet. I think, was that landing up air into a grab? Yeah. Yeah. Who's up? Honestly, with how aggressive- Yeah, okay, there it is. So that's it, with how aggressive Hunter's been playing, I'm very surprised he's been able to keep it even in this matchup. Yeah, this- it's- Oh. Ooh. Good bit of damage offered. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Offers. And like, in a, in a- I mean, like, Snake can- like, grenade, uh, pull grenade at disadvantage, he has to be really careful about it. But, like, if you are anticipating Arya just doing another up air, yeah, you can pull grenade. It's just a lot, you really can't pull it in neutral. It still works in the combo, yeah. But, he's, Ooh, he brought it back. Smash. Something I would he might be able to see from Andrew is a little more acid play. Yeah. Like, especially in this position, like, he can play passive, like, he just hit the ledge trap, and, like, he doesn't really need to force anything, but, again, he's a very flow tardy player, and, like, what, and, like, why switch, he really, like, only switches up his game plan very little. When you're in an unusual matchup like this, you need the adaptability. Yeah. You need to be able to recognize certain things your opponent's doing and just adapt to it, like, it, like, you know. You can't, this is also you, you need to be able to switch your game plan, you can't stick to it where Arya yeah. has been doing. 
Because, like I said, Snake won't be able to approach if you have the lead. But he still takes out that game. 1-0, uh, Arya. Yeah. Pretty good showing. Honestly, good showing by both players. Like, bad matchup for Hunter, but he's, like, showing that, like, this is definitely on the table. It was close. Uh, if he... It was a swingy game, too. He definitely could have won that at a moment's notice. Start the battle, Snake. But, yeah. I, honestly, I'm wondering what, like... How Hunter's, like, been playing different, I wonder what he's, like, thinking about when it comes to stages. And, like, what qualities he's looking for in a stage that will, have, like, that he thinks will benefit him. For... Well, he'd be looking for something other than what Snake usually wants. Yeah. Like, he's scrapping a lot more, so he might go to, like, something small, and this should be something small. Yeah. I think at the moment, the, in the matchup, the two have a pretty similar game plan. Mm -hmm. Hunter is gonna have some more difficult game acts in his Yeah. Game. His character's just not meant for that. Yeah. It's like trying to force the, the round ball through the square hole. He already has strong yeah. lead. Oh! Oh! Confirms into the up air. Yeah. It's a early start. Very, very critical. It's just, yeah, like, Hunter's just trying to get something started. I think he's just trying to whiff punish a little too hard. And it's just not working out for him. Like, because just. Ari's playing so safe around his shield. Well, I mean, Ness does a good amount of it for him, but, like, still. Ooh, he had the right idea with the ledge jump, he was just had his timing wrong. I like the idea, but... Like, oh, oh. <laughs> see for a moment. Yeah, he saw the PK uh, magnet come out, too. Mm -hmm. He was ready for it. He might have just been lucky. He might have just he had a late reaction. Like... I mean, regardless, he was not lucky enough to be able to survive this time. I'm just saying... I mean, Hunter's doing a pretty, like, a pretty good job of, like, getting out of the corner. The problem is he's just having, like, he really can't land. Like, he's in his landing car every single interval. And I mean, that's also a problem with Snake, especially now that you can't pull grenade. Like, one of your biggest tools of getting out of, like, being able to land, getting out of those situations is that grenade. He just is not able to access that. It's, it's, it's really hard for him when Nash just, uh, invalidates his mm -hmm. biggest tool. It's taking he takes away a fundamental part of the character. So I'm saying, go to Roy. <laughs> Bring it out. It's not it's not like a it's oh, Okay. He almost waited it out. I think he had two more hits left. Would that not shield broken? No. Nah. If you if you angle it down it's a shield poke. Shield broken? No. Nah. Because you just roll away after the last hit. Uh, oh that's what you're talking about. Yeah, but Ari's definitely looking for the shield break now. Yeah. He is just not worried about him at all. Yeah. He's got like a solid sock up. Hunter really can't, like, uh, go, go for trades right now. Oh, uh, Nikita taking out the PK Thunder. Yeah. A smart stuff by Hunter. Oh, that's not taking out the Cypher. Wow. Alright, yeah. This is yeah. this is doable. The problem is, Hunter's just gonna play it really safe here just in, in like. Almost conventional way, which is surprising to say about Snake of having to play conventional. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, gotta, he's gotta to figure out how to land here. That's he, a back row. He's struggling so much in disadvantage mm -hmm. that Andrew Ari was capitalizing off of that struggle pretty much the whole game. Especially you saw it in the second stop when he was just rinsing, repeating his advantage state constantly. Yeah, but I'm interested to see where. They go next. I want okay, yeah, PS2. PS2. He wants to. He wants the space because he knows if he's got to play super patient, he wants to be able to have the space to play around Arya's burst range, which he hasn't really been able to do on small about small battlefield. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he's just sticking with Snake the whole time. I guess he's a, he's a character specialist. Yeah. But he's a little disappointing last because like, he does have that Roy, and. He's just struggling so much with the uh, matchup. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I, I like the idea of how he's, uh, like, 
approaching the matchup. It's just the execution is really tough because it's a game plan and a game that he's not used to playing with Snake. Yeah, for sure. Like, Hunter's a very passive Snake that plays a lot. Like, yeah, he plays a lot to his like normals, but like, still, not being able to play your like but your explosives at all. The way Hunter needs to play this set is a lot different than the way Snake would normally use yeah. his normals. Because there's a difference between like approaching and like doing everything with them, or if he's just using them as coverage for when your opponent tries to approach. I was gonna say, I wonder if Art was gonna be stuck in the PS2, but it gets out of their safety. Oh, yeah. This is just looking grim all throughout. I don't think I've seen Hunter with this single lead this entire set. Hunter's still like really relying hard on those projectiles, even though mm -hmm. he can't. See, that Nikita has been absorbed multiple times. This is up tilt, though. <laughs> it's even. There. Using the graves a little more. He can afford that when he already is at 0%. But... Yeah, even there. He's using the gauge and the open game straight in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the tech chase again. I think he was, yeah, probably looking for a, like a grenade call, so we just didn't get it. Gets it there finally. The door really gets his health back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up to up to. Ooh, it's the back of it. He's like taking the change. Yeah. He's, he's like adapting better to what like Ario wants, but it's just like. Is it too little, too late? A little bit. It's already game three. Aria 2 0. So, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Aria taking a bit more. You need to get this. Absolutely. So, like I was saying, that I want to see him do. Uh, right now, Hunter needs. That's a big force to approach. There's the up tilt, alright. He's playing, he's like playing it well, he's like, he's finally adapted well, it's just like, now it's like, how much can you really do? You're down two games, like, it, you're gonna make it a breaking situation. And he, he is fighting, he's been fighting an up tilt battle from the start. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> alright. Mm -hmm. Gets a fair? Alright, Hunter's cooking. It's, he needs to stay alive here. Oh my god. Back throw? Okay, goes from the Kita. Tries to go the same thing again. So it doesn't trigger the magnet again. You get the Look at the option coverage. Option coverage. I wonder what I think he spot dodged there. Thinking you were just gonna rip the up tilt, go for the C4. Definitely takes game three. Maybe uh I don't know if he was anticipating the spot dodge. I think he was just anticipating the roll in and just got kind of lucky on that. I uh, regardless, he got the game and it yeah, was, he got it the was game. a He's, good play. He got him, he gave himself a breath of life in this set with a game four now. But, and hopefully he can expound on it. Yeah. For his sake. Yeah, still, still going the same characters. Yeah, same characters all the way through. I'm telling. Game. You up on the roll. Game five. I believe in it. Boy, Regardless, you can for sure do it with Snake. Yeah, it's doable, and I think he's definitely adapting finally. Like he's he's not necessarily solved Arya, but like he's doing so much better at calling out Arya's options. In the, like his game, like his whole, whole game plan. It just depends if he can play through exchanges. In a, like the scratch situation is not well enough. The execution was a lot better there. Than he was hitting a lot more of his punishes. He was uh, able to get back on stage safely. His disadvantage has been a lot better too. He hasn't been getting abused like he was in that game too. Yeah, he's already picked his fire. Alright, I was looking for the destruction of the platform of the bear, probably. But I think whoever takes this next, this uh, first shot here is big. Oh my goodness! Look at that! He's been hitting those fairs all day. Like, he's doing such a good job. So, I, I really like what he can do with those. Did he just SD? Uh, yep. Look. Very cool thing Hunter hits, he's also got an SD for it. I, like, I really like what he's been doing with the Nikitas too. Yeah, he's like placing the Nikitas for the PK Thunder more than. Okay, he's just getting visual at all. Is he alright? Yeah, he's alright. He air dodged as well. But, 
Uh, Hunter's been canceling the Nikita's to make them the hitbox that Arya can't afford. In which, while it is a Delusive Service 3 uh, projectile, it's, it's something. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like... Alright, yeah. Hunter's just playing around the stage just with, like much better than he has in this whole set. Oh! That was this, one. this from Nikita? He just... Because the snakes are like, stacks on the ground, it's so hard for him to just get the electro. Yeah, he's been fighting an upper battle this whole time. But... This is only one good hit away from being even again. Mm -hmm. He's gotta find it. 89%, I don't know if, until my like, kill here, now it definitely does, it's past 100. Uh-huh, for sure. Snake has no children to kill power. Mm -hmm. The only problem is he can't do up smash up edge either. Is he's he up tilt on the second PSI magnet? <laughs> it's even again, essentially. Somewhat. Less even, but... Yeah, same stop. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, 87. This is just so much damage already racked up. Okay. Get himself out of there with a... The... That's good damage. Ooh, oh, goes for it again. Uh, Back throw. Definitely does not kill, but this is a dangerous situation. Hunter needs to get out of this. Look up. The Cypher saves him. Four throw. Alright. Ooh, dash attacks too. in the corner. He's crazy. Up throw. Up there. That's, not, that not, That's it? not it. Four. A little bit of peel from the... Back throw. That should be it. Yeah, that's it. Really, Are you really well one. Oh yeah. For what it was. He was just doing so well, but like, like, like we said, it, it's it, so it difficult. Was, it was too little, too late. He had already dropped two games in figuring out what to do, and if he start, if he started playing like this from the get go, then yeah, he could have had a much better mm -hmm. shot at winning the set. But like, <sighs> wow. Oh, like, I want to say I'm proud of Hunter, but, like, obviously, you know, he wanted to win. Like, especially after beating, like, Vince. Getting that upset, and then, like... That was winner's bracket. Yeah, that's losers. winner's bracket. I mean, yeah, he still has losers, but this is not a loser's bracket I want to be in. Yeah, that, that is true. Like, not at all. But Hunt, Hunter's been playing so well today. Mm -hmm. I He is one of the people I could... I would bet on having a shot of making it all the way to Grands. Mm -hmm. Even through loser's bracket. Yeah. And so next, it looks like I'm we're yeah, I'm pretty sure we have sauce yeah, and noodle. Sauce noodle. That's gonna be a good one. Yeah. Sauce has been playing. I think great today. yeah. In the rat, the more recent times they've played, it's been really close, but noodle has been clutching it out. Mm -hmm. Sauce has been playing great today. He, he uh, three was three o Houdini beat Spiro. Game five. Also beat Vince in pools. Like this is just his. Did he beat Vince in pools? Didn't he? No, I don't think he. Sure they didn't play. play. Wait, so who did Sauce beat that we were commentating? I'm pretty sure he was beat... Was it Houdini? Yes. Okay, beat my fault. Houdini. Um, beat Houdini and Pools, still a very good win. But, oh, right, because Vince Goro, duh. Yeah, Vince Goro. Um, I don't know where I got that from. But regardless, Sauce playing... Well, because usually when they meet in bracket, Sauce has been beating Vince. Yeah, like, I think I the last two or three times they played, like, Sauce has been winning it. I believe the last time they played before today was at a pop the yeah, bubble. Yeah, the bubble. In which, in where Sauce did. Beat Sauce won like game three, and then like, Ugh, poor guy. <laughs> anyway, um, finally an update. Um, Houdini beat Vince three one. Vince. Vince out of seventh. Houdini is playing amazing. Houdini, too. Houdini, Houdini went from being like down in pools so tremendously. And even. Like in the bracket, he lost his winners round one and proceeded to beat A9 and then Vince yeah. to keep to stay alive in the bracket. What the, the dog's, dog's back, back in him? him. The dog is back in him. That that's crazy. That's gonna be scary. Yeah, uh, Xavier and Spiro is gonna be end up having off stream. We should have Brothers Lengths and A starting soon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Both of them are in position, ready to... Yeah, in position, ready, ready to game. game. Ready to game. Hopefully. 
New Games? Because the, these two players are explosive. For they sure. Both, I feel there's going to be a hot set. Like, they're, they're both, both just absurdly, like, punish heavy. They, they have, have good neutral, neutral but, but, like, these two are just different. I think the big thing that this set is going to come down to is how well can Sauce play around that win condition. Mm -hmm. And with the versatility of Pokemon Trainer, I think he's going to have his work cut out for him. Wait. I, but, wait. Is it I think he just... So here's the thing. Squirtle is his best friend in this matchup because DK can just not get out of, like, a lot of Squirtle combos. Unless you have, like, my cracked SDI or, like, Consent's cracked SDI, you are not getting out of Squirtle combos. Yeah, so, like, Squirtle is... You gotta pay the Squirtle tax. Pretty much. You, he's gonna get a lot of the off into opening, but it, then it's gonna be up to Noodle to make that up and DK's explosive. Yeah, here's also the thing. Sauce has been playing probably the, like, least amount of Squirtle I've ever seen him play today. He's been going so much He's basically he's playing Pokemon Trainer on two characters. On, like, two of them, even, never using Squirtle. Even then, there's a disproportionate amount of use between Charizard and Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. Like, his Ivysaur has been doing so much heavy lifting today. One. He does start on Squirtle, though. I think that Squirtle attack is just something that you're, you can't miss out on. Mm -hmm. All right, as we're getting started against, everyone's going to small battlefield today. Yeah, I understand uh, it. No one wants to go to PS2. Yeah, and you, you don't want to get noodle that. PS2. Yeah, I mean you get yeah. It's just it's better to go small battlefield than it is PS2 for him because just like yeah, you do get ding dong, but also like the smaller space just helps you out more. That, that is something to consider. If DK is able to get his hands on Squirtle, that's going to be such. It's just it's going to be trouble. Squirtle has, is going to have very low ding-dong percentages. Mm -hmm. So it's, it was good for him to get off Ivysaur, but he still falls yeah, in. Yeah, still, still falls in. The, the big, big thing is, like, it's just easier for now Eddie to, like, be able to whip punish or just shield grab uh, Ivysaur than it is, like, a Squirtle who's just f in your face. Oh my... Wow. A lot of hitbox is being thrown out. Mm-hmm. Sauce, yeah, a little right. bit of uh, some unconventional, un unconventional extreme swing. Yeah, he's he's been uh, so he's been working on his edge guarding with Charizard. You see, he's marrying way more off stage. The other thing is in this matchup, you're going to not, you, you don't want that exchange against Upbeat. He finally finds an up smash on the platform, but still, he could have ended that stock way earlier with an edge guard. Yeah. But I think he's just not looking for the right things. The thing is, Charizard, 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 it can be mm-hmm. Because DK is going to be very easy to find it. Oh, By some... Miraculous... <laughs> grace of God, he lived the ding dong. And he now has just... It's such a... Oh my God, if this group should go to Alcare, but he gets the fine lip. He's just not here! No, no? Actually, but he doesn't get the fine lip. Good DI mix by a noodle. He's just making... He's making his, like... Killing just too like too complicated. He's doing the meme, like on the road, got big buttons. The offstage game is crazy. Okay, yeah, it's sorry, that's a down smash. But Adam, I just He has to close out the stock though. For sure. Like, like when it's an Eddie at rage, you can't you can't be staying a Squirtle here. He's going to take so much damage off this thing. Okay, yeah, goes around too much. I thought he was going for a uh, like Nair Bear or Nair Up Bear. Get the like get basically like, 50 off of it. Just does it again. Okay, goes for another upbeat. That kills because he's not 200. That's gonna be it. Uh, if yeah. Sauce isn't able is able to avoid getting Ding Dong, this is gonna be looking very good for him. Mm -hmm. Get the grab. Oh my goodness. Huge. I just tore off. Can you bring some repeat? No, he lost for damage. Doesn't catch the air dodge. Okay. This is huge. Kiss the jump. Take advantage of any case advantage. Is that That's it? Oh no, he missed it. No, this is true. Switch to charge on lives this up. Check him out there. Oh my god. That's up smash? Yep, that's it. A little got a little bit hairy there at the end, but noodle was. God, how it's. Yeah. But yeah, these, it's just weird because like, they're both like so explosive, but they're also like missing a lot of confirms or they're like over complicating like their kit, like positions where they could just kill. There's so many times that said like, if Sauce just ripped an, uh, like I used to wear S-Smash, he could have killed way earlier. He didn't have to go for like a grab there to confirm. Yeah, he and, like did. same thing for Eddie. 
he definitely didn't want to swing too big and miss out on the punish for it. He was going for guaranteed damage. But yeah, for sure, he was missing out on a lot of punishes that he could have hit harder. Yeah. Going into game two, I'd like to see the adapt like adaptation from Sasha just like and like just showing a little bit more awareness in those kind of scenarios. You're not able you're not able to play it safe yeah. against Noodle in that regard because if you're not squeezing every ounce of damage you get against mm -hmm. him, you're going to Or you have to be 64! Oh my god. Good early up B to catch him yeah. not safe for him, but it's also love up B. That's a good move. Already at a hundred percent. The Squirtle isn't he working out too well for him. Mean, he barely lives. Yeah, there's a switch to Ivy Sword. Yeah, there's a switch to Ivy Sword. Just like, like how is stronger just ne wasn't neutral? This might you should be able to kill here. They, oh, I love that down smash. So he just lit down smash. Second one. Tries to go for the roll in. He's back there. Oh my god. Out. He's just flooding executions here. The sloppy stuff coming from Andrew. He's giving Noodle too many opportunities that. Like to just live, and you can't do that against a, this character. For sure. If he can get this. You know, oh my god. It's just. He looks like he's just terror Barely the reverse donkey, barely the giant punch. If that's the Ivysaur, he's not going to lose any time on Squirtle. Noodles seems to have that character figured out. Yeah, he's just like, he's just like, can't go spoil these situations. Like, he's just playing around it too well. The Ivysaur is doing well, though. Yeah, the Ivysaur's cooking. Oh my god. No, okay. I love the advantage state right here. He's just he's not... he's getting so much more off this Ivysaur. Like, that Isn't should that be a ding dong. dong oh, no? again. Does... Yeah, There's yeah. the frame on Switch again. That is actually interacting with half the time. This is a flare blitz off this up smash. God. They are. This is an explosive move. This is attack, but it's fine because he has a third jump. You see by another up e. All right, he's falling. He's feeling good about himself. All right, gets gets the tornado punch. He's feeling a little too good about himself. It's a beat for it. But that that lead is nothing to stop at. Top by the up e. Dude, oh, he tries to cross up, but lands right back in front of Sauce. I think he... That's a really good awareness there. Okay, it's, this is just a repeat from Danny State. Down smash does not work this time. Put the tech shapes on the platform. I like how Sauce keeps saying here, like, he's playing it too well, it's just... It's so dangerous against... A, like, someone like Noodle, who can just blow you up. Mm -hmm. Sauce, if Sauce makes one mistake, he can lose a game he, for Yeah! Oh my god, he missed him down here! Is he gonna hit it's the He does it! He should be- he, he can still live here! No, and he gets he spiked. Down there. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I don't- This is the most explosive I think I've seen these two play in a long time. For sure. It's, I like, can't believe he missed those two texts too, because... Like, he, they're, like, that's Sauce just, just flubbing a lot of his, like, confirms in his execution. Mm -hmm. Like, and, like, even Eddie is kind of too. Like, he's is, is missing he, ding-dongs. Is he missing them, or is the percent window is not right? Because Brave won't escape too. Yeah, I don't know. Like, okay, it is currently 10.13pm. We've been playing for hours. I think there's for sure a combination of weird yeah, and like, yeah. coming in. It's so hard to play consistent for this long. Mm -hmm. That just means that the real consistent players are gonna, gonna benefit from it. Yeah. Going pit. Yeah, going, going pit. He's been he's been working on his pit. I yeah. think uh, he's been wanting to use it all today. He just like was like, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. I think now he's like realizing like, okay, my PC is yeah. not playing well he enough right now. Different. He needs to do something different. I think this is actually a great pit. And Pit is actually, I'm not going to say definitively, but it feels like a good person to stop. Mm -hmm. He has the disjoints, he has the, he has the, he has the good advantage too. Yeah. He has he the discharge. So consistently too. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that was weird. Yep. Up the out of shield. 
Oh my god. A down air. There. Terrifying stuff. Guess he has left on the jump. Wow. He's also all of a sudden up. A stock. This this counter pick's coming out. He did the exact same to Noodle. This counter pick's, you know. So that's a pretty good job. I know it's a little too early to say, but like, with how things have been shaping up compared to the last two games, like, yeah. this pit's been so much better. Ding dong, he lives so Ding it. dong lives. All right. Does an air dodge. Gets hit for the second up there. You know, two stops apiece, a little bit more percent on Eddie, but like, when you're a heavy, all that does is give you more rage. Oh, downer's out of disadvantage. I like the conversion off. I mean, you couldn't convert off the extension, but it's there. And he's getting the edge guard. Yeah. Just he can just go off. He can go off stage off. there. Like, I he knows he's at a bad angle. He's like, trying to play it too safe. He seems to be like scared of going off. He saw the same thing with the Ivy Sword where he can be going for down smashes. Mm -hmm. To try and two frame or catch uh, an aggressive. Oh, bro, he's under you! Just down there! Or even there. Yeah, you should snare it. You can have a field day you're, with DK off Yeah, you have hip disjoints. You can do whatever you want. But yeah, now he's, he's just playing a little bit more scared now because he doesn't want to lose this lead he has. And even then, if he had started with a, a full stop lead yeah. minus 30%, and so when all of a sudden the game is even, and now. Potentially, you're gonna be down a stock. That's. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want that to happen. Great grab on the orbiters. Yeah, get the back throw. All of a sudden, he's gonna back up the stock in full rage. This could be dangerous. Oh my god, 60%? Alright, he's looking for it. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. This is where Noodle shines. Got this. Is that 4 throw? Yeah, 4 throw should definitely do it. If anything else, he's taking away that room. He's gonna hit a down B. Okay, another back throw. Just an easy edge guard situation. Oh my oh. god, he was DI'ing out. Yeah. He didn't want to get hit by the- He didn't want to get hit by the up air, so he was DI'ing out, and then he ended up going off the platform. Didn't even get the opportunity to have a chance at like He just instantly died. No up smash required. Oh yeah. Wow. He'll take a 3-0. So, I, the, the pick cut came to life a little bit, but, mm -hmm. you know, wow. Noodle's still able to take it out. Jeez, and somehow, we find ourselves with an Arya Noodle winner finals. Arya Noodle, it all comes, this, up, it all comes full circle. Despite everything that's happened at this summit, I don't think anyone expected us to be here. <laughs> I think, you go back two hours ago, everyone's saying, no, like, two or three hours ago, everyone's like, Vince is winning this, and oh, now he sure. is out at seventh. That's crazy. Like he was, everyone was saying A9, Yeah, probably he's gonna win this. Out at ninth. Arya and Noodle, they're all they were always in the contention, but there were so many people. There are, there still are so many people playing well. I still think that Hunter for sure has a shot. Mm -hmm. uh, Sauce Houdini still on the other side of losers. And we are waiting on Xavier and Spiro. On the off setup. Yeah, I believe that is one one currently. Um, we should be able to get back to things soon. Um, based off some of the rest of the bracket, we have uh, Sauce now going at the losers bracket, going to play Houdini for fifth. The winner of Xavier and Spiro is going to be uh, playing Hunter for fifth as well. That's going to be next up on stream. Yeah. But, oh, what a tournament! Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys are relieved. We're relieved. Oh, All right. We are. Our block is up for time. now. We're handing it off to Dad, Dave, and Blaze. Dave, take man. it away. <laughs> take it away, gentlemen. Good, Good job, guys. Well, yeah. That was something. Yo, that set was crazy. Yo, what's up? Statman yeah, plays set. again, despite what the screams is. Give us a sec. That was a crazy, crazy set, dude. Oh my god. A lot of really crazy sets tonight. Do you know how to do this or no? No. Dude. Dude, these sets, man. Like, so many good ones. So many. 
so many. Um, oh, like, so I think up next we got um, Sauce so and Houdini. Oh, I. Someone over here, right? Huh? What, what? Um, dude, she has yeah, yeah. Um, uh, is that the first one? I yeah, so. it is. You have to update it. Alright, yeah, I know. I'm just something. Sorry, guys. Just. There we go. Alright, yes, I'm that man and he's Blaze. We're not pressing our kids. Yo, um. Dude, there's so many crazy sets happening. Um. It's just. I, there's not really, uh, much I could say to do justice how crazy these sets have been. No, seriously, like, the summit was really stacked, and, you know, people came to play, people want to win. Anything so. can happen tonight. Anybody can win this, really. So, still left in the bracket, we got Arya and Noodle on winner's side, and, um, on loser's side, we have, uh, well, we're waiting on uh, Xavier versus, um, Spiro, and who the winner of that plays Hunter, and we're also gonna wait, we're waiting on, um, Saucers of Houdini, so should be very interesting. So you're just waiting on uh them to come up. It looks like the guy on the room. Houdini is making a really good run right now. Very good run. Took out Vince actually. Yeah, Vince very and really Alex. Impressive. Really impressive run so far. Who did uh who did he lose to in losers or winners? Not sure, but there we go. I guess it's not possible to bring the curse. They lost the saucer actually earlier. Oh, so, three oh from coming the out of the like the the Swiss racket, you know. Saw some and who he played and Okay, this is gonna be a good set then. Exactly. Both these players have gone on pretty decent runs. Exactly, like game. Saw sent Houdini to losers pretty early, but the thing is he may also be A9 in losers and also he A9 Vince. and Vince. Exactly. Two big hitters already. Oh, and it looks like we're getting right into it by Alright, we're on PS2. We got Squirtle versus right. PT versus uh Yoshi. Yoshi versus PT. This is like a Pokemon battle. Two little monsters fighting. Oh man, that that Slop loves that combo. He loves it so much. Yeah. The junior the control. Pretty even so far. Sauce and sauce and sauce. Ooh. Dude. That was such a quick stock, I feel like. No, we're taking the first 30 seconds. So I should already, you know, working on these, um, yeah, I don't know, just getting a lot of Oh uh, my yeah. god. Yo, who's gonna win? Yo, who's gonna win? Sloth or Hootie? Well, we'll have to watch and find out. Like I said, he's been on a team in bracket, but Sloth's also in a team as well. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a good set. They need you need three games to uh, proceed. Whoever wins this set will go to if they go on to lose some means the loser will go home. Ooh and the up smash will close that sock out. Alright, great lead from uh Okay, not killing just yet, Charger pretty heavy. This is kinda of dangerous, like you do not want Charger to stay alive for rage, because he will fucking kill you. Yeah. Sorry, he will he will fucking kill you. I apologize. It's okay, you can curse. Oh no no, so yeah. Dude. Yeah, so Houdini, Houdini is making a hit right now. Houdini is making uh Yoshi's movement pretty good. Oh, and a random. Wow. Not a random. I'm not gonna say random. I'll say a, a good time side B. Sauce just oh, does not care about it. So fuck you. I'm just gonna flare blitz in your face, and you're gonna die. Mhm. Mm and then they luckily switch on the camera. So. God. Where are they? Oh, I'm not sure. 
That was crazy. He just flare blitz right in his face, and now Houdini's taking a bathroom break. That was really crazy, though. That was very random. Like, he oh, just there's randomly... a camera in the purple tin. It's because um, there's a purple light in uh, the room that they're in right now. So they're running back to PSD, by the way. Stop the battle! <laughs> Damn, he picked the... He picked the, the other color. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, back on PS2, and uh, we were up with a dash attack to punish for it. Uh-uh. Houdini opting for the green color this time. The sauce up B. I just call English for LP the sauce. Wow, the up B just... Works. No, him. like it actually works. That's why like Sauce sees it. Does like it? That. How does he just do it? It's Sauce B. I'm Sauce. Oh, uh, that was kind of a predictable switch. Uh, I'm just punish for it. it. And like, I think Yoshi did pretty well with it. Or I'm sorry, it was, I think I was supposed to be wrong with Yoshi. Oh man, yeah, these disjoints are really gonna. Uh... Do a lot for Ivy in this matchup. Switching to Zard for the kill, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I thought we were about to see another SD. So many SDs tonight, by the way. <laughs> Off stage. How's he gonna get back? Flamethrower, getting on a little bit of damage. Pressuring at the ledge. What's he gonna do here? Get the egg. Wow, and the classic cost. Smash attack on the left. He loves down, that. He down loves that. Yeah. Well, what you call it? Other sauce is just really funny. It's like a flow chart he has. Sauce just like does options that seemingly like shouldn't work, but they do. I mean, they're sauce. Yeah. But yeah, even at the game though, um, the two two stocks right now. Uh, sauce getting decent combo started. Yeah. Good switch. That was a good switch. Oh, somehow whiffs the uh disjoints. It's gonna that's gonna be really good for air to airs against Yoshi and that's a big part of Yoshi's game plan with those it's really good air to air. Oh he did. Good up smash. Up smash very strong towards the charge. Sauce just through. controlling this set. Like, they're doing a lot, like, really good at keeping control of not only the stage, but just like the general momentum. He means to like switch some jumpers, you know. Do something. Let's see if Houdini can, uh, find a kill here somewhere. Tries to get the cheese, but. Stage, stage. Ooh, okay. Alright. Nice dash dance. Wow! Wow, Sauce so looking really good going into Sauce is such a good player, it seems like. Houdini down 2-0 despite having such a crazy run so far. I guess Sauce just kind of has, has um... Houdini's number, yeah. 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 We'll see, you know, it's not over yet, so... Maybe, um... Yoshi. Maybe PT is just difficult for Yoshi. Because, like you said, like, the... The Ivy air errors is really, um... It's really good counterplay for Yoshi's game plan. One, go! Back on the PS2 again. Alright, we need to get some. some alright, alright. All right. We got Yoshi combos got now. Alright, get a thing. Good adjustment so far. Mm -hmm. See if, uh, we need to keep it up here. Ooh, but, you know, Sauce, uh, came right back. Got 4 on the board, 58. Yeah, Ivy's probably the way to go into Yoshi. 
Ivy and uh, Charizard probably are the Pokemon that they want to stay with. And... No, not another no. SD! Not another SD! That was so unfortunate. I think we've seen an SD in every single set on the game tonight. I mean, it happens, but still. Yeah. Very Obviously, it I, I guess it just happens a lot. It's been happening all night. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Ooh. Nah, I think it's gonna happen yet again. I'm surprised Sauce has an SD yet. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Sauce's gonna flare blitz off the side right now. Mark my words. Ooh. Flare blitz is blocked, and then he needs L smash to pick up that stuff. I mean, I guess, you know, you have a stock up, you're up to your game, so I'm to go for a hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a great uh, point. Oh, giving this, oh, man, those back airs. Like, what do you do in that situation in Gucci? There's really not much. I mean, double jump armor does play for a lot, you know. But, um... Yeah, it's just very rough. Yeah, this is a rough spot for Yoshi, for sure. Oh, oh, he's gonna have to go to the switch. But, uh... Sauce gets out. Oh, nice, That's nice cool. bear. It's looking kind of grim for Houdini here. That's the kill. Uh, Houdini's gonna have to pick it up. They started this game off really strong. If only could get that, find that same momentum in uh, maybe a bear or a tilt. He's kind of just throwing out eggs right now. Yeah, I think Sauce is taking the charge right because you got um, probably because of the set, but also yeah. you know, just wants to finish it out. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good choice. Wow, wow. Ooh, that's a good double jump there, but the really dodge back to the down smash just fixed the wall. Off the wall. Oh wow, this is looking pretty dominant. This, this might be the end for Houdini's awesome run. Oh, just push off. Keeps the shield, but it's bad. Okay. Oh, nope. Let's see if uh. No right switch. Now. Okay. Oh no, it's no switch. Oh yeah, no, there is. Oh wow. Oh, they tried to start it off here, but. Let's see. Let's see. If... Okay, good Back pivot grab. Offstage situation. Oh man, the pressure. Ooh, egg play. Oh. oh, just charging forward. Oh, Ooh, check chase. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll break three. Maybe three. Next three. hit will probably kill. Maybe a grabber, tilter, air. Yes. Yeah, so actually has to be careful and close yeah, it out. Yeah, so has to slow this down. Yeah. Okay. Alright. This is uh, that's pretty big. Back to neutral. Oh! Egg! Ooh. Okay, can see up smash. Still it's a wow. little bit more work because Charizard is pretty heavy. Yeah, and the air to airs aren't really uh, as fair rule. Ooh, oh, this is the grab. That's oh! No uh, jab lock there. there. I think he went for a jab lock, but missed. But very, very tough situation. Okay. All right, this is a dangerous spot for both players. This is like the kill range for both. I mean, they didn't kill each other. But oh, just no. but catches the switch with wow. the up air, still wow. breathing Prevent a little bit of life. Prevents the three. Prevents the three. Oh, still standing. Got games still. No more games to play. All so. right, let's see if he can get this reverse three L right now. Houdini's not done yet. This is um uh, losers quarters actually. Well, whoever was uh, asking. Not done yet. Oh, looks like Spear will be the like, Xavier three one. All right. Uh -oh. Ooh, it's ten thirty four. Getting a little late here. Wow, seventh place, Vince and. Xavier, that's that's uh, that's pretty huge. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We could potentially be seeing um, 
Yeah, a reverse Rio. Alright, we're switching back to the green Yoshi color. Alright, we're going to Bastion. Oh, Bastion. Soft probably just wanted to uh, change the vibe a little bit. I mean, it doesn't seem like too much of a difference in terms of these characters' gameplay. It wasn't like a section to my combo, too, actually. It got like decent percent off of Both these players have really, really strong advantage. So it's kind of funny just seeing them clash at each other. Actually, a situation is out of it. Oh man, that egg left. Oh wow, nice, nice chaser. Caught him, caught him, uh, burning out those jumps right there. Oh no, oh no, there's SD. Stop, don't kick it. Oh wow. No, not quite yet. Yeah, when you switch to Charizard, you get one jump, and then you don't be in the place there. Oh, wow. Who's even picking up the steam? Who was that there before wow. so early? And wow! This is like the complete opposite of the last game. Yeah, but so it seems like Houdini like, almost woke up or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. No kill there. No kill there. Oh, Damn, Houdini came to win. Oh wow, good switch. Sauce is gonna have a lot of work to do here. Um, gets the stock, but he's got a pretty significant deficit to deal with right now. And uh, definitely not ideal to deal with here. Against Yoshi in the air. Oh, that, that could have been a clip. Okay, alright. It's a damage in, but still, yeah. It's gonna be the kill. And we have a game five! Just like that. Just like that. Just like, like that, right? Wait, it's like a, it's almost like a two minute game, so game like that. Udini proving, like, going down 2 0 does not matter in this game. It just gives him a buff. The comeback buff. Wow. Just like that, it's already game five. Like, I was about ready to call this set as a. 3-0, but Not yet, we got a game dude. 5. That's why I said, don't count them out. The and it's like they're going to small Yoshi. battlefield, too. The blue. This is his ultimate color. Oh, green, never mind. Pokemon Trainer! Alright, let's get into it. Game 5! Yo, who's gonna win? Who do you think will win? Who's the better player? Alright, let's find out who the better player is. Alright. Starting off with Seth for the game. He's strong here. There's the up Wow, able to catch the jump there. Dude, much better in the start of this game than the other game. Yeah, but that egg lay is gonna really um, do a lot in terms of changing his power there. Neutral and advantage as well. I've been doing really good at uh, catching recoveries off stage. That's the upbeat. Nice stock lead here from Sauce. Let's see if we can get a decent amount of extra credit. Alright, it's an egg lay. Yeah, he's gonna be using those uh, side Bs to kind of keep Houdini out for now. I mean, we have this much of a lead. There's really no reason to be engaging. The back air is doing a lot of keeping Yoshi out as well. Oh, jab lock punish, double jab lock. Wow, no kill. Not gonna kill you, but a lot of percent. Really good combo though. Yeah. Ooh, oh, tries wow, to get nice up the air, but the upbeat armor goes through and saves Sauce there. Oh, 
Oh wow, that egg. A little trippy there. Don't kill yet. Next hit when you do it. Yeah. Alright, uh, nice 119 of extra credit. Immediately starts out this stock with a strong advantage state. Catch the, catches the jump. Sauce just needs to, like, spam those bears and side bees, and, like, this matchup seems pretty difficult for Yoshi. No. I thought we were about to see another like, SD. <laughs> this is the SD summon. SD summon to the SD summon. How's Sauce gonna get this kill here? Not a bear, but I don't know. Bear, maybe? No? I mean, you need to try on Sage and. Oh, so, well, so, so I was opting to keep the um the tier two frame in his back pocket for now. Might cost him here. Catches a landing. Let's see. Finds the kill, but Houdini able to make it relatively close in terms of the percent right now. Oh, oh wow, the punish on oh, the punish. punish. And we have an even game five right now. Good switch. Okay, the neutral D. It's parry. Oh man. The side B spam. It's coming down to the wire here. They're really wearing each other down right now. Okay. Let's see if the landing. Back chase? No. Not quite yet. Okay. This is a good position for Yoshi. He almost gets the kill there. Wow. Oh my god, the recovery. This is anybody's oh. game right now. Switch to Zard, maybe? Oh no, it makes it back Soon. to Ivy. Oh! oh! Almost gets the kill! This is anyone's game, even for Shen oh right now. Oh, oh gets the egg leg. This is huge, this is huge. Oh, waiting. Oh, oh up kill. Is that it? The plat wow. Oh, and it does do kill. It. Wow. This is Last kill. hit, last stop, game five. I'm what a game. You what a game. We did it, Charizard! What an entertaining set. No, for real. Houdini was like, hey, I ain't done yet. I'm still here. Yeah. But yeah. largely Sauce so says it will take it from, you know? <clears throat> wow, what a game five. What a game five. Solid, player. solid game five. Mm -hmm. Houdini, unfortunately, going home after losing to Sauce in winners and then going on to beat Alex and Vince. Pretty legendary run. <laughs> Up next, I think we have Hunter and Spiro. Unless they do, I don't know why they would do uh, the winners final, but uh, yeah, I think we got Hunter and Spiro up next. Mm -hmm. Hunter taking down Vince earlier in the bracket, huge big. win for him. It's huge. Oh, like it's man. gonna be Hunter and Spiro on stream next. Hunter and Spiro. Yo, Spiro. I'm your biggest fan, Spiro. No, I'm a serious fan. Nah. Um, Spiro and Hunter. Spiro. He's just ordered still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude. I feel like I'm gonna use How do you guys feel about that set? Yeah. That set was a pretty so entertaining back set. Where you going, bro? <sighs> All right, we got Spiro Hunter. Yo, who do you think's gonna win this grab? 
I was talking to Hunter downstairs, and he told me he's gonna win it for me. Oh, hell yeah. He's gonna be his owner that beats Palatine. Okay, okay. Something I, I could I'm, never. I'm a pretty big fan of both these players, so... No, it's rough. Yeah. I, I like so many people here. Yeah. Yeah, it's really t difficult to decide who to, to root pick for here. favorites. <laughs> Although, Spiro is the mega homie. He helps me out a lot with this game, so it's hard to root against him. Of course, he's always coming out with these fire fits. <laughs> it's like the he's power up. He's the beanie today. Yeah. I, I think this is gonna be a good set. I think Hunter, he played against... I think he played against Wheezy in pools. I'm not entirely sure. But he's warmed up in the pallet. I yeah. don't know if Spiro's played Andrew yet today. <laughs> Alright, starting off on small battlefield, no, uh... Normal battlefield. Oh, normal battlefield, okay. Oh, Dave's back. Dave is back. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Yo, Spiro's kinda... He, Sorry, he is an unstoppable force. I have one of them. Yeah. It seems to on even uh, percentage right now, but uh, that skin is pretty cool, actually, the Pulsar skin. Pink one? Yeah. Wow, Spiro's so good at getting that back air. His controller of his character is just immaculate. This matchup might be um, somewhat even. I can see arguments for both sides. What Spiro taking the stock? With the um, back air. First off, with the back air. He's right now. If Hunter pulls out this win, then he might have like the most impressive run here. Oh, struggling to get back. Use the air dodge though to get back. Basically. And Spiro just waiting there, waiting for any movement. It's kind of scary. Uh, oh man, this Spiro, I'm pretty sure knows this matchup pretty well, so it's mm. gonna be a really rough one. Little less harder to solve on it if he's. Yeah, Alright, he does get the kill there. But yeah, Spiro's movement. His movement. This man is moving. Look at this. Awful over Hunter. I know exactly what it's like to play Spiro like this. I just didn't feel like completely lost. I mean, Spiro's just looking so dominant. He's just getting every like edge shot, every hit. Oh and oh wow! Oh, it makes no it dare there. Good recovery. Yeah, overshoot sledge shoot to not get hit by the dare there. Oh, oh and not no ready for attack the tech. there either, and that will be uh. uh game one. Yeah. Too bad for you. Game one for Spira. Uh, uh. Hopefully Hunter can uh find his um footing a little bit here. Mhm. Mm Let's see, where will they go? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, small maybe. I'll be surprised if he sticks with Battlefield. He's giving, giving it some thought. Because uh, you gotta think, like, uh, as Snake. You're gonna be stuck in those nair loops for a while, so you kind of want those platforms to, to help, help you out. out a little bit there. Yeah, you have like a big stage to yeah. like make you know, more space. Right. I know he's thinking about town, but I know Hunter doesn't love town. So. Yeah, I just don't know what's banned either, obviously, because we can't just hear, but you know. <laughs> oh! Smash, though. Hunter picking Battle of the Summit, that's so funny. Hunter's hilarious. He's a uh, hilarious person. Yeah. Alright, getting into it. Game 2. Same match. Bruh. Oh, we got a KK night. That's hilarious. KK night. It is Saturday. 
Yeah, it's got a decent control of the stage. Nice pressure on the landing. He's not gonna let Hunter land out easily. Oh, C4. Yeah. It's very uncomfortable timing sometimes. Nice. I forget like how long it stays out until it explodes, but you know. I think it's 24 seconds. It's very hard to keep track of that. Yeah. Well, that's a C4 stuck on the right now. Yeah, he's doing really good at placing these explosives right now. Where is the C4? Uh, fell off. Alright, let's see if, uh... Get this spike, maybe? Okay. Yeah, definitely in a tough spot. I mean, Spiro's waiting right there. And Snake's kind of a city duck in that situation. Nice pressure. Already making it pretty even. Man, he's always catching the high recovery. It's tough for Snake in that situation. He's dead, he's dead! Oh, wow. This is a grenade, I think, right? Oh, man. Hell is able to really, uh, keep Snake from doing like, his usual camping techniques. Mm -hmm. very difficult. Ooh, but good tech. Good tech. Ooh, a smash actually left two frames. Yeah, uh, the attempt. Yeah, Spiro's kinda... Oof, <sighs> getting back into his zone. Oh, I'm wait. No, it is, it's like... almost uh, 11 now, but anyway, it's getting to it. Um... Yeah. Hunter... Still, still gonna do it for Hunter, he's just taking this... Absolutely, yeah, uh, he kinda just has to find his rhythm with his, uh... Explosive zoning. Struggling to make it on stage, though. This Spiro's covering like every Yeah, area. Spiro is doing really well at keeping Hunter off this stage right now. I don't, he hasn't touched it in a while. Mm -hmm. Finally getting back on and getting some space back. Wow, well, Spiro just being patient. Okay. This is the call out there for off stage. Let's see if Let's see if Hunter can find a kill. Oh man! Ooh. Back the what a deadly kill off. God damn, Spear looking so dominant right now. You think we'll see a 3 0 right now? Um, we might. We'll see, have to see if uh, Hunter can bring it back. Spear just knows his matchup so well. It's tough. When you know how to play against Snake, like, it's, it's, it's really difficult, difficult for the Snake player. No, I agree for sure, 100%. Especially when you're playing a character like Paolo who's so fast and can kind of just ignore all the grenade zoning. Alright. Game 3. Back to Battlefield. Back to Battlefield, right? See if Hunter can keep the game or if Spear will close it out. So far, pretty, uh, pretty even. It's a classic position for a hunter, but Alu yet again able to ignore all those ledge traps. Setting up pretty decent traps. Gets Ooh, the back almost, hit. Almost home, man. What? Forto, oh, not Forto quite. Yeah, Nikita. Maybe if the first one hit, it would have been enough to protect, but right now, Palutena is living at 140 as well. Ooh, black to back roll into the back row. Alright, nice landing from Hunter. 
Oh, there's all the way down there, though. I don't know if that's a good idea, attack, but there's tech attack, in. Attack, he was ready for that. Down to spear attacks to down air, I mean. Yeah, oh, wow. Spirals. Look at that. Like, he's just waiting for him to press a button. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Spirals on his head. Uh, yeah, it doesn't get Living at 185, taking a little nap on the platform. Just keeping him up, not letting off the gas whatsoever. Oh wow, this is tough for Snake. Wow, guys by the grenade at 195. I think Hunter will be able to get his uh his snake stuff started here or uh, Spirals like they make it really hard to do and... Ooh, even Thanos probably off the uh, whole world of the game, man. Yeah. This landing has been so tough for Hunter, man. Good bait with a grenade, but not quite getting anything off it. It jumps right into the side, too. Too tough not to come back here without a jump. But luckily, the grenade covers his recovery. But he unfortunately loses that trade. Potential last stock. Alright, getting in there. Already at 165. I feel like he just spawned in. Looking pretty, pretty bad right now. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's playing at a really nice pace right now. He's not in any rush to get this kill. And another oh, SD! Oh. SD boys! Well, I mean, like, Spear was, you know, chasing him down there. It was very, very scary. Yeah, it, was it was a very desperate situation for Hunter. Can't bl really blame Spear him. Spear wins with the 3 0. Oh. Alright. Do you think they'll run this loser semi or uh, winner's final now? Um, uh. I'm not sure we're going to wait. I think I saw uh, Ari up there, so I'm sure it's going to be uh, him versus um, Noodle, probably. That was, uh, what, what are your thoughts on that set, on uh, that quick 3-0 from Spiro? I wouldn't say it was a quick one, but, you know, definitely, like, Hunter was trying to fight his way in there, but it seems like Spiro just knew the state matchup too yep. well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Had all those landing options covered. Um... Got past all the grenade zoning pretty well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really once you really know the snake matchup, like it's difficult because as snake, mm -hmm. you're kind of one dimensional. Yeah, like replaced. once somebody breaks it down, again replaced. Again replaced. So, all right, thank so you for watching. You Goodbye. This is probably the last time we're in a so. Oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gonna rotate. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, thank one. you. Yep, thank you. Uh, is this muted? Is this off? It's not off. Okay, it's um, not off. To... Yeah, no, it's like, uh, I can hear myself. No, but, like, mine is weird. It, yeah, like, that was a bit shutting off. It'll just, like, so go off thing. randomly. Who let this happen? Who let this happen? Try talking, and then we'll see. I mean, it's a top one. I'm talking, and both of going. Oh, you're fine. On, we, we gotta fix the blanket real quick. Get it over there. Get it over. The blanket's fixed. Okay, but um. What is this? Looks like we're Spiro versus. We're doing Spiro oh. versus Hoss. Right? Are you doing it? Are you doing Noodle? Are you Noodle? Are you Okay, so looks like we're looks like we're doing uh, winners finals first. Winners. Before this is such a banger. Winners finals. Losers bracket. You can do it so that like this guy doesn't lose and immediately play losers finals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, so. We are winners finals, Arya and Noodle.
these two have played so yeah, often. Yeah, this is this it's, is just the SJ Classic Winners Finals. It, is one. Let me see if I it all comes full circle. What, 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 this, I'm on. Honestly, I'm honored to get to commentate uh, this set right now. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's. Oh my god. This, this is gonna be such like a big set for the winner of the tournament. Obviously, well, well, Winners Finals. But. Yeah. Wh whoever wins this is gonna look really good for to uh, win the entire bracket. Honestly. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's it's oh, so it's, it's just, just gonna, gonna be a fun set to watch. But it looks like they are. It's versus DK, and it looks like they are oh, ready to go. Yeah, you're good! On. So we're gonna go and switch to the... <laughs> that's not... And that's... Hunter versus Zero! <laughs> no, Arya versus Noodle. Let's... And we're just about to get ready. Started! Alright, go to both players. So, a part of me wishes I was like spectating this, but honestly, I like the Prime Art and I like this. Uh, Alright, let's start with a phenomenal. Uh, it's a... <laughs> anyway, starting off. We're starting uh, off. Noodle already raring to go. Uh, doing, doing a number to Arya and just will not stop. For forcing him into disadvantage uh, really easily with uh, his Donkey Kong ness. He, he is so good at piloting this character, but yeah. Arya. Not hesitating to respond with um, a good call out, nearly killing him uh, if he got a downer off that PK fire. Um, but not, not enough to take this off. Yeah, but the, it's even, and that will not be enough. Not kill. Nope, Donkey Kong's big. He's too heavy for that. Not these. These players have played so much. Um, it's honestly incredible to see like the adaptations they've made and. Yeah, match or knockout in there. And at this point, it's their pats and the uh, match and whatnot. This is just pure player versus player. Yeah, and that's what we love to see. Like, it, it, it's not, oh, nice upper air take first off. But it's not about, um, oh, Ness can do this to Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong can do this Ness. It's, what can Arya do to Noodle? What can Noodle do to Arya? Mm -hmm. Player habits and whatnot. For example, um, fair drag down back throw. That is what Arya can do to Noodle right now. Although, to be fair, that combo might be helped a little bit by um, Donkey Kong being uh, big, but um, Noodle just taking that stock early, not by overtly hitting him, but just like his presence being out there. Yeah, we see a rare misstep on the recovery game by Arya. Exceedingly rare, but this is the second of the Wars of Blue Moon occurrence that happened in the tournament, so. I, th I think they just keep volume for the way nerves and perhaps here and this might be affecting him. Nerves, and also it could just be that, again, Noodle went out there deep, so it's like, w what are you gonna do when there's a giant monkey chasing after you? You're gonna be scared and you're gonna jerk back. And but you're not gonna have an option. If gonna have the back throw take away Noodle's second stock, same way that it happened the first stock, so. You know, that, that shield conditioning from that album Ness's hip hop is really coming through with yeah. the grab game. Um, yeah, maybe. Ass. Yeah, maybe that throw is like a really good, like, throw or something. I don't know. Oh my goodness, Ding Dong. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Speaking Ding of Dong. good throws, um. You um, know, not getting that against Mario as much as he is against another other player, but it still comes through to seal out that final stock and take game one. Oh, Ding, Ding Dong is so important for Donkey Kong's game plan. It's it's just it's his most crucial win condition. But Arya is just playing around it so well that you know in the other games we were seeing Noodle get it multiple times per game. We would be considering it lucky or well played for a player to get hit by it once. But Arya is showing right out the gate that yeah Noodle's gonna have to find a stock some other way. For example, scary him off stage or. But, again, if you're able to condition it and shield it, then you can get that, um, that ding-dong. 
Right, right here in the game too. Yeah. Yeah. What's the skill exchange? What are you using the... I um, the... Night Max? I don't think it's that big deal. But, getting into Smashville, definitely an interesting pick. Uh, I wonder why Noodle would let this stage go, because this feels just like a playground for Ness. That higher glass is going to make Ping Dong just have a tighter window. And then uh, Ness, is, Ness is going to be winning the first quarter generally, because he has just the better brain data, better hitboxes. Well, I feel like he might want to ban, um... Probably Battlefield FD, um... Honestly, uh, Noodle, I mean... Yeah, uh, regardless, we are on Smash Ball, and these backers are going out full force. This is Noodle's solution to not being that in the dump dump solution. But also, Arya's um, backers also Arya's solution for taking that uh, first stop. Yeah. Anyway, Noodle is Noodle with a deficit, and. I'm having to crouch down here to get a good view of this screen. Arya looking this crazy. Big head is in the way. to run away with this if Nudo can't see away the stock. Proving a little difficult for him. He's keeping advantage, but he's not able to find this king low. There it is, back here off stage. Yeah. Forcing it Arya low and just capitalizing off the Ness's vulnerability during his yeah. recovery. If he had punched there, uh, I believe Arya would have been dead just to nair, uh... Nair Donkey Punch. I definitely got hit by that a couple times when I was playing Final Fantasy Noodle earlier. He, he's so consistent with that. I, yeah, I'm consistency is Noodle's MO. Like, he will... His style is Noodle's MO, let's be real here. He's... he's... Well, he'll style when he can, but when he's not styling, he's being consistent. But... I mean... Yeah, speaking of consistency, <laughs> Andrew has, Arya has been consistently finding these off stage That's that. With these kills. Did two back airs. Both right. these players just taking stocks back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, it's... A lot of sets with Noodle just end up being so explosive. Yeah, but like... A real back and forth between both players. And we're noticing that um, the only time we're really... Oh, damn. Uh, he just gets clipped by one of the charging hits of Yo-Yo and goes too well. Uh, Arya can really even up the score. But, um... Let's see if I'm it was. We don't worry about it. Yeah, and I wonder if Noodle is going to... Yeah, he does not the want to go back to the The counterpick? Oh, definitely yeah. Noodle's counterpick here. Yeah. Going to Donkey Kong, King Kate ruled the wall. <laughs> As a as a key rule connoisseur myself, oh, versus hog, oh, no crocodiles. That's sad. That. We've seen uh, Noodle be taking a lot of people to small battlefield. I wonder if that's like a good stage for Donkey. Uh, actually, I, I do know a little bit about that. Uh, Biplats are the biplat stages are very good for Donkey Kong. Um, the, the, I, I believe that the 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 ceiling is a little lower here. But um, I know that I know that PS2 is a really good stage for DK. So yeah, the, that's just, just the auto ban for Arya. So yeah, uh, it's just like, this is just yeah, mini PS2. So next best uh, thing. Mm -hmm. Also, we we all I, I was gonna say we almost never see um, net, like Arya. He's not backing off. Oh my goodness, waiting for the air dodge, catching the air dodge with the up smash. But yeah, we never see. Um, um, unless Noodle's off stage, we're not seeing Arya throw out projectiles. He just full on scrapping. Both these players understand each other, understand the game so well, and understand each other so well that they're able to just um, go back and forth without um, like Arya's able to um, consistently approach um, without the projectiles. He doesn't need them. He understands. Yeah, well, for one, the Smashville stage didn't really prove itself conducive to that platform PK fire, but also Noodle does not seem to be giving Arya the chance to use it. Getting that edge guard scenario once again, the forcing low and punishing of the vulnerable recovery has been doing so much mileage for him. Yeah, it's, a, it's such a consistent win condition, especially with someone like Donald Trump, who has that incredibly fast, incredibly safe back air. Fast, safe, and a little bit disjointed. It's, 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 a, it's a top back air in the game, and in this matchup where 
What a great forward air. What a phenomenal forward air. I was, I was in the middle of talking, and he said, sit down, and shut up, and watch. This seems to be a bit of a misstep off stage by Arya. Uh, I'm sure he did not want to be that far out. Um, I don't think he had a choice but to be that far out. He did, I think he had a bit Remember, of a... Remember, don't even interview each other. I don't know if that's a positive, but... Sorry, I was like popping off. I was leaning in like this because like I was like focus I was like hard focusing. Your ass better not echo. Back smash. Yeah, back smash. That seems to be uh, Arya's kind of pick of choice. Noodle, I guess, in as well. I mean, again, they hurt so much. I don't think that the stages. Like, the same thing I would say with any characters. I think in this matchup of Arya vs. Noodle, I don't think stages, like, matter as much. Like, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be not on uh, PS2, that's really what I'm gonna go. Yeah. Hey, uh, Arya was too far out of the ding dong percentages. I guess he was really hoping for the cookie escape option. I mean, that upper is really good in that back air, but, uh, down smash, I'll let it take that first off for Noodle. Yeah. But, as I was saying, the, the stage isn't going to matter for these two uh, players because they understand each other and I mean, uh, incredibly well. And yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, that's the third time we've seen that exact same interaction, so Noodle seeming to have found his stride with finding these offstage kills on Arya. Their jab lock into Canair to Ferrero would have great strength. Getting, 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 but yeah, that um, that uh, back airing off stage is gonna be a. I just want to turn it off. The back airing off stage is gonna be a consistent position for uh. Yeah, and there's that call out on the recovery back to stage by Arya. We saw that once in the beginning of the set as well, and he just able to force Noodle into such an uncomfortable situation and then capitalize on his escape options with that absurdly strong PK rocket. My, my, my headset's good. Alright, looks like Rainbow's headset is coming off. Woo! We are one hell of an offstage scramble. Noodle gonna end up coming out on top with the grab the board throw, but he still has a, a bit of a deficit. It hasn't been finding nearly as many ding dongs, so I'm beginning. I wonder about how he's going to close out the stock if he's able to. But the up air not killing, weaving around the PK thunder, but great read on the neutral getup is gonna take out that. And we are going to a game five on Noodle's counter pick. And realistically, my mic's back, by the way. But realistically, would you expect anything else other than a game five from these two players? I don't. I don't think there is any other um, option. Um, there's. Hmm. I mean, I heard them talking before. Um, before the set, they knew it was going to go to game five. The, their level of adaptation is just insane. Yeah. Like, I, I strive to have, like, I would love to have this type of high level, just, oh, we're able to, um, we're able to just play each other as players rather than characters. And, like, like that type of interaction with another player, it, it, it's, it seems like it's, like, such a great thing to have. So for this game five, it looks like Noodle took us to Hollow Bastion, if I saw that correctly. I did. Yes. Uh, an interesting choice. We saw that Arya was winning on Smashville. Uh, I wonder if that the slight differences between the two stages is going to prove advantageous to Noodle. Um, I do think, well, uh, Ding Dong should kill earlier. I'm pretty sure that the uh, Blast Zone is a little lower on this stage. Like, I would probably ban this into Donkey Kong. MCHI's true winner of this game will thug finals um MCHI's sweep over Wi-Fi and will probably lose because MCHI's is my goat. <laughs> Great magnet back air, sawing in the air to um, yeah. bait out that grab before placing that clean back air on Donkey Kong's uh, face. It's just great movement on Arya's part, and he's show he's 
conditioning with those aerials. Not letting Noodle get this grass. But yeah. as I say that, Ding Dong percent, a little too high. This time he's going to opt for the off stage. I mean, the back here. Can you keep? Uh, doesn't recover. Great edge guard off of. Mm -hmm. as, a, very, a very good found grab. As we keep saying, as we keep saying, it's that that back airing Ness off stage. It's so consistent. He has to pause before he comes back to the stage while he draws his little circle. So that's prime back air real estate. Massive string from Noodle. Good on it. Uh, and Arya not doing the up and said air dodging to ledge, but. Yep, and can I just say we're even in percent, even in stocks, even in games. Like this, this is the definition of an even um, uh, player matchup. Both of these, this game, this set could go either way right now. For sure, and this last stock is going to be so important. As I say that, Arya takes it out back air on Noodle's aggressive recovery over stage. Up smash, not killing. Scouts oh out the air dodge, but isn't in time to punish it. Yep, not able to land in time to get out that off smash, which is gonna, which could be a problem for Noodle if um, Arya gets too much extra credit here. But uh, it looks like he's uh, so able to chase. That back air. <gasps> oh! He got clipped by the PK Thunder. So early too. Uh, unfortunate, but still a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal set as usual great, from these two. Great showing. It's such a, it's an unfortunate end. Was unfortunate, but not really much you can do except okay. accept it and go on. Because you know what? These are going to keep playing um, and we are in going many to, tournaments in the future. We are going to keep commentating. And next up, looks like we're going to be doing Spiro, Spiro versus Sauce. Sauce having one hell of a run. Sauce is going crazy today. Yeah, after losing his round fan. one in winners, he but then had to go sure. through... Oh, I'm sorry, no. He... Lost his round two to Spiro, so he's getting the run back. Oh, he's getting a run back? Um, how was that game? Um, round two. Oh, that went to game five. That's going to be a lot of fun. That, this is going to be a, a fun set to watch if it's anything like the first mm -hmm. um, Spiro first set. having his opportunity to take out Sauce, or Sauce is going to get the double elim. On uh, Spiro, one of the top seeds to take this. This is definitely his op sauce's opportunity to just take this tournament. I'm very excited to see this. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm gonna. No way. Nope. <laughs> it's it's me. Mhm. Mm so I'm going to set up. I already did. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was not. I was, really I was not paying attention. I'm, I'm the same way. I will not pay attention to anything. Pull up. Remember, stay hydrated. Also, um, MGs. Gray can see the chat. So, if a game audio cuts, you can like do something about it. Yeah. Are you saying hydrated? I'm saying hydrated. I have a bottle of water with my name on it downstairs. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> I'm fixing game audio. Okay, sweet. He's fixing game audio. <laughs> so let's see. Um, Arye right now in grand finals. Yeah, sitting pretty in grand's winner side, and the we have this set to go on to fight the winner of this set to go on to fight the to fight Noodle in loser finals. So this is um, a battle for uh, third and fourth place. So loser of this gets fourth, winner gets uh, third. So either way, either way, both these characters, have, um, characters, both these players have come such a long way, um, showing that they can, um, wait, not showing that they can, yeah, showing that they, they can play the game at such a high level. They're in, showing off their what they can do, showing off their talent. The game is gone. Mm -hmm. Disappeared, reduced to ashes, but yeah. As I was saying, all, all of these, all of these players, again, phenomenal players. I'm Amazing, excited. To, phenomenal players. I'm excited to see this too because uh, Sauce and Spiro's first set was off stream in the basement setup, and oh, now we get to see it again. In the back room setup. It's essentially the basement. 
facing backwards. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Looks like they're already young. I think you want first. I think you want first. Spin? No, not. Uh, I mean, turn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cause that should play your spam. We'll get it soon. I just want to setting up. Move around here. Oh no. There we go. Alright. Good luck to both players. Pokemon here versus uh, Power Rangers. Oh, very, very fundamental base. Uh, Magnet ideal. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of uh, fun to watch. The thing is, we've been seeing socks go in inordinate, inordinate amount of ivy soul tonight, and so I wonder how much is he going to be relying on the Squirtle, who is going to most likely be the best bet against Palutena, or how much is he going to go for the ivy soul, his comfort pick? Um, well, I do know that uh, as someone who plays uh, characters with bigger bodies, uh, um, Squirtle is definitely, um, uh, can be annoying, and I know that Palu has, is, is very, she's slim, but she's tall, which is going to be, um, a little, could be a little bit, uh, challenging for Shiro, but Shiro's really not caring, starting off with, um, 80% and nearly 90% and advantage stage right off the bat. Mm, strong start, getting Sasta, Sasta's fighting out of the corner well, and he's getting his opening from this. That's oh that could have been death. It's great reversal. That could have ended up being a lot more for Sox and have taken stock, but now the down throw back are not connecting. Yeah, down throw uh back is gonna be a lot harder to connect on those uh those uh bigger characters. Especially dark characters it's gotta be good for Sox to get um to sort of um when you partner sometimes. But again it's a risk because if you don't um you aren't able to, you know, if you switch and you take a strong hit, Charizard might live it while Squirtle might not. For example, would Squirtle have to do that, um, dash attack? Definitely not living uh, that, uh, back air. Take the first stock, but... He take the first stock, he does. Sauce, a bit of a deficit now, and as we've seen, Sauce has been struggling to take stocks a little bit. And so I wonder, is he going to be able to just even trip back up, or is Spirit going to have the opportunity to expound so much on this lead he's accumulated? Well, look at me like he's trying to go for that extra, um, that extra credit, but uh, thankfully for Sauce, he's able to fall out of an air before getting hit by another one. This is big damage, scouts out the switch, but doesn't pull the trigger early enough. Yeah, it's 70% of extra credit, and uh, Spiro isn't even. Oh! Go for, the, is go for the dare, but misses dead. the tech. Stocks are even. Stocks are even, but again, Shiro has that extra credit, which probably can never seem to be so good at getting. If, if, you're, if your movement is solid, you're just never going to die, and you're going to be able to rack up that extra credit really easily. Especially on um, character like uh, Ivysaur. Well, and that's a sock. Yeah, getting that back here, Sauce trying to get off his wedge aggressively. But, um, I'm sort of gonna doesn't really have the best options of first, while Palutena is, has phenomenal aerials that are all super safe, yes. some of which haven't been, or one of which hasn't been the ability. Sauce feeling very comfortable on the Ivysaur might be working to his detriment in this case. Palutena most likely going to be able to stuff out. Uh, I mean, so we're in Charizard more than Squirtle, but this Squirtle has been relatively short lived to say. I mean, is he. Uh. Switching no, to Charizard for the extra time, but he had one recovery route and Spiro covered it perfectly. Spiro. Convincing game. Very convincing. He, he learned from that last set. He yeah, definitely learned about camp, but, uh, again, Sauce has been playing super, um,. Super great today, so we will see if um, if he's able to adapt, uh, make necessary adaptations to um, counter Spiro's uh, pressure. Mm -hmm. I think he's a little bit too uh, willing to play the post-order game, as you saw with 
the obviously we're just get constantly getting sucked out by uh Politina and her officers in there. Taking to Smashville a stage generally conducive to the first quarter game, so I'm wondering what Sauce's thought process would be through this counter pick. Well, it looks like you see it right now. I think Spiro wants to play a little bit more passive, and Sauce uh, wants the opposite. Sauce wants to be able to run in and do these things. And with Squirtle, I don't really blame him. I think that if you know how to play Squirtle, you can kind of just uh, push buttons on the opponent, and a lot of times you're not going to be able to do anything about it. The nominal switch uh, almost fading Spirit as the but. Uh, Spirit fables. going deep for the edge guard, but isn't he able to close it out? Is it down air? No, great recovery. Weaving around the down air, still able to snap the ledge from the residual momentum of the up beat. I don't know why he didn't go for down throw upper there, but... Um, trying to catch the air dodge, he read it, but... Saucer was able to drift just a little bit outside the range of the down smash. We've seen Spiro go for that down smash so much today, and the, Reacting to that counter with that uh, forward smash, gonna uh, take that stomp uh, relatively early, and now it's Sauce who has the upper hand here. Great stuff by Sauce, and that was just great awareness. And uh, uncharacteristic club by Sparrow, obviously, you kind of can reflect that crazily, but it matters not. Uh, Spiro able to take that right back from the explosive flame. I, I noticed that uh, Sauce having a lot of success recovering high with Charizard in some of his other sets, but I don't think that's the play against Polygena. As we saw, that massive up air able to catch, um, able to catch the uh, ending lag of uh, Flare Buds, which is not the fastest of moves. Mm -hmm. And doing that at later percents where you're normally going to be having Charizard in play, it just it's gonna end up with you uh, being dead most likely. For even, sure. Even down there where uh, you might not it might not seem like you're gonna die, but up there is just that strong. And I really like what I'm seeing from Toss here. He just switched off, but he was spending a good majority of his time on Squirtle. And as we were saying, Squirtle is gonna do so well in that first quarter because the very tip of up air is going to be taking him off the top of the smash bill. It's a very early stock loss. You don't want to be getting those up as super shots. He was on Squirtle and I got hit by the last hit at 100, and that's all you need is public mana. If you catch the right mon at the right time at the right move, then that's uh, easy. Did your thing come out again? Yes, sir! And anyway, uh. Looking for that up B, but Spear just not getting from the air dog. She was looking for a great call out on the jump. Are we bad? We are bad. I'm bad. We are so bad. I think G Unit arrived. G <laughs> <laughs> Uh, regardless of what's going on downstairs, Sauce putting it to work on this dog. Yeah, uh, uh, last... Squirtle being able to punish that narrow shield is so, so important. It's just something that Sauce isn't able to do with Ivysaur. Yeah. This is just a lot of just magic optimization. Being able to use Squirtle to this effect. Yeah, and uh, last game was looking very um, solidly in Spiro's favor, but right now it's uh, decided so very clearly even, nearly exact same percents, same stocks. Um, we would be asked if uh, Sauce was able to make that those uh, changes necessary, uh, and it looks like he was able to, or at least he was able to start doing it. Uh, down throw not gonna work. Uh, down throw back air also not gonna work. Um, Great reaction. I don't know if it was a reaction or if he was just prepared for it, but avoiding that ledge from Spiro saving that for the last stock. But, you saw, saw Spiro running at the ledge and just, said, nope, I'm not dealing with that. It's just great awareness on Sauce's part. Yeah. Switching full circle back to the guard. Spiro's yeah, looking for that back throw. Saw, but not the greatest guy on the forward air. That's Sauce going to be eating up the game count. You did it, Charizard! And it is 1-1. One, one. So yeah, it looks like... Sauce is not going to uh, let Sparrow's dominant first game go unanswered. And this is looking like it's going to be a great uh, set, potentially game five, which is what we love to see. Mm -hmm. Answering back well, and they can go on PS2 for this game. Smasher's Paradise, as they call it. And by they, I mean me and literally no one else. <laughs>
we saw we saw YS earlier, and I still don't know what that means. Do you know what YS is? Nope. Awesome. <laughs> it's uh, this is what yeah. Weezy's mod pack. No, no mods. Oh, they switch. There's no. Yeah. I've, I've never, never heard of mods before, actually. What are they? You, I, I would never know what that is. Yeah, I don't see why you would. It's base match bros. Any pink call Tana versus Squirtle. <laughs> um. <laughs> Off the clean 40% right off the bat. Yeah, start right with the opening. Yeah, that, that Nair, um, it's a nightmare for a bigger character, but Squirtle can just exist and it's not gonna hit because his hurt box is about the size of two hands lined up in a row. And one of those adaptations that we've seen Saw start implementing in this set. Is he's been using Squirtle's up B as a, a great effect to follow Palutena's movement in that 45 degree angle. That seems really good at approaching Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, it's not really good It's fast out of shield, and it yeah, it also cover uh, that Nair. Is, it covers uh, a large amount of distance. Yeah, the Nair the Nair is a And a good up smack. Spirit trying to recover past ledge. And now Sauce had the opportunity to build a bit of a lead. And the sword has been switching to Ivy Sword now, just not wanting to uh, remain with the very low survivability of Squirtle. I mean, Ivy Sword is the uh, lead trap character. And as you saw, Squirtle uh, was on the lead. The grip looks straight by him, too. I can't say I've seen up to up B before. And I just want to say, in the last game, it was Spirit Week getting all that extra credit, but now, the tables are turned, and Sauce 151, and Spiro still on its uh, past now, come back to the game. Spiro not finding these kills through the trap again, he just does not want to play. You see those explosive things. Uh, a B off of legs is such an impressive option. What a hard B, I respect it. Didn't work that well, but I respect it. And either way, with 84 uh, percent of extra credit, it's like risking a read like that. It's not that big of a risk when you're at 150 on your first stock still. Mm -hmm. uh, he's finally going punish. Yeah, the, uh, and he has no jump. This could be bad. The up air. Yeah, without a jump. Good. All the double game is just insane. That's a, that was a good move from disadvantage. You might get hit for a side being back to stage, but you can gain your jump, and you're in a better situation with your resources back. Yeah, it looks like Spiro's having a little trouble um, catching up to um, Sauce Special Credit, and I just want to say, I love how uh, patient Sauce is being in um, this advantage. Um, Spiro is placing his explosive flame so perfectly. Down to back air, by the way. What a uh, yeah. consistent thing to burn. But uh, Spirit's placing his uh, his explosive flames so uh, so consistently, so well. But um, Ivy, um, Sauce is able to use Ivy's tether grab and just overall movement in general to make sure he doesn't uh, die. And that worked a lot of the more fifty. But now it's uh, Spirit's turn to go super late percents and rack up his extra credit. Okay. Looks like up air is moving to take it. Spirit living to a very high percent. I keep having commentator's first moments today. Holy, every time I say words about someone living, they die. Yeah. And Sauce is going to be able to bring back this lead. He is on every single option that Spirit tries to take out of this combo. Right now, the stage punishing the up What's up? Yeah, and anyway, swing big uh, with the X-Match. It had the right idea, but Paul Tannen was in there just kept her a bit over it. And once again, we find ourselves, uh, last stop last hit relatively even. Switching to Charizard to avoid, uh, potentially dying to, or down to a forward air. Mm -hmm. Um, this back throw is gonna be number, um, on the portal, but not until just yet. Oh, Spiro gives up his advantage state, seemingly on, on accident. That's gonna be fake for Sauce. He's gonna be able to reset to neutral and that up. Now, on the platform. Looks like that's gonna be it. 
Knock out take it. Phenomenal DI. Absolutely phenomenal. And the explosive flame taking it. Oh my goodness. Sphere. What a turn. Oh, Great stuff. Yeah, phenomenal stuff. Th this set, this set can go either way, but um, this is uh, potentially uh, Sauce's tournament game. I, I have uh, I have faith in him. Don't get me wrong. I I, I would love to see a game five. I'm rooting for the game five right now, but. This is Sauce's tournament game, game, so the pressure, pressure is going to be, most of the pressure is going to be on him. He's gonna have to uh, work out, and uh, the skin change coming in from uh, Sierra going to uh, Kool King, which is that on the thing. Small amount of it, which is really small. Or more bad for the smaller Um. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, anyway, stop starting off from advantage gear a little bit of a hairy situation on stage, he's able to survive. So well right now. They're keeping up with each other um, um by the way that up the uh shield is rank nine. Yeah, Spiro was enough to punish uh Volcano uh which is my kind of shield. He's not even using it to punish it, he's using it so well to cover that 45 degree angle that Spiro and Halutena both love to approach at. And look at that, not allowing himself to tech on the platform instead A landing and falling out of the way, but yeah, he's gonna get punished for his aggressive approach back to stage. Yeah, what a great both match. Now he's gonna take, um, now he's gonna deal. Yeah, that's so much extra credit. So close to lapping him in, in uh, yeah, lapping for time just now. Yeah, as like I said before, this, all the pressure is on Zoss, and now that we're here, it's looking like uh, the pressure to get the Zoss. Um, but we'll see if he can, uh, once again, make the necessary adaptation, or if he can calm his nerves before, um, before it's too late. Down three stocks to two is by no means an insurmountable barrier. Oh, we looking for the skill charge. Spear just wants nothing to do with it. Auto medical in from the other side of the stage. Not giving Sauce any opportunity to try and secure this kill. I'm mean, especially not why connecting would you give him the a little bit too far and that Nair not killing him is not a good situation. Super armor is through. And Spear's done that recovery so many times. He's doing so well in avoiding these two grand attempts at Sauce's. Getting still awkward. Like he finally does. Even if up the stocks, the 160% is a big barrier. What and happened? a disconnect. Is that sauce? Is sauce looks like done? The, looks like the Pro GCC. No. Oh, it the Pro. Is Spear gonna force? Is Spear gonna force him to take? I don't think so. Oh, giving up his. Oh, he does. But he's at 150 either way. I mean, regardless. If I'm, I would not feel good if I was sauce. Yeah, if I'm sauce, I'm not worried about um, having to take the stock. I'm more worried about yeah. what that does to the mental game. This but isn't the first time it happened either. I remember the pop the bubble not that long ago. The exact same thing happened to sauce. Oh, wow, but. Just general finickiness of this pro GCC. It's actually looking like the disconnect was all it. That all it, that was necessary to get the momentum, to uh, slow Spiro's momentum, because. Uh, Sauce is able to get um, into uh, advantage once again. Um, mm -hmm. uh, start uh, pressuring me more uh, frequently. Oh, I oh, love that Razor Leaf to chase on the platform. Isn't able to get the up and confirm off of it though. Get no up but it's still showing, hey, I have these options. You have to respect them. And I'm. I, I still stand by that. Oh my goodness, the win buffs. I still stand by the fact that uh, Ivysaur is. Uh, Grass cloud, and that uh, that might be gonna look like late game. Oh my goodness! Um, oh, smash catching the flare blitz, and that's gonna be it for this. Yeah. That's it uh, for this set for Spear of uh, for Sauce's uh, tournament run, which, by the way, phenomenal tournament run. Like what? Yeah, Houdini be um be uh. Be Houdini twice, sorry. 
and uh, Beat Spiro ones. What a what a great set uh, from two great players. For and sure. Not only was that Spiro's uh, last uh, hold oh, on, not only that's that's your last that was also our last uh, set, set on the Commodore couch. couch. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to be handing it over yep, to um, Arcos um, and real, real quick, follow me. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Rainbow Streams and um, follow me on Twitter at Rainbow SBU, Rainbow with a Y. You can see it right there. Alright. Good luck. I want that one. You want this one? Yeah. Fine. I'll get the shitty one. We're good. We're good. Alright. Okay. Probably not. Doesn't matter, right? Which one's left, which one's right? Uh, it's just say on it. Or like inside. You want to go the Oh, this one's just hard. Yeah. Okay, okay. My hair's poofy as hell. We're here. Your hair's lovely. Thank you. Got nice hair. Your hair okay. is amazing. I want Thank your you. curls. No, my curls go crazy. But I just. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. It. We're finally here. We're here. Losers finals. Losers Subject finals. Summit. This, this is going to be a hot day. This is going to be a hot I don't think we're going to get here. It is Noodle. And this is Losers finals. This is going to be a hot set. I mean... Saying? Okay. And I, I, I forgot I have to do this. What? You are not crest. I am not crest. Your dad made 9161. Not, no. My, my ZSS will go crazy though. Your ZSS would probably go I'm crazy. Team I am not Team Fundies. I know, you play, you play Sephiroth. I'm so dog shit. All, all you know is is back here, F eat hot chip and lie. Yeah, I, I lie all the time. I talk about how Sephiroth sucks. You didn't hear me say anything. Are, no, they're not there. They're not there yet. I thought I saw you back. Okay. But, so, what a tournament. Yeah, this tournament has been so crazy this, so far. Like, yeah. Spiro ran it back. He was in losers round one. Yeah, so, of this bracket. Uh, if you have not checked bracket, the, uh, uh, even, even if you had, had a buy, if you still lost that set, you go back to winners round one. Yeah, you go, round one, yeah, you go bracket. all the way back to losers round one. So, Spiro started this bracket after his first set. After his first set, he was outside of top eight. He was at threat of getting ninth. He has ran it all the way back to losers finals. Now he's gonna be fighting Noodle. And um, honestly, you know, when I was thinking about like all the competitors we were gonna see, I thought, you know, Spiro is probably a favorite to win, A9 favorite to win, Vince favorite to win as well, but in like the back of my mind, I was like, you know, Noodle, he's always like a safe choice, but, sure but he, he, Noodle, the other competitor we're going to be seeing here in Losers Finals, but I mean, I feel like his biggest like threat in this bracket is Spiro, mm -hmm. not like, now Noodle is so, so, so good in losing matchups, but I mean, this, Spiro is a different So in pools... Like Spiro beat him pretty badly. Yeah, I mean, like, it was a it was a quick three zero. Yeah, I mean, it's just such a it's such a hard matchup for Donkey Kong, which no. like, you know, everybody says it like, oh, when you fight Noodle, you're not yeah, fighting right, Donkey yeah. Kong. Yeah, this is like you're we're talking Noodle, like, like top ten character. Well, all right, maybe not top ten after the nerfs, but like we're talking like tippity tippity top tier characters. Yeah. Against DK, and that's when it becomes really apparent about how bad DK is. Yeah, like th this is it's such a hard matchup, and like. Noodle usually he can just like outplay people, but like this is not something you can this outplay. Is like, I mean, like reliably. We've seen against all the pals here. He's definitely struggled against them the most. Like he yeah. struggled against Spiro. He struggled against Consent when he was playing Pal. Like I, I I think has he had trouble with Weezy in the past? I yeah, mean, yeah, he, like, yeah. Like we saw today, like Weezy was doing pretty. Like was that um in pulse or that was in bracket? Oh yeah, in bracket. Yeah, I like, think that was uh was it three? Noodle ended up winning the set, but like there was so many times where like. Weezy just looked like he would should be winning the game. He wasn't play, really playing around Eddie's win condition properly. He was getting ding dong at ridiculous percents. Yeah, like, he I wasn't mean, closing out stocks properly. But like we have top level like Palus, like Spiro, like Consent. Yeah. they're just different. Yeah, I mean, I I feel like a, one huge thing for Spiro here is just going to be not missing. Right, like we've seen all day. Noodles is just kind of allowed to recover for free in some situations, like especially against um sauce we saw in one of his earlier sets like he's making it back like for free like you need to be willing to put the pressure on 
Donkey Kong when he's off stage because that's where he's at his weakest, right? And as a character like Palutena, you just have so many options. Like, you have counter, you have back air, you have neutral B to just, like, chip away at him. So, it, it shouldn't be too hard to, like, guarantee a kill off stage. But, like, we've seen all day, Noodle is just allowed to, like, make it back or free in some situations. Mm -hmm. but, but I'm I mean, very interested to see how Eddie uh, might shape up, uh, like, come later in the bracket. We've seen how each of these players has basically developed over the course of this bracket, and how they've played the endurance game of Yeah. what has been a very long day. It has been so long. These guys have been competing they've for, They've literally been like, playing the game, and playing in brackets, like, It's, in it's been like 10 hours. For 10 hours. Yeah, this is, like, such an impressive, like, test of endurance, and especially, like, you look at Spiro, right? So, like, he has played so, so many sets in losers, and his run has been crazy. So, lots of sauce in, um... Winners quarters beat Hamburrito, Xavier, Hunter, and Sauce, and is now running it to Noodle here for Loser's Final. So yeah, he's been playing like, for so, based so off, long. Based off like the performance in pools, like this. And with, uh, I, <laughs> type, so, type in chat. I so before the Sauce Spiro set happened, I went to go look at um like I went to go look. At, like what Spiro was doing, he was literally just playing by himself against a PT CPU. I asked him if he was doing alright, if he knew anything. He just deadpan looks at me like a fucking apex of predator, and then just looks back. This yeah, man is like, locked. He is locked in. He was so confident before Bracket too. I remember before Bracket even started, I think he it was before he was playing Hunter. Um, he walked by the door and he said, "Yeah, whoever makes winner's side or whoever makes loser side grand and prizes, they get to play the Green Beast." Which, like, that's such a big level of confidence, but, and I mean, when you lose after saying something like that, like, you have to lock in. Because, like, you're, when you're at threat of getting ninth place, like, you have to be able to back up all the trash off you were doing before the right. And I mean, he's been doing so, so well all day, but, like, this, this right here is going to be a big test for him, because Noodle is so good at losing matchups, but, like, at the, end, at the same time, like, this is the matchup I feel like he struggles most. Well, here we are, finally, in game one, yeah. both at 90% already. Uh, it's very, it's very even cool. start, but based on, like, Donkey Kong's kill options, now he does have a bit of rage on the board, yeah, he's out of Ding Dong, he's at 116. He's out of Ding Dong, but, um, he's dead to, uh, down the up smash here. Yeah, he's old. Down B up smash, probably down. Yeah, they're supposed to play probably down B up air. Yeah, he's definitely at, yeah, I was in a juggle situation there. Big up air going to be coming through for Spirit. He's going to be first off here. Up smash, not connecting. Yeah. yeah, you can see he's looking for those down Bs. Yeah. It's, a, it's a kill. He goes for it so much. Like, that's so down, he's, he's playing so much more patient. Like, he's just, like, he understands that in this position, he cannot just run into Eddie. Like, Noodle will absolutely decimate him if he's caught. Yeah. Like, if he's caught, like, Playing aggressive or like sloppy in his approaches once. Yeah, you, like you, Noodle is the master of Donkey Kong advantage. Like, if you, oh no, fortunate there, Spiro and SD to start off the game. I mean, we've also seen so many SDs recently. Again, like, it's a game of endurance. Of bracket, yeah. Okay, yeah, catch like, the landing. So a few popped the bubbles ago. Spiro decimated Eddie because he just pulled out every single air dodge Eddie ever. And we're starting to see that a little bit again. He's getting a really good read on Noodle's defensive habits. He's capitalizing, on, capitalizing off them more than anyone else has at this tournament. Yeah, great spot dodge there, avoiding the grabs, you know, finding the jab there. Setting up here for a jiggle situation. Are we going to get another up air kill? Great landing from Noodle there. The B, the wave bounce on. Oh, is he dead? He's yes. dead! Wow! He's dead rage. And he's taking the lead back just like that. This is a max rage Donkey Kong right now. This is such a scary sight if you're Spiro. He can still, like, don't even with Max Rage is definitely. Oh, another SD. It's, There's so it's many SDs that's just flaking it's, the it's competitors. Almost like, it, it is almost midnight right now. They've been playing we still, for. We still have all of us. Yeah. There's still grants to go. But yeah. Like, like, like we're saying, this is like such a huge test for the yeah. players. I mean, that's cool. How many nairs was that in a row? Like six? That was a lot of nairs, but I mean, it's Donkey Kong, big body. It's Donkey Kong. He gets hit grounded by nair. Like, Spears was looking for the jump out of shield. If he's if he's nairing to cross up, Noodle cannot. Like, Noodle cannot punch that out of shield. On the counter? Uh, that might, is that it? That's it. No, oh, great recovery. Uh, um, he's gonna back here. This time. <gasps> is he dead? No way! Oh my God! If that killed, that would have been insane. But it 
great air dodge. Such a yeah, just great dodge. out of the window. There. He had, I think he had the right DR in the up throw, too. Yeah, that was he such a good stuff. No oh, I think he thought he was going to go high again. Up tilt? Are we going to get an up air here? He just needs a shark here. Oh, yeah, up there it is. Kill. Up air Up air not going to kill. The back air coming through for Spiro. Has Noodle in an off stage situation. This is where he needs to make his money. That back air. Oh, is he dead? He's, He's dead. dead. He's dead. That's it. And that's going to do it. Noodle taking game one. Wow. Oh. That was crazy. Just barely finding that game. So tense there. Just. Wow. He found that down being up air like again that's like a kill confirm he goes for all the time like he's so good at those wave bounce into up airs those wave bounce into up smashes he's just so right. so clean with it like wow, running it back to ps2 i think that's definitely a comfort pick for spiro yeah but like, he doesn't want to go to a small stage he wants to be able to have that space and slow down his game plan but it's hard to do that when you're down it's yeah hard to do that when you're not getting your kill confirms and not taking solid leads in the set yeah and i mean it's also difficult because like donkey kong kind of like thrives on ps2 he does such a good job there he has a good is. amount of yeah he has a really like solid amount of space to like operate which like for such a big body character it sounds weird to say that like his movement is so clean but like when you play against noodle yeah, you realize yeah. just how good he is at spacing how good he is at using donkey kong's limited movement to avoid literally every character's options and just punish them with max like, he's, a he's a national artist character. I mean, yeah. Kind of have to be when you're playing you know, Donkey Kong at this level. Yeah, it's it's so so impressive. There's a reason why no one else is doing it like him. Yeah, I mean, the, you could say like they're Donkey like they're obviously Donkey Kong's putting up like better results. I mean, Noodle has only been to one major, I'm pretty sure. He's been a, he's been to a couple. Uh, he was at Smash he was at Smash Smash Con, Con last year. I think that was his first major. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Did he go to any other? He might have gone to maybe like at some other point, maybe for Smash Four. Oh my God! <gasps> Dude, that footstool oh. at 30%, he's oh stealing God. these stocks. That footstool was crazy. That was disgusting. That was insane. Even, even when we think we've seen it all, Noodle pushes the narrative. Noodle always has tricks, man. Like, that was so hard. That back air, like, you can change. Alright, that's that final game. That's. But Noodle just always has something new for every set. It's so, like, interesting to see that, like, his bag of tricks. It just seems so bottomless. Like he just has something. Perfect. Every time, every time you think you've seen it all, he does it again. He, he just does it again, or he does something new. Like, was that footstool? Oh, absolutely. That's a little moment right there. That's a, that's a new technology. It's going in the oh, top. Uh oh, up B. That's not gonna kill. Yeah, good DI. I was gonna yeah, say a little too low. The nair though. Yeah, it's gonna be so difficult. Polytina's recovery is so easy to two for. But the forward smash there, not the right timing. I don't know if that would actually hit Palatina there. Probably not, since everything is teleport. You can get the two frame, but it's very difficult. Yeah. Also, probably just her pop shifts a lot. Yeah, she does. But it, it is easy to two frame her uh, recovery if you're like going out there and like patrolling yeah, it's, with it's her. It's just like, yeah, it's hard to visualize, but like, you know the timing. Right? Yeah. Like, when you have, like, an aerial that's active for, like, a lo really, a really long time, like, you can just go out there with it. Ooh! Ooh he had the roll injury, yeah. but barely just timing it. And the space is so, Yeah, it's a little out Great up here! Great up there from Noodle, and right now, he has the stock lead, but the down throw back are gonna seal the deal for Spiro, and it's gonna be one stock apiece here, zero percent for each of these players in this game, too. Uh oh He tried to find a jab there. Oh, back air. So good, that's just- Oh, oh, oh Wait, Tech, what's the deck? He's so the composed, that's so impressive, I mean- Spiro, somehow back in it! He's still alive. I mean, you can hear everyone. Yeah, everyone coming off right now. They're going crazy. They're going to call it. Yeah, all right. I mean, oh my god. Is Spirit going to play back in the game? team? Give it the downer. Is he going to get downer himself? Oh. No. Oh, oh. Unable to find the up smash there. I don't know if that was actually true at that percent, but nonetheless, great DI from Spiro there on that downbeat. And this, this back air while coming up from Middle is just so, so strong. Can't find the down tilt. Going back here again, and that's gonna do it's it. It's the back here. Noodle taking oh my God. game two. Noodle's He's up 2 0, 2 -0 right He's now. He's looking. And he Noodle is right back to so cool. Right back to. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like finals. he's running it right back He's, to Aria right now. He wants to go see Aria again. He's yeah. like, I'm not done. After that end, end of that game I mean, five, I need it run back now. Aria really and does he not is... want to play Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't, I don't know what they, their. That's a bad record. It's, yeah, I don't know what their history is, but I'm not even sure if Aria's taken the set before. But he definitely has. He's being he's being spirit to win like a couple of tournaments. It's just yeah. I mean, yeah. granted, like Palutena like waxes like all of his games, but it really does. At the same time, Palutena also waxes deep. But Noodle is playing so 
opinion. Go! This is absolute. This is. I mean, the end of that game was a little bit spaghetti, but like. Yeah, but this is like. Places. Both players did a great job. Earlier today, post, like, he was tell before bracket, he was already telling like, bro, I'm gonna break down already. Like, yeah, like. Water, like Look at him. He stays just back, back on his way to grand finals. Yeah, they're still so composed. Like it's so impressive the endurance of both players. But I mean, you can see it might starting to be like Wayne for Spiro a little bit. He's not, you know, getting these like easy confirms. He should be landing some comboing as well. But right now, doing a great job of extending this advantage day, trying to find an edge guard here. Can't find the board smash at ledge. Oh my no god, way. dude, he just steals the stock so early. This Rage Donkey Kong is so strong. Noodle, oh my god. The Nair there, can't find the back on the follow up, but dude, the spacing has been so good. Absolutely a Mac. Oh, I'm finding the giant punch. Dude, Noodle is not monkeying around right now. Can't find the forward smash though. Good get up attack from Spiro. Noodle, he might be getting a bit antsy though. Like, you can see him starting to rip like kill options. You want. Is because he's at this percent. He's, he's not dead. That, yeah, I was about yeah. to say way too much rage for him. Down. Yeah, but oh, yeah, try yeah, to find the up smash there. there. Uh, he he did up smash to just move mountain time, but a good dash attack. He uh, extended, and that's why he got hit by that down over there. That yeah. order, you know. Oh, oh, and there it is. The down being the up smash. Spiro here potentially on tournament stock. I mean, th this is like a situation that like yeah, it make or breaks you really because like he's just respecting Eddie's space too much, but he's also he's using scraps. Yeah, he's I mean, like. It's, he's it's scared so of doing the right things. It's so difficult to win scraps against Noodle. Like, he's absolutely the master of scrapping with Donkey Kong. His spacing is so good. He'll space around your option, and he'll blow you up with, like, a 60% combo, or maybe he'll just even kill you. I mean, like, we've seen it, you know, time and time again throughout the set, throughout the entire tournament. Noodle is able to find kills off the most, like, random options. Like, it's so, so impressive. Yeah. Little at 90 at slow stock. Yeah. Spear up 40 here. Okay, He's now Rage is kicking in. Side B not gonna kill. Spiro does have Oh, oh and, and SD for Noodle. Yeah. Was scared of the down he was very scared of the down tilt there, yeah. Because um I don't would that have confirmed in the back? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Definitely it's did not want to die to a back there, there but he, it was pretty much just like a checkmate situation. Which are like those are the situations Spiro really needs to take advantage of that he just hasn't been all set. Spiro getting something started here. Yeah, right now all the situation can't find the ledge trap though, the explosive flame. Good timing on the get up there from Noodle to avoid it. Oh, he was looking for a down B there, but it gets stuffed out by the Nair. And was gonna trade. Now we're seeing um, only about 20, per yeah, 20% exactly actually separating these two right now. But oh there my it is. God. Big advantage here from Spiro. There's Can't find the up air. Gets a drag down. Unable to find the Nair though. Good patience there from Noodle. Could be making his way down. Gets. Oh my Go God. Gets the Nair. Oh my God. And there it goes. Yeah. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And a quick gim for Spiro, and he's back in. No he is definitely not out of the set. I mean, yeah, after that, I think he's starting to find his footing a little bit better, but still, like, he's yeah. like, yeah, like you need to make like, sure. It feels like every time Spiro wins, like, Spiro gets something going for him. Noodle's already done it twice. Yeah, like, it's like every time, it's like one foot, one foot forward, two steps back. Yeah, like, it's just so impressive what we're seeing from Noodle, but again, Spiro definitely not out of it. I mean, with that comeback there, because he was down two stocks to one, like literally even percent to zero percent on both of them. So the fact that he was able to make that comeback is really, really important. Especially like this late in bracket, like you're down 2-0 and you're down two stocks to one. Making a comeback like that is really, really impressive. So now he sort of has a bit of momentum here coming into this game three. But the problem is he is going to have to win on Noodle's counter pick for the rest of the state, for the rest of the set. But they're probably just going to run it back to PS2. I mean, this is Donkey Kong's best age. Um, but Spiro definitely does have the momentum here coming into this game uh, for, like, he was playing so, so well at uh, the end of the set, or the end of the game there. And right now, you can see it's already starting to carry over. He's already got 72% on Noodle. 83, finds the counter. Is he going to follow up on no, it? No, it's not enough. No, unable to follow up. Can't get the Nair there. Right? Speaking of Noodle, yeah, it's just around all of Oh, my God. Spiro's playing amazing. So. And I was going to say that. Commentator's yeah. curse. Oh, the oh. upbeat? Is that gonna do it? No. That's it! Yeah, the eye. That is it! Noodle stealing that stock again! I mean, his advantage shape is just so good. Like, there is no Donkey Kong I've ever seen that has advantage shape. Because there is Like, none. this is the best Donkey Kong advantage you are going to see out of anybody in the entire world. Well, all I'm saying is he I've never seen him call ahead of Noodle on it. Yeah, I mean... He, like, there's just... 
This is without a doubt one of the best sequels. There is not even a question about that. And like, the Look, advantage state you, is what sells it. you have Sneak signing off on your DK, then yeah, you're yeah, definitely, like, like, you're one of the best. You got it. You got it. But the explosive flame from Sparrow is going to be taking care of business there. Looking at that stock, although he, he was at like a pretty high percent. Like, is that dead? Death? That is yeah. dead. Again, two stocks now we're at two here. one. Basically at zero percent. Zero has a mountain to climb up here. Yeah, you but see I mean, him do it though. He did it last game. And I, I mean, this might be okay. Unable to find Phil in that situation there, but he's setting up these offstage situations so well, and he's getting like really good chip damage. But Noodle is living so long. His survivability is so impressive. Like you saw that first stock, he lived to like 150, 160, and I mean, when you're only getting like 40 per interaction as Palutena, and your opponent is living to like four times that percent. Because he can't kill. Like, yeah, uh, like, you have to, oh, as I see say the that, devil, though, the up air is gonna the do The nastiest it. shark! That was a zero to death, pretty much. And, but Noodle getting something started here. Oh, Already he tried, to, he tried to call it an air One dog, more hit. Yeah. That's Ding Dong percent? Yeah, he, he actually is that Ding Dong picture. Is he Down also here? getting another special? That's it! Noodle taking it three to one over Spiro in losers finals. Wow. Punching wow. his ticket to grand This is a different Noodle Finals. Yeah, that, that is quick set. Yeah, what a crazy set there from Noodle. Just playing so well. I mean, like I said, he's he's a safe bet to win the tournament, but obviously he has to run through two I sets don't think, on Arie. I don't think anyone even expected these two players to be grands. No, but here we are. I, yeah, like when I when I was you know when I was on my way over, I was thinking about like you know, oh who's who's gonna make grands? Who's gonna make grands? You know who's gonna be top three? I was expecting A9, Spiro, um, Vince. Um, I was not exactly expecting Arde and Noodle. I mean, they're always I mean, safe bets. Yeah, These we, are two of the best players in South Jersey. Go back, go back six, six hours ago, and everyone in the venue was telling you, Vince is probably going to win Yeah. out of seven. Go back a day ago, everyone's like, yeah, Aeon has Steve. He has a really good shot of winning this. Yeah, out, out at ninth. ninth, last place in this bracket. Go back 20 minutes ago, Spiro's going to win the bracket. Yes, Spiro's playing different. But out of third. Out of third. Like, nobody is safe, but right now, it is all down. There are two players left. We started this day with 12 players in pools, moved on to the bracket. 12 players, all starting in winners, four of which got a buy. And right now, two. down to two players left. So this is it. REA Noodle. Uh, this this is an SJ Classic, baby. At I am the, excited to see this. Not the first SJ Summit, but definitely a SJ Summit. We've the these guys all their way back here. Yeah, it's I mean, been a long day for both of them. It, yeah, because like these guys have been playing for so so the long. Players that have been, the players that have been here, I think, right now, like this is kind of gonna talk about who's gonna be number one. Yeah, I mean, right this now, is like, this is like a big like call for who's number one because like I think this is like legacy. Yeah, this this is a huge win for either of these players, right? Because these two have played just time and time again in the past, but this is like this is probably the biggest set these two have ever played like against each other. I mean, I oh, like prize wise, yes, actually. Yeah, maybe for PR, maybe not. I I don't know. It's, it's definitely not like the biggest set you know these two individually have ever played because I mean, remember Arie has notably been like very very good in like high pressure situations mm -hmm. like remember he is um, he is a clutch god yeah he i don't know is if you were there for so uh, the Rutgers Camden tournament uh i was not there for that did, but, he, did he win that bracket noodle yes oh noodle won that bracket yeah Arya is um Arya in like clutch situations i've always been there's sometimes he does good it really kind of depends on the day no Arya is so good in like these sorts of situations like you remember um a couple of months ago we had that pop the bubble where a ton of people invaded um Ranger was there, Yoshio was there, there were invaders from all over the place, and who won? Arya won. Arya he took, at, does he end up clutching up a big That 29 does. person bracket, he is no stranger to winning these really, really important brackets, where like, it's at, like, it's like a legacy win. Like, if you win that bracket, you are an absolute legend. And I mean, this is another one of those situations, but he's starting in, from the winner's side here, but I mean, Noodle was playing so hard that last set, and I mean, he's, he's just, he's confirmed now. Yeah, and like really, thing, like, 
It's like, like a, he was just earlier, like during pools and stuff, he was just missing ding dongs, he was missing his down beat, off smashes, down beat, off airs. He just didn't look like his normal self, and now he, I feel like he's warmed up, he's back like in his like normal practice yeah. setting. Like he's basically in his flow state. Yeah, this this is like peak Moodle. I mean, we are seeing like the highest level of competition these players have ever mm -hmm. competed at. Like even earlier in the bracket, like. We are seeing some of this is some of the best each of these players has ever been. Like we saw excuse me, we saw Hunter taking that set on Vince. That was a that crazy was set. Of, I think it's gotta be one of the best sets I've ever seen out of SJ. Yeah. It was so so, so impressive. Like this is it boys. Like last this top last ever two minutes? Yeah, this is yeah. it. Yeah. Like This is it. No, this is it, dude. This is this is hype. This is hype. Yeah, uh, how much are they? Hey, do the commentators, I know. commentators don't get anything? Yo, the green beast! The green beast? Green okay. beast? No. Okay, yeah. But... Yeah, we started. are going to... Grand Finals Yeah, no, we were talking about it like nobody thought we were going to I don't think anybody... Played. You go back like six hours ago, everyone thinks Vince is going to win. Yeah, six hours... Halfway through bracket, Vince is winning. 20 minutes ago? We said Vince was winning. Whoa! Zero's winning. Go! A9's winning. But here we go. Grand yeah, finals, finals, ladies and gentlemen. Noodle starting from the loser side. Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely don't want to take Donkey Kong to face two, especially as nice. Because like you're dying so early to Ding Dong, but this this Whoa. magnet train off the side, fifty seven percent. I mean, it's really difficult to extend it past that, especially when you're on like um, a much smaller stage. But is he dead? No. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 He, yeah, he makes it back. Really, um, in their last set in Winners Finals, a lot of what was played in Noodle was like SDs. The two, were, the two players were SDs so much, so, and um, you saw against Spiro Noodle wasn't really SDs much, so he might be kind of back to form here. So we'll have to see, you know, without any like SDs, um, what Noodle can do. Because wow. like, up in through the down smash. Oh, we'll keep on the forward. dude! Like Noodle's spacing is so good around all of these options. Can't find an edge guard here. He's definitely gonna be looking for a back here in the corner, but he has to be so careful. Spacing around Ness. There it is. Catches him dashing out of the corner. Down B into up air. But like, when you're at kill percent, there's so much you have to respect in that. Right? Like, you want to shield because you don't want to eat any of his super strong aerials, but then you also don't want to shield because he might grab you. Like, you already see Arya looking for grabs here, and he's at 150. I think Ness back though. Here's Yuko, a great, great back there from Noodle. I mean, look, you see Arya going for the grabs, but like, Noodle is just so wise that he's gonna find the kill with the back end. He's up. A 3 to 1 on 69 to 1. Full raise, you got the monkey punch online. He goes, he goes under the stage. The stage. Oh, my oh my god. god. He's, he's gaming. Still oh my god, he's gaming. 189 max rage. <laughs> Dude, he's just doing that. He's just 4 in a row. He did 4 in a row. They're, They're laughing at the cameras. <laughs> okay. He, he didn't want the rage. He doesn't need it. Yeah, he doesn't need it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Do you build Rage with DK? Yes. Yeah. But, but he's he's looking so so solid still. I mean, granted, these two players only a stock separates them, which like we've seen like all day. It, a stock is not a safe lead. Like I'm saying there, like you saw that down there right there from Arya. Gonna be taking it to an even game here. I mean, still he's down 77. Yeah, back here. The up he's sending him back on stage a little. Arya gets the grab. Control, but is that it? Uh, no. no he, he's he's gonna gonna but a back air. Oh, this oh. is. Oh yeah, but yeah. still it clanks and Noodle is gonna be taking game one of Grands here. Yeah. All I'm saying is, Ari, Ari's gonna need to warm up a little quick. Yeah, I mean, oh, when, you, when, when you're playing, reset. when you're playing against the person fast. coming from losers, sometimes it can be very, very difficult because like the person coming from losers, you know, they just played a set, they're already warmed up, and they just won, mm -hmm. so they're feeling hot. But like, yeah, we just saw what Noodle did to Spiro. Yeah, last which set. is so like that is mind. so impressive. He's playing so well, like in that bad of a matchup against that talented of a player. Like we were talking about it. Like Spiro was probably the biggest threat to Noodle in this entire bracket, and he just made quick work of him. But yeah, but Arya, he does have a whole set to work with. But like, if you drop in this first set to Noodle, especially if it's dominant, like. It might be hurt. I mean, luckily, Ari does have that whole thing to work with. So, like, he's one of his green plan and adapt properly to like, like, a very, like a scolding hot Eddie. Yeah. But, and and like, it is, you see that down air, just these edge guards are so, so important. And, um, Ari is taking, like, full advantage of it. Oh, can't find the grab there. Let's get the grab. And then we get a forward tilt either, yeah. He's up air chains on the top. I think 53% from that. 
Good get up attack there from Noodle. Oh, can't find a back air there. He's gonna be looking for another one, but great air dodge Mario. Uh, is that Nessie? Be... Oh, oh he that. that back. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. And he did that right at the uh, end of the second morning finals. All right. Yeah. Guess, yeah. Good up B there. Yeah. So two stocks to one here in Ari's favor. But I mean, again, a stock lead is never safe. I mean, it's right especially, now. especially Noodle. But right now, Ari is playing so well. Ari. 60 already on Noodle, actually. I was about to say only 40. Oh my god, but Dare, fan, er, dare forward throw. And now he has him in an off situation. The yeah. down air is going to do it. Yeah, perfect spacing around the down B. And Ari is going to find the down air for it. And uh, Noodle dropping game here. I mean, he was looking so much better in that second game, but like a lot of these guys' sets, they've gone back and forth and back and forth. Like, I would expect both of these to go to game five, in all mm -hmm. honesty. Like, it's very unlikely you're going to see a dominant set from either of these players. I, I mean, maybe when we get to set two, it might get there, but I really doubt it. It's probably going to be a game five play, I guess. Like, their winner set went to game five, and, like, a lot of their sets in the past have gone to game five. It's just such, it's, it's such a hard to stop using that joke. Like, mm -hmm. Both of them are so used to playing each other at this point. Yeah, they played they played time and time again, you know. At Pop the Bubble, at Sector X, when Noodle goes, they're always playing. Because they always make it so deep in bracket. Because we're looking at the top echelon of this region. Yeah, like, these are two of the best players in all of South Jersey. Like, Arie has been so good recently. Like, he's been getting top three in the region for the past like, few seasons. He's, he's looking very convincing. Like, top three. Yeah, like, there's so many players at this tournament that were like, what was that? Up no, no. Not the kill. Yeah, going back to what I was saying, there's so many players at this tournament that are in like hot contention for like number one in the region right now. Like, A9, the former number one, Xavier, who's been on like a huge hot streak this weekend. Um, oh my god, he doesn't get back. Yeah, he doesn't make it back. Good edge guard for middle. But like, Andrew has kind of been like the silent killer because like he's been winning brackets, but like, Lately, he's just been being, you know, that consistent, you know, Ari. But right now, if he can win this bracket, he's making a huge case for himself to be number one. Because, like, he's got, like, a slew of, like, second and third placements. Even some first in there. Oh, was that? That was so scary. Like, if he's able to win this bracket, like, that is... Did Tumbi up special? He died at, like, he died at, like, 60. one all of a sudden. Yeah. Like, like I said, it's just so back and forth. The nair, back air. the back air. I'm trying to find yeah, another nair. nair. The back air, though. Ooh. Oh, the giant punch! And yeah, that back throw definitely gonna do it, yeah. Off the top there. But Noodle with a huge lead right now. Got so much extra turn on the clock. Good grab there from Aria. But the up from Noodle, just gonna say no to Aria's combo. He's trying to get a side man combo there. Trying to train him off the Trying to train him along the stage. Again, like he did in that first game, but... Owl Bastion much bigger than Smash Bros, so he's gonna have like a lot more room to do it, but like at this percent, you know, it's yeah, it you're not like you're not really fishing. It feels like uh you're just not gonna get suffocated as much as he was on that Smash Bros. Like he gets Yeah, and, and down the up smash oh my Dude, God. max range on that. Like he's able to dash up so quickly. He is not dropping that confirm at all. Just his execution's on deck yeah, his today. Execution is absolutely on point. This is so impressive what we're seeing. Like this is the best Donkey Kong play you are going to find. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, back to Smash though. Yeah, this is definitely. I mean, you saw Noodle. He definitely wanted more space to operate. Which, like, when you're playing, like, Noodle is like a very like he's like a movement based player. You know, movement like plays player very defensive. He, he very playing. defensive he until to be able to yeah. Implement that. Like, he is so like he's not campy at all, but like he's playing perfectly out of your range until he finds like the perfect spot to place like that one move that off that move he's gonna kill you and like on a smaller stage that can be very very difficult especially a character like ness who hitboxes aren't like too disjointed but still there's like a decent amount of disjoint there because he, like the hitboxes aren't ending at his hands like there's he's extending it out with his hands because he's got the magic i don't know earth down more but he, he, i don't know he does something yeah He's got magic. He he, he can, magical you see the you see the funny particles. But oh like my God. on a stage like Smashville, there's like not yeah. as much room. It's not it's not the amount of like room. You need. Really. Okay, yeah. In the back row, that's not gonna do it. I mean this 
you got Noodle in an awesome situation. The yo-yo is so it's effective, but he's able to make it back, yeah. And he, no he doesn't way. get okay. an up smash though, yeah. Oh, he got these speed kill options. Good back air there from RDA. Mine's a forward air off stage, that's definitely gonna do it, yeah. I mean, if that didn't do it, he was definitely, like, he was probably gonna get a catch right later. Oh my up god, not gonna kill. Rips it. Eating a Dangerous situation fire. here. That's a down air. Is he eating a down air? No, not taking a down air. But, forward throw here. He's stuck off stage. Oh, barely. Oh, wait, he kind of did an up smash there instead. I mean, the two yo-yos, uh, up smash and down smash, they go on different sides and that's his body. So, he, pro he probably tried to get, like, a reverse down smash there, maybe. Yeah. Just, like, He's looking like, for a reverse down smash to catch the timing. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure down smashes extends longer than up smashes. So, um... I just, like, dude, just so long. Yeah, I mean, like, when you're down like that, like, just taking those big risks, You, I get you it, definitely like... don't want to be antsy. Like, especially in a situation like this. But right now, Arya just looking so strong, and... Oh, that dummy, yeah. Good edge guard going low. Yeah, got Arya going low there. Let's see if we can make something happen. If you don't I mean, this, it's devastating for the... Yeah, like, that's, that's so Arie, big for momentum too. going into a second set if Noodle's able to take this right here and now, but... Yeah, Arya's just looking five. so dominant. Can't find the down air, though. The forward tilt okay, yeah. Stuffing out the back air. Up throw. Oh, he tried oh, to find, Yeah, he tried to find another grab. Like, he is so... Like, he always fishes for, like, panic. That's one thing I said. Like, he looks for panic air dodge so much. And like it, ha it hasn't really been working again in, in like the past two sets because he's been fighting like players who don't panic. Yeah, he, like he's, he's playing against like. Well, I've noticed about like Ari a lot. He almost always presses the button at the same time. Yeah, he gets reset. Like, yeah, yo yo. Ari is a very like um another movement based player, right? Like he uses his movement and like his characters like normals very defensively in a lot of situations. Like he's. Like, the only defensive options you will ever see him pick that are traditionally seen as defensive options is, like, spot dodge. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe a roll to avoid certain situations on the ground, but, like, he's never really air dodging in the air unless it's, like, his only resource. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he's usually always opting for, like, jumps. Which, like, Ness, it can be it can be kind of hard to move since he's so floaty and, like, his jump, you know, it takes a while to actually get it started. But, yeah. um, really? like, he was, he was definitely going to be able to get out of that situation there. Okay, and, um, five, possibly the last game, game five? Of South Jersey This Summit? might be the last game of South Jersey Summit, guys. But, um, I don't know. I kind of want to reset. I just want to... I want to reset, too. I want to reset. Like, I... We're already like, 10 hours in. We're, what's, we're what's already... What's, what's already another, like, 30 minutes? So deep in, yeah. We, we, we could use it. Here we go. So here we possibly go on a small battlefield here. Um, Big opening by Aria already. Yeah, only 31, though. Noodle finding a back air, dealing about half of that. Ari just stuffing him out with these forward airs, doing a great job here, but Noodle getting out of the corner so well. Trying to find dash attack, but great spacing there from Ari with punishing with the grab. Good get up attack from Noodle. Good get up attack, aware. Noodle's got to put everything he's been able to download over this last game five. Yeah, a good forward air there from Ari. He's playing so well right now. Any advantage, great back air from Noodle. Finds it out though. Two down to trips. No, just tries to cover for a roll out there with the forward air, but he's not going to be able to get it. Recovery, but the back over his troubles. Not gonna kill Donkey Kong. is very heavy. He wasn't exactly like a perfect situation to kill there. Oh! If he was able to find his way out of the corner there, that was so, the timing on so a... close. Wait, you know, trying to get out of the corner or playing to the RPS? Yeah, I mean, it's it's so so scary. That's gonna throw out so many options, but that's what you think, Donkey. Is that it? That no, is. No, that's not. Not it. Great DI from Ari. I thought that was that that's a kill. But the down Ari. into up smash is gonna even it up two stocks apiece. Play Smash 4 out here. And if you know one thing, Donkey Kong in Smash 4. He was ding dong. He's ding dong. He's ding dong in this game too. Yeah, he's ding dong in this see, game. Are you getting a big opening? Is he able to convert off? Great parry. It's a parry. Attack though. You know, he's been getting attacking so often in those situations. Like he just wants to get Ari off him. And like you know, you have an invincible option that has a hitbox. It's so so effective. But right now, Ari is playing so well in the neutral. I mean. Ari has been like dominating pretty much most of this game is what it feels like, but like Noodle's like explosiveness and advantage just really making up for it. Oh Ari's my goodness! Back, though. Yeah, that was. So they're both getting such good reads on each other's positioning. Yeah, I mean, like they're so experienced against each other, you know. So it makes sense, like. Ari, kind of back here, there. All stage situation. Noodle without a jump, recovering well around the yo-yo, making it to ledge. Finds yeah, a good get up attack there, yeah. Once, like, he's charging, so you, know, he, you can't get the parry like he did earlier in the game. 
Find Dobby. Find the that's up smash. That's smash. One stock away here for Noodle to get this reset. But he's a back here. is one stock away. Here we are. One stock apiece. Game five. Five. Last stock. Game five. Do we get a reset or is Arya going to the tournament right here? This is so close. Oh my god. I mean, is, is the ticket center? Yeah, I mean, Noodle just needs like a bit more percent. I'm not sure, like, um, the young percent, but I'm assuming it's around 60. Right, it should be 60. right that's out definitely here. Percent. This is it. If Noodle gets one grab, it's over. 75. He's it's out of Ding Dong percent. Ding Dong is off the table. Is the back here? Get another one. Edward, is that it? Get no, the other back here. Hey, back here. That's gonna be it. We're getting. No, no, not he's yet. He's still alive. He's still alive. Can he recover? No, that's we can't it. make it back with nothing. We get a reset of the bracket. Noodle. Taking the first set of Grand Finals. Oh my god, we're getting a reset. This is and it. one more. This is it. The last set of South Jersey Summit, ladies and gentlemen. What a close set. Oh my gosh. That one went down to the wire. There's no, there's no true finals. This is so sad. No true finals? No Man. true finals. Damn. It's okay. They're both... We got it. Yeah, let's go G unit. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Okay. We're running it back here. Smashville gonna be the stage of choice here. Yeah. Yet again. Right back like, into it. It's been a very solid stage for uh Arie, like pretty much the entire set. Mm -hmm. In um that first set of grants, but now heading into the reset. I mean that was so so close. Noodle clutched it out there with that edge guard. We're gonna have to see what RDA can do here. In this second set of grand finals, up. 45. Cargo yeah. up throw the back air back air. No, I, I think it was reverse air. Uh, and, uh, big up B there from Noodle. Can't find the edge guard here. Can't find the down air. That's the thing. It's just so hard to get out of the corner here on Smash. We're seeing both these players struggle really hard. Yeah, right, I mean, he goes for he goes to the up. He's been feeding those up yeah. so much. Because he can just get can get consistent back kisses off of it like that. Like, not, oh my goodness. Yeah, he's, he's looking at his backers in the corner, but such good run. spacing from Arya there. Can't find oh the PK rocket. God. Is he going to eat an up smash? Yes, he is. Noodle going to be taking the first stock here of set two of Grand Finals. This is a big pace setter, you know? But I mean, at the end of the day, like, these two players, they go back and forth so much. Like, we saw in the last set, like, they were dominating each other game after game. Like, it was just a switch of who's winning. You know, I'm pretty sure their, their pulls match also went game five. Yeah, these two go game five so often. Like, like I said, I mean, I would expect this to go to a game five too, but I mean, Noodle with a bit of momentum here, but again, the two stocks, at least, both at zero percent. Aria doing a good job of bringing it back. Oh that my down god! Hey, that's that oh. it. That down air killed a ten. He killed him at ten off an air dodge read. Noodle is so good in the game. He's absolutely the best. Aria's about to do it back to him. What? Aria's about to do it back to him. Yeah, uh... yeah, I mean. They, they do it to each other so so often like oh my god how safe was that like, this is so crazy god this is looking amazing going into yeah this. Rocket Rocket reset. so good right now what finding the double cloud finding Dilla, the, is that you? the edge guard he can't find the up air are you way backstage but now again also oh, he can't find another back end up and gets a spike because he was going to do it a two stock for noodle i think that's the most dominant game We've seen for sure um, in this entire grand finals. Like uh, you know, first set and Noodle starting off so strong in a reset. Um, taking game one, he's taking the first game of both the reset and um, the first set of grand finals, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I mean, again, going right, yeah, right going back right to back Smashville. Smashville, we're seeing Noodle is warmed yeah, up. Yeah, Noodle he's is warmed up. He is Arya. hitting his confirmed. He's hitting his edge guards. He's not missing a beat. His spacing is so pristine. Like, this is, this is peak noodle. Like, I, I, this is probably the best I've ever seen before. And I mean, like, to be playing like this for, after having played for so, so long, like, this is, this is like our, like, ten and a half almost. Yeah. Of these guys playing, like, non-stop up level smash. Like, it's so, so impressive. But right now, Arya has the lead here. Game, game two. Just trying to keep it in the corner, but Noodle finding his way back to center. He was looking for a dash attack there, I'm pretty sure, but Arya stuffing it out with the forward air. Oh, yeah, tries to find the down air there. Like, like, I feel like Arya's getting a little bit hesitant on where he's doing his down smashes. Like, yeah. Because he, he, he understands that Eddie knows the counterplay, but he just isn't adapting properly to it. He's just yeah. out so many legend interactions. But he well, is going to find that, that back air there, though, yeah. Good stuff in Arya, just, he's really trying to make his money in the corner, but 
Up smash is not gonna kill just yet. And um he's at a pretty high percent. I don't know if uh a dunk on the pretty sure he can still get down the up Yeah, he can get down the up air here for sure at least. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think a down B up air would kill at this percent. Ooh, oh, nice. PK Scary. Rocker there. Oh, back throw, back throw. setting up for another offstage situation, but Bruno finds him back to ledge so effectively there. The back air there gonna be trading with Arya's back air. Scared Noodle is of actually going to the ledge. He doesn't want to get put yeah, back to ledge. Like, he's landing on stage every single time. Like Arya is making his money in the corner here, but that back air, back it's the weak hit. The second back air is gonna do it though. Two stocks apiece here. Noodle, I mean, he does have rage, so it's very good that he was able to hold on to that stock. Finds the back air, but it's gonna trade with an air there. Oh, that's Ooh, such a great drop the land smash, it. not killing him. Great DI for Noodle there, he's barely holding on at 141, that's gonna do with the back throw. Absolutely, Arie, he Noodle down to his last stock here for game number two of this reset. Back um, right there for Noodle. Uh, he's, tr he's trying to find oh the back Oh my god, here. I thought he was gonna escape. Yeah, that was so, so scary. If you get the grab, maybe I think he's out of Ding Dong percent, but definitely at in the threat range of getting down the into oh, up smash. You can see Noodle is looking for it already. Great back air. Yeah. Trying to find up smash right on the platform, attack. trying to catch him rolling away. Looking for a down B there. You can see these wave bounce down B's doing them so so often. That PK fire caught! Did you see an option? Good up there from Noodle. Has already in a juggle situation, but he goes to that fair. Good grab. Yeah, should be a fine back throw. Cargo, kill yet. Back throw, not gonna do it just yet. I don't have enough percent, but that forward air is gonna do it, and oh my goodness. that's exactly what we saw in game one. Just the rolls are reversed there, are you? Another two stop. Yeah, another two stop. Yeah, so here we go, hanging for game number three. I mean, pretty important game, but these two have just been thrashing each other back to back. Mm -hmm. It's so, so impressive to see. I mean, these guys, I mean, they're no stranger to playing each other, but it looks like we're gonna be taking it to small battlefield yet again. Um. Noodle did close out the last set on this stage, so... I wonder what Ari's bans are going into this, if yeah. he's not banning Small Battlefield. He's, he's definitely betting PS2. Betting PS2. Um, he probably... Small Battlefield is smaller than PS2, but it is, like, the same layout. But last zone differences probably are making, like, a big difference. It's a platform height difference. That's, uh, making There's a platform difference. Yeah. Uh, okay. Small Battlefield platform Yeah, think about they're a little lower. Yeah, yeah they're lower, so the ding dong percent. Um, so ding dong percent is, uh, the gap, like, the gap is, like, yeah. a bit smaller. The, well, uh, the gap is this smaller to kill, like, it'll be true at yeah. the same percent, it's just, like, it's, 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 it's uh, more. it's, yeah. You have to get it at, like, the latest percent possible. And, like, obviously it is smaller, so Noodle doesn't have a large piece of armor, but the down B, the down, oh, down air into up God. smash. Noodle's stealing another stock. I mean, he's just robbing stock over and over. Like, this is exactly what you want to see if you're a Donkey Kong fan. Mm -hmm. Just, the advantage shade is so, so solid. He tries to find another down here to the platform there. I'm not sure if he would have been able to get too good of a follow-up, but I mean, Noodle's advantage shade is always a surprise. And the Oppy making it through the down smash there from Arie. Tries to find a forward tilt there, but... Oh, he's based so low. Well. What I really like to see, uh, these two players is how they slow it down in this, like, team situation where it's not even one, weird, like, when one of them's down and one of them has a stop lead, how can they yeah. shoot up again? How can they bring the pace back into their favor? Yeah. And I mean, it's. You haven't really been seeing it so much in this preset, but I mean, again, a lead is never safe. Like, RA was down, now he's brought it back. They're pretty much even game here. Crazy. Oh, that's gonna do it? Yeah, that yeah, is definitely gonna be at the Ding Dong. He's gonna kill at about 74, I think, is what he was at, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, Noodle right now does nice. have the stock lead here. Aria on last stock. Give him the downer there. Great stuff. Oh my god. Oh, if he got a downer Ooh. get there, that would've been it. There, back Can't air. find the back air. Get fired from Aria. Can't find the downer there, but... I mean, we're at a point right now where Noodle can edge guard just by body blocking Ness if he gets him far enough off. Because he does have the stock leads, and, um... So you're not at like too much of a risk if you know. It's like we've, we've seen it earlier in the set, like he's been doing it. Wow, spot yeah, this, it. This, this might be what I was talking about here. Finds the air, no jump, he might just body block. But no, no it Oppie doesn't. Born down to instead, they need a slight this time on that. Are you going to be able to make it back to ledge? Yeah, Maybe uppies. Eating an uppie, yeah. Really good punish from Noodle. Not going to kill, but like. I thought he was going to go for a dash back there. Uh, down tilt into the nair. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! oh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Oh my god, that LP! Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude! 
You can hear everyone oh, downstairs popping off watching my that. My God. On the big screen, Noodle is up two to one. Potentially about to take South Jersey Summit here from losers. Jesus. Yeah, after losing in winners, that was crazy. Dude, he did not give a fuck. <laughs> he was, he up, was up a stock. He was up a stock. He was like, for it. He's basically guaranteed to kill. Like, oh my god. He's, I mean, he's done before. He'll yeah. usually do that off a back, like a yeah, backer carry into an LP. Yeah. He just raw he did, did it. So crazy. I can't believe people will like pop off for that, but call off stage off the slash lane. <laughs> can't believe that. But where's the where's the respect for my mid tier? Okay. Game number four here. Yeah, you gotta make a move. What? Whatever. Game is smash four. Yeah. Uh. Oh my god, did that forward smash connected? I don't think he had a jump there. Yeah, I mean, back to Smash World though for Arya, this is definitely a better stage for him. Noodle has less room to sort of operate around Ness's hitboxes, like we were saying earlier in the set. Which is definitely, it's it's definitely what he's looking for on the stage. It's definitely, like, part, probably part of the reason he's leaving the small battlefield open is because it's smaller than PS2, so even though it's a good layout for Donkey Kong, he doesn't have as much room to operate with as he would on PS2. Right now though, Noodle, like, I'm just gonna kind of is, oh, oh my god, the shield break, the up smash is gonna kill god. here. And Noodle, like I was saying, like, he was, like, he was at a deficit, but, like, it just doesn't matter so much. His advantage is so solid. Finding these kills in, like, the crazy situations, like, that was probably the first shield break I've we've seen. Like, oh, Bracket finds a back here. Can he find the edge guard here? Is that, is that it? No, no. okay. He did go for the PK flash there. They did have nerves coming out for Arya here. Finds it down air, finds the up air, not gonna kill just yet, looking for a back air, trying to set up an offstage situation. But right now, the down air, or the down B and the up air, not gonna kill. Not gonna yeah, kill but yet. that back air, the back air. Oh, Arya, yeah. Good stuff. I mean, if you saw Noodles to try to get up another back air, but Arya got one out of his own. Oh, he could. Noodle with an up B, he's gonna eat a big punish for it though. Only 31% being tacked on. I mean, Arya, he does have rage, but like, it's it's not as important for Ness as it is for Donkey Yeah, Kong, obviously. Like, on the stage spike, not gonna come out good tech from Noodle, but he's gonna make his way back to stage. He thinks he's going here. Great forward air. Oh my god. Arya is back. The back air. Got him stuck in an offstage situation. He's probably gonna get a different down air, but good early up even. Nothing high there. Good stuff to Noodle. Finding a back air, and now Noodle is one stock away from winning South Jersey Summit. Are we getting a Noodle moment? Oh, he can't follow up. It's crazy, the down tilt turn back around. Tries to find the giant punch, already air dodging in just after. Great timing on that air dodge from Arya. Good near shield there. Yeah, Arya definitely wants to bring this to oh a game Oh my god, five. I thought that was going to be up smash. Yeah, no, he's definitely, he's not, he wasn't that percent to die there, but he's definitely that percent now. He's definitely that percent to die from an edge guard. But Arya finding his way back, staying alive. Oh my god. The first hit. Oh, is this could be it. This could be it. If Noodle decides to body block him, this could be it. Finds an air dodge at the stage, like Noodle is your south. Jersey Summit Champion, ladies and gentlemen, three to one over Arya in the Grand Reset. He is going to take it from the losers side. Huge All the way from losers. There. Wow, what what a what a bracket. What that, a bracket. Just a just a reminder. Noodle, first of all, did not have a buy. Had to beat Xavier. And the first beat Wheezy. Yeah, he beat Wheezy, Xavier. Upset Xavier, game five. Yeah, like... Beats Sauce 3-0, loses, loses game five to Arya, runs it all the way back. <laughs> all the way back, beating Spiro. Just almost that's beating Spiro. Spiro. And then, just turning back up. Should we, should we do after an like, interview? Um, after what was considered, like, a mediocre, like, like, like showing in pools. Yeah, he, like, he, he wasn't playing at, like, peak noodle but like that set right there like those last that like was, he was just different. two sets like that was different i've never seen eddie play like that that was such impressive stuff and he is going to be your south jersey summit champion should we should we ask for an interview maybe we'll, we'll see we'll see okay okay but um that's how he's feeling right now yeah i mean he, he might want to break it is it has been such it, a long it's day been a like, long day these guys have been playing in bracket that's for like crazy like think about like the execution he was playing off after, After 10, 10 hours. hours of gameplay, 10 like, hours of we, constant we started pools at 2.30 today. Like, 
I was trying to suggest like a two day event, like split it up between pools and bracket, and Jason Look, wouldn't we're go employed. for it. But like, <laughs> dude, that was crazy. That was like, ten hours later, and he's still able to pull off execution like that. That's so impressive. Mm -hmm. Like that was definitely that was some of the highest level of competition I have ever seen here in this region. Like, all of these players just playing their hearts out. Like, even some of like the people who you know. You, you didn't really expect them to like make a huge splash definitely playing well like mm -hmm. people like secret taking games off you know some of the people placing in the top yep. five he did such a good job in this bracket even ham burrito he, t he took a game off Arde in snake jigglypuff and he also had like a a pretty yeah. good showing in the game three he had against spiro like he brought it all the way to a last he, he showed he, like the potential to definitely make the upsets like, yeah it like didn't really work out for him all of these players here definitely had potential, but Noodle is going to be the one to close it out in the end. Taking it 3-1 to one over Arya there in the Kranz reset. Such a, just such a huge bracket win for him. Like, you, you know, know what's crazy? crazy? This, in between Rutgers and then two massive bracket wins for Noodle, both from the fall fight to go. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. But, I mean, like, still, nonetheless, like, this is, like, a big, like, Ragnarok win. And yeah. obviously, like, huge prize yeah, look, like when it comes to south jersey first of all it's never been about the money that's always how smash has been yeah second of all yeah like prs happen pr seasons come and go but we all know each of these players is playing for the legacy yeah almost every single person you saw in this bracket aside from maybe like ham burrito because you know like a baby yeah yeah he, he's like, been competing for like a year and maybe like a year and a half months. now um, besides like Secret, secret. Some of the basically like most of the vote ins, all of these players have been yeah, playing. They are for legacy years players. Since like Smash Four. Like, Earth, like Arnie's been playing for around Arnie's been a decade for now. So so long. He was Earth Bounty in Smash Four. Earth Bounty in Smash Four. Like, like some of these players have been playing for so long. Like Spiro is a legacy player. Vince is a legacy player. Like some of these players, they've just been playing for so yeah, they so, so, so they, long. They want more than nothing to be like. The time I've spent in this region, how much I've played in here, to show that I'm the best of all time. Yeah, like, they, like we're they, gone from best for the season. We're gone from best, like, all right, we're gone from just best in the day. No, all the players here today were trying to make a statement about how, out of everyone, to come out of SJ, they are the best. Yeah, and I mean, like, we were talking about it, like, Spiro before, like, that bracket started early front runner for winning this bracket and that would have probably solidified him as maybe the best south jersey player of all time but noodle has a noodle huge starting to get a big case. resume like he has a huge case right now he's won massive brackets he's taking games off of number three in the world right now before like he has the vouch from he, got, he has a he has the tweak he went game through a tweak he like, has the tweak vouch he has the tweak vouch and and this ain't this isn't like Tweak when he's like when the, be when, when the best this Donkey Kong of all, like possibly all time yeah. is telling you that your Donkey Kong is, is good different like then yeah and and this is this isn't this isn't like because like you remember like a little bit out of quarantine Tweak was in like a bit of a slump he's getting inconsistent results yeah this is Tweak fresh out of quarantine like this is like potentially top one in the world Tweak coming right out of quarantine he's dominating locals he won Smash Ultimate Summit three like. He's, he plays second at um, Riptide. Like, this is like peak tweak almost. Vouching for this Donkey Kong that it is different. Like, he has a huge case right now to potentially be the best player in South Jersey history. Like, a lot of these players did. And I mean, it was such a huge test of like, not only your endurance, but like, how are you going to play under the pressure? Like, even though. It's a stacked event. No yeah. matter who you're going to face. It. Your set was going to be harder, and it's only going to get yeah. harder if you win. Like, we see, like, after he lost to Noodle, and he saw, um, what was the set? I think it was, um, Hunter and Vince going on. Well, like, once he saw it, went to game five, he's like, dude, I have to play the loser of this set for ninth place. Like, yeah, yeah. welcome to Summit. You are going to have to play the absolute best players. It doesn't matter where you turn. You're playing against the person that has the potential to win this bracket. Like, All right. Real quick, we're gonna see if we can go get an interview. We'll yeah. Right Do you want me to go down and ask him, or? I was going to, but. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We will be just right a short back. Moment, we will hopefully be back with an interview. If uh, not, we'll if be not, back here to sign off. Yeah.
Okay, guys. How are you feeling? Uh, it's pretty good. I'm tired. <laughs> this is the most Smash I've played in one day. Like, at least in a few years. Like, I'm not... I don't know, I just don't... Like, I, a lot of us with the grind play all day, like, friendlies, but I just go to tournaments, and, like, it's kind of it, so... I was very, uh, curious to see how my, uh, like, my endurance would, would be, but... Once a bracket gets going and you're in the zone, it's just kind of ignored all, I guess. Yeah, that's what we were definitely noticing. Like, we were commenting a lot how this has been a battle with endurance. Everyone think he's been playing for like 10 hours now. I know. Like, and like, what was the most surprising is just seeing your own punishing game get better as time went on. Well, maybe part of it, because I've played the game like outside of Pop the Bubble in like three or four weeks, like since Rutgers, I guess. I just don't really play it at home much. One, I don't have time, I've been a little busy, but also every time I open my Switch, I see Tears of the Kingdom, and then I play that. Yep. It's, it's a lot better than Smash. Mm-hmm. I got you there. Now, you've definitely been playing in SJ for a long time. How do you feel, considering this, like, this win, and, like, what do you think, like, the current state of, like, SJ like feels like what do you think this tournament kind of represents oh, or how do you like feel like this like the symbolism of like this summit I think it's an amazing uh job first from Gray to organize basically everything and obviously lend his entire house for us all to use um the idea of a summit remake after the one at Salty a few years ago that was always talked about but nobody actually like took initiative and actually like got it done so I always say that like anything that that's not like a normal bracket that is like unique, like creative, that can get the community involved, that's always good for the scene. Like it doesn't matter what scene it is, like Arcadians, like you know, the doubles bracket we did, and then the summit like this, like anything to just get, you know, people more interested in playing the game and going out to tournaments. So I just it's great for the scene. Yeah, definitely. Now coming towards after this event. Uh, what are your plans coming from next PR season? Do you think you're gonna try and shoot for number one again? Do you think you're gonna spend your summer jumping around? I know, I feel like I haven't seen you at Bears in a minute, but... I would like to go eventually. It's just, these past few weeks have been a little crazy between yeah. graduating and my internship will be starting soon. and Just got a lot of random stuff going on, but maybe once things are cleared up, I'll, uh, I'll look to go to that. So I'm saying college students do it better. Yeah, right. it, it comes it comes in waves, the inspiration, mm -hmm. as a lot of players are. Like, you want to go to, like, three tournaments a week, and then suddenly you don't go to anything. Like, I was going to Gamer Nook for a while, but I haven't been up there in a while. I'll try to go back, one. maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying to go last week, but I ended up canceling. Yeah, but, yeah, Bears is definitely on my radar, especially because um, a lot of South Jersey people go there. It could be mm -hmm. easy to get there. only went there once, it was many years ago, so I'd like to go back. Yeah, I know we've definitely had more people going out, which I am happy of. More SJ players need to go out of region. Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, I'm not good at... It's easy to say, oh, the other players should come here, but to be honest, they don't have a reason to. Yeah. So, it stinks, but it's cool. It's good that we're branching out and kind of trying to travel a little bit further for stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen, like, so many of these players, like, 
The sauce got a like squid plumber win just a couple months ago. It's so random. Like, I know. I random know. wins. Like yeah. Hunter is not like every time Hunter has gone to platinum, he gets top eight. And no really matter how stacked that platinum is, he gets top eight. <laughs> yeah, Hunter. I I know Hunter sauce. This like this bracket. There were so many like. You'll never see all these people in one bracket again. Like, everybody's yeah. just on different paths of life. Like, everybody's busy. They don't go to tournaments. They do. But, like, just to have them all here today was great. It was just, you know, aside from the result itself, just seeing everybody, like, mm-hmm. everyone watching the matches, the, like, good sense of community it was really nice to see. Yeah, I definitely felt it, too. Like, having that kind of energy for, like, a tournament like this for SJ, it's been a while. Because, obviously, everyone comes to it, but, like, the tournament, yeah. they are, like... Just laser focus in on their sets. They're winning. Here, the vibes were different. Like, I feel yeah. like people really understood what it meant to, like, be an invitational. There were some good sets, too. There was. Like, I've, you know, obviously, you always feel bad for the person that loses, but, mm-hmm. like, dang. Some of these sets were great. And you could tell. You could hear the people cheering downstairs for them, too. I mean, all right. We have bracket luck here. All of winners' quarters I know. were upsets. I know. Every single one was game five. It's it was kind of an opposite from the pools. A lot of the pools were quick three O's. Mm-hmm. Like I played Xavier in pools, he destroyed me. Like I didn't have a chance. And I saw I was playing him in regular bracket. I'm like, oh god, here we go. But you were talking earlier, know. like before bracket started, you're like, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this like endurance. Like, how I, you, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you just got into flow state. Like, like, yeah, yeah. I don't even think. I think I played my best against Spiro and a little bit against Andrew, but still, there were still yeah. like. Still doing dumb stuff. We were uh, commenting on like you against Spiro just looked like something different. Yeah, like, Spiro also destroyed me in pools. Mm-hmm. I didn't even take a game, but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just some con- subconsciously like take notes because I don't do it. I'm not thinking when I do it. It just kind of happens. So mm-hmm. I'm just lucky to be in a, a clear headspace to be able to focus right when I'm playing. It's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, and not getting too hard on yourself. Like yeah. when you're getting yo-yoed at ledge or juggled forever like you just whatever it happens like, yeah you just gotta move like on you your know? character and you're just you getting know? like re- like you can't breathe in the corner you're just getting reset over and over off ledge against like a character like that's fine yeah i mean i don't want to be mean but like at this level they will make mistakes eventually so you just punish it mm-hmm. but when you <laughs> i was like when i went to gamer and i could play rivers he does not make mistakes yeah <laughs> like, at all you get a certain level you, you have, have to like yeah the top players they just stop making mistakes yeah, you have to force the mistakes out of them I know it's it's simple when you think about it, and like, I don't know, cheesy maybe, but it's just what it is, you know. People gotta clean up those uh, those punishes, leave no holes in your uh, your gameplay, you know. <laughs> yep. All right, we will be wrapping up shortly here. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the crowd, Noodle? I don't think so. I didn't check my phone yet. I heard it going off, so if you message me or anything, thank you. Um, I know it's really late too, so. At least it's a Saturday. Some people could stay yeah. up and watch. But That's a long day. If we did this on a Sunday, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. This today was a was a good day for me to make it. But mm-hmm. yeah, not really not so much about me, but shout outs to Gray and you. You helped a lot with running the bracket as well. I was, and just, I was just a bracket manager. Yeah, it takes it takes a lot of people to put stuff like this together. So Yeah. It's a, it's the blood of the scene, the people that work behind the scenes, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean there's so many people that you're dedicated. Like look at how many people in this bracket that have like TO'd. Yeah, yeah. That's why, like, I wasn't even worried about this bracket. Like, there's so many capable people that, like, it'll it'll be fine, you know. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Again, congrats, Noodle, for winning South Jersey Summit, a momentous victory, I would say. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Thanks.